No one loves you like the Gib. JG Gib. I probably would as well, but then again I can't afford it right now. Oh, I mean, yeah, I totally own the game legit. By Joe's Guy, February 6, 2019. Remind me to tell Jimbo his sword is the greatest, by Joe's guy, 21-06-2020. Not. I don't play thingy at all, by Joe's guy, January 9, 2019. I just chit myself, fuck it, I'm too invested in this game, by Joe's guy, January 4, 2023. It's called hentai, and it's art. Not Without My Anus, by Joe Scott, June 10, 2019. Everything About This Is AIDS, by Joe Scott. 26-07-2020 I'm sick of these fucking orange ones, by Joe's guy, 14-07-2019 You can steal my passwords if you want. It's fine. By Joe's guy, April 3rd, 2021. I'm looking forward to when Fiverr gets here. Then I am going to be looking at lolis all day on stream, by Joe's guy, December 4th, 2020. I'll throw a boner your way. An angry angry boner, by Joe's guy, July 6, 2020.
Fuck Your Everything, by Joe Sky, April 8, 2019. Oh no, they grabbed me. Don't Touch My Bat Genitals, by Joe's Guy, May 7, 2021. Give me my white juice. That doesn't sound right at all, by Joe Sky, February 11, 2024. I didn't shit the bed this time. I just had to fucking say it by Joe's Guy, 14-03-2022. I have to pay attention to where he's going. Hey, look yellow flowers. I need those, by Joe's guy, 15-09-2019. I'm sick of these fucking orange ones, by Joe's guy, 14-07-2019. Where's my AIDS? I don't have AIDS. I want AIDS, by Joe's guy, 13-02-2019. Oh God, all the AIDS. Hello. <laughs> hey, I'm here. How we doing, everybody? Holy shit. Oh, we're in. Yes, there we go. Yeah, that's working. Thought I broke for a sec, but no, I'm here, I think. Oh my God. We're here. Just a day late. It's fine. It's all fine. Oh God. And I'm fucking, I don't know. Daylight saving. It's a, it's a pain in the ass. I did get an extra hour, so I guess there's that. This <laughs> is more sleeping. Oh, this is going to be a rough week for me, holy fuck, but uh, that's okay, that's okay, at least the streaming part of things should be okay, I think. I hope, we'll see. <laughs> but, yeah, no, we're jumping back into the Hitman things, because, you know, we're still not done with it. <laughs> Hitman 3 has, like, a shit ton of stuff that we haven't done yet, and, oh god, I, I would hope, hope that we could get some Freelancer done this year, but... I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. I don't know. I was actually just watching a YouTube video where a guy tried to play New Vegas as 47. I played, um... What was the game I played? Um... Fucking, uh... Was it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't GTA. I guess it, No, yeah, it must have been Saints Row 2 that I made. <laughs> Agent 47 in that one. And it just shot the shit out of people. That was great. 
because there is a uh, a side uh, a side mission. There are side missions in that game. You got like you know uh, activities and stuff like that, and one of them is Hitman. <laughs> one of them is just assassinating people, and so I thought, why not? It's not exactly stealthy, but it's fine. Just ring up a guy in a taxi. He shows up and then shoot him in the dick, and then it's like, there you go. There's my target. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, Hitman much better in the second game than the first one. I was actually just watch- oh, I already read that. <laughs> Chat's not moving, it's good. When chat doesn't move, it means no one's talking or, uh, it's fucked up. Rarely fucks up anymore, that's good. Internet are good. This will be the first time we stream Hitman with my new, uh, with my new graphics card, so it ought to run pretty well. <laughs> not that it didn't run bef well before, but, you know. Uh, Tales of Arise. Obviously, the quote system's working. Um, Ding dong, bing bong, somewhere else. <laughs> by Joe's guy, January oh, 4th, dear. 2023. I don't know what the context behind that was, but yeah. <laughs> it was, who was I saying that to, I wonder? Oh dear, do I have water? I do have water, okay. I've got sound bites. Oh, let's unlock the power of Gib, let's go. Boom. <laughs> now, can you please let me fart on the crocodiles? Oh. By Joe's guy. 19-08-2018 I've got a sexy new gunshot sound as well. So I hope you like it. <laughs> that one's a bit better than the other one, I think. Oh, should I bring Shooto-Rama back for this year? I, I guess I should. We didn't get anywhere near all of the light gun games done, so I guess I will. Uh, uh let's see. Guns. Let's, where was the old one? Here we go. Here's the old one. Oh, which one's better, do you think? There's, there's that one. <laughs> and then there's... <laughs> yeah, you got gib shooting. It's great. <laughs> There's that one too. Oh, you also have that modern light gun game I showed you. Oh yeah, uh, did I even get that? <laughs> I don't even know if I got that yet. Oh dear. All right, hang on. I'll put that over there. Um, what's the time? I guess it doesn't matter if I start late this time because I'm an hour early today and on a different day. So you know, it gives a shit. Let's do some sound testings before we begin proper. I suspect I'll be alright, but let's just make sure. Testing, one, two, three, testing, etc. Testing. Yeah. One, two, three, testing, etc. Testing. Yeah. One, two, three, testing, etc. Testing. Yeah, that seems fine. I've only got the tail end of that, but that's fine. Oh, it's raining. Jeez, yeah, it's going to be raining all week. Yesterday was particularly wet, and yeah, it's going to be pissing down. Don't know if you can hear it. Probably not. Uh, I did get it. Okay, fantastic. I'll, I'll keep that in mind for when we do shoot o rama <laughs> What was it called? What was it called? I probably have to add it to a list. I don't know if I've added it to the list for ne for future shoot ramas But I, I certainly didn't play all of them. Blue Estate. Well, I'll just quickly check and see if I've got that added to the thing before we begin. Uh, shooty Rama. Here we go. Shoot. shoot Rama. Okay, do 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 do. Actually, if I check Blue Estate first. Blue Estate. I do have it, but hang on. It's not... Okay, I put Blue Estate on its own, like, little individual thing, when really it should be part of the Shooto-Ramas. <laughs> I did list it here, <laughs> but it's not with the with the uh, Shooto-Rama stuff, which, you know, I might accidentally stream it when I shouldn't do it. Uh, do 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 Time Crisis. Uh, we already did Time Crisis, didn't we? I guess I can just put it at the end of this list. Operation Wolf and... Blue Estate, there we go. Alright, let's get things going, shall we? Got some people to merge today, and I've got quite a bit to do. I don't know if we'll get around to, um, Freelancer, but there are still some modes left we have to finish. One in particular is one that we shouldn't actually be allowed to even do. <laughs> but thanks to Peacock, we're going to be using Peacock, and we're going to play all of the elusive targets. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how well that goes. Fuck yeah, that might be the whole stream, and maybe even beyond. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into it, why not? Um, hang on. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go, all good. Everything's fine, yep, everything's great. So, I'm gonna disappear for a fraction of a second, and when we return... Oh my god, we're back to Hitman's doing things, it's great, I love it. Hit Hitman's back, so, uh, stick with us everybody, we'll be right back, right after this. Oh.
Oh my god, it's that time again for more things on the internet. And uh, we're back with more Hitman. <laughs> That's it, yes. There are always more men left to hit. It's true. Oh my goodness. I, I Yeah, there's still plenty to do. Holy shit. This, this is never ending. Never ending. Oh my goodness. So, uh, yeah, last year when we last picked up this, um, I, you know, uh, Freelancer, we, we, hope, we hoped it would happen. It didn't. Uh, maybe it'll happen today. I don't know. Um, I mean, I could start a freelancer right off the bat, but there's unfortunately other things we need to do because there have been updates and such to the game, and uh, yeah, there's some stuff to do, as well as some things that we shouldn't really be allowed to do, but we can with the magic of Peacock. A certain bird is going to pop up and it's going to make everything really great. But more on that in a moment. Let's get to the chats and say hello to everyone. Hello. There we go. <laughs> hello. Welcome to the world of assassination. A world of opportunities for murder. It's great. Oh boy, and I'm going to make use of all of them, hopefully. Oh dear, but hello chat, hello everyone else. Um, it is a thing. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? How you doing, Imagination Artists? Oh my goodness. Oh dear, we are here. It's real. It's real life. We're playing the game now. I should explain what we're doing today. So, okay, um, so we are doing Hitman, but there's a whole ton of stuff. Um, first and foremost, I think what I'm going to have to start off with is the previously exclusive Sarajevo 6. Now, th this is a series of six missions. It was basically one guy per, ma uh, per map in the original Hitman 1, because uh, it had six maps in it. And it used to be a PlayStation exclusive. If you had Hitman on PlayStation, you could get the Surrey Over 6. And just all of a sudden, randomly, they decided last year that uh, they were just going to add it. They were just going to add it to the fucking game for everyone. It's just, uh, I, I can't remember if it was paid DLC or not. I hope it wasn't. I don't want to give them any more money, but, <laughs> but still. Oh dear. Tales of Arise did almost kill me for not too long ago. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm just happy that I'm done with work for the day. That's nice. Wow, oh, you finished really early today. <laughs> How are you and Effie? Uh, I'm pretty sick, but um, I, I, I actually not as sick as usual today. I'm just mostly tired with a headache, but I'm alright. Oh, I can stream. And Effie's fine. Here we go. Yay, Jay June's here as well, slamming the table. <laughs> Yay. Murder makes everyone excited. It's a goat. Look at that goat. <laughs> Yay. Oh dear. He's nothing. No. No. I have day off work today as well. Yay, the Wigglies are here. Oh, that's definitely a good time. But yes, let's actually get the game started, I suppose, and I'll, I guess I'll explain in greater detail what the hell we're doing. Uh, we will be able to see the Peacock exclusive stuff. I'm not sure about Freelancer. I would like to do at least one Freelancer run, but uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how that goes. Oh dear, we will try. Yay, it's waifu gun time. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Why for gun time? All right, let's launch the games. I'm not going to launch it at Pe f with Peacock just yet because I'm not sure if you can actually play the Surrey Ovo 6 with Peacock. I think you can because you use your actual account. So it's entirely possible. All right, uh, game's on the screen, but it's not on the stream. Uh, let's see what's going on with that. Oh, there it is. It's right there. There we go. Enter a world of assassination. I've got a mod which skips the, uh, the opening. So, hey, we get to save time. <laughs> All of the... All of the logos and shit. It should be fucking mandatory that you be allowed to skip that stuff. Unless it's used to hide a loading screen, in which case I'm fine with it for the most part. Yay, kitty with a gun. There's gun emoticons everywhere. <laughs> I was going to say, is there game audio in this? Apparently. Go eat dinner, then get Vincent in Final Fantasy Rebirth. Um, oh, we've got a fucking... No, no, that's good. No, no, I've caught up on chat. I'm good. It's just mostly wi guns. So yes, the Sarajevo 6 campaign. Uh, they, they've given it to us now. <laughs> It used to, it was locked to the PlayStation version of Hitman Season 1 for the longest bloody time, and now it's available for everyone. I hope I didn't pay money for this. I probably did. Um, it was actually originally a mod as well. They actually added this as a mod at some point, and then they just released it. IO just released it, and they're like, oh, well, we don't need the mod anymore. <laughs> I think it is pay paid DLC as well, so that's depressing. Oh dear. So yes, yeah, the Sorry Over 6 was something we haven't done, so we might as well get it done. It's uh, There's basically one target for all of the six maps of the original Hitman game, and uh, yeah, uh, it's it's a thing. <laughs> Did I do all of the... well, I guess we'll find out. Did I do all the challenges already? I may have. Let's have a look. Challenges. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> In this particular category. Let's see. Uh, let's show completed. Uh, oh, it doesn't seem to have anything unique, really, except for the actual target himself, so yeah, that would explain a lot, but... 
Oh, oh, but wait, hang on, here we go. Uh, Silent Assassin, there you go. Yeah, if you get rid of the director, Silent Assassin. So, yeah, there are some unique ones, but I've already got all the challenges, so that's fine. Let's check the briefing, shall we? Uh, all right, yeah, we're starting off in Paris. They, they just use all of the uh, original locations. Um, oh yeah, that's right, I might as well just watch the intro. That will explain so much, because I, I can't remember, even though I played them not so long ago. Uh. Ooh, fancy. What's all this? The agency has been contracted to eliminate six individuals guilty of committing brutal war crimes during the siege of Sarajevo. As oh private God. military contractors for the Cicada Corporation, they are linked with mass killings of civilians, particularly the massacres at Markel and the extended sniper campaign. The notorious Very Sarajevo naughty. 6 have managed to avoid the International Criminal Tribunal since the mid-1990s. Our client mm. would now like an alternative fate to catch up with them. Opportunities okay. for elimination will appear over the coming year in multiple locations across the globe. Right, huh? Your first target is Scott Sarno, Director of European Operations for Cicada. Oh. Those dickheads, Sano is right. rarely without a full military backup, so his attendance at the Sanguine Fashion Show will provide multiple opportunities to eliminate the target in a lower than normal security setting. Well, that should be okay then. I wonder if I'll cheat and just use a briefcase with a fart bomb in it. Most certainly we'll be doing that. Because I am all but certain it's going to be a pain in the ass otherwise. Alright. Oh. Oh, oh, throw an eye. Okay. client will yeah. provide full intelligence on the first target, March 11th. All the right. agency will notify you as soon as the exact location How are you, Ken Shab? How's it going? These targets are lethal, you join me at the, you join us at the best time. Uh, we've got five dickheads to get rid of. Or six, rather. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Hello there, Ken Shabby. We're back in the Hitman universe. Chris, they've finally given us the Sarajevo 6. <laughs> They've given that to us. It used to be a PlayStation exclusive. And so I thought, all right, if they're giving us this, then I guess we'll do that. As well as some other things that we uh, technically should not be able to access, but we can anyway, because I've got a secret. <laughs> cleaning screen. Hit, <laughs> cleaning my screen. Hit the, hit the, hit the keyboard. And so it says for Jurgens. <laughs> for Jurgens. All righty. Uh, so, Scott M. Sarno. How do we get rid of you? Well, I don't know. Um... Already uh, acquired content of a looted bank went wrong. Group of civilians were caught in a crossfire, etc., etc. All right, um, I'm sure this will be easy enough. I mean, it's just Paris. We've played this a gazillion times. Let's see. What kind of great outfit can I wear for this? Oh, God, don't remind me of the de Seven Deadly Sins DLC. The thing that kept us from doing Freelancer. And speaking of Freelancer, I do have some of the unlocks for that. But not all of them. Um, I guess I'll just wear my classic outfits here. Oh, no, I could, I could wear my formal outfits. Um... Let's go with a tuxedo with gloves, why not? Um, but you know what, if we were feeling really fancy and we wanted to make this mission significantly more difficult for us, we could go as Corky the Clown. There we go, <laughs> Corky the Clown is here. Oh dear, but alright, we'll just keep it formal for now, I suppose. My food time, oh my god, already. Let's see, cleaning screen on mobile. Oh yeah, so that explains everything. <laughs> smug waifu. <laughs> that's smug waifu. Oh dear. And Firefly's today's waifu as well. Oh, that's not a smug waifu, that's a disgust waifu. It's hard to tell with the little, little one. Okay, today's waifu was this one. It's a, it's a bloody, bloody good one by the look of it. There we go. <laughs> that's a pretty decent one. That's pretty decent. I like it. Where's Will Smith? I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, we're a day late on the stream. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. There we go. See, no vacation for anyone. No. <laughs> no. <Nut. laughs> there we go. Oh, I could have taken the week off, but I didn't want to. There's stuff to do. There's stuff to do. we got to keep up with the Joneses and all that. All right. Um, How will I get rid of him? Uh, Krugermeyer. Lethal syringe. Could smuggle some shit in. I don't really remember this target well at all. Ah, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just it's just Paris. We'll find some way of doing it. And I won't do these um, suit only because Lord knows I don't remember any of these. I <laughs> don't remember any of these. So uh, I will make use of disguises. If I find a corky disguise, that would be great. Alrighty. Welcome to the Parisian uh, Welcome fashion to show. Paris. Thank you. The Palais de Villesca is hosting the fashion event of the year, oh. and your target is on site to supervise Cicada security. Got her. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I got her. Journalist. Defeated. Done. 
Mission accomplished <laughs> with extreme prejudice. How was the eclipse in Australia? Uh, I don't think it happened during the daytime. If it did, I would have noticed it. <laughs> Welcome to Paris. So, no, no, the it would have been nighttime here, unfortunately. Event of the year. Uh, would have been nice to see it, though. For oh, that's an issue. Is high, and the target is likely to be highly suspicious of anything mm. out of the ordinary. Oh, dear. He's also sure to know each member of his team personally, so okay. be careful when approaching him. Be careful. Good gotcha. Right. Okay. Does he show up on... Yeah, he does show up on instinct. And that's the thing. When we uh, replay the uh, elusive targets, uh, they will also show up on the map as well. But uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. It was already dark in the UK when it happened. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't notice any eclipse thing going on. I didn't notice anything happening. Right. Well, let's get to work. First thing I like to do is get rid of all the cameras in Paris. It's the best way to go around. Oh, there we go. Fuck your hard drives. <laughs> there you go. That's how we deal with Parisian security around here. Just shoot the hard drives. I'll grab a wrench. And, uh, yeah, since I'm not doing these suit only, because, no. Let's grab ourselves an outfit here that someone's just left behind. <laughs> Why not? Hello, friends. I am here to do uh, nefarious things. Okay, so our target is not even all that far away. Um... Okay, I'll try and get through these as quickly as I can for the most part, but uh, that being said, it's going to be kind of difficult because I, I, I haven't played these too much. I mean, it's not like I've had the opportunity to play this on PlayStation and uh, see all of the... Uh, and play all this back in 2016. Oh dear. I got 87%. 87% in what, though? Oh, hey, I see a new outfit already. Give me a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Give me your crew disguise. We're good. All right, fantastic. Let's see. Now, I noticed in the opening, he does like looking at fireworks. So maybe I can do something about that. Let's see. Art's rendition of the eclipse. Oh, hello, friends. Hello. Let's see. Screwdriver. Check. Um, hmm. Is this not the right place? Where's the uh, the fireworks remote? Is it not, Is it really on the other side? Have I forgotten where it is? <laughs> For God's sake. Artist rendition of the huh. eclipse. Oh, it really is here. Alright. Never knew this. Hey, uh, buddy. Uh, I want to leave that alone. Novakov. No. I fetch it for him. He wants to trigger the fireworks himself. <laughs> Alright. Whatever he wants. It's his money. <laughs> I, can, I can do whatever I want as well. Fuck you, Yuri Lowenthal. Okay, let's have a look at this artist rendition of a thingy me jig. Uh, let's see. Look, the eclipse. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Pokemon puns, aren't they great? <laughs> Sun and moon. <laughs> oh, and then the post was taken down by Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, I hate to see it. Nintendo just walks in. There you go. That's the end of that. <laughs> fucking... Oh, you can save. Okay, so this was before they... they of course, this is, hit, this is technically season one. So because this is season one content, you can save and load in, in this. Because, you know... <laughs> you know, no, they, they didn't make everything into a fucking escalation like they did with Hitman 3 stuff. Good God, I hate that. I hate that. Everything was an escalation. Oh, dear. Well, if I want to get upstairs, I better get myself a better outfit. Uh, can I go up as crew? I don't think so. Best not to risk it. Let's grab this guy. There we go. Hi, buddy. <laughs> you didn't you didn't expect me to do this to you today, did you? No, he's hanging out on your phone. You thought everything was going to be all hunky-dory. Nah, into the wardrobe with you, dickhead. There you go. Get in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ugh. Alright, drops are enabled. I don't think there are actually any uh, drop things for this game uh, right now. Um, yeah, the, the purple the purple Twitch rubber ducky is no longer available. Where the fuck is? There it is. I'm looking for the bust. And of course, the purple streak suit is also not available. That was a million years ago. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think there are any drops, but I'll, uh, I've got drops enabled anyway, so... If if they ever, if they decide to do anything like that, I guess I could stream this game for a million to billion hours just randomly. I do want to do more casual streams, I've just been not very well lately. Oh dear. I can't go into too much detail as to why I didn't stream yesterday on my usual day, but, uh... I mean, I could, but, you know, I'll, I'll keep that a secret, because it doesn't really involve me, per se. Wait, where the... Oh, my target's going downstairs! Hang on! Wait, 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 wait. You, you stay right there. Uh, no, I'm not allowed in there. Where the fuck are the... 
Can I go in there? Am I allowed in here? Is this trespassing? No, this is good. Bloody hell, alright. It's going down here. I went to all this effort to go up here, up here and he's going down here. Alright, great. Well, let's follow him for a bit and see what he does. When I played this level on the free trial, it took me bloody ages to get bow targets stealthily. <laughs> it is pretty rough, although, um, the, the my favourite trick is- oh, what? Oh no, they found the body! There we go. That's how we do it. <laughs> okay. Well, I've learned my lesson. Uh, this guy here, not a good idea to have him uh, knock him out. Alright. Should I replan? No, I guess I can load, because autosave. Oh, look! It's yay! The, uh, the old, uh, pixelated, uh, Agent 47 suit from the first game. <laughs> End of an era. It's right there, his face and everything. Alright, alright. Uh, well, let's see. Autosave, seven... Hmm. Okay. Is this? Hang on. Oh, I've got to look at the timing on this. Oh, that says April 5th. No, oh, fuck. All right. Great. All right. Uh, I'm going to start save scumming then. <laughs> Why reload? You got the target. Yeah, but I didn't do it silent assassin. He saw the body. <laughs> he saw the body and I had to shoot the back of, the, the back of his head Welcome with his guard as well. All right, I'm going to have to be a bit uh, bit more clever with this one. Um, okay, uh, better idea, better idea. Oh, I got a better idea. Okay, I, got, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Uh, now that I know where he's going, uh, let's forego the the outfit. Let's forego the outfit belonging to the, yeah. I mean, I could get the staff's disguise because you don't actually have to knock someone out for it. I'll grab the Iago invitation, although I think it's largely a relevant. And instead I'll I'll just climb the pipe. I'll do that because then at least I get access to the v the VIP worker suit. Oh yeah, I also installed a mod. There's actually a bunch of mods I got. One of them in particular is great in that uh where is he? Yeah, this this fucker right here. This fucking cicada guard right here in particular. Don't know why, but when they did when they released Hitman 2, they decided to go back into this map and make this guy an enforcer to your standard disguise. Like, if you're in your regular suit, he's an enforcer. How does that make any fucking sense? It's like, hmm, random bald man at a party? Oh, that's highly suspicious. <laughs> it's like, how can you be an enforcer to my regular suit? It doesn't make any sense. So, uh, I, I found a mod, thankfully, that allowed you to get rid of that. And it's like, well, great, I'll take that. <laughs> Got a few other mods as well, like, uh, now bullet explosions aren't a thing. So there we go. Also, it doesn't have the, uh, silly sound effect when you shoot it as well. So there's that. Um, what other mods do I have? Uh, nothing all that really game-changing for the most part. Um, I'm sure- oh, and of course we've got Peacock, which is <laughs> not really strictly a mod, it's really just a way of playing the game uh, on, on a, uh, I guess on a fake server that allows you to sort of play pseudo-online, I guess? I'll explain that more when we actually get to it. We are we are not actually playing on uh, the Peacock server just yet, because Surrey Over Six doesn't require it. I mean, you can just just play the game as normal. And unfortunately, Peacock only supports the PC version. But boy howdy, boy howdy, I, I hope that they find a way to make it available for consoles because you know, once they inevitably take take the game servers down. You know, it'd be good to know that you can actually still play this game online, even if it's like pseudo-online. I mean, it's a single-player game. Although, that being said, I've heard that Peacock has actually brought Ghost Mode back. Although, I think I, I, think I read it and they said that that uh, Ghost Mode is not actually proper multiplayer in, in its current state. And instead it's just like, oh, you just get to play against like a bot. Which makes no sense to me, because the original Ghost Mode did not have you playing against bots at all. Be like Suisse, you've spotted kill everyone. <laughs> there is actually a uh, a uh, a mode in Peacock where you can actually make every NPC on the map a target. You can do that. That's probably how they managed to make those um those uh those kill everyone contracts. I, I, I that's the only way it makes sense to me. It's a bit crazy how that works. I don't know how they managed to do that. Now might be a good time to save, actually, because uh, we've gone pretty far and I don't want to waste any more time. Uh, that's a cute save. <laughs> do I want to replace it? I mean, I've got other saves, but... Ah, uh, fuck it. All right. Bye-bye, silly pixelated face. There we go. <laughs> right. Um, so, not allowed in here. Can I do something about this? I might. 
If I could just find a way- you know what? I've got an idea. It's kind of an idea. Is he gonna come down here? Oh yeah, he totally is. Alright. Alright, uh, I got a plan. Uh, it's a silly plan, but it's a plan. Um, right. So, how will we do this? I guess, just wait at the last possible moment- Oh wait, this guy doesn't- hang on. This guy doesn't even walk all the way over here, so my idea is... Place gun. There we go. Place gun and wait. <laughs> This guy's gonna see Gun. He's got his personal bodyguard, and he's gonna be like, "Oh my god, I found a gun! Oh my god, I found a gun! Um, pick it up and put it away. I am scared. I are scared of guns." There we go. We wait, and now we wait. There's our target. I thought those kill everyone contracts were created using a bug. I think they probably were. Actually, I don't think they used Peacock for it. Oh, what the? There's a gun here. What? what? Well, that's not okay. So we say goodbye to our Krugermeyer, temporarily, of course. And until then... Oh, here we go. Hang on. Do, 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 do. I wonder if I can get away with this. Hang on. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And do, 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 do! There we go. Now, where does that chandelier fall? Um, just gotta figure it out. Can't shoot it down, unfortunately. Next best thing would be to just give him a little bit of a drag up here. And then, whoop! Release the winch. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, it didn't work. Where does it fall then? Oh god damn it. <laughs> well, damn, my dastardly trap didn't work. Alright, um... Uh, oh, manual save slot. Yeah, that's... Okay. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work. I guess I could just murder the fuck out of him and drag him down. I'm pretty sure there's a wardrobe down at the bottom of the stairs. So... Mm, maybe possible? Maybe? Hmm, this is taking longer than I'd like, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> and there's a wardrobe here as well. I mean, there, there are things we can do, but then again, I don't think I have a wacky thing. No, I don't. Oh, I've got a syringe. Uh, I'll just use that then. Fuck. Okay, why not? There we go. Give up the, the Krugy. There we go. As much as I don't want to give up the old Kruger Meyer, it's a sexy gun, but... There we go. Just pop that there. And then just jab him with some poison, and that's that's a, that's a silent assassin kill. All good. There we go. Yeah! Cool waifu thinking. There we go. What those? Oh, oh, I already read that. Yeah, the the kill only contracts. No idea how the fuck they do that. It's kind of mental, but you know it, that's fine. Okay, here we go. I forgot that I brought my antique lethal syringe with me. I think this could work out pretty well. But <laughs> I think we could be okay. Hey there, Napoleon. How you doing? Just hanging out <laughs> on your horse. Oh yeah, I installed a mod that improves the lighting in this game. So it makes things look slightly nicer and more natural. Because they have changed the lighting over the course of this this series quite a few times, actually. Right. Yes, you just grab that gun and put it away, because scary. And in the meantime... Hello, friend! I am certainly not here to jab you with some nondescript death juice. No, we're good friends, aren't we? We're all friendly here. Fuck you. There we go. Oh, oh, it tastes like chicken. Ah. Target eliminated. Hooray. All right. Has been wired to your um, oh, but I want my outfit back. And you know what? I'm going to steal the Krugemar on the way out as too, just in case. There we go. Did you put the gun someplace? Where did he stash it? I have no idea where he stashed it. Oh, he probably stashed it upstairs. Fuck me. Oh, wait, there it is. Hmm, this is... This... Okay, I'm going to save the game again, <laughs> just in case. Because we were successful at this point. Here we go. And then... Whoa, grab the gun, put it away before they- oh no, fake surrender. Oh, I don't want to do a fake surrender, I don't even want to do a real surrender. Hmm, I guess I can't get my gun back, that's alright. <laughs> F's in the chat for poor Krugermeyer, who's going to be gone, gone forever. Uh, yeah, no, alright. Never mind, uh, plan B, uh, just- Oh no, I found a birdie. Uh, where's my suit? Oh, it's in here, right. Hello. Okay, so that was relatively pain-free. Uh, could have gone better, but it could have gone a hell of a lot worse as well. There we go. I may have lost my gun, but who gives a fuck? If I want to live life dangerously, I might steal that helicopter and make my escape. <laughs> Why not? Oh dear. No, don't see me. Oh god, please don't see me. Okay, there we go. I may have lost the Krugermeyer, but uh, I'll just get someone to fetch it later. So even though the body was found, we poisoned the fuck out of him, so it'll be okay. Nope. nope. There we go. 
Right, I can totally get away with this. Um, I'm gonna wait for them to bugger off first, actually. There we go. Oh, look at the sushi van. I think it's got a mini ninja uh, character in it. IO Interactive also behind mini ninjas, which I don't think I've ever played before, actually. Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna spot me. No, no, no. 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 No, there we go. Right, can I get away with this? Uh, maybe? M maybe? <laughs> we'll see. It's been a while since I've taken this exit. I played the demo years ago. Oh no, F's in chat for poor Gunny! Right. Yeah. No, don't spot me. I'm not real. I swear to God, if you come over here... No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, fuck it then. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Move to other covers. There we go. No, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, get to the chopper. Oh, there we go. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, I'll just borrow this. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I spent quite a while trying to do a glitch in it that would let you access the whole game from the demo. Um, yeah, don't, I don't think I know of that one. And again, I never bought the demo. I mean, I never played the demo, I always just owned it. <laughs> I always owned the game. Because I was like, fuck yeah, I want to own this game. Yay, waifu claps. I think I've got claps. Uh, where's applause? i got applause somewhere. I think. Oh, have I got the shitty Final Fantasy VII applause? The, like, you know, bit-crushed ones? I think, I think I do. I think I do. No. I've got the Final Fantasy VII scream. <laughs> I got that one. That's I love that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't? Okay. I was thinking I would, but okay, never mind. Oh, bummer. Ah, bummer. <laughs> oh, dear. I've got plenty of Final Fantasy VII sounds, but not that one. I've got drum roll. <laughs> That's all I got. Oh, I don't have any claps or anything. That's unfortunate. Well, I should add that now, really, shouldn't I? Now I'll do it some other time. That's right. Shit, I've got way too many sound bites. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> well, uh, instead of claps, um, I've got a gunshot. That'll do. <laughs> Hooray! Single gun salute. There you go. So there's the first one down. And it took us half an hour or so. Target eliminated. We did it. Oh my god, am I going to level up some more? So this is my standard save from the game. This is <laughs> the whole series worth. So that's. Oh, we're nearly at a new level. Fuck yeah, we've made it to level 1,429, good shit. There you go, good stuff, and that's good. We should continue on. Next up is the Enforcer. Uh, he's at uh, Sapienza, which should also be not terribly problematic, but then of course, you know, eventually gonna have to go to Colorado, aren't we? I also know how to get rid of the the uh, the final guy at uh, in Japan, so that should be okay. All right, Gary Lun, the Enforcer. I guess I'll deal with him. Uh, oh, Christ. <laughs> that just snuck out. There must have been all the water I drank before the stream. Welcome back, 47. I Hi. trust you found your time in Paris successful. The agency yeah. has located your Relatively. second target in the Italian coastal town of Sapienza. Ooh. We have learned that Gary Lunn, formerly known as the Enforcer for the Sarajevo 6, is working at the Ether Corporation Biolab, supervising high-level security. Mm. Oh, getting rid of this guy is going to be a problem, but, um... This is an exclusive holiday destination, 47, and mm. the agency would discourage a public elimination. Mm. Okay. Although the target was part of the same Cicada paramilitary unit as Scott Sarno, there is no indication that he has learned of his colleague's death. I should have called him Scott Sarni. He's like a sandwich man. Lun oh. is likely to be found in the luxurious Villa Caruso or the Ether Biolab. Hmm, you should expect okay. access to these areas to be restricted and the laboratory security to be particularly heavy. I'll leave you Heavy! To Good luck. Oh my goodness gracious me, very heavy. Alright. It's like a last of the summer wine kind of town here. Just less elderly people, I'm guessing. <laughs> Alrighty. I want to put those Final Fantasy VII claps in. I want to do that. Hang on, I'll do that. Um, blah, 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 blah. Where the fuck is it? Uh... Sound bites. Let's see. Uh, do I not have applause at all? Is it not called applause? Oh, I'm so sad. Well, I got this one. Does this one count? Is this is this one? No, that's that's not the one I'm looking for. I mean, it's good, but it could be better. 
Applause. No, okay, hang on. Eh. What was that called? Oh, here we go. Final Fantasy VII Applause. Yeah, how could I not have had that? I'll just pop that in now. There we go. <laughs> I like, I like, I prefer that one because it's kind of pathetic. <laughs> I prefer that one because it's pathetic. <laughs> the other one's, the other one's a bit more fucking uh, uproarious. It's like, yes, everything's great. <laughs> It's, you know, you could really pat yourself on the back listening to that one, but you know, this one's more like, you know, YEAH I WON! Uh, <laughs> yeah, alright. Alrighty, so, Etherlap. Yeah, okay, so it's kind of like just dealing with the virus and the main mission itself. Only we're shanking a guy in the dick. Alright, um, you know what, I, I might actually make that what I'm gonna do. Should I do that? Should I just shank a fucker? Yeah, why not? Why not? Generally speaking, um, let's see. Don't ask me why I have a bone finger lockpick, by the way. <laughs> That's between me and my therapist. Um, alright, melee... What kind of knife should I bring with me? Oh, you know what the best knife in the game is? Okay, there are a couple of knives that are actually quite excellent, I will say. Uh, there is the concealable knife. This one's kind of interesting because, uh, it's unlike all the other bladed weapons in the game, it's not detected in frisks when holstered, so... If you've got this item on you, um, and you go- you go to a frisk area, yeah, they won't detect it on you, uh, you can just keep it in your inventory, which is nice. So you don't have to, like, place it somewhere secret beforehand, so that's kind of nice. But I would say my favourite knife would be the Black Almond. Now, this one's a very interesting one. Uh, dagger once owned by the Dread Pirate known as the Black Almond, the hilt contains a small secret one dose of lethal poison to be used when eliminating a target requires subtlety instead of violence. So, not only is it a knife, but it also basically acts as a poison, as a, a consumable poison. So, <laughs> you can actually... It actually doubles, uh, it doubles your, uh, your potential things you can do, which I really like. So you can poison a drink with this, or you can shank him in the dick as well. It's a bit, it's kind of a bit like the explosive pen, which I've never really liked, honestly. Um, is it even, like, where- oh, it's in explosives, that right. There we go. Explosive pen will explode shortly after being thrown, but also sharp enough to kill on impact. So you can stab someone, you can throw it and stab- I, I never really knew how it worked. You basically throw it and then it explodes, so it's like, yeah, that's great and all, but not terribly useful. But, I will absolutely bring the Black Almond with me, just in case I might need to poison something. Oh dear, I still headcount on that 47 as a hobby of building things with Legos. <laughs> he probably does. And, uh, I could- yeah, see, look, I, I, I could go with the Italian suit with gloves, sure. But, I mean, the Summer Suave suit really does suit this map as well. <laughs> I kind of like the Summer Suave suit, it's not bad. Uh, I mean, sure, the summer sightseeing outfit also kind of works. Oh yeah, and the ephemeral suit, they they gave us that suit recently, that's for dealing with the, uh, the undying who made a return, as well as the Greek fire suit, well that was another elusive target suit. Oh yeah, they're giving us, like, elusive target suits all of a sudden, which is kind of interesting. That's kind of nice. I don't have all of them, because there are freelancer suits I haven't, uh, gotten yet, and that's, and, and I think there's also DLC stuff as well, and fuck that shit. Alright, so... Stabby stabby. Hmm. You know what? Let's see if I can smuggle something in fairly close. Um, cafe base. Mm, yeah, 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 it's fairly close, I guess. I don't really want to go to my apartment. I was just hoping to bring with me. Yeah, no, that's fine. I, I want to bring a. Uh, let's see. Yeah, disposable scrambler might be a good idea because I don't really want to go around the mansion too much. And of course, I always bring a lockpick with me, because that's always helpful. Um... Actually, you know what? Better idea would be... Uh, let's see. Ether Field Lab. Here we go. Br I'm gonna put the knife down here instead. Because that's when we start the murder, right? <laughs> that's when the killing starts, I imagine. So let's put the black arm in, de in there, and bring the disposable scrambler with us, so we don't have to waste any time getting into the Ether Lab. Alright. All right, Gary Lunn. I'm gonna have to murder you now. 47's VA did Lego commercials. Oh yes, that's right, I keep forgetting about that. 47 <laughs> loves Lego so much. A man is drowning in Lego City. Oh dear. Welcome to Sapienza, 47. Shush, I'm region, the reading the, the regional prima. All right. Direct access from within the mansion. Right here. Good luck. Good luck indeed. Alrighty, so, first rule about Sapienza, don't bring coins, because there's coins fucking everywhere. <laughs> Never bring coins with you to Sapienza. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. It's not worth it, because you can just grab them instantly. Just about every starting location has uh, ready access to that shit. Get down here this minute! You can't be late for your first day! 
Leave Rocco alone. <laughs> Leave Rocco alone. All right, now this is why I brought the scrambler. Um, oh, you only get one. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, change of plans. I'm gonna go through the uh, through the apartment building first. Then, okay, I can sneak in uh, elsewhere. Yeah, fuck it. All right, never mind. We can save the game, so it doesn't matter. Right, that changes everything. You only get one scrambler. I thought you got like two or three, but all right. Yay, free guns! <laughs> Just in my apartment building. Why not? You start with a key with it, so why not? Um, gold baller. It's good for shooting cams. There we go. I am going to save my scrambler, though, and think about how I'm going to actually get to the ether lab. And, you know, while I'm here, do, 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 we can get a mansion uh, key card at the very least. So there's that. Might as well save. So, yeah, we don't have to waste a scrambler just yet. There we go. We don't have to wait to scramble it just yet. Um, how do I... What's a convenient way to get in, I wonder? Um, hmm, well, certainly not this way. Um, I wonder if... Hmm, no. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, Rocco's sister's here. Better get her out of the picture. She's kind of annoying. Stop bothering Rocco. He just wants to have a rest in. He wants to sleep in today. <laughs> get in the bin. All right. <laughs> Packing peanuts, I love it. That's a great touch. All right, we've got another key card. Hey, why not? It's extra experience points. Save game, save game. So we're not here all day. I, I'm going to save Scun heavily today. And thanks to Peacock, we can do that in modes that we shouldn't be able to do that in. Right. There we go. Turn that radio off. Grab some Molto Bene uh, expired spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Here we go, just so they can bonk people in the head with it. Um, I mean, I said this was the fastest way of doing things, but it's not really. I mean, this is going to take a bit of time. Okay. Hi, buddy. Was hey. on. <laughs> right here. Oh, there we go. No one's seen me. This is good. Here we go. Get in the bin. Oy. Fantastic. All right, so there's that. I'll save again because uh, I've got to sneak past two dickheads here. But once we're past them, it, we're pr it's pretty much smooth sailing. Um, I just have to get into the... Oh, I just have to get into the... Uh, I believe it's... Yeah, he's all the way the fuck down here. All right. He is down in the ether lab. So getting down there should be all right. I'll get me baller out. Hmm. I wonder if I can distract these dickheads faster. Hmm. I can't blend in as a kitchen assistant because I'm not dressed like a kitchen assistant. <laughs> Damn. Well, there's that plant foiled, unfortunately. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, it's a waifu emoticon. I don't know which one it is, though. All right. Wow, they're like in perfect sync with each other. Once one goes over here, the other one goes over there. Right. Cameras. Let's get rid of this one. Bang. Here we go. Get ourselves a free brick over here. Just for good luck. <laughs> and save the game, because I don't want to wait around for that all day. Okay, so... Ether lab, ether lab. Can I go through here? Uh, yeah. Mini map says we're good. Okay. Oh, don't see me. Don't see me, waifu. I'm doing illegal shit. Right. Um. So, in order to get to the ether field lab, all we have to do is just head down here, and that's why I brought my hacking key for. There we go. Fuck your shit. Right. Hack the door, and we're in. There we go. Now, our enforcer boy is over here. Hmm. This is gonna be tricky. How are we going to get rid of him? Well, I do have a magic brick. I do have a brick. Here we go. Brick time. There we go. Like I said, probably won't do suit only, um, but I might just get my suit back anyway. Mm, yes, how am I going to do that? Well, first things first, grab a Biolab key card. A gun. Actually, you know what? I will just take his outfit just in case. I didn't say I was going to do this suit only, so yeah, there we go. Right. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Down we go, and let's get our knife, because we're going to need that. Oh, yeah. Hey, hang on. Grab this. Do -do -do -do. Hello, fellow guard. How are you doing? There we go. Just going to borrow you real quick. Don't see me. Don't see me. I'm just going to dump this guy into a bin. Maybe not one of the acid bins. Yeah, not the one on the right there. We don't want to melt his body down. There we go. There's only a few hypodermic needles down there, so he'll be fine. <laughs> it's just he just gets he gets a bit of AIDS. Where is my AIDS? He gets a bit. He gets a bit. I got so many fucking sound bites at this point. So many. There we go. Hey, 
eggs! I've got so many of them. Oh, so many of them. Yeah, just kill me, why not? Okay, so first things first, uh, we don't have to deal with any virus, and indeed if you destroy the virus on this level, I think it counts as a as a non-target kill. I'm not even 100% sure about that. Okay, um, I do have my knife. Um, oh wait, I don't, I didn't pick it up. Wait, I do have more uh, disposable scramblers. Fuck! <laughs> okay, so you do get, you do get a few. I've got, you do get three. All right, bullshit, bullshit. It's, 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 I thought you only got one. All right, where is, oh, there it is. Retrieve stabby thing. There we go, we've got our stabby thing. We can poison drinks and the like. Oh, there's another guy here. Hang on, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Hello. Can I do something about this? Maybe. Hang on. Uh, Malta Bene. Huh. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? There's a bunch of people. Oh no, he's an enforcer to my outfit. Humph. All right, we're gonna have to think of a plan B here. Um. Hmm. All right, we're gonna have to be a little bit more clever with this one. Oh boy. In before this uh, this series of six uh, assassinations takes like four hours to get done, and we don't even get anywhere near Freelancer again for another year. Now I'll find a time to stream Freelancer. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. What the fuck is this guy doing? Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I can't drop a stalactite on his head. Or a stalactite, rather. Stalactite is the ones on the ceilings, isn't it? What the fuck are you doing? Just fuck you. <laughs> he just does a little jig before he falls down. Good shit. Get in the bin. More hypodermic needles for you. Oh, I cut myself on one of the old beakers as well. Righto. So, uh, burp, 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 burp. Um, damn, this is going to be a pain in the neck. Just got to find a way of doing this. There's got to be a way to sort of isolate him somehow. He's over here. He is an enforcer. Yeah, he totally is, but only at certain distances. And only on Wednesdays. It's not Wednesday, though, so it should be fine. <laughs> Alright. Oh, fuck. Alright, now we're gonna have to find a way of doing this that doesn't suck. Um, alright. Let's just see where he goes for now. He just sort of does whatever he wants. At least the cameras don't give a shit about me. That's right. Where are you going? Where are you going, you piece of shit? Okay, hang on. He goes over here. wonder if I can... I should be able to do something. Hmm. I have an idea. It's probably not a good idea, but I'll give it- I'll give it a shot. Yeah. What was that? Okay, I got a plan. Okay. Oh, damn it, he's sending someone else here instead. Hmm, ugh, I need a plan B and I need it fast. There you go, nothing suspicious, we're all good. Could you think I could get away with stabbing him? No, that wouldn't work. <laughs> that wouldn't work at all. We're clear. Uh, yep, we're clear. <laughs> it's alright, there's, there's no rogue, rogue coins here. No free money for anyone, we're all good. Oh shit, oh he goes over here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, if he's going in there, shit, there's someone in there. God damn it, god damn it. Hang on, I might be able to still do this though. Uh, fuck's sake. Alright, let's see where he goes and see if we can do something about this. Oh yeah, he likes to sort of go around all over the place. Okay. Got a plan. Okay. Hey, scientist man, can you fuck off? Damn it! Damn it, scientist man, every time. Look at him just sitting there. What are you even doing? You're not even sciencing. <sighs> sake. Alright, that's it. Get the. Just choke that bitch out. There we go. <laughs> right, before someone gets in here, quick. Uh, get in there. Alright, fuck, now we have to wait for him to come over here. Alright, uh, don't know if we can poison anything, but you know, that's alright. And we can seal him in there if we want. We can put him anywhere, really. Another biolab key card. Ooh, free soda. Let's get a Dr. Pop. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I remember talking to this girl once. It was a while ago. And I was like, we were talking about stupid shit. Like, I, was, I can't remember what it was. I think I was talking about a South Park episode. Uh, I mentioned DP. And she was like, you know, oh, uh, you know, Dr. Pepper gets a bad rap. I'm like, um, that's not what DP means. <laughs> Bless her heart, she was uh, as innocent as they come. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what that means. <laughs> it means something else. Yay, free rat poison. It means something else. Um, uh, what the fuck? Okay. 
I do have a lighting mod, and I think it sort of plays havoc for when you m move into an area and get yeah, just like click, it just goes instantly dark. Right. Um. Shit. All right. I guess we could just wait. We can just be patient for now. Okay. Or I guess what I could do is. Oh my god. I got a new follower. I gotta find out who it is. <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. Who it is? Bionicai 008. Thank you very much for the follow. We greatly appreciate it. Enjoy the Molto Bene. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, that looked like it really hurt. Be sure to follow Give yeah, Gaming on other social media platforms. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. Thanks for following. <laughs> we promise. Bionicai 008. We promise we, we promise we won't store you in, in, in a locker after bapping you in the head with expired spaghetti sauce whilst you're drinking something. <laughs> Oh dear, but thank you for the follow, we greatly appreciate it. It's good times. It's good times, really. You've joined us at a weird time, we're doing the, uh, Sari Ovo 6, and that hopefully won't take eight hours. It probably won't, obviously. Don't know if we'll get any freelancer in today, but we will get the elusive targets in, hopefully. Hopefully I'll put a big dent in that one. I don't even know if I'll get all of those done today. But yes, we will be playing through as many of the elusive targets as we possibly can. And we'll be doing it via Peacock, because it's the only way you can do it. I don't think you can... I don't think the uh, any of the elusive targets are available right now. Oh wait, no, the Undying is. You can, if you're just playing on uh, consoles, you can play the Undying at the very least. Um, he's a, he's been a, he's available for a while, isn't he? Don't know about the rest of them, I should check the main menu for that. Um, but yes, uh, the Undying is here, ready to go. Um, let's see who else. I don't know. They're bringing. Yeah, uh, you can you can check the. Uh, that they finally decided to do uh, some more of those. Uh, some more of those uh, fucking uh, updates. I'm not sure I've seen you oh before. shit! You've not seen me. Not Fuck you! It's all right. He's the target. That's <laughs> my my, my silent assassin out. rating is fine. Get in the bin. <laughs> well, not quite how I wanted to take him down, but uh, it worked. <laughs> it worked. I'm fine with it. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's get my suit back and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Not exactly the most graceful assassination, but it works. <laughs> Still a silent assassin, so why not? Right, let's get me clothes back on. There we go. Fantastic. I mean, I can't say no to this outfit, surely. Now, I could blow a hole in the wall and escape through any other means, but you know what? Let's just steal a seaplane. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Always wanted one for Christmas. Let's go. Oh, don't spot me. There we go. Everything's fine. Yeah, I'll just borrow this. It's fine. Hey, bye. <laughs> hey, we did it. We eventually murdered someone and took a plane. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. All right. That's two down, four to go. Oh yes. Good shit. <laughs> what the fuck is this challenge? Shit, <laughs> whack people with a pipe. I don't know. I don't remember doing that one. I've done pretty much all the challenges that aren't freelancer ones. Oh dear. So there you go. World of Tomorrow, Enforcer, done. All right, grand, grand stuff, indeed. All right, let's move on to the extractor. Oh, no, it's in Marrakesh. Okay, well, at least it's not Colorado. That's that's always a good thing. <laughs> that's always a good thing. Always, uh, always be happy that it's not Colorado. That's what I always say. Oh, dear. Right, uh, so next up we have the extractor, a.k.a. Walter Menard. Oh, my God, Menard's reference, anybody? <laughs> what is this, Mystery Science Theater? Oh, get all of the shit that you could possibly want at Menards. Oh no, is Menards going to close down now we're getting rid of Walter? Oh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> this member of the Sarajevo the 6. Sarajevo 6 profile online now. He owns the Menards specialty stores. Menard, presently located in the North African city of Marrakesh. Oh dear. He's a veteran of the paramilitary Sigma unit, active during the Yugoslav War of the 90s. Oh. Interestingly, our research has uncovered a series of disappearances and massacres in the area where Sigma was operating. Mm. This may have some bearing on the contract, but we do not have full details at present. That's all right. I'll find more details along the way. Just you know, seduce, Your has been seduce a janitor, the tickle a security of guard. We'll get all the info. Hugo Strandberg. Oh. We believe Strandberg is currently attached as an advisor to General Zaydan in Marrakesh. So this is before the main mission, I guess? protesters in the streets and the city on the brink of a military coup. Hmm. You should have cover to operate relatively freely. Huh. Okay. Oh, he's a runner. I okay. I need you to prepare. Good hmm. luck. Okay. This could be slightly irritating, but nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. Alright. Bloody hell. Let's go. 
No love for Epic, but I saw the Doki Bird got her Fortnite account back from Niji. I, th I think I know what those words mean. Oh, trendy tourist suit. Yeah, I might, might as well use that. Why not? Um, okay. Uh, I don't remember this one at all. Uh, yeah, I really don't remember this one. Should we just should we just use the, the briefcase technique? Do you think that's a good idea? I think that's a good idea. Let's just briefcase this. <laughs> it's cheap, but it works. I added this one, trying to find the damn sword. The sword? Which sword? Oh yeah, I forgot, the, I forgot I got the blue Easter egg. So this is an interesting item. It's uh, it's from the uh, the Easter uh, Berlin Easter egg hunt challenge thing. Uh, blue Easter egg. Uh, this uh, egg emits a, cl uh, emits a cloud of tranquilizing gas. I think it's the first of its kind too, because pretty much all the sedative stuff is like, like you got Bubble Queen, which basically is just, you know, you drop some gum on the ground. And they're like, uh, ooh, gum, I'll eat that, and then they fall unconscious. This one actually explodes on contact. So it's kind of like, kind of like the emetic gas grenades. Um, only it's, it's, you know, it's, it's fine because you're just chucking an egg. I guess it could have some use, I don't know. It's not been around long enough, so it, I don't know if anyone's really thought of any real strategies with it. But yeah, I can imagine it, it could cause some problems. Alright, let me think of what I could use here. Um... I don't know, I don't remember this at all. Um, do I even want to start at the bazaar? Um, I could st start in the school. <laughs> um, I could start the lamp store roof as well. I um, don't know if any of this is strictly all that useful to me. Start the school alley? Oh my god, without an outfit, without a disguise or anything. Um, yeah, that might be a bit of a pain in the ass. It depends where he starts, I guess. Um, General, I can't go wrong with a jab of poison to the grundle, I guess. Um, so, okay, we'll try that. We'll try that. Um, yeah, ancestral pistol is fine. Well, I guess we could just scout the area and see how this goes for now. I had to kill the target with a ceremonial sword that was on the roof of the building next door. <laughs> oh my god, yes. That ceremonial sword, hard one to find. Oh dear. Oh. And, yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's see where he shows up. That would be very handy to know, I think. Uh, to Marrakesh, 47. Where the fuck is he? The situation oh, here he is. The has deteriorated, hmm. and the coup is now okay. I have recent intercepts placing the he is at the school. school yeah, no, he is at the school. All right, right. Good hunting, 47. All right, I'll see what I can do. I really like this suit. They, they basically oh, yeah. made this uh, from the uh, the cutscene. After the end of uh, which mission was it? I think it was, I think it was uh, the the mission in Dubai, the first one in Hitman Three. They just decided, ah, fuck it, yeah, you can have this suit, even though it was never shown in game at all. Oh yeah, I just bought the principal in the head as well while I'm at it. <laughs> Why not? Come here, buddy. <laughs> That's all right. I love in Hitman Two they added the uh, the little drops of blood of your whack summon in the head. In Hitman Season One, uh, that wasn't the case. I mean, it certainly makes sense. <laughs> it's just a little bit of blood if you bop someone in the head with a wrench. Oh dear. I kind of miss the old days of uh, Hitman blood money where it's like, if you get a hammer, it's like, nah, this can be a lethal weapon. <laughs> a hammer to the head generally should be a lethal hit. Alright, what are we going to do? Oh no, you didn't see anything. Okay. This guy's hanging out in the school. Is he going to stay in the school? I hope he does. Why don't you, you learn yourself something. Right, um... Right, first things first, let us get ourselves an outfit. Oh, and we can use this, the, oh, the headmaster's key with that. Hey, friend. Yo. There we go. Let's just hide the gun just in case. Grab our lovely bonky item as well. And I'll just drag this dickhead over here just in case he gets seen through the window. I don't think he ever does, but just in case. Just in case. There we go. I'll just borrow your outfit here. Hey, you you're doing great. You are doing just fan dabby dozy now. Hmm. Uh. Well, I got this key. Uh, let's see. So he's upstairs. I wonder if I can get an officer's disguise. Might come in handy. I might be able to do this. Oh, hello. <laughs> right. I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. I could put some rat poison in his drink. That might work too. I don't want him dead. Not necessarily. Uh. Let's hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not the brick. Let's get this guy. Here we go, and then... There we go. wonder if this works. Don't bring one of the other guys here, pl uh, guys here please. Uh, toy tank. Okay, thank god, it is this guy. 
Okay, I'm gonna bop this guy with a plastic tank. Somehow this works for knocking him out. I don't know how. Dude, 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 dude. Uh, better save just in case this goes sour. <laughs> I don't want to have to come back here again. Okay, here we go. Game saved. Tank. Oh! <laughs> tank uh, works. Oh, don't look over here, please. Oh, shit. Uh, you know what? Plan B, plan B, plan B. Uh, oh, wait, no. He's oh, he's going over here. Okay, that actually works. Okay. Um, shit. Uh, but this guy's coming over here. Hmm. Don't have a lot of options here, so for now... I'll at least get this guy out of the way. There we go. We can make this work. Um, we can make this work. Just stay behind him at all times. There we go. Wait for this fucker to walk away, just in case. Come on, fuck off. God damn it. Go away. <laughs> Please. Certainly tank that toy. Oh my god, no, he's an enforcer. Fuck. All right, great. <laughs> that fucker does his job just a bit too well. Oh, that autosave is actually better than this save. Because I saved just before bonking him, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I did. Hang on, the autosave. For once, the autosave is better than the manual save. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a rarity. Holy shit, that is a rarity. Does not happen often. I mean, fuck, they hardly ever autosave in a, uh, oh, in a good place anyway. Hang on, let's, uh, let's just bring him over here. This is a better place. There we go. Why not even bring him here? Ah, oh, damn it. It's just this guy. All right. Can I get away with whacking this guy while this person is here? No, not really. Oh, body found. What do you mean, body found? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Okay, I take it back. Autosave suck. <laughs> the autosave was before I stuffed this guy in the bin, <laughs> but after I bonked him with the tank. Good God. All right. There we go. Fuck's sake. All right. Get in the bin. Jesus Christ, this game. I love it. All right, save that, please. Ah, oh, Christ. There we go. All right, we're doing good again. Right. Get a bonky thing ready to go. Um, here we go. You know what? I might just... Fuck you. Oop. Fuck you. Oop. Thank you. Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Everything's okay. Silent takedown. Yep, don't see me put him in the bin. Definitely don't see me putting his clothes on. I promise this is all above board. <laughs> he asked he asked me if I could do this to him. It's his thing. Just just don't ask questions. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna fucking get him out of here. Can I do that? Yeah, I can tell him I'm totally gonna get rid of him. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> now that I'm 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 important, I can get these people to go away. Huh? Hey, would you mind taking a few steps back? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I got the language uh pack as well, didn't I? Oh my god, so yeah, I also got- I forgot about that mod, so okay, there's a mod that, uh... There's a mod that actually adds appropriate accents to people, so not everyone is American anymore, it's great. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. There we go. Uh, oh. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. No, oh, that one said it. <laughs> that one said it. Hello. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Me too. That's cool. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I guess that's unique dialogue, yeah, so yeah, that's gonna be in that uh, accent anyway. And of course, because the game has different voice packs for some regions of the game, like uh, Hokkaido is just all Japanese, you can keep, like, English-Japanese uh, accents if you want with this mod, or you can just outright just add the J Japanese language files to the game so everyone actually speaks Japanese, which is what I've opted for. Because uh, waifu country represent, <laughs> even though, I'm, even though I'm not Japanese, but still, I mean, you know, I should be. <laughs> oh fuck off, you dickhead! Yeah, fuck you, Zayden. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Don't you love it when they come down the stairs just when you're about to fucking walk up there? Typical. That's just fucking typical. <laughs> All right, we'll try that again. I want to go to Menards. Okay, and also let's get rid of him. So if you walk into him, he'll have a Moroccan accent. So if we go, whoop, hello. Eh. Eh. No, I guess that doesn't work. All right. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. There we go. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm American right now. Oh. Come on. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. There we go. <laughs> I do want to head upstairs, though, because that's, well, A, that's where our target is, and B, because uh, we can get a key for our, uh, our specific exit. General Satan's order. There we go. Speaking of Zayden. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, 
Thank you, sir. There we go. We've got to keep an eye on him. There's also another officer up here who will be an enforcer to our disguise. Whoa, my God. He's very good at spotting that I'm not one of them. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's only a handful of us here, and you are not one of us special people. All right. I'm just here for the army truck keys. There we go. You don't need them. You're not going anywhere. It's fine. Right. Army truck keys acquired. Uh, this should be relatively simple, actually. Is he an enforcer to my outfit? No, he totally isn't. Hello. How's it going? Well, this is fucking easy. All right, cool. Hang on. Let me just, uh, let me just give you a jab. And we're done. All right. There we go. <laughs> well, shit. That was easy. All right. Fantastic. All I need to do is just go outside, get my outfit, and uh, we're good. Um, bloody hell. <laughs> Yeah, not difficult at all, really. I should have just started here. There is a starting location where you can just start here, but I'm fine with it. All right, we got the keys, so we can just we can just leave. This is good. Remember when I streamed this, I fucked up one of the hits on this map so bad. <laughs> oh dear, you can kill both of them in one uh, in one fell swoop, actually, if you if you're lucky. There's a couple of ways you can do that. There we go, and there's our escape. Done. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I remember that being a bit more difficult than it was. <laughs> he certainly tanked that toy. Ah! <laughs> Me likey. Hang on. Oh, where's the thing? Me likey puns. Oh, okay. We've ruined Menards forever. <laughs> Sorry, Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> we ruined Menards. Okay, so there's that. Good shit. Uh, yeah, everything's good. Right, next target. Uh, we're halfway through this then. Uh, we have to kill the veteran up next in Bangkok. Who's ready to bang some cocks? I know I am. Alrighty, let's go. Oh god, we have to go to Colorado after this. Uh, fuck. Alright. Now, this guy looks like he's going to be out in the open a lot, so... Mm, could be okay. Alright, well, let's get, a, let's get a bio on him at least. Connecting. Connected. Oh my god, thanks. Yeah, restart it. Why not? Fuck Colorado. Oh, it's Good kind of it's kind of tough. Oh. Welcome to Bangkok. I have the fourth hmm. profile available now. Your right target here. is John Stubbs, a retired mercenary and former member of Sigma. He is on holiday in Bangkok with okay. his wife. But our background information Sigma, she more was like Smegma. Past. The contract oh. stipulates no actions with regard to her, so proceed at your discretion. Okay. Possible destruction of wife. No longer active, having retired with a substantial fortune in offshore bank accounts. Hmm. Okay. Our intelligence has Got been unable to turn money. up the source of this wealth, only that it is substantial enough to provide the target with a life of luxury. Hmm. All right. Hotel records indicate they will remain here for at least a week. A week. That gives me a lot of time. One of the VIP is in residence. So expect oh. a heightened security presence. Damn you, Jordan. All right. I'll leave you to prepare. Unfortunately, you're not my target today, you prat. <laughs> okay. All right. So possible waifu destruction. Oh my god. If we can break into the, into his room, that could work out just fine. All right. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. I'll follow him around a bit. Maybe I can poison the shit out of him. I might bring my poison dagger with me as uh, again, just in case. We'll see how this goes. All right, um, let's get a different suit on as well. What should I wear? Oh, Added how about- new quote from Imagination hey. <laughs> Artist with ID number 184. <laughs> oh, what's this one going to be? I have no ready idea. to bang some cocks? Uh, I know I am. <laughs> by Imagination yeah, right Artist, August 4th, 2024. Oh, hey, let's, let's, let's try the Greek fire suit. Now, this was actually a suit you can unlock, um, with, uh, from the, uh, elusive target, uh, The Drop, I think he was called? He's gone now, but he might, they might bring him back. So, yeah, pretty decent suit for this map, I would say. Now, let me think. Uh, yeah, dagger. Let's just dagger it up. But in case there's anything else to... Oh, yeah, you know what? I've got some plans. Let's... You know what? Fuck the dagger. Let's go for the emetic gas grenade. Now, there's two different types. There's Guru's emetic grenade. There's an emetic gas grenade there. These are fine. You just drop them, and then they explode. This one's probably better, I would say. It's an unusual looking emetic gas grenade. The active ingredient is a poison frog prepared and suspended in preservative fluid. What they don't tell you though is that unlike the other uh, uh, emetic gas grenades, this one breaks on on contact. So once you've thrown it, it will break instantly instead of dropping on the ground and detonating after a little bit. Uh, it's also not an illegal item like the emetic grenade is. 
And I'm pretty sure Guru's Emetic Grenade is an illegal item as well. This one's not illegal, um, and also as a nice third bonus, uh, it's got a massive, massive fucking cloud of effect. So, yeah, you really can't miss with this one. Uh, it's great. Just, uh, and I don't even think you can throw it at their head, so it's even, it may even have a fourth bonus to it, in that these two will lock onto someone's head and you might accidentally knock someone out. And that completely negates the whole point of it, but I think this one, I don't think you can throw it at someone's head. Because we know how finicky the lock-on is in this game. You can just chuck this at their feet and they'll be like, Oh, oh, no, alright, I'm gonna start vomiting up blood now. Um, so yeah, I'll bring that with me. Might even, it might even make waifu, uh, nearby waifu vomit as well, so that's good. <laughs> Hooray for bulimia, forced bulimia. Technically that's right, but not really. All right, welcome to Bangkok. Um, yeah, looking pretty good with the new lighting. Yeah, I like how it looks. Yeah, pretty good. Welcome All right. to Bangkok. This is my lovely new suit. It's pretty the good. The target and his wife arrived earlier today. All right. The hotel records indicate they will remain here for at least a week. Okay. One other VIP is in residence, so expect a heightened security presence. Hmm. Well, there's this guy on his own for starters. I wonder if I drop- can I just drop it and it breaks? Let's see. No, okay, that doesn't work. That would be too easy. But as you can see, it doesn't lock onto their head, so you don't knock them out when you throw it. So you can just go loop de doop de doop Oh, no, but it is a bit suspicious to throw it, unfortunately, so we have to be a bit more stealthy than that. Yeah, I guess that would be too easy if you just, like, walk up to someone and go, whoop, there you go, start vomiting, dickhead. <laughs> that would be a bit too easy. But, uh, we will have other opportunities, I think. Hmm... Did I show off the Easter egg with the cro with the elephants crying blood? I think I did. <laughs> right, I will drop a save here, I might as well. Um, so we don't have to watch the opening again. Right, how best to deal with this dickhead? It's gonna be tricky, but we'll find a way. Okay, don't really care if Waifu starts vomiting as well. Hopefully they don't go for the bin. Because that's one of the- I mean, they should just outright remove the, uh, the NPCs vomiting in bins, because it's just really irritating. You're like, why would you ever want them to vomit in a bin? Oh, this looks like a great place to chuck this, actually. Whoop! What the- Bruh. Oh, God. Okay, didn't seem to get waifu, so that's good. Even though, as you just saw, it's a massive cloud, so it's actually really effective. It also- Bursts on impact, so, so, you know, very handy. And you can't lock onto their heads. So, I mean, it's just it's just the best Emetic Grenade in the game. I've, I don't, I've forgotten how you unlock all of this stuff. I mean, it's been a long time. But if you can get that thing, uh, get it, because it's bloody useful. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily as useful as using the uh, the briefcase Emetic, uh, emetic uh, Explosive Trick. I don't know if it's as good as that, but it's close, I imagine. But, I don't know. I'm surprised IO hasn't patched that out. <laughs> they like patching out things that are useful and kind of break the game, but then again, I mean, emetic gas is already kind of broken anyway. Okay. Hey there, buddy. I'll hold your hair back so you don't get it all over your shoes. Oh, why are you in here? Oh, you're gonna come in here as well, are you? Alright, hang on. Oh, God, even the door's locked. Alright, how, how do we do this? How do we do this? Okay, I've got a plan. It's not a great plan, but it's a plan. Knock out waifu. Drown dickhead. Shit. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Yay, vomiting up rainbows. Yay, drowning him in his own vomit. This is good. Now, because this was a quote unquote accident, the I'm just going to leave him there. But there should be a storage container in the next bathroom for the waifu. So let's pop her in. Yeah, there we go. Well, that was easy. Get in there. All right. <laughs> and there you go. That was easy. That was very easy. So long, dickhead. <laughs> totally an accident. Looks like an accident to me. He just fell in and drowned. I can believe it. Why not? <laughs> to yes, totally an accident. The homing briefcase. Oh, yeah. If I've got time today, I'll, I'll totally do that. Best way of uh, utilizing that is uh, using against uh, Stephen Bradley on Haven Island. Just chuck it at him while he's jet skiing around. The briefcase is so slow that it can't keep up with him while he's jet skiing. But then when he stops, it eventually catches up to him and just kills him. It's great. There we go. Well, that was... that was good. I'm good with that. So long, suckers. I don't even know if this is my boat or not. It's mine now. <laughs> bye bye Alright. 
We are doing well. We've only got two of these dickheads left, and it's... Uh, yeah, we've been streaming for about an hour, so that's... Yeah, that's not bad for time, I guess. Righto. Oh, is this where you unlock the Agent 47 from the original game suit? I didn't even show that off. I should do that. There we go. Oh, yeah, I could do that if I... Yeah, we can do that with the briefcase, maybe, just to fuck around. Okay. Oh, God. All right. Next up is Colorado. We have to deal with the mercenary next. Brilliant. Brilliant. No, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to feel pain. I might briefcase the fuck out of this guy. I might do that. Patrick Morgan. Okay. Uh, yeah, hang on. Let's have a look at that suit. Is it under classic or is it under... What's it under? Oh, there's the purple streak. Yeah, I unlocked that. That's a Twitch. The special Twitch suit. And then there's the purple remote uh, rubber ducky. Uh, meanwhile, you got the black streak. What are you, is that the PC one? An exclusive white suit featuring charcoal black... Perfect for most occasions. Oh, no, I remember. The white sunset suit is... Uh, yeah, that was with a... Uh, that was with an Escalation uh, pack that came out recently. The black streak is for people who play on PC. The, and then there's the green streak if you play on Xbox. There's the orange streak if you play on uh, Google Stadia. <laughs> Can't get that one anymore for obvious reasons. Uh, and the blue one on PlayStation. I quite like the black streak. And the purple one's quite nice too. So there's there's some exclusive ones. I mean, if you if you if you're playing on PC, you get that one. Uh, you can get the the white sunset, so you can get that one uh, if you just play the escalation. But uh, can't get the pur purple streak anymore. I don't think. I'm pretty sure that's no longer an option. Sadly. Uh, let me have a look. Formal. Oh, it might be themed. Is it themed? Maybe. Uh, oh yeah, totally is. There you go, the game, code name 47 suit. Be the original fashion of yesterday always comes back in style. The perfect suit for when you need to use the bathroom. <laughs> Although, you know what's really irritating? If you wear this suit and you try to do the Easter egg in Hokkaido where he actually does say it, doesn't work. It doesn't work. That is so bullshit because apparently it doesn't count as an actual uh, classic suit. If you wear uh, any of the uh, original classic suits, you can do that Easter egg. But for whatever reason, doesn't work with this one. I don't know. Bit sad, really, because, I mean, that's the best opportunity to do that Easter egg, you would think. Alright. Um, what suit will I use, then? I guess I'll just use the standard one. Uh, tactical gear. Tactical, but with a hat. He's got a new hat. Right. Uh, how will I do this, then? You know what? I think I will go for the... Em remote emetic gas grenade in the briefcase. <laughs> it's cheap, but it works. Let's do it. Oh dear, let's do it. I believe in my ability to do things the easy way. All right, let's go. And I'll, you know, I'll make it remotely difficult by starting here in this location instead of in a, in another Welcome area. Welcome to Colorado. 47. Welcome to Colorado. I can confirm that the target is on site. Right here. Everything points to him expecting an assassination, and several okay. groups of militia members appear to be on high alert. Oh dear. Exercise extreme caution. Forty-seven. Right. Well, I'll grab a coin for now. Now, the trick to doing this, if you don't know, is you retrieve your emetic gas uh, device from here, and this is basically uh, it's basically a uh, a vomit. A, a uh, vomit mine, basically, is what it is. You place it somewhere, you push the trigger, and then, bro, oh, you get a cloud of gas, and they start vomiting. However, uh, it's I guess it's technically a glitch. People found out that if you put the remote emetic gas device back in again, into the briefcase, it turns into a little portable fart bomb. It's great. You got to take it out and put it back in first, though, because uh, it does, you don't get the uh, you don't get the the little uh, detonator unless you do it. So uh, you got to take it out first. Once you've done that, though, I mean, you know, you've basically got a portable uh, gas device here that doesn't arouse any suspicion at all, so it's really quite useful. <laughs> and I will be using it just in case this one target causes particular problems. I mean, it's Colorado, so the expectation is uh, something terrible might happen. You also get a briefcase with you at the start, so I mean, why not? Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn it back on. That might arouse suspicion. That's all right. Anyway, oh, let's get you in here before we get spotted. This place is a hostile area. This entire map is a hostile area to your uh, to your starting disguise. I remember when they first announced that for before they released this uh, this uh, particular map because if you remember it was episodic back in the first Hitman season. What a great fucking. I mean, that's the thing. I didn't even really hate the uh, the episodic release uh, schedule for this for this game. They actually made it work. 
Um, but yeah, originally it was like, okay, Colorado, there you go, it's coming out now. Wait a minute, he's jumping through windows and shit. Um, originally it was, it was not such a big deal. But there were some things that were, kind of didn't work for it. Looks like the old WWE Undertaker outfit. Oh yeah, it kind of does, with the hat and all. Oh, don't worry, we'll take it back again. Uh, what was I saying? Something about the... I can't remember now. Something about the first map? The first, the first game's map? Okay, I will join my team. Let's get a better outfit. Let's get a VIP outfit. AKA a, uh, Elite Guards outfit. Here we go. And you can just barely get away with putting this on. Even though these guys are looking right at you. There we go, everything's fine. Right, so here's our target. Oh god, he's an enforcer to everything. Yeah, this is gonna be, uh... It's gonna be unpleasant. Um... Mm, okay. It's gonna be unpleasant. Um... I'll figure it out. We'll think of a way. In the meantime, let's get into the basement. Break in there and find some things. You know what? We can, we can find some things. Because we've got... Up here is a teddy bear with a lethal syringe in it for some reason, so... Why not? Um... There we go, and we'll just have a look around. Oh, what now? Who are you? Who even the fuck are you? Hang on. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, sure, that works too. Alright, gotta restart that one. <laughs> Hang on, wait, is there an autosave? No, we can never be that lucky, can we? Oh, boy! You can never be that lucky. Um, but Welcome yes. To Colorado, 47. I can't even I can remember what I was talking about, referring to the, the first, uh, the first season. Oh yeah, the episodic release schedule. So yeah, they didn't even really... I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say... Oh god, I wouldn't even say that it was bad. It was very clearly something that, uh, because, you know, remember season one, they were under the, the heel of, uh, Square Enix, because they still owned the Hitman, uh, franchise at that point. Um, so they definitely said, like, oh, make it episodic so you can make, like, a ton of money from it. Um... And credit where credit's due, I was like, okay, we can actually make this game work with a, an episodic release schedule. We can kind of actually make that work. And they really did. I mean, like, they released, like, a, a map would be released, and then you'd be like, okay. Alright, there's, like, a shit ton of things, like, you know, endlessly replayable maps. There's a shit ton of things to do, a whole lot of challenges and unlocks to get. And... Yeah, like that that one, like, it was like a month in between the release of the episodes, and it's like, yeah, you know what, that's just long enough to give you, like, time to unlock all the shit, get all the challenges done, and then by the time, more or less, by the time- Oh my god, did I not get the outfit? I didn't, I forgot to put the fucking disguise on. <laughs> that's not a good idea. Oh yeah, that's not a good idea at all. Alright. But, like, around about the time they'd release another map, it's like, yeah, I've done everything on that previous map. Welcome to so, it, in terms of, like, forced episodic release uh, schemes for the... I mean, this game actually did all right with it. They actually said, you know what, we can make that work, and they did. But, of course, you know, second game, third game, they didn't have that, so... And I would say, because of the I, I would say because they dropped the episodic release schedule, it, it was kind of a bit overwhelming, all the challenges that you could, you had to get done. Once uh, the second game dropped, it's like, okay, it's great, I can play the whole game in one sitting here, but there's a lot of shit to do. <laughs> oh, it really, and it also really didn't help that uh, when the second season came out, they didn't actually transfer your, uh, your, uh, your, your, your accomplishments from the first season across. They did that for the third game, so thank you. Thank you for that IO Interactive, for figuring out a way of transferring all your progress. Because, yeah, I was one of those motherfuckers that did Season 1 all over again in, hit, in Season 2. Yeah, I did that. Of course I did it. You think I was going to go through Season 2 without my Krugermeyer? Yeah, you're fucking mental. <laughs> fucking mental if you think I wasn't going to do that. Right. Oh, boy. Let's get going and let's not fuck up this time. Bloody hell. Oh boy, I really shot the bed. I just, I'm, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to accomplish this though. It's going to be pretty rough. Because um, it seems like all outfits he's an enforcer to. There we go. Hello. <laughs> what the hell is this guy doing? Okay, let's go over here, get some things. Uh, I'm allowed to have a gun out. All of the, uh, it, it should be said that I think pretty much every disguise on this map is allowed to carry a gun. Even the cook is allowed to carry the gun. You amber heard that one. 
Oh my god, these people. Oh my god, no, that this is a trespassing area as well. What do I do? Ooh, okay, this is this is gonna be a fucking train wreck. Oh god, don't walk over here. Alright. You know what's a good idea? Saving your game underneath a suspended car. That's a great idea. <laughs> this is my preferred way of getting rid of um uh oh what's her name? Uh on the on the normal uh on the normal version of the Colorado map. Um Maya Pavati, yeah, that's who it is. Yeah, the one, the, the one with the, with the, with the, with the uh, bionic arm. Or I think it's just a hook hand. It's nothing. There's nothing really all that special to it. Um, but yeah, you can drop a car on her, but it just requires a lot of work. What the fuck? Me, sir, but you're not on my list, so Why is everyone looking at me? Fuck off! Oh my god, what is going on? What is this AI? Um, why are they following me? Oh my god. Okay, no. All right. So they're all enforcers as well, that's an issue. Um, okay, if they're all going to be enforcers, then what am I supposed to do? Have they all buggered off yet? Yeah, I think so. Go back to the guy you're supposed to be guarding. What? Oh, why does this have to be like this? Why does it have to be like this? Oh, they decided to make the Colorado one uh, overly difficult, didn't they? Alright. That's fine. Alright, let's at the very least get one of these outfits on so that we can then go into the house. Okay, that's a start. Uh -huh. I wonder if any outfits are not going to get oh, get me in trouble with those enforcers. I wonder. I guess I could check, but then again, I could also just not bother. <laughs> because we could be here all day doing that. Did I even get the... Hang on. Uh, yeah, I did. I got the emetic gas grenade outside of this. Which is what we wanted. Now... Uh, hmm... I want to take out the cameras first. Uh, hmm. I'm going to wait for this nerd to bugger off. They're having a conversation, unfortunately. So let's just chill here, chill out here for now. And I'm pretty sure our target just walks back and forth outside and nothing really of interest happens here. Which uh, definitely makes for an interesting target. I'm being sarcastic. Um, hmm. How is this going to work? See, now I wish I'd brought the... Um, the is it the taser? Or is it the... I forgot which item it is. There's there's a really handy little item that's good for uh, shorting out cameras and shit. It's very handy. Oh, yes, and they have updated this uh, this game. They brought back the uh, the ability to throw shit at cameras and break them that way, uh, which is something that was in Season 1, and then they took it out for some reason. Well, they brought it back. They brought it back. I wonder if I can distract this guy by shooting over here. What the fuck was that? Oh, don't see me. I just I just shot the camera. Right, there we go. Cameras are out, so we can go wherever we want. Everyone's on, on a bit of an alert, but that's fine. Oh, God, there he is. Okay, so, um... Uh, you know what? Maybe this isn't the best tool to use in this particular case. And I really hate the AI of the guards that follow you everywhere. And this is going to lock on and... Oh, God, all right. There we go. Oh, are you going to see me? Hang on a sec. Don't throw it at him, though. There we go. Just chuck it. There we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is so not going to work. I'm probably going to have to restart this one. Oh, that's it. Yeah, come over here. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. And boop. There we go. Did that actually work? Did that... Oh, it worked! Yes! Fuck you! Yeah. I'm going to save that. We actually managed it. Okay. So he walked past my briefcase. Now he's feeling a bit sick. His friends are probably going to follow him, but at least you'll notice that now he's no longer an enforcer f uh, for us anymore. Because when people feel sick, they just completely lose their AI altogether. Briefcase stashed. I'm fine with that. Their AI completely changes when they when they're feeling sick. They an enforcer is no longer an enforcer. You can be in an, in a trespassing area, and they're like, I don't care. I got a vomit. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. What's that? An intruder wearing a fucking flamingo outfit? I don't care. Don't care. Blowing chunks here. <laughs> the EMP device? Yeah, the EMP device is handier than it might sound at first. Like, you might think, okay, it only takes out, like, cameras and hard drives. Like, I don't give a shit. But you would actually be surprised how valuable it can be. Now, I don't like these guys' AI at all. I don't like them at all. It's really kind of tricky to get around them. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Okay. Oh, there's got to be a way to do this. I'm going to try this out and see if it works. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is, why is he always followed by his friends? Doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, hello. Yeah, don't be an enforcer. Oh, I can't even drown him. Shit, if I had poison, though, this would be great. How the fuck are you even supposed to do this? Okay. You know what? Plan B. I have an idea. Hmm. I have an idea. It might not be a good idea. It might not get me a silent assassin. I'm going to try a different approach. I'm just thinking about it, though. I will at least have to replan the mission. And instead of starting at the at this location and wasting time, um Right, let me think about this. How's the best way to do this? Okay, we'll start undercover here. Um how am I gonna do this? Is the there's the EMP device, sure. Hmm. Actually, you know, the EMP device might be a good idea for this, actually. <laughs> Hang on. Um, because I got a plan. Remote EMP charge. A remote EMP charge sends out a small EMP charge that can interfere with nearby electronics. Uh, sure, it does that, but it does so much more. <laughs> it does so much more. So, we're going to use it because there's a very good reason for it. It's not an illegal item, um, and it can also do something else. Hopefully this works. If there's collateral damage, I guess I don't really give Welcome a shit. <laughs> I would like to do all these things, Silent the Assassin, but I uh, don't think that's going to happen today. An right, and so there's the target. The to Wait a minute, does he walk over a puddle? Caution, he walks over a puddle, does he? I don't know. I might be able to... Can I puddle this? I, might be, I mean, oh, he's got all his friends as well, so probably not, no. Hmm. Okay, well, okay. Well, let's just... Let's just try what I'm... What I'm actually thinking of doing first, and that is find a propane tank. And if you throw it, it will start spewing out propane everywhere. Propane and propane accessories. And, most importantly, using the EMP device, you can actually covertly explode the fuck out of it. It's great. So, I'm actually going to make use of the EMP device. Hmm, I'm just trying to think if it'll work or not, because these guys, I don't know. It depends if the explosion is small enough. I think we might be able to get away with this. Hmm, yeah, this is going to be tough. It's not an illegal device, is it? No, it's like, it's the most innocent goddamn thing, even though it doesn't look like it is. So, okay, I now got to remember, where's the propane tank on this map? Propane tank. Uh, I can't remember where you get propane tanks. Because uh, unfortunately, a fire extinguisher is not going to cut it anymore. It used to be, used to be a viable option in season one and maybe even season two, but now they just they just don't do enough damage anymore, so that doesn't work. So I'll have to think of something else instead. All right. What the fuck was that? Oh shit. Right, I'll save game just in case I get spotted on the way out. Right, so let's try propane flask. Or propane tank. Uh, although I have to remember where it is first. Propane tank. Um, propane tank. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I really hate these guys. Why do they fucking follow you everywhere? As soon as they see you, they just make a beeline to you and I have no idea why. <laughs> I really hate those guys. Who thought that AI was a good idea? Oh no! Red leader. <laughs> Red leader. This is gold leader. Someone's fucked up the security camera footage here. That is not okay. Um, alright, propane tank. Where the fuck are they? Um... Well, okay, if I were a propane tank, where would I hide? I would probably hide... Uh, is he gonna walk over here? Do you think he might? Okay. I'll keep an eye on him, we'll see what happens. We might be able to just taser the fuck out of him that way. Right, propane tank, propane tank. Where the fuck are they on this map? You would think there'd be one in here. Um. Uh, that's a big fat goose egg. All right. Ah, uh, damn it. Propane tank. Where would one of those be on this map? Propane. Mm, okay. One over here? No. Got to use instinct mode to make them appear a bit more. Oh, a bit more prominently against the background. Probably. Oh, hang on. Maybe in. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, can I get away with this? Might be able to. Yeah, there we go. Come on, propane tank. Where the fuck are you? Jesus, you'd think they'd be everywhere in a place like this, but no. All right. Um. Okay. Oh, I know. Propane tank in kitchen area. That that's got to be it, right? Hey, no fire extinguisher. Okay. Uh, 
Come on. Propane tank. There's got to be one. He's cooking here. He's cooking. What the fuck? All right. Propane tank. Not here. Oh, hang on. Is that one? No. All right. Ah, oh, come on. Where are all the propane tanks here? I, I always forget what they are. I don't use them often. Um. Uh, uh, oh, my God. You're... You're a hitman, Joe. What happened? Oh, long story. Long story. Uh, look, I owe the cartel some, some, some blood money. I, you know, it's one thing led to another with one of the, with, with the daughter of a cartel leader. You know, had to hide her body. They found out. I owe money and shit now. And it's, it's crazy. Well, it's, it's just, it's just a thing now. <laughs> it's just what I do. But hello, Gooning Overlord. How are you doing? You joined us at a, an irritating time. I'm trying to find a propane and propane accessories tank. Oh, I think I know where one is. But while I'm here, quad bike. Why not? Get the keys to the quad bike. And save game. Why not? Um, um, uh, I think I know where the propane tank is now. Maybe. Possibly. is... There's, I think there's one in here. I think maybe. Uh, oh, well, no, not here. <laughs> God damn it! Where the hell is the propane flask? Uh, rat poison. God damn it! All right. Where is this propane tank? I haven't seen a single one of them on this map. Why not? <laughs> Where's the propane tanks at? Hank Hill would fucking hate this map. Just shot the person. <laughs> I mean, I could, but, uh, I want to be a bit more subtle than that. You guys got any propane tanks here? Oh, what's this? Ooh, a perimeter gate key. Don't mind if I do. Um, propane tank, pro I Don't make me break out hit maps. A sticky situation involving Joe's and waifu and industrial-sized jar of peanut butter, I know. So, long story short, the cartel, uh, has asked me to murder the fuck out of a bunch of people. It's, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird how it works out. Fuck, I hate Colorado. <laughs> Can I hate this map any more than I currently do? The answer is likely yes, actually. Jesus Christ. A map like this, you would think there'd be pro propane tanks everywhere. Increased recently. And yet not a single bloody one of them. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I'm going to go down here. Is this all right? Yeah. Have I got the... Okay, maybe I can get away with this. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. That's all well and good. Oh, there's got to be a propane tank down here, surely. Come on. What the fuck? <laughs> all right. See, look, you can go down the basement. You can pick up a modern lethal syringe from a teddy bear. You can do that, but no propane tanks. Are you fucking serious? <sighs> oh, God. Oh, God. It's been an hour and a half. That's all right. That's all right. I started an hour early, so, I mean, we can go on for ages if we want. Okay. Oh, another kitchen. Another kitchen. Any propane in here? You have got to be fucking kidding me. Are you serious? Okay, we're in the storage bit. Yeah, he's taking inventory with the with the uh, with the rat poison. That's great and all. Ooh, a free a, be a free bathroom hammer. That's my favorite kind. Uh oh shit, that's an enforcer. Oh for Christ's sake. You don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Oh, you're right. I don't. Right, propane tank. Fucking hell. Uh, they put a radio in the shed, but not a propane tank. Seriously, what the fuck is going on here? I'm gonna have to break out hit maps at this point. At this point, I have no idea where the fuck they're keeping these things. Could be anywhere. Hang on, let's just open this up. Hope nobody sees me. You got a propane tank in here? No, you got one of the big, big old, big old splody ones here. But I want a portable one. Okay. Oh, grab some poison and shit. Good, but not great. All right, fine. I'll look up hit, hit maps then. Good God. All right. Hit maps. I haven't been to it in quite some time. Righty -o. Uh I'm going to have to find out where a tank is. Here we go. Hitman 1 campaign. Fucking Colorado. It's favorite level ever. Freedom Fighters. Here we go. And we're going to find out where a... Here we go. Propane. Propane flask. Here we go. Uh, apparently there are two, at least two of them. Let's see. There's one in... Where is it? Branding iron. Uh, oh, here we go. Propane flask. There's one here? Hang on a sec. Let's zoom that out a bit. So there's one outside... Oh, it's near the car. 
And there's one apparently in the basement as well. Oh, there's like two of them in like basements. Okay, there's like one propane flask in the shooting range. Okay, no, there's one there. I didn't see one in there. Oh wait, no, those aren't the portable propane flasks. Where's the portable ones? I want the portable ones. <laughs> Level one, okay. Oh no. Oh no, are they not the portable ones? Oh, angry. Okay. No, I, I could have sworn there was a propane flask on, on the Colorado level. There's gotta be. There's gotta be. Are they fucking... Oh god, hide in the grass. Okay, I don't give a shit at this point if they spot me. I just want to know where the fuck this thing is. So let's go to the map where they tell you to go. Uh, not seeing one anywhere. Where the fuck is this thing? Uh... Hang on a sec, there's a map, isn't there? So, let's see, propane... F oh, apparently it's over here? I don't see it anywhere. Uh, apparently it's sort of... Hang on, I'll try and zoom in on this a bit. Um, so it's apparently sort of here? Gas heater lamp. So it's... Oh, it's on the other side of this place. Okay. That's annoying. It better be a proper one. Better be a proper propane flask. Uh, oh, Saints Preserve us, they hid one out here. Alright, fantastic. We finally got a propane flask, everybody. If that doesn't deserve a save, I don't know what does. I <laughs> uh, might as well keep hit maps there, because I might need it. Fuck. Alright, <laughs> there we go, everybody. We got a propane flask. Um, Still not quite done yet, though. I need to find a way to get this guy to kill himself. Oh, no, those... Okay, brilliant. Oh, you suspicious Aloysius. Good thing we saved. <laughs> I really hate the AI of his of his followers. It's so weird. Once they've, it, it's not just that they're enforcers. It's that once they, once they see you, and it, you don't even have to be that that close either. They'll just start walking towards you. I do not know why. I don't. You might be able to exploit that somehow, but bloody hell. So, all right, my plan is very simple. Um, very simple indeed. Um, I'll save again. We chuck the propane flask, we use our EMP device, and we blow everyone up. Let's give it a try. There's also a car here. Right, does he walk in the front? I think he walks in the front. Hopefully he takes points. So, let's see. I'll just chuck this. There we go. You have to chuck it in order to actually get it to start spraying gas and shit. Then you put the remote EMP charge sort of, you know, near it somewhere. There we go. That'll work. And then we hope these guys bugger off. If not, you can actually just pick it up and try again. So, it, it, you know, it's pretty versatile. It does allow you to do some cool shit. Are those two ever going to go away? Just go away. Believe me, you do not want to be standing here for much longer. Go away. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, alright. You can just stand there all day if you want. If you really fucking want to, you can. Uh, oh, there we go. What's that? What are that? Oh, wait. Is he suspicious of the... Nice. Oh, my God. He picked up the EMP device. I didn't know they even did that. All right. That ruins my job. All right. Let's try that again. Uh, let's maybe set it up somewhere else. Oh, now you're walking away. Thank you. Uh, fuck. You see these guys? They just follow you around. Look at this fucking AI. He's like, humph. I saw you in the corner of my eye. Now I'm going to just follow you everywhere. There, fuck off. Holy shit. Okay. This is not exactly the safest place to... Okay, now I can kind of get away with this, maybe. Here we go. He's in close proximity to some things. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be rough. Oh, come on. Wait, I'm going to look this up. There's got to be a way to fuck up this AI. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hitman the Mercenary. This is so bad. This is so bad. I really hate this one. Silent Assassin. Apparently you can do it in nine minutes. Can you do it even quicker than that? Let's see. The Mercenary. Uh, Silent Assassin. Suit only. I don't want to do it suit only. Fuck that shit. But how do you fucking deal with this guy? How the fuck are you supposed to deal with this guy in any reasonable amount of time? And also in Silent Assassin. Because he's his friends just follow you. All right. The Kalma? Why do you want to use the Kalma for? God, I really fucking hate this guy. Uh... Oh, using the Seeker. Oh, you know what? Yeah, the Seeker might be a good idea. 
But once he starts vomiting, he could go anywhere. And yeah, he, I mean, he, he went to a bin once, and I don't want that either. Oh, do not like this at all. Okay. Man, I just heard a weird noise. I'm moving into investigation. Oh God, I fucking hate this. What? What weird noise did you hear? Just bugger off already. I could blow up a car, but he's just got all his, his friends around as well. well it's not like I, haven't been here I really hate this AI because if they see you, they just walk towards you. It's really ridiculous. Actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? Uh, replan. Why don't I do what I did on Bangkok? Let's try that. So hang on. Tools. Let's try the emetic gas grenade. Because it's a big cloud. It might send them like all over the fucking shop. And if it does that, then we might be able to keep our fingers crossed, and we, he might go somewhere where we can drown the fuck out of him. So, I'll give this a try. Okay. Okay, cool. So I might be able to do this. Oh, fuck. See, I hate the AI. They just chase you. Why? Why are you following me? Who thought this was an idea? Oh, no. Just, no, just fuck off. Look at them! Look at what they do! It's not right! There, fuck you! Alright, oh god, no, go away. No. There, go somewhere to vomit, you motherfucker. Why did they think it was an I a good idea to have this kind of AI? I don't get it. This AI is ridiculous. As soon as they remotely see you, they just head towards you. I don't know why. It is vomit time, though, everybody. Oh, is he gonna go to the slurry pit? Oh, but everyone else is going there, too. This is ridiculous. How are you supposed to do any of this? You know what I need? I need a throwable, uh, uh, po uh, lethal poison thing is what I need. Okay. Now, is it reasonable to actually bring multiple ones of these just to get everyone vomiting? Because, like, they're just hanging out with him. Plus the Seeker. Okay, you know what? I've got to... i got to do this differently, man. This is ridiculous. Am I just going to get, like, just vomit tools all day? I could do that. I could realistically do that. Hang on. Uh, baby, baby. I got the Seeker 1. Let's maximize our vomit capabilities. Guru's Emetic Grenade. Uh, let's see. Well, it depends. Where can I put smuggled items? No, this is it's not going to work. Who the fuck thought this was a good idea? Who thought this was a fucking good idea? I could well, use the sedative egg as well. I could do that. I can confirm that the target is on site. Everything right. points to him expecting an assassination and Oh dear, all right. Several groups of militia members appear to be on high alert. Exercise oh yeah, they're on high alert, all right. Wait a minute. Oh, oh but it, I mean these guys are here. This is not doable. What the fuck is this shit? This is not even doable. For the love of fuck, why? I'm going to look this up some more. Hang on. Uh Need help with the mercenary. Yeah, fuck. If you're very quick and use obstacles correctly. I guess I could electrocute the shit out of him. This one's a total bitch. Am I missing something? Doesn't seem possible to achieve the haymaker challenge. Uh, I don't care about that. If you're very quick and use obstacles correctly, you can knock out his guards one by one, but it's a pain in the ass. It's going to be in the next plan. I, I don't even really care about that. I, I don't know how I did that challenge, but apparently I did. Uh, oh, the mercenary. Easy. Easy essays by dropping the hay bale. Oh, yeah, I know. I do know that one. If you wait 30 minutes or more, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, I've got to find a better option here. Um, this is just not working for me. Um, hmm. If I was really good at aiming these at a great distance, which I'm not, uh, we could make use of this, but I don't know. I don't know. Can I just skip this one? This one fucking Welcome sucks. It, 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 typical, typical a shit version of this... Uh, uh, a typical the shittest target is in Colorado. Of course he fucking is. I mean, look at this bullshit. They just follow you everywhere. Fuck off. Just feck off. Just, Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's just pop this disguise on for now. It does nothing for me, but... Is, is he li he's literally just gonna follow me everywhere. He's li he just, he just fucking... As soon as they see you, they just fucking go everywhere it's insane just fuck off ah oh, jesus h crimbles all right uh let's see if i can find a suitable location to throw this thing i mean yeah this could work no don't load fuck there we go i'm already irritated there we go we haven't even gotten a single 
elusive target yet, and it's been two hours. Oh, I are angry. Alright. Okay, where is he now? What the fuck? I would love to be able to electrocute him, but I don't know if even that's an option. It might not be. Okay. He's just gonna vomit elsewhere. Can you fuck off? I'm not hay baling it, I'm not doing it. Oh my god. Oh my god! I guess he could try blowing up a car. Do you think that could work? He's a bit too close to his pals, though. That's my only concern. If you have mini nuke, you can launch it at these fuckers. Oh god, I wish. No mini nuke, only mini ninjas. Oh dear. Still haven't played that game. I probably should. I think I have it. Okay, see, realistically speaking, if I... So just chill here for a bit. I might be able to catch them all, and if I don't, that's fine. Wait, can I just piff it over here? Do you think I could? Do you think that'll work? Whoa! Hey! Everyone just goes over here. Okay, cool. I mean, it does distract his boys. Okay. Fuck off. You didn't see anything. See, I don't even know how the, the, this AI works. They just follow you everywhere. There we go. Reload. Fuck, I didn't even hit him. Stand up, sir. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm working on my quads. Just fuck off. What is this shit? I don't... I, I, I'm glad they never brought this fucking idea back. I'm glad they fucking abandoned this shit. Oh, gotta reload. Okay. There we go. Fucking finally. But his friends are still here. <sighs> Alright, never mind. Just try chucking this. Oh, what's that? Kablamo! There we go. There's another one sick. I mean, that's... that's good, but it's not great. Is there a way... Now, it, it's important to remember... <clears throat> uh, that they didn't, um... They didn't actually launch the game with all of these options. <laughs> so... Hmm, wait, I don't even know if I save for that. So, alright, restart. Just keep in mind that as we play this mission, we didn't have this this many options. So, fuck knows how you expected to do this, um... Fuck knows how you were meant to do this, uh... Normally, like getting a silent assassin and getting rid of this guy, because really... Not really all that realistic. Uh, but we got a lot of, uh, options for, like, emetic poisons. We could try an electrocution kill, that kind of thing. Just, just bear in mind, you were expected to be able to do this during Season 1, when you had... Fuck all the medic devices. I'm pretty sure the Seeker 1 was introduced in Hitman 2, actually. Which is even worse when you think about it. Um, right. So, I can... I should be able to make this work. If not, that's fine. Yeah, let's just chill here. If I just sort of sit here, I can chuck a grenade and maybe do something with this. We'll we'll see. We'll see if we can, we can make this work. We'll see if we can make this work. Um, otherwise we're fucked. <laughs> Otherwise, we're very fucked, because we're going to be stuck here for an hour. Hey, hello there, Matthew Xavier. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. How you doing? You joined us at the best time. I'm fucking stuck on this. <laughs> this is the worst. Shame they didn't, uh... Shame they didn't patch this bullshit out when they decided to release this for, uh, every other platform. Other than PlayStation. Boy, howdy, was it not worth it. <laughs> I mean, some of these missions are okay. At least after this, the next one's easy. The Hokkaido one is a fucking walk in the park. It is pretty bloody easy. Uh, but yeah, it's just... Uh, this one. Okay. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, I guess. Oh, what are you fellas doing? Here we go. There we go. See, what's this AI? What's this fucking AI? What's this fucking AI? Okay, so it takes a little bit for the cloud to appear, so I'll take that into account. What the fuck is this AI? I was hiding. I was hiding. I was chilling out here. Okay, I can probably make this work. But I mean, at the end of the day, this really sucks. <laughs> the fact that I can only just barely do this using tools that were only made available in Hitman 3 is absolutely unrealistic. I like so much this game, man, but my PC runs just 45, 50 frames, so it's cool to play. Yeah, uh, I would say Hitman 3, d I mean, its requirements are a bit beefy, but eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I did get a, a I did get a, uh, an, an, an RTX 4060, uh, but I, I was able to play it on a uh, 2060 just fine, so that's mm, yeah, something to invest in. 
Should be fairly cheap picking up one of those now. Oh, here we go. Do, 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 Hey, get some gas in you. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Move it, folks. <laughs> I'm being sick. There we go. This will get rid of a few of you. Now, hopefully I'm not seen. There we go. Don't see me. I'm not real. There we go. And then... Do, 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 do. There goes the target. And... There goes the last guard. Okay, so this might actually work out for us. Every yeah, okay, so they're not in forces anymore. Now everyone's just throwing up. Okay. I mean, if it works, it works. Here we go. Uh, I don't really have any weapons to... Well, I got a wrench. This'll do. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take that. Fuck you. And we're leaving. Okay. I'm going to be caught on camera, though. Shit. Hang on. No, wait. Plan B. Plan B. Can I put his body somewhere? No, I'll just leave him there. It's fine. Don't get... Don't... Don't, don't get spotted. Oh, here we go. Well, shit. That's an avant-garde way of doing it. Certainly isn't possible in Hitman 1, but there you go. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we did it. All right. That's what I call victory. Fuck that one. Fuck you! <laughs> I'm Brazilian, so it's a little bit difficult to understand all. Oh, yeah. Isn't it... Isn't it really difficult to... to buy games in Brazil or something like that like uh, I don't know I've forgotten what I heard about Brazil and gaming like isn't it like super expensive or something over there I'm not sure exist a multiplayer Hitman 3 mod uh no unfortunately not the only multiplayer component there ever was was in Hitman season 2 where they had um uh co-op sniper maps and also ghost mode uh ghost mode was pretty fun I enjoyed that for a while um, but unfortunately, both of those were uh, shut down, and as far as- actually, you know what? It's funny you should say a mod for this game, because a ghost mode technically does work. If you look into, uh, Peacock, and I'll, I'll try- I'll actually link that in chat. Eh. Technically, I think you can play multiplayer in this. Because they brought back, uh, ghost mode. I don't know if you play with bots or with other people, but that- that might be what you're looking for. Only ghost mode works, so I don't think they brought the, uh, the sniper assassin, uh, co-op back yet, but, uh, still. It's very expensive because we earn little. For, for you, it's, it is more expensive, but we earn very little compared to you. Yeah, I, I would say prices here kind of suck, <laughs> but, yeah, no, no, yeah, I, I thought I heard something about that. It's kind of like Russia, where, like, games are fairly cheap as well. But, uh, yeah, oh god. It's very expensive living here, though. Very expensive. It sucks. Okay, see, that only took us two minutes and 40 seconds that time around, but really, it shouldn't be done that way. If you were just playing in Season 1, that wouldn't be possible, because we had access to a ton of emetic devices that we should not have, but... But I guess, fuck it. Don't worry, everything's smooth sailing from here on out, though, because next is the final Sarajevo 6 target, and that is the controller. He's not fat, though, so he's not a fat controller. <laughs> he's just a regular controller. No Thomas the Tank Engine here, though. All right, final target is Taheji Koyama. Uh, we do have an extra uh, objective in this map, but it's it's pretty easy. It's, it's fine, so we, yeah, we shouldn't have any problems at all. Oh, dear. I'm going to look for a comparison for our minimum wage compared to yours in the United States, correct? Uh, no, Australia. No, no, I'm not, I'm not American at all. I would like to be, though. That would be cool. Alright, let's check our briefing for the final Sarajevo 6 target. Let's see what's up with this one. Alright. Good evening, 47. Hi. How's it going? I have the final oh. profile available now. All right. Your target is Tahiji Koyama, mm -hmm. codenamed the Controller. He is the final living member of the Sigma paramilitary, and with his elimination, a particularly nasty chapter of recent history will be brought to a close. Oh, good. Hospital records indicate the target suffers a rare genetic disease, but also that he has refused two full bone marrow donations on ethical grounds so far. Strange. Interesting. Clients at this particular hospital are not usually picky about where their life-extending therapy comes from. Yeah, that is a bit odd. Yeah. While I have confirmed Why is he even he here, then? the deaths of the other members of Sigma, he does not seem to have altered his security arrangements or movement patterns in any meaningful way. Thank fuck for that. Bloody hell. 
Regardless, the hospital is highly secure and it will be difficult to move freely. Hmm. So I'll leave you to prepare. Australia's even better. I always tell my girlfriend that it'd be great to live in Australia. What a coincidence. Also coincidental, I, uh, I went to university with a guy from Brazil and he was only here to study initially, but now he's an Australian citizen, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Oh dear, so that's kind of, that's kind of coincidence. My wife, my woman, I love calling her that. <laughs> oh dear, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would say visit first, check like, because our, our housing, housing is kind of fucky right now, and also, uh, prices are steep. It's very expensive living here, but, yeah, it could be, it could be good. I have not heard any complaints from, uh, my Brazilian, uh, classmate from way back when. Um, uh, oh, yeah, so, okay, let me think, um, what should I bring with me? Um, hey, look, I have the shaman powder, I wonder why I brought that with- Did I even show you guys that the shaman powder is, like, the best item to use on the normal, uh, Hokkaido map? If I didn't, I guess I could just play it real quickly afterwards. Um, but not terribly useful for this one. Uh, let's see. Hmm, let me think, receive Sigma operator. I could probably do this one suit only, actually. Um, I might as well give it a shot. Um, I'll wear the white Yukata, why not? Um, let me think. Best way to do this would be... Your hacking thing. Yeah, no, this is, this is easy enough. So let's get a disposable scrambler in. Silver baller... Eh, I'll get something a bit quieter. Let's go with the ancestral pistol. There we go, that should be fine. Yeah, this should be okay. I don't need to open up too many electronic locks, so... Yeah, should be okay, I think. We'll see how this goes. Alright. Konbonwa, waifu chans. It's it's Japan Welcome time. To Hokkaido. I'm just staring at the ceiling. I have received a priority update from the client. Okay. He has learned that the Sigma operations files will be destroyed if you are spotted during the operation. Uh oh. Therefore, you should consider acquiring them before moving on the target. Okay. But I will leave that to your discretion. Now that is entirely optional. Um that's entirely optional. You can uh, kill the target, then get the uh, the plans. But I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it's kind of rough. It's not too bad, but you know you, you might as well just play it safe. So our target is actually here at the in the spa area. Um, it's actually quite easy to get rid of him. Um, in fact, you you kill him pretty much the same way you would kill Yuki Yamazaki if you wanted to go for the yoga kill route. It's pretty much the same thing. Only you don't have to wear the yoga's disguise, obviously. Um, so getting rid of him is easy enough. He's actually a surprisingly easy target, and you'll see why in a sec. The difficult part is getting the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the files. So let's not fuck this up. Let's go get the files first. Relatively simple. There we go. I'm gonna steal myself a neurotransmitter here. Neurochip remote control, just for funsies. Probably not gonna end up using it anyway. This game's very satisfying. I agree. It's quite an excellent game overall. One of these days I'm going to redo, uh, Blood Money in HD. I've already done it on stream, but I would like to redo it in HD. Because I was on standard def back then, because my internet sucked. <laughs> and while I'm at it, I should do the rest of these games. I should do the old ones. I really should. Oh. Hey, see, I, I installed a, a special language mod. So now they speak in Japanese here. Okay, they're talking about biochips and stuff. Not terribly relevant to our mission at hand, but that's okay. Okay, first things first, let's get rid of the cameras. There we go, cameras down. And I might as well save while I'm here as, as well. So basically our first goal is to wipe the files, or grab the files. I can't remember if I'm deleting them or, or stealing them. But at any rate, we're gonna get those. That's in the, uh, the hospital director's office, which should be easy enough. In fact, can I? Oh well, that's fine. Oh, there we go. I'll just send you down first. I don't understand so much as, uh, so much of fast speak. I understand just some words, <laughs> but I'm trying three languages at the same time. Oh dear, yeah, I know it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough, isn't it? English is one of the hardest languages to learn. Um, at the very and and while I do speak fast, at least I speak clearly. At least there's that. But uh, very unhelpful. Oh yeah, I can unlock the refrigerator, can't I? I wonder if the mod I got also... Let's see. Uh, 
Yay, I don't have to wait for uh, Agent Smith to, to talk through his thing. So yeah, that's another mod I installed. You can just grab the chip as soon as uh, Smith emerges. Very handy indeed. So, I think the mod is called Shut Up Smith. <laughs> so you don't even have to listen to him anymore. You just get the get the all-access key card. So there we go, we got that. That's handy. Um, now... Oh, let me think how I'm gonna do this. There we go. Hmm, yeah, this is gonna be a bit tricky. Um... Hmm... How am I going to do this? I gotta get myself a wrench. Or do I already have a wrench? Oh wait, I already have a wrench! I forgot where I got it, but I already have a wrench. So, okay, plan B. Let's go this way instead. Okay, so that changes everything. We're just gonna go and grab those files. Uh, that's what we took Agent Smith out of the out of the out of the freezer for. So now we have basically an all-access key card. We won't need to use. To, so wait, did I use a single one of these? Oh yes, I did. To I used one to break Smith out. But once you've gotten that, you're good. Um, so now we can access every electronic door. So that's the easy part. The hard part is sneaking past these guys, and that's not even really all that difficult. So, let's just... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Oh, hello. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Mission failed! Retrieve Sigma Operation Files without getting spotted, you idiot! <laughs> It's so cool. Don't disguise gameplays. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, I, I won't be using disguises on this particular map. Some, some missions, it's like, eh. There's not really much point to doing so. I mean, it does make it easier, but there's just not really much point in me doing so for this mission. Because it's relatively easy doing this one suit only. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. So here we are. We're inside the director's office. We can grab his nondescript key card. Grab the files here. In fact, the nondescript key card is what you need to open up, um... Open up uh, the uh, the freezer, and Agent Six gives you the the key card. All right, so suspicious Aloysius is here, so I'm gonna chill here for a little bit. In fact, save game. Okay, might as well do that. We still got Silent Assassin. This uh, this is gonna be a lot easier. There's a baseball uniform here you can borrow, but you know, let's keep it suit only for now. Here we go. Oh, and nobody's back again. Hang on. Oh, there we go. It only took us two hours, but we finally got the Surrey over six done. I'm kind of angry. Hopefully the uh, elusive targets aren't going to be this bad. I almost forgot about this. I, I just shortly before the stream thought to myself, oh shit, I didn't even do the Surrey over six because, you know, this they only just recently gave us this DLC. So I was like, okay, I got to get this done, I suppose, even though many of the Surrey over six missions really, 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 really suck. All right, so we have acquired the files. We're allowed to be spotted now, but of course, I don't want to be spotted just yet. Okay. Let me think. Uh, you know what? I will emerge where our target is by going the the uh, going the slightly risky way. I'm gonna. Uh, it's a bit risky, but I'll give it a shot. If you watch me playing this game, you will be disappointed. Oh, why is that? Why is that? <laughs> Because no no suit only? I I mean I'm fine with using disguises myself. Hmm. I should be able to get away with this actually. Just do do do. No, no. Oh dear. Oh fuck. Well I tried to Oh damn it. Okay. Now nah, we're all good. <laughs> it's a bit risky, but we're we're fine. I don't think this guy ever turns around. Okay. God damn it, alright. Uh, I'll just grab this wrench here. <laughs> no one will notice. Damn, he's on the phone. I played this game on Game Pass, but after it came out, I have to play Pirated now. It's too expensive. Oh, yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that. Um, I wonder if Peacock works with the pirated version of the game. Hmm. I didn't think of that. I, I would probably think that the Peacock guys want to only make it available for, um, make it only usable for- Oh my god! <coughs> I imagine the Peacock guys only want to make it usable for the paid one, but it might work. Peacock might work, so you might be able to get, like, a pseudo-online version. That could be good. Okay, this guy's gonna be chatting on the phone all bloody day, isn't he? Alright. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, that's the Neuro chip. Okay, I don't need that. Um, mm, okay. Yeah, I do need the wrench. Oh, God. Is he going to be on the phone all fucking day? Uh, Alright, there's got to be a way to do this. Uh, I don't care. Oh, Hitman 3 here is only 12 bucks on Steam right now. Uh, save. There we go. Why not? Oh, up he goes. Thank God. Yeah, see, sometimes, sometimes you can skip phone calls if you're just, like, far away enough. So, yeah, glad I did that. Okay. Hang on. I think I can make this work. Right. So, we will be heading upstairs after that guy. Nope. There we go. Oh, easy does it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nope. Bye. Irritating motherfucker. There we go. <laughs> Alright. I'm not waiting around for that shit anymore. Actually, I had a different message somewhere else. Ignore the I don't care. <laughs> hey, that's just a bonus part of the message. Rightio. So, that's the hard part done. Now, the easy part. So, um, we've got a place here full of people. And just like if you wanted to clear the place to get uh, Yuki in a in a compromising spot, what we're going to do is head into this restricted area here, and we're going to use our oh, our wrench here to turn off the cold water. So now it's gone from 40 degrees to um oh dear, well that's very hot. Up it goes. Oh, 62 degrees. Yeah, that's pretty hot. <laughs> Yay, we're burning all the patience. Oh man, you're very cool. I like the stream, but now I want to play this game, but I, I I go to leave the stream open. You are cool, man. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Thanks very much for dropping by there, Matthew Xavier. Oh dear. Hope to see you again soon, although I don't know when I'll be streaming this game again. I'm not sure. Could be a while. Well, now everyone's gone, we can start closing doors. There we go, because that's that keeps us hidden from view here, so we're going to close all the doors. There we go. And here's our target. We can actually have a chat with the guy. Hello? A new face. And not a staff transfer, I think. Oh, yoga schedule. I'll take that. No one knows that you are here. Hmm. Your reputation is entirely deserved. Hmm. Push? It is an honor to oh, no. Push. I've got, a, I've got a better idea than a push. Oh. <laughs> I have been waiting for you. <coughs> and you are here in time. Hmm. For that, I am very thankful. It would have been inappropriate for me to die before you came for me. Hmm. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> I am prepared. We were young men. <laughs> Full of the arrogance of power. But what we did there in Siesta Polye, it was not a mistake. We did <laughs> no it. accidents here. Oh my god. Ah, uh, pause. He's saying things. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the... Oh my god. The... Oops, Avi. Oh my god, I'm terrible with usernames. <laughs> the Oops, Avi is now ludicrously kawaii. Oh my god, thank you for the follow. We greatly appreciate it. Enjoy the lum dances. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh dear, we super appreciate that. And you joined us at the best time when finally done with the Sarajevo 6. Well, I mean, once this guy's done commiserating about committing mass genocide, I guess. From Belgrade. Six trucks with refugees aboard to Oh my god. <coughs> Yay, lum sip. Oh my goodness, get the lum sips Killed out. And the lum pats. Oh. And then called in helicopter gunships. It's me too. Oh, it's you. There we go. Hello. <laughs> 10 million dollars. You found us on the uh, on the on the Twitches as well. <coughs> well, thank you very much for the follow. I wonder what's going on the in that tower up there. Or perhaps would not see it. it Truth, I forget to say that there's a bunch of K's in the typical Brazilian love. Oh yeah, I actually know that. that I know K's uh, means uh, means uh, uh, LOL in uh, Brazilian. Oh, the same that um, J A over and over again is laughed, laughter in Sweden, like ja 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 ja. <laughs> the cost was irrelevant. I placed all six contracts. Oh my and god. He, he set all- he was the one who, uh, marked all of his former associates for death, and himself. Timeliness is entirely deserved. As you are aware, the staff have my files in safekeeping. They will destroy well, Mao, them in the it's kind of boring to me. Okay, okay, okay. But 
I am sure you will not be noticed after we are finished. Just don't put three Ks in a row. Arrangements have been made oh, to dear. the files widely. I mean, out in the Brazil, it's probably it just means you're laughing a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for allowing. Would, yeah, I wouldn't put that in piece, fucking sir. Baltimore though. Oh dear. Please complete the final contract now. Oh, I shall. <laughs> I shall enjoy. Good. Right. Oh. The chain of contracts together, forty-seven. Oh. All six targets were part of the Sigma Mercenary Unit, I operating see. near the city of Siestopolia in Serbia in late 1995. Hmm. They learned of a convoy transporting one and a half tons of gold out of Belgrade. That's great. I'm going to kill them now. Fuck off. <laughs> Yay. The and stole the gold and called in a NATO airstrike. I see. It was reported as an accidental attack at the time, a sideshow in that dirty conflict. Hmm. Ironically, the final target was also the client. Well, he's down there now. A bit suicide, I'm sure. <laughs> a complicated suicide. I have forwarded the files you retrieved as per the contract instructions. Hmm. I'm not sure what that will achieve, however. A wartime massacre in the 90s. Hmm. Fortune in gold. And then two decades later, six men die. No, no one will notice this. <laughs> no one will notice this. It's fine. The world will continue to spin. Oh dear. Oh, I'm gonna go. Uh, good stream. Thanks very much there. And thank you for joining us. <laughs> Good times had by all, especially uh, not particularly not me, but I mean it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, over six took two hours. I'm glad it's over though. Most of the time there are four. Maybe that's why. It... All right, finally done. Bye. <laughs> Down we go. Oh, at least we get fireworks. That's nice. Congratulations, you killed six uh, terrorists. All good stuff. Well, we're in Japan, so laughing is www. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh my goodness, I, I didn't know that that was a thing in Japan. They have W's. All right, and there you go. They they like putting W's to also say like double as well, don't they? Like you can get like a double cheeseburger, but they just put W's in instead. Well, there you go. We finally toasted the uh, the Sarajevo Six, and good lord, uh, took a while. <laughs> but they, at least they're all dead now. Good shit. And there you go. Uh, worth the DLC price? I don't know, I forgot how much it was. If it's five dollars or less, then sure, why not? If you're on PlayStation though, you don't have to pay an extra, at least I don't think you do, because it used to be a PlayStation exclusive anyway. But there you go, that's the Sarajevo 6 done. I'm glad they're dead. <laughs> we never have to see them again, good shit. Oh dear, alright, well that brings us to the next part of the stream. Uh, let's see, is there anything else we haven't done yet? Uh, the Aurora Rivers. Uh, play free for a limited time. So that's the, that's the Undying. You can do that as well. Oh yeah, and finally we get a, a, uh, we finally get another one of these, uh, roadmaps for the month. Or it looks like it's a couple of months, actually. Um, it goes all the way to May, so that's handy. Um, but yeah, we didn't even get one for, like, months. It's crazy. They also use it for shorthand for WWW. It looks like grass. Oh. What do you think Karani's chat has lots of W's? I, I don't tend to look at her chat. <laughs> I don't tend to look at her chat. Yes, that's right. Sean Bean is back. He's back. And we can just, even though uh, I've already played the uh, the elusive targets, we, c we will get to see that today, hopefully, because we can play all of the elusive targets. And indeed, we are going to do that. But let me see if I've done everything. Uh, we've already, yeah, I've already streamed the Berlin Egg Hunt. The Undying, we'll see that in a bit. Got the blue sedative easter egg. Uh, April, yeah, we're not quite at that yet. Um, 25th of April, we can get the burial dagger. Golden Sword of Bartoli. Is that... I thought I already unlocked something like that. I guess I'll take that. The Great Thief. Must be something at the bank. Uh, but let's see. The Undying Pack. Oh yeah, you have to purchase this shit, don't you? Yeah, that's actually DLC. Uh, you do get the suit for free, at least, if you do the, the contract. Uh, oh, oh, the uh, elusive target, rather. But the other stuff, I mean, I can live without it. It's just a Mr. Flashy reskin, a uh, a explosive pen reskin, and a fiber wire reskin. It's it's just ear earbuds. Uh, so we have the serial killer, the rage, the deceivers. Hey, look at that! Uh, March 31st. Oh, you can't get the purple streak duck anymore. That's unfortunate. Alrighty, but with that said, uh, in order to move on to the next part, I mean, we could play freelancer, sure, but. I think we could. I think. I think we should probably get a certain something else done. So, in order to do this, because um, if you'll have a look here, uh, elusive targets. If I go to 
oh, Korea here, you'll see there's a section here for elusive targets, and it shows you all the ones you did. You know, the most recent one was, of course, the Undying Returns. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is typically how IO did things with the game. You you play an elusive target and once you beat them, or you die, or if they, or if the time limit runs out, because these were like time locked, by the way. It used to be you'd have 48 real time hours in which to actually uh, complete the contract, or it would just go away forever. Uh, but if you completed the target, you couldn't replay it. If you uh, died, you couldn't replay it. It was not exactly the best thing for a game of this type but you know still uh, we've I've done I've done all of them you can't replay them though you, you can't you can just rewatch the briefing and it just takes up space on your hard drive doing nothing well no longer because if we quit the game there we go if we quit the game you won't be able to see how this works but it's it's uh, peacock time and I'll just re Post that again in the chat. If you have the PC version of the game, you have access to Peacock, and hopefully they maybe get a console version at some point as well. But hey, um, uh, we tried to do it once in a previous stream, and I uh, it's it was completely out of date, and I fucked up like the settings file and everything. Don't worry, it's all fine now. I see the Fabergé eggs are still around. Oh yeah, yeah, that's still good. That's still a thing. Oh dear. Speaking of Corona, I notice you don't have any of the Hololive Steam games. Uh, no, I don't believe I do. Okay, so we launch the Peacock Patcher. We start up the server, quote unquote. It's a fake server. Oh, warning, updates. Oh, Peacock is out of date. <laughs> I updated it this weekend for the stream. <laughs> it's, all right, fine. Let's get some music on there while I update Peacock then. Fine. You can probably still play, but you know. I guess I'm going to the link I placed in the chat. That's fun. <laughs> All right. Hang on a sec. Uh, installation guide. Uh, get the... Download the latest Peacock release. God damn it. <laughs> I can't believe I have to update this live. Okay, but at least I know what I'm doing. Um, let's see. Because it, it, when, when I streamed this last time, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. It had been a while. Right. Download it. There we go. It's a tiny little file, so that's not a problem. Um, here we go. Peacock's here. I have to be very careful with my installation of Peacock, though, because I've got some, like, unique settings for it. So I'm just going to cut this, paste it on the main menu there. There we go. Right. So this update should... I should just be able to, like, just drag and drop, and it should work that way, hopefully. All right. Replace all files. Yep, that's good. And then... Start server command. Pop that over there. There we go, replace that file too. All right, so this should work now. Um, let me just get this going now. Start Peacock Patcher, there we go, ready to go. Start server. Uh, let's see, warning, controller is depreciated. Yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. Plugins, control it, no, that's also fine. Okay, good. There we go. The brothers plugin successfully loaded, mission available in Marrakesh. Oh, so it works now. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, now let's boot the game. Now, here we go with Peacock. Here's the cool thing about Peacock, is eventually the Hitman servers are probably going to be shut down. You know, that's how it is with uh, online servers. But it's a single-player game, so you don't want the servers to, to to go down so that it's like, oh, no, I can't play the game anymore. And also, they shut down the servers for server maintenance and updates for s stuff like that as well. So what do you do when the servers are down or your internet sucks? You know, I can't play Hitman anymore unless it's in offline mode, which is incredibly limiting. I can't even play some of the missions in offline mode. Well, with Peacock, you can basically launch a fake server. It's not even a real online server. It is a fake server. You launch the game. There we go. Oh, shit. Hang on. I should have done this differently. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah. No, 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 no. See, I've done this the wrong way. Although maybe it'll still work. No, it won't. Okay. So basically how it works is we've set up Peacock, which is a basically a fake server. And not only that, because Peacock is a an offline fake server, um, there's a whole bunch of other cool little features you can get out of it that you can't get when you play the legit um, full online version of it. So you'll see what I mean in just a tick. There we go. Launch the game, and hopefully this works. There we go. I might have watched that ST Voyager clip a few more times. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I, I would watch it all day if I could, <laughs> if I had the time. All right, game is launched. Don't know why it takes forever to... There we go. All right, cool. Hollow Cure, Idle Showdown, Hollow X Break, Age of Advent. Surprised you didn't since they're all free. <laughs> 
Oh dear. The Shiori portion of Age of Advent might actually be good for Shocktober. Hmm. Interdasting. Alrighty. Ooh. Eh. Yeah, there we go. And yes, I do have a mod that skips the uh, the opening logos, which is very nice. <laughs> it speeds things up quite nicely. Alrighty. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Peacock. It's It looks more or less the same as just playing the game legit with online, uh, with, uh, online mode, but it's... What the fuck? Launch failed Hitman 3 is already running. Uh, yeah, it is. Thanks, Epic. Thanks. It's great. All right, so let's see. What's new in Peacock, March 2023? Yeah, I mean, it, we've got the most up-to-date version, which apparently came out, like, I don't know, a few days ago. Um, but yeah, they haven't really changed too much of the stuff. Uh, the last uh, content update was back in March, apparently, of last year. So we have mastery support, which is nice, and so now you can actually unlock some things. Um, also, freelancer support, challenge support. I might even play freelancer in this mode so I can start fresh without having to wipe my my progress in my main save. Countless bug fixes and enhancements. Ooh, nice. Well, I mean, I haven't actually played freelancer in Peacock yet, but that could be good. That could be good. So you get a more the more or less the same menu. It looks a bit different though. You can go offline even if you want to, but you don't have to do that. So why Peacock? Well, you can play off uh, play online mode without having to log on to the internet, which is a good thing. Um, you can uh, download special mods, which is also very nice as well. But here's here's the main reason why we're using Peacock right now. So you've got all of your things in your career mode. You've even got elusive targets. You click on this, and Let's see. Oh, hey, what do you know? It's not just simply checking out the targets that you've uh, already uh, you've already uh, completed or missed, and you just look at them. You can actually fucking replay them. <laughs> so there you go. Finally, elusive targets are not elusive anymore. You can actually play them all. And I'll try and play as many as possible. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get through all of them, but uh, we'll certainly see. As you can see, Hitman 3 has significantly less elusive targets compared to 2 and 3. And even 2 didn't have that many either. But Hitman. Ooh, Hitman 1. Season 1. Oh, a lot of stuff. Including, uh, where are the brothers? Because that was a mod I installed as well. The brothers are a special elusive target that... Uh, oh, yeah, that might be in... Let me just check that before we start proper. Because that's a mod. There, there was one elusive target that was cut from the game, but it's brought back via mods. Uh, that's in Marrakesh, isn't it? Let's see. Ah, there we go. Yeah, special assignment, the brothers. Why are there two of them? So there's one of them. Let's see. Renzo. Optional. Uncover why Delgado cartels in Marrakesh. And what's this one? Does this have, like, a different... No, seems like it's the same thing. <laughs> I'm fine with that. But yeah, we'll do that in a bit. Um, but yeah, um, I, of course, this actually gives you a brand new save to work with as well. So you'll find that my uh, my career is not very illustrious this time around. <laughs> I've got some unlocks, yeah, sure. But thankfully, with Peacock, there is a little option that you can set that uh, unlocks all of the stuff. So I've even got things on this save file that I don't even have on my main sa save file. For example... I do not have access to all of the freelancer suits. For example, I don't have the master freelancer outfit yet. Uh, that that requires that you get everything in freelancer, and that's grindy as fuck. Uh, why do the ETs again? Um, because we haven't streamed them before. We haven't streamed them before. Like I've I've not streamed a single one of them because these are time locked targets. But now you can play them whenever you want. <laughs> so for the first time ever, we're actually doing this. Like we can kill Gary Busey again. God, it's been a million years. All right, well, let's start from the very beginning. We're going to go with the Forger. Oh, dear. The Forger, the very first one, and probably one of the easier ones, because, you know, at this point, they were like, uh, let's not make elusive targets too difficult. But then they started making them really difficult. I am really not looking forward to doing the, having to do the Fixer again. Fuck that guy. Jesus Christ. That was like an instant fail if you knock out the guy with the diamonds. That's how I failed it when I played Hitman 1. But hey, what can you do? All right, well, let's have a look at how we're going to deal with Sergei Laren. Okay. Good afternoon, 47. Hi. Your target is Sergei Laren. Hmm. He is an accomplished art forger and hmm. has been copying and selling the museum's crown jewels for years. Ooh. Both museum and artwork are owned Testicle by his wife, reference. Simone Laren, and have been in her family for generations. Hmm. While his wife is in New York with an excellent alibi, you have a window of opportunity to eliminate the target. Oh, fantastic. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Righty-ho. 
So yeah, we've got a ton of targets that we have to get rid of today. The Forger is relatively simple. And because we have a lot of targets to do, I might... Um, uh, yeah, I don't have any issue with... Uh, doing these non-suit only and also starting in uh, specific locations. I mean, this is how you deal with elusive targets for real. They don't really, uh, they don't really allow for a lot of experimentation. Uh, these are basically like, okay, what's the best way to deal with this guy? Okay, don't take any risks because I know it's, it's, it's stupid. I hate elusive targets because you don't get to replay them and they don't really invite for experimentation or risk taking. And that's kind of the whole point of this. But now that's different. Also, Peacock allows you, and this is an, uh, this is totally optional, by the way, but I've turned the option on. It allows you to replay elusive targets, but also allow you to see them using your instinct mode, which is normally not possible when you're playing these legit. So, um, we'll see that in a bit. No, but, well, let's see. I think I'll go undercover as one of the crew. Hmm. Yeah, drop the gun... Hmm, I'm gonna smuggle an item in, maybe. Uh, depends. Uh, eh. Eh, don't know. Um, okay, let's say no to the lockpick, and I will bring... Humph. Okay, no, this is actually a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, okay... We'll just avoid the cameras. How about we do that? And actually, instead of the gold bowl... Let's bring in something a bit quieter. Ancestral pistol. There we go. It's subsonic, so no one hears it. Modern Riku to zoom me as a target. <laughs> I don't even know if that's possible. Um, okay, play. There we go. Although modding is a hell of a lot more possible uh, when using Peacock because it uh, allows for that kind of thing. Whereas in the online, I mean, there are some mods that work for it. I mean, we just played a few. Uh, then there's like an accent overall mod. The private apartment uh, there's on the upper various other things, but you can really mod with Peacock, it's great. Indicates he has a personal yeah, guard at public events. Right. So okay. Good hunting, Good hunting indeed. Yeah, uh, no, fuck you, I can do what I want. There we go. Boom! Shoot out the camera. Right, so, as you can see, we can actually use instinct mode to look at an elusive target, which shouldn't be possible, but it is a setting that works with Peacock. And because I'm using subsonic guns... Oh, I'm just gonna... What the hell? Oh my god, he actually heard it. Fuck off, Frenchie. He's actually got a French French accent and everything. It's great. Okay. Oh, shoot that one out as well. So, alright. The thing about my gun is... Mm, this is gonna be tricky. Um, Right, I think he's gonna come through here and through here as well, so... I've forgotten which... I think the forger just kind of hangs around here. I mean, he's got paintings all over the place. He is an art forger, after all. So let's just drop my gun here for now. I don't even think I really need to reclaim it. Because I don't remember if I've seen any cameras anywhere. And then we can just uh, shank this guy with a lethal syringe. That works. Alright. So this guy will be relatively easy to get rid of. You like to party? Of course you do. Everyone does. You know what, frankly, I think we can do this even better. Hang on, I've got I've got a better idea. Subsonic guns do make noise IRL, even if it's just a, black, a clack noise. Yeah, but in this game, they should be really Good quiet. Like, you should be able to shoot, like, right behind someone's ear. So, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't even know why I like to pick up the uh, fire fireworks remote. I guess it's just for good luck. Okay. Oh. There we go. It's a bit hard to aim with this uh, for long distance, because you can't really... can't really uh, do the fine aim. Which is a shame. Um, okay, yep, I should be able to do this. Oh yes, and of course, because Peacock also, al Peacock also allows you to save as well on elusive targets, which definitely is not possible when you're playing them legit. So, isn't that great? For the first time ever, I can actually stream all these elusive targets and replay them whenever you want. We can murder the fuck out of Gary Busey and Sean Bean all day. <laughs> oh god, I'm glad that this is an option. Okay. Should be able to do this relatively well, actually. Yeah, this guy is... Oh, here we go. And then just... Okay, and then we go... Boom! Hey! Yeah, hang on. Bah! Trying to get him to... Yeah, hang on. Slow down. Come on, slow down. Don't look at your friend. There we go, just keep bumping into him. Hey, I'm being an annoyance! I'm being an annoyance, don't mind me! And do 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 and fuck you! There we go, and he's dead, just like that. Well <laughs> <done>. <laughs> 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 Alright, 
Yay, money. All right, fuck you. I'm going to go down here. So there's the Forger gone. I'm going to rip through all of these as quickly as I can. I'm not going to belabor them because, I mean, yeah, there's a lot to get through, especially in Season 1. A lot of targets. It seems like with each season that came out, they decided, like, yeah, 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 elusive targets. No one seems to really like them because they're kind of antithetical to the design of the game or whatever. We are going to speedrun this, although not really. Speedrunning community, they would be chuckling at that idea. They can do all kinds of crazy shit. So, all right, there's the Forger gone. That's a decent start. Oh, I can't wait to do the Fixer. There's, I can't even remember how to do the Fixer properly. I mean, it's not like you... It's not like I've played these elusive targets that many times. Alrighty. Thank god I don't- uh, thank god there's an option that allows you to just unlock all of the things. Because I wouldn't want to have to replay the entire game again and get all those challenges done to get all of my equipment. So there we go. So yeah, Peacock gives you a lot of nice little features like that. Rightio! One down, a lot to go. <laughs> Alright. Next up is the Congressman. Okay. Oh, we got a couple of Sapienza levels. I'm okay with that. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Congressman Anthony L. Trout, a veteran of the invasion of Grenada in 1983. And named after Reports a fish. Reports him to a number of friendly fire accidents were suppressed after the conflict and never mm. became public record. He is staying with Silvio Caruso and Sapienza uh. as part of a meet and greet with European moneymen and power brokers ahead of a possible presidential bid in 2024. Oh my god, that's this year! Expect additional security and at least one personal assistant to be close to the target at all times. Well, he seems like he's a bit more together than Joe Biden is. is. Taking 47. <laughs> Good luck. Alright, we're gonna ruin this guy's uh, prudential, uh, presidential uh, ambitions. <laughs> we can get rid of him pretty quick. Now then, um... I remember how I got rid of this guy in Hitman 1 when I, f when I did this target, for real, but, um... I don't even think that's going to work anymore, so, hmm, let me think. Is he the one that goes down to the cellar and takes a drink? Because if he is, I think I could just quickly poison him and just be done with it. Uh, so, alright, let's try that out. <laughs> let's try that. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So, there is no starting spot where you can be... Okay, there's, there's no starting, starting location where you can use... Where you start off with the uh, housekeeper's disguise. Hmm... I guess the next best thing is undercover in the kitchen, I guess? Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, let's poison the fuck out of him. Um, here we go, we'll just bring ourselves some... some lethal poison. Yep, that should do. And yeah, this shouldn't be too hard at all. We might have to do a bit of waiting, but... Shouldn't be an issue, I don't think. In fact, I might not even have to change disguises. I don't know, we'll wait and see. I mean, I'm wearing a disguise that allows me to poison shit without being suspicious. But I don't know if I can be down in the basement in this with this disguise just yet. Okay. The congressman has arrived at Villa Caruso along with right. his detail. Security is unusually high, hmm. especially with Caruso in residence. Well, we'll see. Good hunting, 47. Okay. I don't go to the basement very often. Am I allowed in here with this outfit? Uh, yeah, apparently so. That being said, there is an enforcer here. That's a worry. Uh, plan B. I've got an idea. It's not a great idea, but it's an idea. Oh no. Oh no. It's alright. I just had a gun out. It's fine. What the hell was that? Did I hear a gun? I don't think so. Right. Poison glass of red wine. I think this is the target I'm thinking of. There we go. And that's you done. I think. There we go. So, he's currently upstairs. Doing some, some presidential talk, I guess, maybe. I'm not really sure what his intention is here. Oh, we found Luigi. <laughs> Hello! It's Luigi. Mario's out there uh, somewhere. I forget where Mario is. Oh, yeah, he's in the underground tunnels, isn't he? He's not too far away. I'll just grab this lead pipe for good luck. Alright. As for the speed run where the person launched 47 into the sky and sniped the targets from there. Oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, that's pretty rad. <laughs> I think I've seen that. I've seen some crazy shit. Discover Sapienza. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, we're basically unlocking all of the challenges all over again. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to do that. Not on Peacock, anyway. What if I lose my save file? It's not safe and now. That's the only downside is your save file is not going to... Like, if you lose your save file, it's not like it's stored in the cloud anymore. Um, but that's okay. That's fine. Because, again, you can just, just 
go into the uh, configuration file and just unlock all the things without needing to to actually do anything, which is just great. Uh, what the fuck? Where is he? Oh, oh, he's he's, he's down here. Oh, there he is. Time to take a drink, asshole. I'm just gonna chill here for now. I'm pretty sure this will work just fine. And hopefully I can exit in the buggy and not accidentally run over that guy that likes to stand in the path of the buggy exit. <laughs> oh dear, I love how their solution to that was, uh, oh yeah, all in future targets, uh, yeah, you can't escape, uh, you can't escape in the buggy anymore. It's like, oh, you, you didn't, you didn't just think that maybe it would be a better idea to just get rid of that NPC altogether? Just make him not walk in the middle of the road? It's like, nah, just get rid of the buggy exit. Yeah, cheers, thanks for that. So, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can use the buggy exit today, but we just have to be careful not to run over that dickhead. Oh, here we go. Come on, drink some- no, drink some wine. Oh, fuck, where's he going? Yeah, go on, drink some wine. Look at that. Look at that plume of red smoke. There is a mod that removes that as well, so... I think they introduced that in Hitman 3, or maybe it was the second season? I'm probably- yeah, I think it was the third one. So you can get rid of that with a mod if you want. I don't mind the smoke myself, I'm okay with it. It's not like I'm gonna, like, constantly stare at the thing I poisoned. And if I do want to look at the, the thing that I poisoned, I pr it's probably because I want to know if I poisoned it or not. So that's the only way to really know. I looked at the Blue Estate page and they mentioned it has unofficial light gun support. Ooh, nice. If only I had a light gun. <laughs> well, one that I could use with my PC, at least. I do have a, uh, a Namco Gun Con. I do have one of those. It's, it's there in my storage somewhere. All right. Come on, dickhead. It's time to drink some wine. In fact, I'm just going to head over here instead because I want to actually be able to make a break for it. Here we go. All right. Come on. Drink, drink. Drink up, buddy. This is a particular gem, Congressman. <laughs> hmm. Cabernet Franc. Vigorous and mutable. Quite challenging, I think you will find. Oh, yeah. This one's going to be very challenging. This one's a particularly nasty... Here we go. Hmm. Oh, it's nice. Oh, oh my god, what's wrong with you? Oh, ah, yeah. There we go. Looks like your presidential ambitions have just been revoked. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, so that was relatively simple. Um, I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> Time to go. Oh, dearie me. Uh, I quit. I quit my job. I'm going. I'm gonna try playing it with Guitar Hero controller. That'd be kind of amusing. Okay, uh, yep, this should be safe. I'm not gonna run over anyone. So long, suckers! Hey! <laughs> oh dear. Um, I mean, there is a PC, uh, version of... Oh, there we go. Yay, we killed the Congressman and Silent Assassin style as well. Uh, there is a way you can, uh... There is a way you can play Guitar Hero on PC. I think it's called, like, Clone Hero or something. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it because then again, I don't have a... I, well, I, I mean, I do have a guitar, but I don't know if I can play it with my PC. I don't have a thing to connect it just yet. But, uh, I could totally do that. Or you can just maybe find a way to map it to a keyboard, although that's really not a great way to play Guitar Hero games. Oh, dear. I remember I saw this guy uh, making a YouTube video complaining about the fact that the Wii version of uh, of uh, Rock Band doesn't let you play with the Wii mote and the nunchuck, and he was really freaking out about that. But I'm like, or a classic controller, and I was like, yeah, but, but what's the point in playing those games with a controller anyway? I know you can play uh, the P uh, the Xbox and PlayStation version with a controller, but I mean, what's the fucking point? <laughs> what is the point? I don't know. Because there's so many elusive targets. Um, uh, I'm probably just going to upload this as one big chunk to YouTube as well. I mean, I don't want to make separate videos for all of these people. Holy fuck nut. Alright, no, I'm not going to do that. Alright, let's kill, uh, let's, let's note the Pope here, so to speak. We're going to get rid of him. Um, let's see. Here we go. The Prince. Okay. It's Adorico Caladarella. Don't know who that Good is. Good evening, 47. Hello. Your target is Father Adorico Candelaria. 
a Catholic cardinal considered by Vatican insiders as a strong contender to be the next pope. Oh, we're going to note that pope. ICA files indicate there is a series of links between the target and the Pinochet regime in Chile in the Ooh. 70s and 80s. Oh, shit. The target is currently disappeared. On Europe, <laughs> Political oppositions the disappeared. At the church in Sapienza, mm. where his itinerary states he will spend some time in prayer. He will be extremely well protected at all times by multiple layers of high alert security. Mm. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Well, he won't be protected by Jesus today, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jesus not looking out for this fucker because I'm going to murder the shit out of him. All right. Uh, should have saved this for Easter, honestly. All right. Uh, let me think. Wait, wasn't there a challenge that I haven't unlocked that's related to that's something? I'm not sure. Hang on. Uh, feats, no... Yeah, what is this one? Uh, pipe down. Disguise yourself as either the red or green plumber. Pacify ten individuals with a lead pipe. Do not get spotted. Tough. That's pretty tough. Butcher's Delight. What is... Wait, what the fuck is this? Butcher's Saw? Eliminate a target with a cleaver disguised as a kitchen assistant in Sapienza. Do not get spotted. I didn't know that... Th I didn't know this was a thing, but okay. Can't be a challenge in the main game. I think this is a specific challenge for uh, for uh, for Peacock, actually. My own seems to be just barely alive at this point. Oh dear, I got I got one of the uh, the I got the John Lennon Rickenbacker actually for Beatles Rock Band. I got that one, and I got another one. And I got some cheapo ones as well. You just stick your your uh, your Wii mote into it, and it works like that. I mean, I guess I want a butcher saw. Eliminate a target with a cleaver. Disguised as a kitchen. Okay. With a cleaver, disguised. Uh, oh, okay. Disguised as a kitchen assistant. Do not get spotted. Um, wonder if I can do that here. I, I guess. Hang on, kitchen assistant. Uh, uh, where is it? Wait, I can't stand on the church. I can't. Oh, okay. Hang on. I guess you can't do that. Or can you? Hang on. I'm gonna check that again. Um, limited target with a cleaver, desires a kitchen assistant, Sapienza, do not get spotted. Okay, cleaver. Yeah, if I can find- oh god, I left the menu. Uh, alright. Cleaver. Can I- can I just bring one with me? Let's see. Melee. Don't know if I have a cleaver or anything that counts as one, so no, I guess not. Okay, how am I gonna get rid of you? Um, where will I start as well? Um, all right, let me think. Church. I can't even... Okay, well, I'll start at the harbour. I guess I'll wear this outfit just in case. Um, might need to wear it. So, yeah, Peacock has has got some... Its own things. Actually, curiously enough... Um, it This suit was on Peacock first, which means it was probably buried in the game's files and they just decided to release it um, later on. But, uh, yeah, this was in Peacock way before it was uh, made official for the for the game proper, but yeah, we still haven't still haven't seen where the butcher outfit is. That's a, that's a peacock exclusive exclusive for some reason. In fact, what's its description? It's obviously a cut outfit. Here we go. Impress your friends with your carving skills in this exclusive butcher outfit with a green apron, disposable mask and gloves, topped with splotches of wait, could that be real blood? It bloody well better be. Um Right. Let me think. I can't bring a cleaver with me, and I can't get rid of- Okay, but I can bring a briefcase with me, hang on, because yeah, I'm starting at the pier, so... I've got something of an idea, um... So... Uh, let me think. I am going to bring with me... I could either bring the Seeker with me- No, you know what, I'm just gonna go full-on fart briefcase. There we go, remote emitted gas, um... Mm, yeah, find a cleaver somewhere. I'll see what I can do. I'd rather drown the fucker, but I mean, this works too. <laughs> drown the Pope. Or Pope, uh, Pope Hopeful. He's a hopeful Popeful. Alright, let's uh, see what we can do with that then. Alright. Good afternoon, 47. Hi. The Cardinal security team has locked down the Sapienza Church. Mm. A small group of demonstrators has gathered outside to protest, but they are being mm. kept away from the target and the church itself. Okay. Intelligence indicates a sizable team has secured every approach to the church and the hmm. target. Nothing you won't be able to handle. 
Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I love how this this outfit kind of invokes the uh, the the meat king uh, the meat king level in uh, contracts, which is probably the darkest fucking level in any Hitman game. I should do contracts at some point. I really should. Right. Uh, let me think. Uh, the Cardinals at church. Yeah, I can just full on drown him. Um, uh, cleaver. Let's see if we can find a cleaver somewhere. But I mean, this could be over and done with pretty quick. I just ordered an import game because there was only two left. Damn it. Alright, plan B. Can I can I go in here? Am I allowed to go in here? Yeah, yeah I can go in here. Yeah. Alright, well we'll see what we can do with this. Right, church key might come in handy. Um I'll see if I can figure out Is there a cleaver around here? Oh, that's a kitchen knife. Um where would you find a cleaver? I'll, I guess I could check hit maps. I guess I'll check hit maps again. I've still got it, haven't I? Uh, hit maps. There it is. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's bonking time. Uh, here we go. Home. It's the first game. Let's check the Sapienza map and see if I can find a cleaver somewhere. Um, it's important for, for, for whacking people, you see. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, cleaver. Let's see. Where can I find one of those? Because I might as well do this as well. Cleaver. Um, oh, okay. There's a few of them. Um, oh, of course, there's one in the butcher shop. And... Oh, that's it. <laughs> There's one at the butcher shop. Okay, well that changes everything. Then I might restart the level then. Uh, let's replan that. So, right. Instead of starting there, I'm going to start just in the main square. There we go, that works. Now, ooh, this is going to be a pain in the dick. Because I've got to get into the butcher's place. And even though I'm wearing technically a butcher's disguise, it counts as just a Good regular afternoon. suit. So it's not going to work. The Cardinal security team has I picked up the Battle for the Grid. Oh, the the Power Rangers game? Oh, yeah. Test, That's kind of entertaining. I, I enjoyed it for the most part. Rightio. Now, in order to get into target. here without having Nothing to bother getting disguises and shit, you just go a couple of shots in the window there. Hey, oh, no. Oh, no. It's all right. I'll sort out everything. Fuck you. Where's your cleaver at? There it is. Gotcha. Hey, while I'm here... um. Should have enough time to pop this in, pop this back in again. Beep. There we go. So I got my cleaver. It's time to nope the Pope. Oh, I'm trespassing. No, I'm not. Hey. All right. Let's get down to the harbor and let's save the game because, yeah, I know. Elusive targets. Saving. Oh, it's such a novelty, but I love it. Also being able to see them with instinct. I mean, Jesus. It's a, it's a brand new world. It's a brave new world we're entering in here where elusive targets... <laughs> Are not terribly exclusive. They're not exa terribly exclusive or elusive. Nor are they uh, as troublesome as they would be normally. I remember when RT put everyone into that freezer. <laughs> Epic is fun. Oh, hello. I'm I don't think I'll be home for dinner. Today. Shut up. There we go. Don't know if I have to wear this disguise or not. And the devs notice. Lol. Oh, here we go. Grab that. I don't know whether I should grab this disguise or not. I mean, he's going to go and vomit somewhere, hopefully public, right? One would think. Oh, hopefully he goes to the bar. Yeah, that'd be good if he went to the bathroom in in the central bit. He might only do that if he's outside, though. Just thinking out loud. He's got to come out first. Hmm. Yeah, on second thought, maybe I... Hopefully I don't need this outfit. Okay, because I can get away with... Hang on. Oh, wait, did I dump? Yeah, I dumped his body there. Okay, there we go. Fuck suit only. Um, there we go. Fuck suit only. We're gonna go in the hard way. Um, I'm from the church. Can I go in? <laughs> I'm from the church. Can I go in? Oh, I caught on camera. Shit. All right. I didn't even wait for them to answer. I'm like, yeah, I, I can go in. There we go. I'm from the church. I can go in. Fantastic. Hi there, father. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, God, why hast thou given me a tummy ache? Oh, dear. Good old fart grenade. It's fantastic. 
the fart briefcase. That's what it is. All right, so he'll be wandering. Actually, this could work out just fine. Okay, I can get my, my regular outfit back on again. Hope this works. Just gonna grab my outfit back. Trespassing. Oh, I don't care. There we go. Right. Uh, let's see if this works. Um, should do. Saving. Hey, even the auto saves work here. Although, maybe not. Let's have a look. Sometimes the game just says it's auto saving. Like, if you're playing. Oh, no, it does work. If you're playing an elusive target for real, though, it sometimes does say that it's auto saving. But it's like, uh, yeah, but you can't, though. You can't save at all. So you're just lying. It's a lie. Okay. Well, homing briefcase for one of these guys. I don't know if the jet ski guy's a target or not. Uh, he won't be, but that's all right. There we go. Give you a whack. And here we go. Meat cleaver. There we go. Good shit. We noped the Pope. Get the fuck in the laundry hamper. There we go. You too, fuckface. Oh, look at that. You're going to be implicated in murder. All right, I'll take your gun as well while I'm at it. There we go. Time to leave. There we go, that's easy enough. Oh, wait, recordings. Hmm. Uh, not great. Wait, are they fucking off now because he's dead? Possibly. I'm not going to take any chances. Um, I'll be back for old briefcase later. Right now. Oh, God. Hi. Yeah, I don't reco I don't recollect ever seeing one of our guys being bald. I don't know. <laughs> bald guy glasses? I don't know. Doesn't seem terribly familiar to me. Okay, the dead guy in the laundry reminds me of judgment. <laughs> Hello, I just want to destroy some recordings. Hey, there we go. Right. Oh, there we go. There's the Pope again. Oh, and this guy's coming upstairs as well. Where's he going downstairs? Oh my god. Oh, no. Alright, that didn't work at all. Um, Let's not get caught on camera this time. <laughs> I mean, this is easy enough. Just don't get caught on camera. We could have just ended the level then and there. Oh god, so we have to do this again. That's alright. It's just dealing with that fucking recording. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. I can do this just fine, though. As long as I don't get caught on camera this time, I'll... Save after I get the guy's outfit, maybe. Right. Right. Yeah, this should be okay. I think. What's with the music? It sounds kind of dubstepy for some reason. I got a feeling Hello. Is going to be very busy. Fuck you! Wait, what? I'm the witness! I was right behind him! God damn it. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, I love the, the hit detection on the fucking pacifications in this game. They never, ever fixed it. I think I've mentioned that a few times, like, I, I, they're, they're, we've, we've played games where stealth kills were possible on, like, different elevations, and even from, like, fucking yards away. Probably, like, sticks, like, it's like, hey, look at that, I can stealth kill a guy without him getting alerted, even though I'm, like, all the way down here, and it's like, oh no, if you're on a different plane in this game, it's just, uh, fuck. If you're on a different elevation from someone, uh, choking them out is just not an option. So don't bother doing it downstairs or anything like that. Now. Fuck you. God damn it. Alright. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I forgot to pick up his key again. Alright, never mind. Get in the bin. Thank you. There we go. God bless you, sir. Yeah, you are doing the Lord's work, maybe? I don't know. You might not be. You seem like a bit of a creepy weirdo. Right, let's get the church key while we're here, wherever the fuck it went. There we go. Church key on the ground. Now, this time, can we please just avoid the cameras? Can I go in? Uh, sure, I don't care. I'm not paid enough for this crap. Okay, the gardener will actually recognize me as someone not from the church. Hmm, I wonder if I can get away with throwing this thing. We haven't seen that yet. Hey, camera destroyed. Fuck you. <laughs> oh dear, surprisingly, it actually works. Alrighty, let's get our remote out. Here we go. It's time to nope the Pope again. Hello! Where's the, goddamn bathroom? Where's the goddamn bathroom? Oh my god! What's your language there, Popey boy? Oh! Oh, why? Do you remember how to use the Zord's abilities in... Uh, oh, no. No, I don't remember how to do that. Uh, the tutorial will tell you, though. Even though the tutorial is very lengthy. Very irritating. Oh, I didn't get the, uh, the cleaver, did I? 
But technically, I should have already done that challenge. What is that challenge again? Challenge is... Let's see. Uh, eliminate a target with a cleaver disguised as a kitchen assistant. Oh, we have to be a kitchen assistant. Oh, so we... Wait. Kitchen assistant. Is that what I am now? Uh... I do have the cleaver, though, don't I? Yes, I do. All right. Let's see. No, I have the butcher's disguise. I have to be a kitchen assistant. Oh, well, we'll have a chance to do a, a, a Sapienza uh, elusive target later on anyway. They like to chuck them in here. So, plenty of opportunities to do that. Um, although, getting a kitchen assistant's disguise, is that going to be a problem? It might. Okay. Oh, let the door close, please. Fuck. All right. Well, that makes things a bit difficult. Right. Door closed, and... Fuck you. There we go. Fuck you, Pope! <laughs> oh, there we go. One prospective Pope dead. There we go. Go fuck yourself. Oh no! I uh, lost my silent assassin rating, except I didn't. <laughs> the money has been wired to your account. I was using training mode, and I just noticed I comboed my training dummy to death. Alright, you get in the bin as well. There we go. Right, at least we're going to get a suit only. I guess there's that. Right. Off we go. Uh, let's take... Yeah, we'll take the boat exit. Of course. Why would I take any other exit? Eric is good. Cat waifu is best waifu. Alrighty. Uh, there we go. Let's take this boat and go home. Uh, here we are. Oh, it's so tempting to kick him into the fucking water. I won't. <laughs> tempting, though. Alright, done. That's three down. Um, oh, it's hard to say just how long this is going to take. Let's see. What's the time? It's 11. And since I started an hour earlier, I guess snacky time is at 12 instead of 1. So that's okay. Yeah, that'll be alright. So we got another hour before snacky time. That's good. All right, let's keep on going then. Hey, oh, look at that. Location mastery is definitely on the way up. <laughs> okay. Oh, how fucking irritating. There we go, so there's that, there's that, there's also that. Oh my god. There we go, another one bites the dust. Right, next. Eh, I should get a crony next, shouldn't I? I should do that. Hang on, where's a crony next at? Uh... Uh, there we go. Next! <laughs> I'll just pop that here where I can make better use of it. There we go, I can pop it right up there at the top. Right, back to my career of dealing with elusive targets. Try to rip through these as much as possible. Oh, the sensation. Now, this is actually on Sapienza, but on the uh, the nighttime one, the, the bonus mission map, which uh, they didn't do a lot of. They did that with the bad boy as well. Um, thankfully, they gave you plenty of opportunities to actually do that one if you didn't have the bonus missions. Because here's the thing, if you bought the, the first season uh, episodically, you didn't actually have access to the bonus missions cause you, until the third one had come out. Because for whatever reason they decided, oh yeah, you can buy it separately. Oh, but you just can't buy it separately now because there's only two of them. Wait until all three of them have been released and the third one came out like fucking nearly a year after the first game came out. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for punishing people who embrace the episodic release fucking model. Great shit. Oh my god, I hate everything. Alright, so the sensation. Jonathan Smythe. Oh wait, hang on. No, no, okay, no, I'm I'm thinking of someone else. No, no, the bad boy is the only one in the nighttime map of Sapienza. No, this guy's in Paris. Yeah, I remember. This guy is, um... Hmm. How best to deal with him? Oh, well, we'll figure out something. <laughs> I've forgotten him. Good afternoon, him. 47. Your target is multi-platinum media sensation Jonathan Smythe. He is oh, the subject God. of an international manhunt following mm. his involvement in a multiple homicide three years ago. He nice. fled prosecution but continues to release records and maintains an extensive financial empire that has only been bolstered by the controversy. What a dipshit. We have learned that he will be hosting a private party somewhere in the palace grounds. This is the first opportunity to engage in over three years, nice. so we must act immediately. Right. Locating this party and bypassing security to reach the target will be your primary challenge. Hmm. The clock is ticking, 47. Well, we'll see how far we can get. I might need a cicada disguise. I don't typically use them, but it might be necessary here. Want to fight in BFTG? Uh, that won't be possible, because I don't own the game. I won't be able to, to do that. I don't think the pirated 
copy of the game will work for that. Um, right, where do I want to start with this? Um, where should I start? Uh, maybe in the attic, because I can get a, a suitable disguise. Yeah, why not? Doesn't take too long to get around this map. Uh, lethal syringe. You know what? I will... Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a... I'm gonna get some lethal poison vial, but I'm also gonna get... Let's see, I need an agency pickup as opposed to a hidden stash, so where's the most... Oh, here we go, empty attic room. I should be able to get away with this. Let's get the fart bomb ready to go, just in case. Here we go. Fart briefcase ready to go. I just in case the the poison plan doesn't quite pan out. So there we go. I thought you actually had it. Oh no, I just borrowed it. <laughs> I just borrowed it off the internet. I was like, yeah, Lord knows, Lord knows, I'm not going to get much out of this game beyond just a stream. All right. And here we are, we're starting in the attic this time, which means we can be a vampire magician as well if we wanted. But no, we're gonna do things a bit Good differently. Afternoon, 47. Hmm. Welcome to Paris. The target arrived by limousine an hour ago and is somewhere on the palace grounds. Good hunting. All right, thank you. I feel like I'm gonna need, gonna need all the luck in the world. Right, let's get ourselves a cicada guard, shall we? Come on, go. Firm okay. Hey, when Steve Bloom tells you to go over and check something out, you fucking do it. Alright, here we go. Do, 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 do. Fuck you. There we go. Right, that should do just fine. Um, now, where should I store you? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Plenty of places to store a body in an attic. Okay, in you get. And let's grab this outfit. Looks very similar to the one I'm currently wearing anyway. Alright, IR Cicada. Let's go make use of it. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of enforcers in here because, you know, they, they know their guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, this could be a problem. This could be a problem if I'm not careful. Let's grab a hammer. So we've got a bonking item for now. And at least enforcers are less quick to notice you than, say, if you were just in your regular outfit trespassing. So, the, the speed in which they notice you is... It does differ depending on the situation. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, okay, no, no, I'm thinking of another... I'm thinking of a different elusive target where this door is actually locked with a keypad, which is really annoying. Oh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to doing that one, but it should be okay. Alrighty, there's my emetic device. Now, let's get downstairs and get to work proper. So, the sensation... Oh, yeah, I might as well save as well. Save the time by saving. There we go. Alright, yo, I wonder if there's other special challenges on other maps. Uh, elusive targets, 10 out of 10, discovery. Eh, no. There was just that one that you can get the hacksaw by doing the butcher's challenge. And, well, there will be other opportunities to do it because Sapienza does have a lot of elusive targets on it. I think if all the maps, I think it might have the most. Well, that might be Paris, I'm not sure which one. I'm still disappointed that Mumbai didn't get any, any elusive targets for Hitman 2. That was kind of ridiculous. Oh god, I can't go this way. Alright. Gotta come up with a plan B and come up with it fast. Um, can I go? Yeah, yeah that could be a problem. Um, can I go this way? Is that an enforcer? Fuck, there's an enforcer down there as well. Hmm, how the hell are you supposed to leave this place as one of these cicada guards? Hmm. Are you gonna tell me about what Victor did? How are we gonna be able to do this? Okay, I, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. It might work. It might work. So I'm just gonna oh, just drop this down here. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck or anything. Wait. There we go. Oh, down it goes. Hopefully no one picks it up before I get to it. Yeah, there's a case down there. We... No, I think we'll be all right. There we go. Yeah, that worked out just fine. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how you get to keep your briefcase. There we go. Save that for sure. Also practice Slayer a bit in Guilty Gear because everyone assumes the tree sees at the end of Abba's trailer was for Slayer. All right. I'm allowed through here, right? There we go. All good. There are some enforcers around, but here, basically, there's a little party they're holding here. Which isn't here when you play the uh, the normal mission itself. This is the next best thing. Oh, I think for getting rid of him. I wonder if. Oh. Oh. Okay. You know what? Fuck you. 
Bro, Abe. There we go. Let's hope he goes somewhere good. And hopefully we don't get caught by an enforcer. Oh, really? <laughs> Off he goes. Oh, where's he headed? Hopefully he vomits, like, over the edge of this area here. Oh, no, I have no idea where he's going. Don't forget to hold your hair back. <laughs> don't forget to hold your hair back. And, uh, please don't vomit in a bin. Please don't. Please don't do this. There we go. He's got gold pants. What a poser. He's got gold pants. Jesus Christ. Alright. Um, I really have no idea where this guy's going. Where the fuck are you going? Alright, little mister. I think I've got a better idea. Hang on, let's just... Doodly do do do. Close that. Here we go. Got a really good idea. Hope it works. Oh, he just phased through the wall. What is he doing? What is he doing? Fuck you. There we go. Contract complete. Break his neck. <laughs> Hooray! And we can just take the helicopter. That was easy enough. Oh shit, there's an enforcer there. Hang on. No, 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 no. I'm not real. I'm not real. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. I'm not even playing ghost mode. Done. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright. That works pretty well, I'd say. I'm glad this game doesn't operate on the logic of, uh, oh, you know, someone would find that body eventually. It's like, well, no, as long as I don't find it whilst you're in the mission and when you actually escape, then you get a silent assassin. Which didn't used to be the case. It didn't used to be the case. When this game first came out, uh, in season one, before they patched it fairly early on, uh, you had to hide all bodies to get a silent assassin rating. So poison, poison kills or accidents, they they negated your silent assassin. And it's like, well, what's the fucking point then? I got to kill someone and I got to stuff their body into a locker or something. And that's that really sucks. Thankfully, they got rid of that and they never brought it back again. But hey, the sensation is dead. That's good. We're making progress. Oh dearie me, we're actually doing okayish. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Oh dear. Oh look at that. I'm level 157 on the peacock. Uh, peacock account. <laughs> the peacock account is doing pretty well for itself. What's my uh, what's my my what's my level in the main in my main account? Isn't that like one thousand four hundred and twenty-seven or something like that? So yeah, <laughs> got a high level on that. Not so much on uh, peacock though. All right, next we have the gun runner. Oh, we're nearly at uh, at Gary Busey. That's good. I'm looking forward to Gary Busey. And, all right, the gun runner, Vito Jurek. How do I get rid of him again? I'll find a way. I'll Good find a way. 47. Your target is Vito Jurek, arms dealer and sanctions buster. Although the subject of a not a ghost buster, hunt, so he's the target has successfully not worthy of living, I suppose. For more than a decade. Hmm. Tired of waiting for the slow wheels of international justice, the client has turned to the ICA. Right. Intelligence places the target inside the Swedish consulate, most likely involved in the operation to extract Strandberg. The situation is fluid. That dickhead really gets around. To eliminate him before he vanishes again. Hmm. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Right here. Now, these are all like elusive targets for the first game. That doesn't mean I can't take advantage of Hitman 3 stuff. I'm going to be using some emetics on this guy, I think. Right, um, I will start in the consulate parking garage. I will not have a disguise, but I could take advantage of... Well, let's see. I don't think I need a lockpick, really. Um, yeah, I shouldn't really need one, so you know what I'll do? I'll grab an emetic poison gas grenade and also a lethal syringe, and hopefully that would be enough. I don't think I'll bother getting the keys to the car, so no quick escape for me. I'll have to just find a way of getting out of there. That should be relatively easy. Extraction shouldn't be a problem. Um, it's mostly just making sure I get rid of this guy cleanly as possible. Hmm. It's going to be rough, but I think I can figure this out. All right. Let's Good see. Good afternoon, 47. There he is. He's right there. The Swedish consulate is besieged by protesters linked to the imminent coup. Hmm. Our intelligence indicates the target entered the consulate with a transport vehicle, hmm. most likely carrying weapons. He has not been spotted since. Oh, no. Good hunting, 47. Okay. No, 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 don't come over here. I have here. an update, 47. Oh. Interpol has an ongoing operation to apprehend the target, oh. and at least one undercover agent is amongst the target's guards. You don't say. This does not invalidate the contract, so proceed at your discretion. Right, hope. That's good. I mean, I'm going to kill the guy either way. Fuck the contract. 
I don't care if I don't get any money out of it. It's all good. Um, alright, how am I going to do this? You know what? This could be a disaster if I do it wrong, so let's be very careful here. Do you think this will work? I don't want to get too many... too many other people in as collateral damage, so let's be very careful here. I'll ah, just chuck it at his elbow. No way. Oh, don't come over here. There we go. Uh, it seems like it's only affecting him. That's good. Okay, but where's he going? Is he going to bring his friend with him is the important thing. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe? No. Okay, good. No, not real. Here we go. All right. This shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hopefully these guys don't see me because he's going to a bin. Of course he is. Of course he's going to a bin. Fuck you. And he's dead. <laughs> Alright, there's Vito Jurich dead. Unfortunately, we can't take the consulate uh, car exit because we don't have the key for it. And getting it would be a bit of a pain in the ass. Because then we'd have to uh, go to the consulate building, get disguises for that and all that. So, let's not do that. Instead, oh, instead, let us, um, hmm. yeah, I guess I'll just make my way out. I'll just do that. I'll just leave this area. I'll just get out of the building. And then just go to any old exit on the outside where it's legal. Um, I think I can get out through here. Yeah, there we go. Exit. Fire exit. Keep clear. Alright. I'll keep clear. It's fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. Body found, but that's okay. It was a poison kill. Hello. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm one of those guys jumping over walls and shit. Don't mind me. Alright. Avoid the protesters at all costs, and uh, I think I'll take this exit because it seems to be the closest one. Yep, seems to be. 74 meters away. That's not an issue. Okay. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> there we go. All right. Just make our way through there. Yeah. Relatively simple if you use the the uh, the tools of the trade that's been given to you across all three seasons of this game. It, it does make everything so much easier. Ugh. And it makes the, um, it makes the, uh, the mercenary from the Sarajevo 6 actually tolerable. I, I'm not gonna say it makes it easier. I'm not gonna say it makes that, uh, level actually tolerable, but, um, you know, it, it, it kind of works. It makes it just a, just a bit more manageable. There we go. Hey, guns! <laughs> we did it! Oh, where's my gunshot? There it is. Oh dear, I didn't have to shoot anyone for that time, though. Alright, so there's Vito Jurich dead. And, as you can see, I haven't played a lot on Marrakesh. On my, uh, oh, oh there we go, move over there. Not on my Peacock's uh, save, anyway. There we go, that's fine. Alrighty, we're next, then. Next! Next! <laughs> oh dear. God, did I do papers, please? More important. I, I think I did, but more importantly, did I finish it? I think I did. I don't think I got all the endings, but, you know, I got most of them. Right, back to career and back to elusive targets. Who is next? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's the twin. Now, yeah, we can do the twin relatively quickly as well, using essentially the same method as we did for the gun runner, only I'm going to use the briefcase uh, fart bomb method this time around. You did, but now contraband police is out. That's true. I don't have it yet, but I, I, would, I would like to do it. Good afternoon, 47. Hello. Your target is Dylan Narvaez, currently mm. in Sapienza with his identical twin brother, Gonzalez. The Narvaez brothers are tobacco billionaires operating in mainland China. Note that Gonzalez is not oh, to be harmed, China. and the contract will be cancelled if he is injured in any manner. Oh, As danger. they are identical twins, you will have to choose your target with supreme care. Okay. We have learned that the target has recently purchased a one-of-a-kind Platinum Mango wristwatch. Oh. So if you can get close enough, this will help you to identify him. Right. The we... clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Okay. No, we, sh we should be fine. We should be A-OK -okay here. Oh, dear. Wait, hey, how come I don't have... Hang on. There's, there's a... There's a sound bite. I can't believe I don't have it. This is ridiculous. There we go. It's applicable this time around, you know. China is asshole! There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Alrighty, so, uh, we have the twins. Not to be confused with the, um, with the, uh, deleted 
elusive target, the Brothers, which is actually restored with a mod here, so we are actually going to see it. Um, but the twins, let's see. Uh, yeah, this is relatively easy, actually. So what we do is we're going to start at the... I guess at the harbour. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, and instead of a lockpick, we're going to replace that with another one of them lovely little poison syringes. A lethal one, of course, and, um, yeah, this should work. Let's get a better outfit. Oh, well, let's have a look. Uh, what kind of outfit will I wear today? Flamingo, of course. Um, let's see, something more casual. Uh, not a lot of casual options, are there? Uh, alright, casual, casual. Uh, let's go with this one here. Sum the, the summer sightseeing suit with gloves. Alright, yeah, this should be just fine. Let's go. Who's ready for the world of tomorrow today? Alright, we have to kill Dylan Navarez, but not harm his brother at all. Um, and the way we're going to differentiate between the two of them is uh, our target is wearing a wristwatch. Very easy to find uh, once you notice it. Oh. Good afternoon, 47. Your target and yeah. his brother arrived several hours ago. Okie dokie. On-site intel has been unable to conclusively identify the target, hmm. so you will have to do so yourself. All oh yes, that's been been right. Determine, Dylan still has the wristwatch. We can make so use of instinct here. Identify him. There goes that Take fucker. Care, <laughs> All right, take care. The target is Dylan Narvaez only. Gonzalez may not be harmed in any way. Yeah, don't worry, it'll be fine. I can use my magical instinct mode. <laughs> but yeah, he's very easy to spot. Once you just see his watch, you're fine. So, while he is this guy... What? What the... So you can see his watch there. Just on his... Oh! There we go, just on his, uh, his left wrist. Oh my god, is he not sick? Wait, how did that not work on him? Okay, he's sick. What the fuck is going on? So his guard has got- what the fuck is happening here? Did I bug out the AI? Alright, let's try that again. I'm not sure what happened there. I mean, I was right in front of him. Right in front of him. I mean, it's it's got a limited range, the uh, the gas cloud from the- from the uh, emetic- uh, the, em the, the emetic device. Your yeah. target and his the remote emetic device is good. The That's only downside good. is uh, the cloud is kind of small. It's not like the- uh, the, uh, the, 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 the glass so grenade one where you just throw it and it's just this massive plume of gas. So, limited range, Dylan's but that's fine. That is okay. Take care, yeah, get out of my way, I've got to murder somebody. Okay, let's hope we actually get it right this time. Alright. There we go, so we just got to make sure we get it right. Um, do, 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 do. There we go. I think I just want... Are you are you the guard for him? I think so. Wait, who is who is whose guard? Each twin has one guard. Okay, I think it's fair to say that that's the guard for that twin. There we go. Well, there we go. Oh, he's wandering off. Is he gonna keep following us? I wonder. Well, let's see how this goes. Hey, you okay? You should go see a doctor. Oh, he's gonna follow him. Hang on, he's gonna follow him. Let's just keep bumping into him to get a bit of space. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Alright, hopefully that's enough space just to go do it, do it, do do Oh, excuse me. Oh, that wasn't enough. Wait, target lockdown. Oh my god. Alright, that didn't work. Um, yeah, let's try and catch both of them in the gas cloud, maybe. Hmm. This is supposed to be easy one. I, I don't usually have any issue with this one. target and his brother... Yeah. Arrived several hours ago. There we go. It's kind of irritating that you have to take it out of the briefcase first, but I mean, it, I guess it kind of makes sense. You don't get the detonator until you pick up the bloody thing. And you're technically not picking it up if it's in your briefcase. Okay. Take care, 47. The target is Dylan Narvaez only. Alright. Gonzalez may not be harmed in any way. Maybe if I bump into him first. Hmm. Well, it's worth a shot. If I bump into him instead. And his guard also walks past. So if I go, do 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 do. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Oh. There we go. Try and get both of them. Uh. Oh no. What is that metal taste? I wonder. What's that metal taste? I wonder. Oh wait. So wait. He is sick. Oh no. It's that weird AI glitch where it's like, okay. Don't know if sick or not. Might be. What? What? Okay. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Oh, off he goes. Okay, uh, yep, this looks like it's gonna work. 
Here we go. I don't know if this guy's going to see me or not. Well, he won't eventually, so that's alright. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 don't mind me. Just gonna get this guy with this and... Whoop, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Evil twin down. The money has been wired to your account. Right, oh, and all we have to do is just head to the boat. <laughs> so, very straightforward. The quicker we get through these, the better, I say, considering how many there are. Oh dear, blessed peacock, you've given me back all of the elusive targets. Finally, we can stream them all. Um, I think Gary Busey is next as well. Yep, I can think of a good way to deal with Gary Busey as well, actually. If I remember... Yeah, propane tank. Maybe also... Yeah, ugh, yeah, better not use the EMP device. I better actually use a breaching charge. Which is actually very handy because that thing doesn't kill you. So it's not going to negate my uh, sound assassin that way. All right, we're not even going to spend that much time talking to uh, talking to Gary Busey. We're just going to kill him really quick. <laughs> uh, I guess I could just hang out with him for a while and then just restart the mission and kill him instantly. I guess I can do that. Hooray for crack. We gave him some free crack. He didn't handle it too well. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll just do it that way. All right, career elusive targets. Let's go. Uh, we've put a bit of a dent into them. Uh, how many are left? Um, a lot. Quite a bit. I think we'll manage, though. All right, it's time to deal with the wild card, aka Gary Busey himself. Holy shit! Good afternoon, forty-seven. Your target is Hollywood legend and infamous loose cannon Gary Busey, oh. code name the Wild Card. <laughs> he is in Sapienza to film an advertisement, but is now refusing to participate. The oh. following audio was captured as he fled the set. You'll never find me. I have the power of invisibility. <laughs> this fiasco Fantastic. has cost the client millions, and they've decided to terminate their relationship with the target permanently. Hmm. Complicating matters is the presence of an angry co-star, Gary Cole. However, it's he may Gary. lead you straight to your target. This is an odd one, but nothing you've not handled before. <laughs> the clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Oh dear, I remember the campaign they did for this. Where it's like, you have to vote. Do you want to kill Gary Busey or do you want to kill Gary Cole? And obviously everyone was like, well, yeah, Gary Busey's going to be hilarious. Of course, we didn't know that they were just going to put Gary Cole in it anyway. He just wouldn't be the target. All right, now, uh, Gary Busey. Let's see. I mean, really, you don't need anything other than... Uh, I mean, I'll just, I'll just bring this with me anyway. But really, all I need is a breaching charge. Um, and that's about it, really. Yeah. Start in the main square. So, first, firstly, I'm just going to hang around with him, just see what he does, just for the lols. And then we'll then we'll restart and just get rid of him nice and quick. Um, the best method I've found to get rid of him is just use the, uh, just break into the butchers, take the, um, the propane flask, and then just blow it Welcome up in front of him. Sapienza, <clears throat> the target was supposed to film an advertisement in the ruins outside of town, but vanished shortly after arrival. On-site intelligence has flagged several peculiar incidents in the back streets that may be worth Hello. investigating. What kind of incidents? <laughs> this is Gary Busey we're talking about. What kind of incidents are we talking about here? Fucking hell. Alright, well, let's see how he's going. They live as their king, a river. <laughs> what are you talking... What are you talking about? What's he doing? Andy Dick is a target when? <laughs> I mean, in terms of celebrities, we've gotten uh, Gary Busey, we've gotten uh, Sean Bean twice, and we've Welcome. also Enjoy gotten uh, the Drop Guy, that that Russian DJ. I don't know anything about that guy, but uh, yeah, I think that's all of them. Unless I'm forgetting anyone, I might be forgetting someone. You know what Chronic stands for? <laughs> it stands for creating happiness, rising over negativity, instant coughing. <laughs> I, uh, I can believe that. <laughs> Sir, don't. Oh, Understand? dear. He is quite a character. There we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, excuse me. You yeah. want to move away? Uh, I do. I'm surprised no one's here freaking out over the fact that Gary Buse is just walking down the streets here. All right. Well, he's, he's up to... What's he doing? He's up to something. Oh, dear. Of course, back in the, back in the past, if you wanted to... 
replay elusive targets. The only way you could really do that is play the console version and just uh, start on uh, new uh, new profiles, which unfortunately wasn't possible on PC. So it's nice that we have the option now. I know Andy Dick is in pain. <laughs> piece of junk. Oh, has anyone found a way to port pain to PC yet, or do you have to emulate it? Because I remember pain, good times. Good piece, PS3. Um, I was gonna say shovelware, but no, uh, indie game. Not it's it's not it's not really shovelware, I would say. You got busy. Hmm. Look, I'd love to come back to set, but these winding cobblestone roads have got me all as backward turned around. Hmm. Tell you what, get everyone to chant my name over and over again in extreme volume, and I'll use your voices to guide me. Ready? Go. Maybe you find some. Oh, you didn't do it. <laughs> there we go. Emulation works pretty well. I think Pain is actually first party. Uh, oh, okay. It could be. Yeah, I don't remember. Don't remember who developed it actually. I just remember it being really, really weird and but also fantastic. <laughs> kind of remind me of. Um, it reminded me of uh, Saints Row 2's insurance fraud. Oh. And they weren't committing I don't insurance trust people that let other people cut their hair. <laughs> Personal hygiene is a sacred experience, my friend. <laughs> he doesn't trust people that get their hair cut. <laughs> All right. So he cuts his own hair? I just I just don't know. <laughs> Man, Busey was never the same after that accident, was he? His brain was is held together by peanut butter and bubble gum. Times are much simpler then. Ah, hi there. Hmm. I should get a hacksaw. I should get. Oh my god, I can get a hacksaw. You need to back off now. Actually, that's a good point. I mean, I should try using the that the uh, the cleaver and actually getting that achievement. Well, not achievement, that challenge done. Don't know. Busey's a good target for it, though. Oh, oh, he's making another call. Ah, my agent, Brad. What you got? Sunny, a little bit of. Why would I want to be you some take video a game? Steps back yeah, no, instead, how about I make rest. my own and call it Busey Bear? That good weather we I'll be a giant bear that hugs the sadness from no, the world. No, sure, yeah. <laughs> and we'll make a killing with Every early day. access. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he knows what an early access is. We are truly doomed. Now that if Gary Busey knows what early access is, then fuck. He's gonna make a, an absolute killing out of it. Oh dear. Oh, Meowdy there, Rom, how you doing? You joined us at the best time. Uh we're we're stalking Gary Busey and then we'll murder him. <laughs> That's that's what this is. <laughs> uh, okay. Get him. So right Everyone loves the internet. All about it when the aliens come back and give us a sequel to the internet. The sequel to the internet. Now, what the fuck could that possibly entail? Oh, uh, go get him. I will. Here, I'm actually just following him around, just listening to his dialogue for now. You can actually kill him pretty quickly if he's a propane tank. So <laughs> that's how I'm gonna get rid of him. I'll restart the the mission and get rid of him that way. Oh, we are running through all these elusive targets, which you can now replay, thanks to Peacock. Oh my god, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> but how have you been? I've been sick and dying, but I'm I'm okay. I'm still hanging in there. <laughs> That's why I have to stream on a different day today. But you know, uh, it's a it's a thing. But how have you been? You get a shout out for rum. Oh my god, I've forgotten how to do these shout outs things. It's fucking sh shout out, <laughs> shout. Uh, short out. Oh, there we go. Uh, 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 being sick is no fun. I know, but I, I've been sick for months. This is ridiculous. There we go. Did I even spell that correctly? Yes, I did. There we go. <laughs> oh, dear. I've learned how to twitch properly. It sucks that I'm sick because I wanted to sort of get into streaming on multiple days for a change, like I did back in the old days. And also doing some uh, off off Twitch exclusives as well in uh, on uh, Kick and Rumble. I really want to do stuff like that. That would be nice. That would be nice. But Rum streams things. She streams the Smite. She streams. Um, I forgot what that other game was. What was that other game you did recently? I mean, you you did the the awful new South Park game. There was that. What was that other game you play? I forget. Predecessor. Just like Smite. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I've never played that before, but then again, I've never played Smite either. That new South Park game. Oh dear, what can I say? So toothless, I know. I know, it was it was rather depressing how it didn't push the boundaries at all. 
Fucking hell, I think I think I'm more edgy than that South Park game, and that's a that's a sad state of affairs. You never want that to happen. China is asshole! Uh, yes, I know, fellow from Hong Kong, I know. Hi. Oh, I also like also the horror horror and rhythm games. Oh, what kind of horror games have you been doing lately? Did you play Phasma back in the day? I, I haven't played that one either. <laughs> you are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I wish I was well enough to be super edgy. But then again, I'm on Twitch, so maybe it's not a good idea to be super edgy. Oh dear. They didn't let Jimmy tell one joke and he didn't have a stutter. <laughs> Thank you, bit of tremendous audience. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, that reminds me of when uh, Stick of Truth, when you had to, to press the buttons to get him to stop st stuttering. But you can just leave him there all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I went th through and played almost all the Silent Hill games and Amnesia. Oh yeah, that's that's how I found your channel, I think. You're playing Silent Hill 1. Oh, it's Gary Cole, we found him. Report anything suspicious to us, okay? Busey. Busey. You thought you could outrun me, didn't you? Well, <laughs> guess again, jackass. <laughs> Sorry, kid, no autographs. But you can go to GaryBusey.com to purchase merchandise and memorabilia. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm your co-star, Gary Cole. Hmm. We just filmed an aggressive yet tender scene this morning. How do you not remember me? Maybe it's your weird name. <laughs> it's supposed to be pronounced Gary, not Gary. <laughs> I'm going to make you eat those teeth, you no-talent nut job. D does anyone order. confuse him with Gary so Coleman? Shriek with me. <laughs> what? Your soul is moldy and Your dangerous. last name is shorthand for a man that was actually short. I could guide you down the path of serenity. The first two games of South Jr. was so funny, it was literally, he was literally slaying me. <laughs> that reminds me, I haven't done the second game yet. I have to get onto that at some point. I have no idea what's even going on anymore. I'm frightened. <laughs> what is even happening? But, strangely, I do feel a little relieved. In fact, I don't give a shit about you or this commercial anymore. I'm out of here. Vaya con Dios, asshole. Toodles! <laughs> it's even happening. I'm just so horribly confused. Pain is owned by Sony, but was developed by Idle Minds. Oh, there you go. See, Pain is a pretty interesting game. I would love to be able to do that at some point. Idle Minds is now Deck 9. Ugh. Ugh, God. <laughs> Talk about a fall from grace. Good shit. Good to you, sir. You went from pain to to uh, Life is Strange before the storm. So not even like the main game, but the shitty expansion pack with Chloe. Oh God! Yes, I'll take it, sir. The customer service I received from Marjorie was exceptional. <laughs> she so was fantastic. Great rack on that one. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, I oh my am. God! No, my favorite God, I, I remember doing Before the Storm. Not only yes, is Before the Storm terrible, high. but I was Hello? streaming it when I was really, really sick. <laughs> I had like a, I had gastro when I was streaming that, so I was spending the whole thing miserably ill and hoping that I didn't shit myself the whole time. It's like, look, not only is this game terrible, but I feel sick and I could very well spray diarrhea all over the place. So, you know, it's... Yeah, you know, I guess I guess that's the kind of behavior you expect when you play a game like that. Holy fuck! <laughs> well, we finally get, came across Gary Cole as well. In fact, now he's wandered off. He's not a target, but he's there somewhere. What else is he up to? What are you up to, Gary Busey? Oh my God! Uh, camera. Can I avoid the camera? I guess I could try to just. Well, here we go. Emerge from the mausoleum. I guess I could do that. Hey, I'm not actually dead. There we go. There's evil here. Idle mind. Oh, uh, until Chloe's dad got hit by a truck on stage. Okay, yeah, that did revive me. I have to say, I was I was in an illness stupor, trying desperately hard not to shit all over the place. I mean, the fact that I didn't during that scene is quite a testament, right there. Thank God, I might have just shot myself during that scene. That was great. That was the only good thing from that. That was the only good part of that whole expansion pack. Chloe's dad gets just smashed by the truck on stage. I can and then it. at the very end, when someone goes, Boo! Like a <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this trying to be anymore? <laughs> back the entire game just jumped several sharks and maybe a poor <laughs> voice along the way. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Uh, you need to find another way in, that... sir. Sorry for the inconvenience. God damn. Fine, I will. I'll hop the bloody wall, is what I'll do. There we go. Yeah, that's how I find another way. Oh dear, that reminds me. Um, 
What was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, uh, I think Rum has changed her schedule as well. So I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know when she's streaming anymore because the days are different over there. I mean, not only that, but I mean, daylight saving ended. So it's like I'm streaming at different times now. I don't know if it's more or less convenient for people. Is, 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 it, is my time better or worse now? I guess we'll find out when I stream again next week on Monday. Um, I know the clocks went back an hour, so... But, you know, it, 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 it didn't go back an hour for everyone else, did it? Oh, that could be... That could be good or bad, depending on how you look at it, honestly. I don't know. It's like going to an airport and being like, Okay, alright, time zones are here. They're different. Do I sleep on the plane or do I not? <laughs> what the fuck is he doing now? Jesus Christ, it's hot. Jesus Christ. Oh, man, I gotta get into the beauty set up on high. Oh, there's a waifu up there. Her heart. Her face, a face of flesh. What is even happening anymore? Our souls split and slam together. In a maelstrom of carnal energy, <laughs> as we speed like a freight train toward the transcendent climax. Oh no, I don't like it when Gary Busey says that Flash word. My masculine palm and with me, come to feast upon kisses and popcorn shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. <laughs> Can't you see? Oh dear. Use them eyes. I'm freaking Busey. <laughs> what is happening now? Love capsizing oh. freaking Busey. I just don't know. In your tree, a nude surprise <laughs> is freaking music. Oh. This is giving me a lot of images I don't really want. I'm freaking music. Can we just pretend that he's 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 As like uh the dog Quigley? He he was the voice of Quigley the dog, wasn't he? Can't we just pretend we're following Quigley the dog instead? Makes it a bit less painful. Oh, I think his AI has stopped now. Oh no, it's going on its loop. Okay, I don't think he's going to do anything interesting anymore now. At least I don't think so. Gary Cole is out there somewhere. Missed opportunity to get Gary Coleman in as well. That would have been great. <laughs> uh. hey, did you guys know the ancient Romans made their red sauce for the blood of their enemies? Well, that explains the taste. It was really spicy. <laughs> Fuck you! There we go, Gary, you got shot. All right, we'll do it for real this time, and it should actually be pretty quick. It should be pretty quick. All we have to do is just blow him the fuck up. Welcome to Sapienza, All right, Fortress. and we're going to use the same method the that we did before. I can't outside remember outside which one it was. Uh, does anyone remember how... Because, oh no, it was when I got the cleaver that I didn't end up using. So we're doing the same thing we did before, just a couple of shots ought to do it. Oh no! Someone help me! What do we do? It's all right, I'll figure it out. I've got a propane flask. <laughs> I'll sort it out. So you grab your propane flask, and we're actually going to make use of a particular trick in this game. It's, it's relatively simple enough. Should I have used a rubber ducky, maybe? Oh, God, he's already on the move. He's already on the move. Okay, uh, so get in the way of his guards. There we go. And then we... Huh? There we go. Oh, don't kill the other guy, though. Hang on, here we go. Drop item. And then kablamo! Oh, we killed the other guy. Bloody hell. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. We've got to be quicker this time. Got to be quicker. You've got a limited amount of time to blow his, his ass up. Okay. Here we go. Was he really singing the uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory song? His own rendition of it to that woman on the balcony? Oh my god. Alright. I'm not standing for that. Christ. <laughs> Oh god, she's in the way. No! Oh my god, why? Alright, that didn't work either. Pretty sure Gary Coleman was dead by the time this came out. Sure, but I mean, just like Postal 2, you could just bring him back. <laughs> just, just use dialogue from Postal 2. I mean, fuck, you can't fault those guys for not getting every single bloody ounce of Gary Coleman into their games. I mean, bloody hell, I'm surprised he didn't make a cameo in the fourth game. There we go. Oh no, what is that? Yes, run away, thank you. Right, grab propane and propane accessories. Right, hopefully we get there in time. Please don't walk away just yet. Yeah, it's looking good. He's on the phone, that's good, that's good. Yep, all good. There, puts phone away. Run into the guards, there we go. Go up to him and then drop breaching charge. 
Kablamo! There we go, target eliminated. <laughs> and because it was a propane flask explosion, hey, it was an accident. <laughs> it was an accident, so I get to keep my silent assassin rating. Good shit. Looks like we're gonna have to go the long way though. Uh, yep, I can ride my beetle out of here, I guess. He did. He's in the graveyard with Vern Troyer and Grand Imara. <laughs> oh my god. Imahara. Oh dear, what's this? Oh, why are you... Okay. No, they're just very suspicious, that's all. Oh yeah, they probably checked out the gunshots uh, that I... in the in the butchers. Okay. Uh, this should be fine. Yep, there we go. Alright. Hooray! But Gary Busey is dead. I blew him up with a propane flask. Hell of a way to go. All right, beautiful. I like everything that happened there, especially the part where we did a thing. All right, cool. Let's see, one minute and 19 seconds. So yes, you can get that done relatively quickly. Hit a guy on the way out. Oh, jeez, that'd be funny. <laughs> that would be good. All right, but still, there's Gary Busey done and dusted. What are next? We've, uh, let's see, what's the time? Uh, it's nearly snacky time, but I think we can... I mean, they're fairly quick. Yeah, the broker's not too difficult. We've got some Parisian ones to do. The entertainer is... That's a very s different one. Yeah, this could be... Mm, this could be interesting. All right, uh, well, let's go to the broker then. Kind of a bald version of Gary Busey, if you think about it. So this is a different one. We've got to take down Howard Moxon and also steal his uh, his Fabergé egg there, the Ivory White. A fine filigree egg of pre-revolutionary Russian provenance. Its last known location was in uh, uh, Novodonskoy's uh, monastery, where it was being stored alongside other treasures of the Tsarist era where the when the monastery was captured. Oh, that's that's way too much reading. Let's just hear the briefing. <laughs> Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Howard Moxon, hmm. an international antiquities trader who specializes in selling priceless art to finance terrorist organizations. Oh shit, he's definitely got to go. He's currently involved in the sale of the Ivory White, a filigree egg looted during the Second World War. Hmm. The client has requested that you both eliminate the target and locate and retrieve the original Ivory White. Right. This priceless artifact is most likely in one of the museum's safes. The hmm. clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Right. Easy enough, I think. In fact, I might be able to do this suit only if I'm lucky, but eh, I probably won't do that. I will, however, start at the red carpet uh, location this time around. Uh, we'll get our briefcase out. We will get our fart bomb in there as well to make him sick. <clears throat> now, the ivory white, I believe I can open the safe with the classic lockpick. I think I can anyway. Um... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh god, I have to do it all over again. Um, alright, no, 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 containers. Uh, uh, what the fuck is going on? Containers. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Something ain't right. Tools. You made a gas. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. There we go. Pretty sure I can crack that uh, safe with the lockpick, but if not, oh god. Yeah, I should have at least smuggled in a breach charge just in case. But I think we'll be alright. I thought that was a glitch that Good happened in that exit. Oh. Your target has been um, on the ground floor and should oh, the guy being whacked? Yeah, that, that can happen. Yet discovered the location of the it, it, it only happens when he's actually standing there, that guy. He wanders around and likes to sightsee around the castle. And of course, IO's solution to that problem was not just to change that guy's fucking trajectory where he walked so he doesn't get hit by the car ever. They just basically just took the car, the car exit out. It's like, yeah, brilliant. That's a great solution. <laughs> Just slight alteration to his his uh, his route that he walks there. Nah, nah, son. Much better off just uh, removing that exit altogether instead. Right, Howard Moxon is over here. Should be able to to fart bomb him over here. Should be relatively simple. Right, depends on where he vomits though. Where's he gonna go if he throws up? There we go. About to spew, and off he goes. <laughs> you alright? What is he doing? Alright, yep. Yeah. Hopefully he goes to the bathroom over here, and yeah, I think that's gonna work. He does have a guard with him, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure he won't go into the bathroom with him, or at least he bloody well not, better not. Okay. Let's just head in here. I think this is where he's gonna go. I'll grab an invitation while I'm at it. 
Right, so I hope he comes in here. Oh, the Art del Assassinus. Um, I don't know French too well, but sounds like Art of Assassination to me. And fuck you. Yeah. There we go. That was easy. There we go. Now we have to get the Ivory White. Now, yeah, this is one of those missions where um, it introduced you to a secondary objective. And the way it worked with elusive targets was if you got the egg first, uh, then you wouldn't be able to restart the mission. Um, in the same way that if you killed the target, you won't be able to restart the mission either. So, uh, yeah, that, that's how that works. Basically, targets or objectives counted towards... Uh, oh, God. Okay, there's someone there. <laughs> Not good. Uh, both of them counted towards the, uh, you know, once you've done them, then you've done them, and you can't do them again kind of system they had going there for elusive targets. Thankfully, no longer a problem, because Peacock exists. So not only did killing our target not really mean anything in the Hill of Beans, but I can also save. There you go. And I, and I should do that, because this is a long, longer mission. There we go. Not only am I allowed to save now, but I can do other things as well, like uh, restart even after just getting the uh, getting the kill, and I've, I've yet to get the filigree egg. Um, uh, yeah, all right, I'll just toss this over here. There we go. Let's see if this works, just to get this guy out of the way. Show yourself! Show yourself, monsieur! Hello! There we go. Oh, easy does it. All right. I have used the clever tactic of uh, dis distracting a Parisian by throwing a, a briefcase somewhere. Oh my god. Oh, I nearly got caught there. That was almost a disaster. All right. Let's now... Whoop. It, there we go. <laughs> All right, now I've got to get that egg, and it's in the room where Dahlia usually hangs out in the main mission. So, all we have to do is just go in there. There'll be a brand new safe to open there. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty easy enough, I would say. We'll just sneak into this door here. I love that butler. He's, like, barely looking towards the, the door there. So you can just easily just go into this restricted area, and he just does not give a shit. All right, uh, first things first, uh, let's close that door again, actually, and fuck that mirror up so that nobody sees me choking them the fuck out. Uh, here we go. Hey, that didn't work. That didn't work. All right, plan B, overflow sink. Maybe that will work. There we go. Turn off sink. There we go. Oh, hurry, he's coming. Right, do I have a bonking item? Um, well I did, but my briefcase is gone now. Come on. Oh, come the fuck on. There we go, one down. Now we just have to get rid of the other one and hope that Dahlia and her guard don't come in before we steal the egg. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, let's also grab this gun so it doesn't cause any problems with the AI. There we go. Guard number two. Here we go. Just dump this back here. Right. Alright. And down you go as well. Good stuff. Alright, so let's drag you over here and then finally get that bloody egg. Oh no, is Dahlia coming back? God damn it, now we have to sit through their dialogue. Takes for fucking ever as well. Alright, let's do a magic trick. Um, switched guns like magic. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Oh yeah, they're different types of guns. I mean, what can you do? Right. Is it just Dahlia here on her own? No, I guess not. Great, we have to sit through so, this dialogue. You're gonna tell me about what okay. So there's the safe we need to open. Alright, I guess we're gonna hang out here for a while. I better save at least. Oh, if only we'd gotten there just a little bit quicker. Alright, I guess that's fine though. Now all we do is wait. Oh, jeez. All we do is wait. That's all we ever do these days. It's a shame. Um, if there was a way I could maybe get rid of them. If I could get them out. I mean, I could startle them maybe with a with a fire alarm, but... Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Um, because once you trip the fire alarm, everyone just kind of freaks out and starts running about. And, you know, someone might barge in while I'm trying to steal the filigree egg. So, alright, let's just chill here for the time being. 
Hello. Clients in yeah, we'll just stay here for now. Are you saying they're bidding on used goods? Victor is certain this mystery man was looking for something very specific. God damn it. So the way this game works with dialogue is if you're, if, you know, they'll start talking if you're in proximity of them. But they will go through the same sort of, uh, 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 I guess, movement patterns. Like, sh they will go into that room, even if you're not nearby. But they won't initiate their conversation unless you're nearby. And so, you can, yeah, it can be really unlucky if you're just sort of, like, in the area which triggers the discussion. And then it's like, well, shit, now I have to wait here all day. Because it's quite a long chat they have there. And if, you know, if they were just... If, if I was far away enough, or they weren't in the room, then we wouldn't have to wait this bloody long. Yeah. Oh well. Let's well shoot some more things while I'm here. Ooh, hey! Let's darken this place a bit. Yay, now I can't see anything! <laughs> Alright. Oh, can I shoot individual candles, maybe? Oh, yes I can, and what the fuck was that? We got ghost flames, everybody. <laughs> ghost flames! Alright. I'll just chill here for a bit more. My God, this is a long talk. Oh dear! Oh no, it's all soggy on the floor. Now my shoes are wet. I'm I'm very unhappy. Oh God! How long does this have to go on for? Good plan. I'll keep you updated. Okay. Finally, get the fuck out. If I have to knock one or both of you out. I I I will if I have to. Oh, question mark. Ah, oh, I should have kept the fucking door shut. Okay. Oh wait, is he even an enforcer? I don't give a shit, here we go, unlock safe. Yeah. There we go, one free filigree egg. The money has been wired to your account. There we go, and I can go through here. This is a legal area, so... Alright, there's that, let's go. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Um... I don't know where I left all my stuff. Oh, I left it in the bathroom. That's right. Yeah, I can get that again. Not that you need to get it back, but I might as well retrieve my briefcase and head out the way, uh, head out uh, with all of my stuff intact. Right here. Um, yeah, all right. Now we're good. Now we're good. We've got this all figured out now. Oh, God. Oh, out my eye. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yes, the old bare knuckle boxer kill. Arguably the first poison kill of the game. I don't think you can do any poison kills in the prologue. Uh, oh wait, well, well, rat poison technically counts. Oh no, my briefcase must have been stashed. All right, fuck it. I'm just gonna leave it then. Alrighty, well, that just leaves the exit then. Let's get going. I don't know where my briefcase has been stashed. The shame they never tell you. Like, do they actually tell you where things are stashed? I mean, you can kind of see briefcases on the map, but then again, there are multiple ones on the map anyway. Which, of course, they added, um... I think, yeah, I think, yeah, they added in the second uh, season. Yeah, they brought the briefcases back for that. Still no dual-wielding pistols, though. That's a shame. It's a shame that's never come back. Hell, even Absolution had that one, and Absolution had very little else that was good about it. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. There is the broker dead. And his filigree egg in my possession. Good stuff. Alright, done and done. Alright, Broker dead. Charlie Broker. Alright, there we are. Oh, yep, that's looking good. More mastery for me. Still only level 156, though. Although, or to, be, to be perfectly honest with you, that's a pretty good... Pretty good level for just a, a relatively brand new save, is the thing. Alright, done and dusted. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to get the next one done in five minutes, am I? So I should probably do snacky time, shouldn't I? That's what everyone here is real... That's what everyone is really here to see, isn't it? Oh, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Let's see. The black hat... Yeah, the black hat's going to take a while. And that one's actually kind of fucking irritating. I'm going to have to find a way to deal with that. But I think I've got a pretty good method of dealing with the black hat. So that's... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay, I think. But hey, uh, I've been streaming for four hours. Yeah. Wait, what's this? EOS Overlay Render. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. But okay, uh, we'll get back to the game in just a tick because uh, I gotta eat something before I die. So let's go to snacky time. Oh, 
Oh, dearie me. There it is. <laughs> Didn't get my music in. Fuck's sake. All right, LCMs are back on the menu. Hey, there's a shocker. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Holy ballsack. I can't remember when I last ate something. Probably last night. Oh, God. Oh, well. Drunk quarts for that. Get that sugar into me, please. Oh, my back is killing me. But due to the healing power of streaming, I don't feel quite so sick right now. So that helps. But it feels weird streaming on a Tuesday. I technically have one less day to get all my affairs in order and prepare the next stream. That's not going to be great. Oh my god. So, um... I'm just going to quickly check and see how many... Oh, I can't check it, unfortunately. No. I was going to see how far ahead I was in at least the Hitman Season 1 elusive targets, anyway. Oh. Hopefully none of them last, like, 12 hours. That'll be a problem. Oh god, I guess the fixer is gonna be a while, yeah. The fixer was so terrible. I remember when they, um, when IO Interactive, um, checked their statistics, their player statistics, to see which one of the elusive targets, uh, people failed the most in Season 1. And to nobody's fucking surprise, the fixer was the one that was, like, well at the top. It's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> the objective's very poorly explained, and you can lose the um, elusive target instantly for just simply knocking out the guy who was uh, handing over the, the diamonds. Like, like, wh what the fuck was, like, stopping you from just taking the guy's diamonds and just disguise disguising yourself as him and then doing the handoff yourself? Oh, God. So, yeah, it's very strict, the fixer, and I'm not looking forward to it. But on the plus side, um... On the plus side, um, we're using Peacock, so I can just save the game whenever I need to. <laughs> oh god. Come to think of it, uh, no, no, because the guy with the diamonds is not a target. Yeah, it's probably not going to show up on the in instinct mode, unfortunately, but hey. It would be nice to know where he actually spawns, I don't know where exactly. Alright, better get some water in me before I come back. Meh. Oh, that is some good water. Alrighty. Well, there's that done. So, uh, yeah, before we get back to the game, though, there's one thing that we have to do, so get your generals ready for it. It's, it's the best time of the stream, you know it. Well, hey, hey, everybody, guess what? It's that time once again for the Gib Shopping Network. Oh, my goodness gracious me. I love it every single time. So, me from the past, can you do everyone a huge favour and sell them some things they might be able to buy or maybe not? I never know, but I guess we're going to find out together. If you make it worth my while, me. Today on the Gib Shopping Network, we have the perfect upgrade for your My First Prescription Candy Pills. Take a gamble on your health for the possibility of getting messed up in a good way with a prescription pill I found on the ground. The ultimate dice roll of barbiturates, this nondescript medication is precisely what the risk-taking drug enthusiast was hoping for. What fate awaits you when you take a chance on this pill? Who can possibly tell? You'll likely not be in any position to discern what is happening to you either way. It could be maximum strength, or maybe not, as we don't know what it is. Is swallow it down and find out what happens. Even death might be in store for you. Imagine the fun of finding out. And for only 17 silver coasters, this unknowable hospital candy can be in your mouth. Don't let this caplet lie untaken upon the ground. Live your life dangerously and risk a horrific demise with your own prescription pill I found on the ground. Warning, do not take orally. Back to you, me. Oh, thank you very much, me, and uh, yeah. Don't think I'm going to be taking the risk a risk on that one. <laughs> oh no! Well, there you go. <laughs> a prescription pill I found on the ground. It could be fun? Question mark. <laughs> it could be. It could be fun. I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know. Or it might kill you. Maybe it's Molly. I don't know. It seemed like a waste to just leave it there. Oh dear. 
There you go. I'm not going to take a. Uh, uh, I'm not going to take a chance on it. But uh, but you certainly can. You certainly can. Why not? So get yourself a prescription pill that I found on the ground and enjoy it. I guess. Oh, don't. I don't know. Oh boy. Well, now back to our regularly scheduled programming with more uh, Hitman World of Assassination. It's definitely a thing. Oh boy. All right. Let's get back to it then. Finally, back to the game. Let's get the audio back. There we go. Game audio is in. And here we go. So, uh, now's a good time to check and see how many we've done. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of these. How many have I got left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, wow, shit. No, we've got a lot to go through. Ooh, we've got a lot to do. Yeah, we're nowhere near done with this. So, uh, let's just power on. Next up, we have the Black Hat. Now, yeah, uh, if we, if we couldn't identify these guys with uh with our instinct uh it would be a lot more difficult so you know what i'm not going to use instinct but then again i already know who it is anyway so it's fine but <laughs> it's the black hat it's a hacker dickhead although we don't know who exactly is the hacker that we're looking for owen the protagonist owen protagonist wagner we that's our target although we don't know quite who he is we have to figure that out good evening 47. hi your target is a black hat hacker who goes by the handle protagonist he is currently in Paris with his longtime partner known as Whitecap. The two have been contracted by Dahlia Mogolis to execute a high profile hack tonight. No current pictures of the target exist, but he makes use of the hacker alias protagonist, and he often references a particular brand of cheap fruit jam available in Alabama. You will have to use this information to identify him. The okay. clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. It's time to. DDoS his brain. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Hello world. More like goodbye world, twatamaboob. All right, let's go. Um, right. This one's a bit of a pain in the dick. Um, how am I going to do it? Uh, well, first things first. No, it's not in the attic. We're going to start undercover in the Argo auction. Hmm. We're going to do things a bit differently. I am going to smuggle in... Because you can actually get something very close to where the target is. There's an empty attic room. I will get... What will I bring with me? I will bring the Seeker. There we go. Seeker 1. I'll bring that. A.K.A. the Vomit Gun. And as for my secondary item here, I'm going to be bringing a disposable scramble. This is very important to uh, get through the door. They've, they've, they've put a, uh, a key card panel on the door in this uh, empty attic room here, so we're going to need that. Um, let's see, what else? Um, do we need a lockpick, is the thing. Maybe? Uh, I don't think we need the classic lockpick, because I'm thinking... Suppose we'll go... Yeah, alright. I Well, let's find out. Let's find out. I will try bringing... Antique lethal syringe. There we go. Now, we can just poison his fruit jam. That is possible, but there's three guys in the room, so uh, not really realistic. Not realistic to get any of that. So instead, we're just going to do this a bit more, uh, well, a bit more creatively, I would say. We're going to make people vomit with our seeker gun. Uh, we're going to get two out of three guys out of the room, and uh, we're also going to, Paris, oh, we're also going to be very careful I've not to, uh, to get seen up there. About the whereabouts of the target. Hmm. However. There are reports of sudden mobile phone outages on the upper floors of the palace. Oh, see, that's how you know. That's how you know they be hacking and shit. Alright, so we're going to start over here. Will I knock people out here? You know what? I don't think I will just yet. I think I can get away with not doing that. Oh, I... Oh, fuck. Alright. So there's guards all over the place. Oh, dear. Oh, found trespassing. Oh, shit. Alright. Yeah, this is a rough one. Um, this is a rough one. Um, uh, Welcome to Paris, Is it worth maybe I've been using? To gain any information uh, about the I was thinking maybe a, an emetic However, grenade to get rid of some people, but I don't think that's going to work. On the upper floors of the I think I know what my problem is. I usually knock them out and s s the guys out here and stuff them into a into a container. Uh, yeah, which wastes the time, I guess. So yeah, hmm. I'm gonna do this. Hmm, this is going to be pretty tricky. Um, as long as he doesn't see me. Okay, do do do. Ah, oh, see that fucker's there. I wonder if I can get rid of him. 
without causing a problem. Uh, I'll try. I'll try. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, that got his attention. Alright, great. Nope. Oh yeah, that ain't gonna work. Um, problem is, I, I... Wait, do I need a pistol anymore? Because I can just throw something at the camera now. Yeah, actually, you know what? That changes this mission rather significantly. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll, I'll bring it anyway. Who cares? Hmm. Oh, yeah, the black hat. I remember this one being a real pain in the ass. Um, I've been unable to gain I, I mean, I guess I could be more patient and just wait for the uh, the AI However, to go through its its uh, routines in, in, a, in a matter where it actually works out for me, but I just I don't think I'm going to be able to manage it. There are a lot more guards here than they're usually here. So, um... Mm, Alright. Maybe I can just waste some of the time by knocking people out. Okay. I'll do that. Fuck you. And... Fuck you. Right. Alright. Fantastic. Will I use the outfit? I don't think it's even worth doing it. Yep. But, you know, fuck it. You know, suit only. We're not doing suit only. That's for plebs. There we go. So now we've just got a few enforcers to worry about. I've got my cicada disguise on. Oh, shit. There we go. Wait for this guy to bugger off. Okay, I do have a subsonic ancestral pistol. Let's see if we can use it. There you go. And... Uh-oh, that got his attention. Okay. Now, as long as this guy buggers off... Oh, yeah, we can save. That's right. It's not a real elusive target mission, so... We can save whenever we want. <laughs> and Lord knows I want to. What the... Are you even... Oh, I would... Oh, fuck. Okay, no, no, that changes everything. I was taking cover in the wrong spot. I thought I was taking cover on the on the thing in front of me, but no, apparently it was behind me. Okay, great. Oh, God, it's so dark. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's so dark. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. So, how do we do this? Command. False alarm. Nothing to report. Hmm, this is gonna be tough. Maybe I want to play Pain again, and now I'm checking the PS Store to see who's in it. <laughs> is it... Can you even buy it anymore? Oh, here we go. So this is why I brought a disposable scrambler. Andy Dick, Dexter, Elvira, Fat Princess, Flavor Flav, George Decay, David Hasselhoff. All those characters should have been in Postal 2 as well, now that I think about it. Okay. It's still purchasable. Does it have backwards compatibility and all that? Okay, let's try saving again. We've got our briefcase. Okay, and we're going to use our Seeker gun. There we go. Not backwards compatible, but you can still buy it. Okay, first things first. Seeker. Okay, that's a whole set done. Let's take five. And another one. There we go. So with the Seeker, uh, they don't give a shit that I'm wandering around this place. They really don't care. Uh... There we go. They really don't care that I'm I'm illegally here. It's like, oh hi, how's it going? <laughs> oh hi, how's it going? Okay, that's white cap dealt with as well as that guy. Do, 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 do. Oh come on, are you serious? Get up! Hang on, I'm gonna have to get this guy to get up. Hey, look a wrench. Go fetch it, boy. Are you fucking serious? Pff, fine. Hang on. Do do do. <laughs> sure, whatever. Come on, friend. Don't worry, they'll be vomiting for a good long while. Okay, so technically I didn't need the poison. Um, I guess I just gotta store the body for now. There we go. <laughs> because, complete. because he is the uh, target, it doesn't it doesn't matter that he saw me. There we go. It doesn't matter that he saw me and that it technically killed my- Oh god, I have to unlock it from the other side as well? Fuck that shit. Just grab the keycard. There we go. There we go. It doesn't matter that he saw me, because I murdered him anyway. And that was, by the way, uh, something that they added in a patch after the fact. It used to be that if your target saw you, e even if your target saw you and you killed them immediately afterwards, you would still lose your silent assassin rating. But they changed it, so as long as the target doesn't warn anybody that they saw you, if you kill them immediately after they spot you, then you're fine. You're fine. You can get your silent assassin back. Which is good, and it ma because, you know, it kind of fucking makes sense. It kind of makes all the sense in the world, doing it that way, you know? <laughs> Alright. Because, I mean, you know, if he saw you, it's like, Oh my god, there's no more Silent Assassin for you! But it's like, yeah, but 
Yeah, but I'm gonna kill you now. You didn't say nothing. You, you're not gonna remember me. Go fuck yourself. All right, there's that dealt with. Let's now. Oh no, I'm I'm not here. I'm not real. Fucking enforcers. All right, let's get our outfit back on. There we go. Tuxedo with gloves. And boom, there we go. I'm just gonna leave him resting comfortably on that couch. Mostly naked. <laughs> oh dear. No punch. <laughs> no. All right. Oh, nearly no longer in a trespassing place. There we go. I've come pretty far. I guess I can save, so yeah, I'll do that. There we go. We've left no trace of our of our being here. And since we can save, I might as well take a risk and try and exit out from the helicopter since it is faster. It's just a bit riskier, that's all. Emulation does work. Played on... Played a castle match with my cousin a while back. Oh! Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I don't have the, uh... I don't have the lockpick. That's right. I didn't bring it with me because I had other things that I needed to bring. Okay. Oh. Wait. Wait. Change cover. Oh. Damn. Oh, shit. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, I'm not real. Oh, shit, he's coming over here. No. Just go fuck yourself. Right, I'm going to need a plan B to get out of here and quick. <laughs> At this rate, it'll probably be faster just to go out the front door. Oh, for fuck's sake, seriously. Okay, just go away. Oh, good. Helmut's also fucked off as well. He can sometimes be a bit of a problem. And I guess this waste of time has moved these guys to the other side of the helicopter, so that's really helped me out. Yay, she doesn't give a shit that I'm trespassing. I love that. <laughs> oh shit, that's made everything a lot easier. I'll just go this way and... Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Brand times. Fuck you, hacker. Alright. System shock to avert it. And, by extension, the first game as well. I don't know why I said two specifically. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We did it. We stopped the hack in Paris. God knows what they were planning on doing. But there you go, Black Hat done. There we go, it only took us f five, nearly six minutes. I mean, it did fi Did I fuck up? Yeah, I fucked up a few times at the beginning, didn't I? Alright, there you go. Wait a minute. Can I go to detailed... Wait, hang on. Leaderboards. Are there leaderboards yet for, um... Now, global. Are there leaderboards? For oh my god! There are leaderboards indeed for, uh, Peacock, but I, they all say Steam, so I don't know. Oh, do they just... Do they differentiate between the two? E everyone is on Steam. <laughs> Mission rating, uh, go fuck yourself. Okay, someone managed to do this with a mission... Full mission rating, so yeah, everything done. No penalties. 26 seconds, though. Uh, I don't believe that. That sounds like bullshit. Alright, done. The Black Hat is done. Um, what is next? Oh god, the Fixer's gonna be coming up soon. I, I fucking hate the Fixer, and I never remember how it's actually properly done anyway. So, alright. Is it next? No, not just yet, but we're still in Paris now. We're taking on the Pharmacist after this. <laughs> Who hates pharmacies? Alright, Neela Torvik, the Pharmacist. Good evening, 47. Your target is Neela Torvik, brilliant pharmaceutical scientist and CEO of Torvik Research. Her company is a major provider of low-cost generic drugs to the developing world. However, this philanthropic project is cover for large-scale human tests in the third world. Oh, shit. She will be attending the Iago auction in Paris as a personally invited guest of Dahlia Margolis. It is possible okay. that she has been warned of a potential assassination attempt. Oh dear. So you should expect her to be highly suspicious. Not the suspicious enough, I imagine. 47. Good luck. Alright, good luck. We gotta do things. Oh, did I not see that link yet? I don't think I saw that link. Is that a Miko link? What's Miko up to? Uh, let's see. Oh, there she is. Still one of the greatest Hololive Elden Ring clips of all time. What's she up to? Fuck this gun. Oh no, <laughs> she did. Oh dear. Oh, 
that's that's actually kind of unlikely that that happened. <laughs> Very unlucky. All right, so how am I going to deal with this one? Um, let me think. I don't even know if I need. I probably don't even need the the lockpick again. Actually, let's go with containers. The old fart grenade trick. Very good. There we go. Remote amount of gas device. Gun. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. Actually, just start on the red carpet. The meteor attack kind of homes in. Kind of. Still seems kind of unlucky. That boss is nuts. All righty. Good evening, forty-seven. Hello. The target is en route and will arrive shortly. Expect her to be escorted by a security detail and to depart again immediately oh. after meeting Dahlia Margolis. Right. Ah, so this is one of those... Good hunting. One of the first uh, elusive targets that actually leaves. Okay, so you're on a limited time window here. Okay, so our target starts over here. We can't actually go into this area, it is restricted, but she will come over here. 47. Yes, I can see that. Now, where is she going? Okay, over here, and I should be able to drown the fuck out of her, so this is- this shouldn't be too bad. I'm glad they never patched out this, uh, little sneaky trick. Works great, here we go. Do, 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 and boop! Oh, oh, we managed to get one of her security guards as well. Which, I don't know if that's a problem or not. Oh, where are you going? Oh, where the fuck are you going? Oh, are you going to a bathroom and you're not? Uh, really? Ugh. Okay, hang on. Let's try that again. This time we're going to get in the way of a guard so that they're nowhere near that fucking thing. Oh, God, that's a pain in the ass. Good evening, 47. Her guards are, like, really, really close, so... Unfortunately, that wasn't going to work. Um... And to depart again immediately. After meeting Dahlia there we go. And get the detonator going. Alright. Should be able to get away with this. Um, I won't bother drowning or I'll just poison her as soon as... It's, it's, it's a quicker way of getting rid of them than drowning. So generally speaking, when, uh, when I do make them vomit, I like the to bring a poison arrived, as well. 47. And do you have a long haul planned out this year? I do. I do. It's going to be interesting. It might be two games, it might be one, I'm not sure yet. It depends how long the first one goes for. Um, well, technically it's like one and a half, really, kind of. I don't know, it's a bit weird how it'll work out, but we'll see. Oh no, I got in your way. Oh, alright, yeah, you go to the bathroom. There we go, now you're going the right way. Let me just get my uh, antique lethal syringe out. Uh, don't worry, it's all above board. It's my insulin. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, come on. She doesn't even look sick. I don't know why she hasn't got the... Sometimes the NPCs glitch out and they don't have the uh, the sick animation as they move through. Which um, might actually be beneficial here because... I mean, she, she walks pretty fast. She's got a hell of a stride going on there. Right Let's just sir. back up slightly, shall we? Okay, where the fuck are you going? Hmm. Oh, she's going the short way to the bathroom. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's just I can't go through this area. So it looks like we're going to have to take the scenic route. Yeah, there we go. Now then, I think this is the guy's bathroom. I'm not sure. Does it matter? Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Oh my god, they followed her. Why are you... Why? Well, this is... this is slightly awkward. Um... Hmm... What are we gonna do about this then? Um... Hmm... I gotta rethink my strategy here. <laughs> I gotta rethink this. Is it entirely possible? No, you can see if I get all four of them, she'll go someplace else. Um... Right, instead of a lethal syringe, how about we use the brand new tool I unlocked it f uh, unlocked for the uh, for the Easter stuff, the blue Easter egg. So this is a new one. Uh, the egg emits a cloud of tranquilizing gas. Sure, why not? I could give it a go. I wonder how. Hmm. I wonder how big the plume is. Hopefully, big enough to get both of them in that bathroom there. 
Oh, that's kind of irritating. Um, that's right. We'll figure it out. I think that's the first uh, Easter egg uh, item that uh, they've given us as an unlock, actually. Which is kind of surprising because you would think, okay, why not the emetic one? Or why not the yellow one? I guess the yellow one doesn't really do much. But the emetic one would be nice. But never in a million years are they going to give us the poison egg. The the lethal poison egg? No, we're never going to see that. That, like, completely breaks the game. Because <laughs> you just, you're just chucking. It's like, oh, lethal gas, and you're dead. It's kind of cheap. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it works well enough for the Easter, uh... The Easter escalation, but... You know, not not really. I mean, it, it would break this game. It'd be like the ICA electrocution phone, and they took that thing out for a reason. Uh, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, so blue Easter egg. Let's see if this actually works. Here we go. So she's gonna go and throw up again, but this time around, I've got a sedative Easter egg that maybe will work. Maybe. Oh my god, fucking loom bands. Hang on, I gotta see who that is, it's too small. Corpse Finder 1, that is a great username. Corpse Finder 1, there's some loom bands, mate. Oh dear. Haven't seen that one for a while, I love it though. But thank you very much for the follow there, Corpse Finder 1. Oh, we greatly appreciate it. Enjoy your loom bands. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh god. Join us at a weird time. I'm using a blue Easter egg to knock out some guards so I can murder the fuck out of the pharmacist. Oh god, she's gone the, through the 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 way that she should not be allowed to go, but I mean. But the AI is weird in this game. She's allowed to go wherever she wants. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh dear. But uh, I think we'll be able to pull this off. So she's going to... Here we go. There we go. I love the blue egg. Isn't it great? It's a brand new unlock. And it seems to work pretty well. Let's see if it actually works. Here we go. Boop, boop, boop. Oh god, no, I don't want to throw it at someone's head. Okay. Blue egg. Let's hope. Hang on. Oh, no, not at the head. Not at the head. Oh, the lock on. I hate it. Hang on. Here we go. Boop, boop. Oh, let's just see if this works. No. Uh, are we okay? It, it, are we alright? No, we are definitely not all right. What even happened there? So that didn't work. <laughs> oh, why does it have to lock onto their head? All right. Why does it have to lock onto their head? Um, okay, I've just had a really interesting idea, actually. Forget that. I had a new idea. Instead of the egg, because this... Hang on, this doesn't lock onto people's heads. Emetic gas grenade. There you go. Now we can make everyone sick. <laughs> There's going to be so much vomiting going on here today. This is going to be good. Okay. I have an idea. It's not the best idea, but it's an, it's an idea. Damn chemist. I don't even remember how I would have done this uh, in Season 1, but I mean, we'll figure it out. If you're wondering how I'm able to play all of these elusive targets again, it's not because they're re-releasing them, even though IO likes to just put these things on a loop constantly. It's because we're using Peacock, which allows you to replay all the elusive targets, which is fantastic. <laughs> oh dear. You have so many options, like you can see the targets in uh, in your instinct mode. You can also save and load the game. It's kind of crazy. I wonder if you can save in escalations with Peacock. I hope so. Because one of my pet peeves is escalations can't be saved in, and I don't know why you can't. I can understand people not saving in contracts, because, you know, the whole point of contracts is, okay, the person who made the contract didn't save, ever. And if they can do it, you can do it. Like, that's the kind of the idea. And I'm also fine with uh, not saving in elusive targets, but still. Jesus. I have a Batman mod skin. Oh my god. I did not know that was a thing. Oh dear, I don't have any visual mods, um, except for this is lighting overhaul fix, which makes the game look a little bit nice. I also have the accent overhaul. So now, uh, like, for example, on this map here, people actually speak with a French accent, which is nice. Uh, what other mods have I got? I got uh, Baldi's quality of life fixes, that's nice. Um, so I don't have to sit through Agent, uh, Agent Smith's very long dialogue when I, uh, just want to get the RF... RFD chip from him on Hokkaido, so that's nice. 
No bullet explosions from your guns, um, which I can't really show right now, obviously, because I'm going to get my gun out, but, uh... It's funny when I get caught and the person's like, who are you? And I run over and punch him like, oh, I'm bad, bad. <laughs> Righty-o. Wait for everyone to go in there. And hopefully this works. I'm just going to give this a bit of a throw. Oh. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Now she's like doubly sick now. That's it, lads. Go on, fuck off. Go on, fuck off. There we go. Go on, fuck off. There we go. And fuck you two. Well, that worked. Oh, don't you come in here. What the fuck is going on? Are you serious? Go somewhere to throw up, you dickheads. Oh, God. This one is a pain in the ass. What is even going on? But at least this looks like it could work. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Replan mission. I got a better idea. I got a better idea. So, smuggle item. Uh, shit. All right. Hmm. Smuggle item. Okay, I have enough time to run in to the basement stairwell and pick up a lethal syringe. That is not my... Yeah, there it is. Antique lethal syringe. Okay. I've got more than enough time to do this. The AI probably saw the toilet is available now. Yeah, probably because I killed her. That's that's likely what happened. Good evening. Okay. The target is I should be okay now because I can just uh, now poison her, which is very, very quick. So, I mean, drowning just takes forever. So, I'll poison the fuck out of her, and this gives me plenty of time to then run off and find... Have you done the Halloween one? I have. The uh, the Mills Reverie? Yeah, I've done that one. That's, uh, that's an interesting one. <laughs> Poor Orson. How many times did we uh, involve him in a ritual sacrifice? <laughs> the target has arrived. Oh dear. Uh, it's not like he was totally undeserving of it. Okie doke. Well, uh, which marker was with the things that look like batterings? It's more cooler with a batter a Batman mod. Oh yeah, there's like totally bat throwing throwing knives in this. So yeah, with the Batman mod, uh, yeah, use batterings all the time. Makes perfect sense. There we go. Oh, get in the way. There we go. And fuck you. There we go. Okay. Make sure she goes the right way. Yep, she is. All right. And we have time, so I'm just going to go Step and head to my... Oh, to my stash here. Grab the poison syringe. There we go. Oh, and hopefully this works. There we go. One syringe for me. Uh, don't worry, everybody. It's uh, it's for my insulin. Okay. Yeah, you got plenty of time to do this. Uh, let's prepare our emetic gas grenade. This one's a good one because it it blows up on impact, and it's not terribly suspicious to use either. Right. Let's just hang out here. Oh, here's a, a closet I barely ever go into. <laughs> I bet you didn't even know it existed. But uh, yeah, it's not much to see here. But wait, hang on a sec. Is that a uh yeah, there's a storage crate here. So if they find guns... Oh, free scissors. Yeah, I'll take scissors. I don't need scissors, 61, but I'll take them. Oh no, I'm trespassing. I'm not allowed to be in here. <laughs> this is trespassing. There's no sign to say I shouldn't trespass here, but oh well. Okay, here we go. Let's give this a bit of a toss. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I fucking hate this one. I fucking hate this one. All the AI problems and everything, I really fucking hate it. Oh, it's gotta be done soon, surely. God. To think Gary Busey was the easy one. Oh, and we have to do the fucking broker after this as well. Oh, who did the broker the first time around? I mean, they brought the broker back one more time, and I think it was during season two or season three. It was one of those seasons. And I, I got it that time, but yeah, first time I definitely fucked up the broker. Right. Come on, let's go. Arrived, 47. Yeah, I've noticed that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's see if this works out. Ah, oh, it should be fine. Alrighty. Shame I couldn't stream this while the uh, the purple street duck was uh, was there. Everyone could have got that drop. Because <laughs> I'm going to be streaming this for hours to come. Alright. Boop, get out of the way, get out of the way. Do, 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 do. Oh. There you go. Fuck you. Are you sick? Yep, you're sick. Alright. Once I pick up my syringe, 
I should probably save the game. Thank God that's an option with Peacock. Thank God. Alright, thank God that is an option. Um, alright. I'm not going to ask what kind of wizardry is going on there to make Peacock even possible, but I'm glad it works. <laughs> I'm glad it's a thing. I'm glad it works. Right, don't mind me. Just getting my emetic gas grenade out. It glows ominously. And, uh... Yeah, but it's, it's totally above board. Right. I'm going to steal my, my lucky pipe and my lucky scissors as well. They weren't terribly lucky last time, though. Okay, there we go. And save the game so we don't have to do this shit over and over and over and over again. There we go. I'll just hide in this awkward spot here. This is good. You know, it's such a big plume. I can probably get away with throwing this just in the middle of the room and it'll still have an effect. So, let's see... I shouldn't have to be seen by these guys. Yeah, go on, in you go. <laughs> She's not going to be able to vomit alone, you know. So I should be able to get away with just tossing it here. Oh, yeah, that worked for real. Yep, all right. That definitely worked. Oh, God, what are you doing? Fuck off. Okay. Oh, great. Now this guy's going to be investigating this place. Ah, oh, brilliant. Oh, look at this. Okay, he's going to go over there. He's going to go over there. Fantastic. Now, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, Mr. Securite. Come on, off you go. Yeah, yeah, it's... Yeah, she's vomiting. It's great. Haven't you ever seen a woman vomit before? Now, fuck off. Lord knows I have. Okay, now fuck you. But Oh, finally. Jesus Christ, that took forever. <laughs> Oh my god, it's about time. Bloody hell. I hate that one. Why is everyone so suspicious of me? I didn't do anything. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Alright. And the game auto saves. Of course it does. Why Why wouldn't it? Okay. There we go. Oh, let's ruin our shot. <laughs> oh dear. You'd think 47 would be a little bit more concerned about being caught on camera. I mean, Blood Money was all about like, Oh god, I'm on security camera. Uh, best I destroy that tape. Alrighty. Done and done. Oh yeah, it only took three minutes. That's absolutely the case. <laughs> That's true. That's the truth. That's a true thing. Three minutes, of course. Bitch, please. Alrighty. Well... Let's move on. Uh, what are next? Oh god, it's the fixer. Oh, alright. Everyone failed this one. Um, alright. Elusive targets and fixer time. Look at this dickhead. Alright, let's see how this goes. Uh, the, yeah, the fixer. So, you've got this, this guy, here's your target. It's Xander Haver, folk. But you also have to do other things. You have to track the courier to the diamonds and retrieve the diamonds. Now, I made the mistake of knocking out the courier before he had switched, uh, where, where he, uh, before he'd actually uh, gotten the diamonds, and that's just like instant fail, and it's the dumbest shit. In fact, I'll show you, I'll show you, because we can actually restart these things, I will show you where I fucked up. Good afternoon, 47. Right. Your target is Xander Haverfolk, attaché at the Swedish consulate in Marrakesh. Where we are expecting him to meet a courier in the city to facilitate the transport of a consignment of diamonds on behalf of Klaus Hugo Strandberg. God, he is always up to no good, that one. Package ...and eliminate the target. We have been unable to obtain any information on where this package is located, so you will need to shadow either the target or the courier to discover its location. The clock is ticking. So, very badly. Good luck. Very badly explained uh, objectives there. Very easy to lose this one. How do you have access to them? Uh, uh oh, hang on. Um, Peacock. Eh, look into it. Oh, God, it's gone. Hang on. Where is it? Uh, uh, no, that's a waifu. Where's Peacock at? Um, oh, did I close the page? Yeah, I probably did, actually. Hang on. Oh, I'll get that. Um, eh, man. Eh. There we go. Let's get the main website back. Here we go. Peacock Project. It's a thing. <laughs> there it is. Playing that, not only are you able to play, uh, play, uh, full online mode offline, so if your internet is shit, you can just play this game whenever and it's fine, but you have a litany of other cool things, like, uh, there's a lot of really good modding support for, like, crazy shit. But most importantly, uh, right out of the box, you can play all of the elusive target missions whenever you want. <laughs> you, can, you can play them whenever you want. 
Uh, you also have added bonuses, like you have, uh, uh, you can optionally, uh, add them to your, uh, to your instinct, uh, mo uh, to your instinct view, um, because of course, elusive targets tip don't have, don't show up on your instinct, uh, because that would make it too easy, but you can add that if you want. Um, and it also allows you to even save and load if you fuck up, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> a lot of really great stuff there. So, alright, I'm gonna show everyone how I fucked this up the first time I did it. Uh, baz Bazaar Entrance. I will... I think I went undercover. Here we go. I was undercover here, and how did I fuck this up? Um... Oh, I know. I can ch I can chuck an Easter egg. Just to test this. Here we go. Um... Is it on... Is it poisons? Yes, there we go. Poisons, and then... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's go. Uh, these aren't the items I'm going to be using. I am going to replan it, but... Ultimately, I'm going to show you where I fucked this up. If, the, if uh, the courier gets knocked out in any way before getting the diamonds, uh, it's an instant fail, which is great. Instant fail for elusive target missions, um, not good. <laughs> Means you can't pl replay them ever again. The situation in Marrakesh is unstable, and we believe a coup is imminent. This will provide cover for your operation. Okay. Our intelligence indicates. Let's have a look. There it is. The target entered the Swedish consulate, but has not been spotted since. Here we go. The courier is already now check this shit out. City center. Good hunting. Here we go. Now if I chuck this egg here, whoop. There we go. What the hell was that? Whoop. Oh no. Whoop. Where? See, there you go. If you knock that guy out in any way. Before the fucking thing. See, track the courier to the diamonds, retrieve the diamonds. Mission failed. And if you were playing this uh, back in the Hitman 1 days, when this was an actual elusive target, then uh, that's it. You can't restart it anymore. And so basically a lot of people were like, what the actual fuck was that bullshit? So yeah, uh, don't do what Donnie Dickhead does. Um, Alright, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do this properly. Um, right. Um, how am I going to do this? I probably don't need a lockpick. So let's let's be a little bit more interesting with this. We've got an anti-lethal syringe would probably be good. I have to track the courier and knock him the fuck out. Can I smuggle something in here? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, shisha yeah, cafe restaurant. Okay, let's put a. God, you can just put everything here. This is great. Um, let's put a. Oh no, not that. Um, here we go. Big emetic gas grenade. So, hmm. Yeah, this will be fine. This should be okay for a loadout, I think, and if I do need a lockpick, well... I guess I could just restart and... ...not use the... not use the the poison? Oh, that's alright. I could, I could just not use the lethal poison, I could just drown the target, sure. But it's nice to have that added insurance. The situation in Marrakesh is unstable, and we believe a coup is imminent. Mm. All right, let's go get to our special hidden stash, wherever it is. Uh, wherever it is. Is it at the toilet? Yes, it is. There we go. There we go. Some emetic gas. Some vomit gas right behind the toilet. Good stuff. All right. So here's the guy that was supposed to be sort of tailing, uh, quote unquote, for now. Oh, my God. Oh, our target's all the way over here. All right, hang on. Let's 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 make use of saving again. Something that you can do thanks to Peacock. <laughs> Not only can we restart failed elusive target missions, but we can save and load as well. All right, well, I guess I'll just chill here for a bit now. This table isn't going to be absolutely spotless. Just staring at it, I guess. Here we go. God, I'll be able to see space once I'm done with this thing. I'll be able to see the eclipse. Speaking of the eclipse. Oh yeah, it's not going to affect us anyway. It's going to be night time. Probably. I don't think it's going to get any darker during the day for us. What is time? God, it's nearly one o'clock. Jeez. Um, yeah, oh wait, that's the halfway point, isn't it? Wait, so it's really been an hour since snacky time? Really? Okay, interesting. Bloody hell, time's really flying now, which means we have uh, three hours after this. Three hours to get the rest of these done? Uh, probably not going to happen. Cutting a bit close, but uh, oh, I will certainly try. There we go. I will certainly try. We'll see how far we can get. Where the fuck is this guy? There we go. He's, he's getting around. Unfortunately, there's a lot of waiting for this one. Oh, dear. So, we need to retrieve the diamonds and murder the fuck out of that that guy and unfortunately that means 
Just figuring things out. I, I think the diamonds are... Yeah, the diamonds are on this guy. After there was a handoff. But I, yeah, I can't remember. See, that's the irritating thing about this mission. Uh, the target will meet with this guy. And I don't think that's necessarily the diamonds handoff. At least I don't think it is. If it is, that's really fucking annoying, too. Found this meme about ta Trail Star Door 15. And we'll check that in a sec. Because I think our target is... Yep, he's nearly here. And Lord knows there's a lot of waiting in this fucking mission. <laughs> I hate it. Alright. Alright. Oh, no, that's not our target. That's not our target. There he is. There we go. Might as well save now. <coughs> oh, God. Is he wearing a different... Hang on. Uh... No, he's wearing a blue shirt. Yeah, I thought he was wearing a red one. Alright. Well, I mean, we can see him. We can see this is our target. Oh. Hello. Can you just leave us alone? Alright, alright. Fucking hell. I mean, I was just doing my job. I see you there. Can I help you? I see you there. Well, can I ask that you maybe leave us alone? Thanks. Uh, yep. I'm, I'm hiding. Blend in? Oh, right, with the newspaper. No, no, I won't do that. Oh, there's a handshake. What was that? Easy money. <laughs> All right. So rude, you were cleaning. I know. These people are the worst. All right, first things first. Uh, a medic gas grenade. Hopefully you don't get both of them in one, one uh, plume there. Oh, dear, that didn't work at all. There's nothing suspicious about what I did at all, you assholes. <laughs> all right, that didn't work. Um, yeah, this is going to be tricky. Um, God, yeah, you can see how people had trouble with this one. So many things, so many very, very specific things that have to be done. Okay, I can totally throw this across the room, though. It's a new kind of air freshener. It's just the worst kind. Okay, he, he's facing away from me, and as long as she doesn't see me chuck this at him. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. There we there go. No matches on going, that was a handoff. Oh, was did that get him? Yep, there we go. That's got him. Alright, I will shadow the courier, although unfortunately now I have to wait for him to vomit his guts out first. Um, ooh, I hope we don't lose him, because he doesn't show up as a target, so... He's gonna go to that restroom. Um... Hang on, I do have the poison, that's right. I've got the antique lethal syringe, so let's just not lose... lose sight of him. Oh, hurry up. Fuck you, there we go. And he's down. Where's he got on him? Nothing. He has no diamonds. Where's the other guy? There he is. Hello! Oh, he's gonna see the body, but that's alright. He was poisoned. Oh my goodness! There's the body here! Oh dear, what a pity. Oh, what a pity. It happens to everyone, though. I'm just gonna lean over here. Oh, I can't blend in because I'm not a customer. <laughs> Somebody help me! A guy that I spoke to just moments ago is dead in the bathroom. Please, I don't know what happened, but it looks like it was a terrible accident. He'll be fine. He'll walk it off, off soon enough. Now then, what to do with you? Should I just throw an egg at you and just straight up knock you out? I mean, there are a lot of witnesses here. I wonder if he'll resume vomiting once he's not, once everything's just sort of cleared at this point. Because, you know, I won't have to use the sedative egg. I'll just be able to just choke him out in the bathroom. Hmm. I guess we can find out. There we go. Well, at least our target is gone. Track the courier, retrieve the diamonds. Oh, he is going to go to the bathroom. All right, well, let's save then. Might as well. There's an auto save there. So if we, if we really fuck this up, we're all right. So yes, even auto saves work. For once, auto saves work. Oh my god, are you alright there? No, he's alright. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if this insta fails us again. Oh, ow. Ooh. There we go. Careful, don't knock yourself out with your own sedative. No, there you go. Mission failed again. Can, can you see now why everyone seemed to have problem with this one? <laughs> Absolutely intolerable. I hate it. Alright, let's just... I guess we have to wait this out. We have to see the handoff, I guess. Fucking hell. 
Okay. Uh, I guess we can wait this out. As long as we don't knock him out, then everything will be fine. Oh, God. Alright, well, this will take a while. And then we have to follow him uh, for, for a while, and then there'll be a diamond handoff, and then uh, we grab the diamonds, and then uh, we win Sale of the Century. It's all good. Wait a minute. Why is there a... Oh my god, one of the one of the ferns is poking its leaves through the wall. See that? Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, not if you zoom in though. There we go. It disappears if you zoom in. Okay, oh god. Now we just have to wait for him to... At least I don't vomit all day. I mean, it's a gift and a curse. On the one hand, it's like, Oh, I wish they did vomit for, for the rest of the mission. It'd make it easier for me to kill them off. But at the same time, it's like, uh, Sometimes you don't want them to vomit all day. Sometimes you'd rather they not. Alright. Oh, is he... Yeah, he's done. Are you done? There you go. Yeah, make sure you get it off your cough. Yep, get it off your cough. There we go. That's one strong plant. I know, well, right? It's not working, but it's occupado. Capiche? Uh, but I am a toilet attendant. Can you not see? Alright. Now we have to tail this bloody courier. Alright. So now I'm going to save again. Bloody hell. Um, I can't quite remember how this goes. But it's okay, I've got a blue easter egg, so if I need to knock anyone out and uh, not arouse too much suspicion, that will do just nicely. I wonder if I can bash someone in the back of the head with this thing. Let's find out. Oh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, this never happened. There you go. <laughs> Erase their memories. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. None of this happened. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's not like a muffin, like if you if you have it actually in your hand and you try to subdue someone, you you, you know bash them in the back of the head with it, oh, like in Men in Black, exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's what the blue Easter egg is for, making him forget. Yeah, yeah I'll pass on the snail soup, thanks. All right, hopefully this doesn't take too long. There we go. Well, oh, mind the tourists. Where are you going? I don't quite remember how this mission goes because, hey, you know, elusive target missions, you don't have the opportunity to play them terribly often. But now you can. You can play them forever now. We killed the fuck out of Gary Busey with an explosive. That was great. <laughs> Alright, what are you doing? Okay, nothing out of the ordinary just yet. Just look for anything suspicious. Eh. Pick up any Dr. Pop you find. Dr. Pop is a way of life. The courier seems nervous, 47. Mm. He's unlikely to make the pickup if he's suspicious. Oh. I suggest you drop back. Oh, okay, I'll just chill over here then. But <laughs> nothing suspicious about this behavior. Oh dear. What's he doing? Okay, here we go. I love Dr. Pop. It's my favourite nondescript uh, rip-off brand of soda water. <laughs> it's fantastic. Right, I better save regularly so we don't have to sit through all this shit again. Thank God that's an option. I mean, they could have just had you replay them and had had the had you uh, they they could have just given you the ability to replay these elusive targets and not add any extra features at all, which would have been irritating. I mean, obviously you could replay them, but. Adding saving and loading capabilities, and the uh, and the uh, the target showing up in instinct mode and on your mini map, pretty nice, nice additions. And of course, uh, they're optional as well. I mean, you don't have to save and load, and uh, you don't have to have them uh, show up on your mini map and instinct mode. You can actually switch that off entirely. Yeah. Oh, where are you going? Oh, good God. Uh, I'm glad they never did anything quite like this in Season 2 and 3. Good lord. Alright. Where are we going? Okay. Whoever whoever gives the diamond to somebody... I mean, I just, I just want those fucking diamonds. <laughs> I just want those fucking diamonds today. Oh. Carpet? Carpet? I'm so ready to start egging somebody. Who's ready to start blue poison egging. Okay. Hmm. 
So you have the diamonds. that mean? That sounds horribly suspicious. And then he wanders off. Okay. Hmm. Should I save? Maybe not. What is going on here? Okay. Oh, hang on. Yep, here we go. He's looking for a specific carpet seller, isn't he? But it never rains here. Oh. Uh, oh god, no. Too many eyes. Too many eyes. Sorry, friend. And... There we go. Hopefully this works. Oh. Nope, still fail. Jesus Christ. I hate this mission. That guy is 100% innocent. <laughs> I mean... Kind of. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. So you can see why people initially failed this mission back when it first debuted in 2016. It's... It's a... It's a fucking clusterfuck of bizarre, very poorly communicated uh, objectives that you have to do in a specific way, so, uh, ugh, god, it's just awful. Oh, uh, also, hello, Deadish, Deadish Imura? Oh god, I hope I said that one correctly. I'm terrible with usernames. But how you doing? This mission is bizarre, but... <laughs> It is a bit, yeah. Um, this was an elusive target back in uh, the first season in, t in 2016, and um, it was by far the uh, the mission that it was by far the, the the most failed of these elusive target missions. It's just uh, it is really, really poorly designed and very, very badly explained. It's just ah, it's the worst. Hey, more Doctor Pop though. That's always good. That'll cure what ails me. The problem is, is that if you fail these objectives in an elusive target mission, you don't get to replay them. So if you die or fail an objective, uh, that's it, you're done. It, it just counts as, it, it counts as dying if you fail an objective, so... You know, that's great. It's like, well, shit, I guess I'm never playing that one again. But thankfully, uh, we're on Peacock, so we can replay this as many times as we want. <laughs> Oh dear, and indeed we are trying to get through all the elusive targets. That being said, this one is definitely lasting a while. <laughs> this one, it's overstayed its welcome. Uh, it overstayed its welcome back when it first came out. Bloody hell. Okay. Can't I just blow up Gary Busey again? That was a, that was amusing. <laughs> all right. Oh, can I steal your coins? No. All right. Oh, what is he doing? Where's the handoff? Where is this handoff? I mean, he did say, uh, uh, your carpet isn't here, come back later. Does that mean we just have to wait for him to walk all the way over to somewhere else and then all the way back again? Oh, good God. Yeah, this one sucked. Oh, what's he doing? There we go. I'm hidden amongst the crowd of peoples. Oh, hang on. Oh, he's picking up some speed now. Where are you going? I'm still kind of annoyed that there wasn't a single elusive target mission in Mumbai. It's like it's like the perfect map for it, you know. There's just there was so much potential for a great elusive target, several of them actually, but we didn't get a single one. That just makes me sad. I don't know why they didn't decide to do one. They just said, "Ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, we'll give you the uh, Imperial Classic with gloves outfit uh, by completing a challenge." There we go. You do it that way. I was like, okay, great. I really wanted to see what an elusive target would be like on Mumbai. It's the only map that doesn't have them. Well, I guess the only... The only traditional map. Obviously, there's no elusive targets on the Carpathia Mountains mission. Or Nightcall. Uh, the New Zealand map. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, and also... The, also the training mission as well. Yep, don't mind me. I'm just uh, hanging out. God, how much... How long do I have to tell this fucker for? This is getting ridiculous. Totally not suspicious. No, just, 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 just hanging out in the corner. <laughs> just crouching out in the corner. It's all fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine here now. Oh, oh, oh here we go. This is looking promising. He's going this way now. That has to mean something. Come on, where are you going? 
Where are you going? Can I get some more Dr. Pop? No, nope. those Dr. Pops are not allowed to be picked up. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? And now he's going back this way. Good lord, we could be here forever. Do, do, do. Are you going? Oh God! All right, the night really flew by in game. Yes, yes, it really did. I wish it would fly by now, though. Oh, I love it when the NPCs wig out like that. That seems like a, a problem that uniquely affects uh, the third game. I notice. I don't remember that happening very often in the the first and second game. Okay, what do you? Do? Oh, is is this going to be it? Maybe the diamonds have arrived there now. I've got my egg ready to go. I'm going to knock him out. Oh, what's he doing? No, no, I'm not real. Okay, where is this handoff here? Hmm, this looks kind of promising. Here we go. This looks pretty promising. Where's he going? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> How much more do I have to follow this guy? Last maybe five minutes, the night really flew by in game. Yeah. Oh, oh god, where is he going? Oh, here we go. Finally, he passed this guy already. Oh. Good day. Oh. Oh, there's the hand off. There it is. It's kind of annoying that he does pass by this guy a lot earlier, but he only does the hand off when he comes by the second time. It's like, what the fuck? Okay, I wonder if I can... Oh, God, this guy's here. All right, I've got to find an opportunity to knock this guy the fuck out. I do have an egg. It's very handy. I wonder if I can... Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I really wish it didn't lock onto the head either. Makes it kind of inferior to the uh, to the emetic gas grenade. I really wish it wouldn't lock onto heads. Just don't do that. Okay, we'll try that again. Other than that, pretty decent Easter egg. Not bad. Like a literal Easter egg. Good stuff. Okay, here we go. Do 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 do. Oh, hello. I'm distracting you. Here we go. Oh, God. Yeah, thanks. Get out of the fucking way. Oh, my God. And now he's in a crowd. Good shit. Can I just... Hang on. Oh, hey. Easter egg. Yeah. There we go. We didn't fail this time. And hey, there's a bag of diamonds. Oh, except it's suspicious to pick up a bag of diamonds. Well, no. Fuck you. I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, you still get to keep my silent assassin. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. Oh, that is the worst. Fucking hate this one. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, there we go. All right, that one. That one's by far one of the longest elusive targets. And there's no way to speed it up as far as I can tell. Just fuck off. <laughs> there we go. The fixer is dead. Thank God. There we go, and you can see how a lot of people failed that one. Jeez, 15 minutes. That's like uh, almost a mandatory 15 minutes. Jesus. There's a reason why that one only came back once. It is the worst one. Oh my Christ. Okay, there we go. There's the there's the broker done. I don't have to ever see it again. Right, back to it then. Who is next? Who are next? Next elusive target is the identity thief. I don't remember this one, actually. How many more left are there for season one? Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Oh, well, anyway, back to Brass That's the identity thief. Okay. Don't remember Brendan Connor at all. Where? Oh, he's in Sanguine, so, okay. He's in, he's in Paris. That should be fine. Good hmm. afternoon, 47. Your target is Brendan Connor, hmm. an IT billionaire who built his fortune on darknet identity theft. Despite hmm. remaining invisible for most of his career, Connor recently got lazy at covering his tracks in the run-up to a major operation in mainland China. Our client wants him gone to prevent this operation from taking place. 
Connor will be attending the Yago auction and has hired an escort to join him at the ground floor cocktail reception. Oh, Assume the target will be mobile, so locate him and improvise. I wonder if I can pull the same tricks the I've been pulling all this time. Good luck. Okay. We're going to use the, the French method of uh, getting a briefcase and gassing the fuck out of him. Might need to steal an identity to get close to him. Uh, no, we should be fine, actually. Um, uh, yeah, everything here looks fine. Uh, depends on where he starts, maybe. Maybe he might start in the Argo auction. If so, I will start there myself. Other than that, I think we'll be alright. Brendan Fraser Connor is gonna get whacked. Um, right. Let us Welcome begin. Paris, uh, huh? Now he's in reception. Event of the year has already begun. Right. Intercepts place your target on site. Yeah. It is highly likely... Yeah, hang on, there we go. Spend time at the ground floor reception area. This represents your best opportunity to acquire him. Hmm. Good hunting, 47. All right. Let's see now, and thank God I can use instinct mode to find him. <laughs> How the hell are you supposed to find these elusive targets? I mean, they made it slightly easier by having the uh, the sound effect play if you're near your target in, uh, I believe it was the second... Second season? Or it might have been the third, actually. Okay, there's Escort Chan, and there's, there's him. Okay, this should be easy enough. Okay, and whoop. Hang on. Whoop. Oh, this is going to be rough. Hang on. Oh. All right, there we go. We ignited the gas bomb there, and where's he off to? Oh, man, we've all been there. <laughs> oh, man, we've all been there. <laughs> Spiked with a... With a, with a gas bomb and a briefcase, we've all been there, man. <laughs> Alright, let's see where he's going. Um, oh, his escort's gonna follow him. Ah, oh, should've brought some poison boy, with me. Watch your shoes. That's no good. Watch your shoes now. <laughs> okay, well, depending on where the escort goes, if she doesn't go in with him, then... Okay, are you gonna go in with him? No, you're not. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Oh, maybe you are. Oh, you are. Alright, great. Fantastic. Alright, plan B... I've got the emetic gas grenade. Here we go. Dibosia. Bit. There, get the oh fuck God. out of here. Go on, off you go. <laughs> We're gonna let her just leave a bit. There we go. Give her a bit of. Give us a bit of time to drown this fucker. There we go. And fuck you. Okay. Oh no. Oh, maybe this is not enough time. Oh god, she's coming back. Oh god, she's coming back. Oh no! Oh, crime notice. Fuck. All right. Uh, plan B. Rest. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, wait. I can't replan the mission. Why can't I can't replan it. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Rest. I can say. I love the AI in this game. It's so good. It's the greatest. <laughs> right. Replan, please. There we go. Thank you. Um, yeah, let me think. Gas grenade. Well, you know what? I should be able to just get them both in one one briefcase. I should be able to do that. There's no reason why I can't, so all right. Uh, and yeah, get your poison out. Because drowning takes way too fucking long. So for me, i just smash his head into the toilet first, knock him unconscious, and then... Or maybe, like, choke him out first. Welcome then Paris, you throw him into the toilet the to drown. <laughs> He's gingerly he let his head fall into the, the thing, and then, well, there's it's the end of you. Oh, I didn't get the fucking this thing out. Hang on, that's alright. Uh, I'll have another opportunity to, to do that. I did not 47. get the device out. you got to do that. Oh. There we go. Excuse me. Oh. And there. Fantastic. We're all good. We're all good. Yeah. Let's now make our way back to him. Oh, yeah, it'd be great if you got the detonator. There we go. Right, we've got to get both of them in one hit this time. Preferably somewhere over here would be good, actually. Okay, here's a nice spot for it. And then bump into him. Sir. Eh, what are you, are you, are you not gonna, oh my god. Oh my god, alright. Well, that changes everything. Um, hang on a sec. Um, poison and, oh no, alright. Okay, plan B, I've got it, hang on, um. Here we go. Uh, gas him. There we go. She wasn't caught in the gas, unfortunately. But if I keep bumping into her, I should just just barely have enough time to give this guy a bit of a stab with some lethal poison. So we're just going to keep bumping into her for now. 
Hey, she could be my escort now. Oh, there we go. Wait for him to throw up a bunch. Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm just going to bother you a lot. There we go. Just keep running into it. There we go. That ought to be enough. That ought to be enough. We don't need a whole bunch of time. Fuck you. But there we go. <laughs> Contract complete. Done. The money has been oh. wired to your account. And we are done. <laughs> this toilet is available now. Let's bring this person back then. That's how the AI works. And since we poisoned him nice and quick, it doesn't matter if she finds the body. Alright. I mean, oh fuck. The AI is really weird in this game sometimes. I mean, exploitable, at least. At least it's exploitable. Alright. And done. Whew. Alrighty. We did good there. A few mishaps, but I mean, now we've learned that the AI is a dickhead when that happens. Pro Assassin, bumping into your target, make yourself known. It's more bumping into the target like a clumsy dickhead and then being like, oh, I'll go, go over here now. And then, oh, and, and this person just magically died. It's totally plausible that I was just bumping into her because I was drunk and trying to feel her up. <laughs> Two minutes and five seconds. Now, that's what I like to see. Alrighty, there we go. Let's move on to the next one. Why not? Next. Uh, all right. Oh, God. I hate that it takes me to the main menu every time, but then again, that's a problem that the game has just across the board. Right, uh, who is next? The Ex-Dictator, okay. Is it is it Hitman 2 that combined two of them? Yeah, the Deceivers. So, yeah, it was the Congressman and, and the Guru, that's right. Hitman 2 combined two targets, which was a bit weird. Alright, the Ex-Dictator is up next. Don't remember this one. Oh god, this is one in Bangkok, yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, this is going to be an, an issue. Yeah, oh god, it's two of them. Yeah, we have to kill both of them. Oh dear. It's not the ex-dictator, it's the ex-dictator and his wife. Good afternoon, 47. Your targets are Richard Aquensi, former Central African dictator, hmm. and his gold digger wife, Inez. Following a broker departure Say no power, more. the targets have lived off the money they looted during their reign. The ICA has learned that the two will be at the Himapan Hotel in Bangkok at a clandestine meeting with a representative of French intelligence. Hmm. The targets have been avoiding media attention in recent months and will likely not arrive at the hotel via the river. He takes no risks with his personal safety, so expect his security team to cover all possible approaches. I'm sure this will be easy enough. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Well, how are we going to approach this one, I wonder? Well, I'm thinking... Well, first things first. Um, let's go... Where are we going to start off with? I think we'll start... Hmm... Undercover in the... Hmm... Yeah, yeah. Trying to think. Um, I could be kitchen staff, maybe? I'm trying to think of the best course of action here. I want to be a waiter. So maybe a waiter here would be fine. Um, let's see, what else do I want? Um, probably don't even need the lockpick here. Um, let's take with us... Hmm, considering how big the fart gas cloud is going to be, it's it, we'll probably just need one of those. Maybe some poison? Lethal syringe? Uh, what can I smuggle in here? Um... Uh, yeah, this isn't too bad. Yeah, ground floor restroom, I know where that is. Um... Let's get another syringe. Thank God that uh, we've got multiple poison syringes now. Thanks. Multiple games worth of the same item. Okay. Uh, gold ball, uh, not really necessary, but... Um, uh, yeah, no, this should be fine. So poison, poison, in many guess. Uh, yeah, no, we should be fine. All right. Let's whack two people at once. I'm sure this will go just fine. Um... Let me think what's... yeah, well, the sequence of events could be difficult. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Right. On-site intelligence has confirmed that the target will arrive shortly, and that the Himapan restaurant has had a last-minute booking for two. Ah. Good hunting. And they're over there, okay, but with my waiter's disguise, I should be able to get in there no problem. Oh my god. Mind the other waiters. That's, you are clearly not one of our staff. <laughs> I should know. I've made out with every single one of our wait staff. I never made out with you. All right, let's pick up our lethal syringe, our second one. And there you go. With that, we've got everything that I think we need. Just gas grenade and two lethal syringes to get rid of our targets. 
Uh, let's see how this goes. I'm sure it'll be okay-ish. It's gonna be... It's gonna be decidedly okay-ish. Oh god, a lot of enforcers around, so we have to be careful. Don't get spotted. Whoa, easy now. Okay, where are they headed? I have to be careful because I want to get both of them in one... Yeah. Your son love the vest. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. I have to get both of them in one... in one gas grenade. I think I can manage that. Yeah, there's a lot of guards everywhere, but as long as... Yeah, as long as they got their backs turned to me. Uh, relatively simple. Oh, hello. Oh, they're going to bugger off! Okay, that's even better. Oh, no, they're not. They're just looking over there. Shit. Um, a smile makes better tips. Hello. May I go through here, please? Hmm. Okay, that's irritating. Well, they've all got their backs turned, so maybe... Oh, he's watching me, though. God. All right. Um... All right. Oh, no. This would have been a really good opportunity to get them both. All right. But there will be other opportunities if I could just, um... I could just... Am, am I allowed in here? I, I think so. I think wait staff are okay. There we go. I think we'll be alright. Careful though, there are a lot of enforcers everywhere. Way, there we go. No, I can't go through here. Get out of here. Uh, okay, I will. Don't worry. All good. Okay. Maybe using the briefcase wasn't yeah, such a bad idea. And that's not a request. <laughs> alright, fine. Alright, I'll just stay here then. Hmm. I wonder if... Okay. Can I throw it from here, maybe? Okay. We're gonna wait for the waiter. Wait for the waiter to bugger off. Or maybe I can get away with just a chuck over here? Hang on. Let's see if this works. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be three, uh, three people that are gonna be sick, but... Let's just hope for the best. As long as it isolates them, I'm going to be a happy camper. All right, get your poisons ready. We've got multiple ones. Okay. Now, where are you off to, fellas? <laughs> Everyone's going to vomit today. There we go. Oh, wait. The, did the did the waiter not get sick? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, see, there's a lot of guards here, but if I do what I did before in the last mission, just keep bumping into them. There we go. Just keep causing problems. I'm causing problems. I'm going to wait until they go to their respective rooms. Okay. No, no, no. Lol, JK. All right, let's go. Oh, damn it. They weren't distracted for long enough. They're so slow when they're sick. Eh. Eh, there we go. Where are you off to? You're over here. Right out. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, no. Okay, you're dead. Hi. There we go. Oh, no. Oh no, don't go in there. Oh god, now that toilet's freed up. Yikes! Uh, Yikes! The Quenzi is dead, 47. Hmm. Inez the Quenzi is your next target. Yeah, that's gonna be slightly more difficult. Um, that being said, I still have one of these syringes left, so maybe it won't be so bad. Oh no, he are dead. Oh, she's still sick, though. Bag it intact. Well, okay, this could still work out for us. Oh, except her guards are going to be in the bathroom with her, of course. Okay. That's uh, going to be a better way of doing this. Yeah, they're in the bathroom with her, of course. All right. Going to have to think of another way of doing that. Um, uh, might be able to salvage this. Might be able to. Why do the um? Why do the music? Why are the music guards here? You know, these are the guards for. For the, uh, for the recording studio. Why the hell are these guys here? Okay, I might have another opportunity to actually kill her off after she's done throwing up. So maybe not end things just yet. There we go. What's this note here? To whom it may concern, uh, stab people with a syringe. Why is it only the elusive target guards that follow them into bathrooms? I know, it's really rather irritating. Can't even get into here now. Hmm. Huh. Well, it's not over just yet. I can find other things to do. Um, I wonder. No, okay, that's not going to work either. Normal target guards don't. No, they usually just stand outside. It's like someone decided, okay, you know what? Elusive target guards, uh, fuck it. Be as irritating as possible in this mode that you can't replay if you fuck up. <laughs> 
Thanks, game. I love it. I love it. I love you. It's, it's the greatest. All right. She's done throwing up, I think. Yeah. All right. What What's wrong with you? You all right? There we go. All right. She's, she's back to it. I just have to find an opportunity to get rid of her. Okay. So those are her guards. You don't need a tip, right? Uh, no, I'm good. I've got a great tip for you. Uh, don't vomit on your shoes, uh, because then I'll go get you with some poison. Okay, no, 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 no. Stop going over there. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is probably not going to be enough, but just in case. Oh, do, 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 do. oh no. All right, that didn't work. All right. Uh, oh my god, there was a save right here. Well, that's, that's just the greatest. That's just the greatest. There's a save right here. It's not a particularly good auto save. Where the hell's your tray, son? <laughs> Where's my tray? None of your business. Maybe my tray is... Uh, maybe I left it uh, at, uh, on the moon. Fuck you. Okay. Okay. This ought to work a bit better. Oh, don't go to the stairs. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, there's people here anyway. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Jesus, H. Crimbles. Oh, God's sake. Ah! I still did my job! My tray is up your ass to the left. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, hang on. Did they at least get walking up the... Yeah, alright. What the fuck? Okay, where's this autosave at? Jesus Christ. Um. Hmm. That's irritating. Where are they going? Okay, yeah, this, so they're, they're in sickness mode now. Which is good. Hey, be a buddy and give me a double espresso, huh? I wish I could do something with these guys. Just get rid of them. That'll do. Oh no! Don't frisk me. I'm, I don't really want to go in there. Just fuck off. Okay. Eh. Eh. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Come on. Eh. Oh God. They're being very irritating. Hey, Mister. Eh. Don't you hey, Mister me? Eh. Eh. Who the fuck do you think you are? Eh. Okay, there we go. That should be enough. Oh no, everyone can see me. Alright. Plan B. Uh, just try and... Do, 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 do. Think I can do it? Someone shoot. Ah, for the love of fuck, I really hate this shit. Right, I'm thinking... There's gotta be a better way to do this shit. Hang on. Uh, no, there really isn't. Um... Uh, fucking hell. Alright, um... Oh, God. I mean, maybe if I used an explosive method instead. Actually, you know what? Um, uh, better idea. Um, why the fuck aren't I doing that? That's a great idea. Okay, so here I will go... Just in case I need to break into some... No, I won't do that. I'll just bring a lockpick. But um, I'm thinking now... Um, yeah, I've got a plan. Um... Explosives, breaching charge. Hopefully I can get away with this. Um Hmm. I'm trying to trying to remember where the uh, propane tanks are on this level. Hopefully I remember. Uh there's probably one in the kitchen, maybe. But then again, uh, oh hang on, no, there's there's definitely some out outside, out the back, so hang Welcome on. To Bangkok, right. Uh, I can Onside definitely do this. I don't know if I'll make it on time. Oh, especially when I fucking run into people. Great. Ah, it's the courier. He's still alive. <laughs> I mean, he is. We didn't kill him in the last one. <laughs> the courier is still alive. He's hanging out in Bangkok. He's stalking me. I deserve this. Okay. I mean, this time we got a little extra time, right? Because we're not going to the bathroom. Okay. So let's go get a propane tank. There's a few of them over here. There we go. Well, two of them anyway. Right, two propane tanks. Let's see if I can do this. Um, that should be fine. Okay, save game. Why? Why are you here? Why are you just standing here? All right, I will say. Are you fucking serious? Why is this a restricted area now? Well, I'm glad I saved. <laughs> Oh, I just realized the, the guy kind of looks like the king from Coming to America. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah, he is a bit, isn't he? Oh, come on. Go somewhere. 
Come on, fuck off. How did I get up there last time? Did I take an entirely different route or what? Where's that guy gonna fuck off? Is he gone? Uh, I think he fucked off. Yeah, he's gone. Security's really weird around here. Okay. Everyone go this God damn it. Alright. Right. Uh, I gotta figure out. Okay, so I just have to be very careful with the, uh, with the guard rotations here, because they're going to be going back and forth and doing all kinds of weird shit. Okay. Will be... yeah, well, okay. Unfortunately, uh, my breaching charge is an illegal item. There we go. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? I'm just going to... Oh, hang on. Um, yeah, I think I can do this. I think... No, I can't go back there, but that's all right. Right. Do, 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 do. Oh. Hey, wait up. Excuse me, you just... That's alright. Compromise. Fuck off. Eat shit. How the hell are you supposed to do this? Alright. I guess I have to just go right up to them and just drop it and explode and just hope for the worst. Oh dear. Okay. Come on. Come on. Turn around. That's it. Good boy. Alright. Uh, let's see. Now this should be fine. This should be okay, I think. Hopefully not too suspicious when I do this. Hello. Yes, don't mind me. I'm just, uh, hanging about. Pfft. Hopefully this doesn't kill the rest of them. Okay. Do, 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 do. And then... Okay. I think Boom! There we go. Fuck you. <laughs> well, shit, that worked. That definitely worked. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, God, no. The hotel manager's here. Hang on. There we go. We did it, everybody. We did it. Oh, we fucked everyone up. Thank you! Okay, that worked just fine and dandy. Uh, yeah, hopefully you're not facing this direction. That was surprisingly effective. <laughs> just drop it right in front of them and then explosion. Oh, dear. Yep, the old, uh... The old, uh, the old, the old, uh, what would you call it? I guess you'd call it the, uh, breaching charge propane tank method still works quite well. Now, you're probably wondering why, why don't you use rubber ducks for that? Because rubber ducks are not, uh, illegal items. Well, the problem is rubber ducks, um, do have enough of an explosive yield to actually kill. And if the duck ends up killing them, then you don't get a silent assassin if the body is found. Whereas then if you use the Breach Charge, the Breach Charge just does not do enough damage and doesn't have enough blast yield to actually kill anyone. But because it ignites the, the propane tank, that's what ends up killing them and that, that's an accident kill. So that's how that trick works. It used to be possible to do that with the fire extinguisher, which made it even better because it was a smaller explosion, but it was still lethal, so you had less collateral damage. But, um... Yeah, you can't do that anymore. Fire extinguishers don't really operate like they used to, which is kind of sad. Alright, that only took two minutes. Oh my god, I unlocked a modern emetic syringe, except I already have it. Syringe containing a single dose of emetic poison. Any dosed Im individual will immediately become nauseous and seek a location to throw up. Just like your average bulimic on a Saturday night. Alright, let's move on to the next one we have to kill. Two in one go, though. Very nice. All right, uh, lose the targets. Uh, let's see who's next. We're definitely going to get season one's uh, targets done at least. Next up is the chef. Uh, how many do we have to do? Ugh, quite a few actually. All right, the chef. Um, I don't remember this one, but this shouldn't be too much of an issue. Good afternoon, forty-seven. Your target is Gabriel Santos, a celebrity super chef and an mm. example of the immunity granted by wealth and public life. He has evaded any consequences to his career following a stream of assaults on assistants, producers, and staff. Uh. The target will be in Paris, <laughs> what a providing dickhead. luxury catering for Viktor Novikov and Dalia Mogolis, and will have an entourage of social media producers and assistants around him at all times. He's basically like the client, Super Gordon Ramsay. Oh, Santos's God. production company specifically requests that the target be eliminated tonight. Right. So. Our operational window is slim. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. 
All right. Well, nothing a briefcase full of uh, emetic gas can't fix, <laughs> I imagine. So, all right. Um, yeah, same as always, I suppose. Although this time I might just start undercover in the kitchen. Oh, I won't be able to have my briefcase, although I could add it to the staircase. Uh, n yeah, it doesn't really make it much of a difference either way. It doesn't matter where I start. All right, let's go. Gabriel Santos. Oh my god, you are so gonna die, you fucking chef weirdo. All right. He's, he's, he's a social media the chef as well. He's a, he's a social media influencer chef. Too. That's even this worse somehow. But Gordon Ramsay is actually nice outside his TV rushed. persona. This guy is, he he seems more like Bobby Flay. <laughs> oh dear, yes, probably. Probably. Um, uh, yeah, alright, he's in the kitchen, of course. He is, of course, in the kitchen where he belongs. There we go. So he's kind of like a waifu in that regard. And I will destroy him. There we go. We'll wait for this fella to pass us by. There we go. I'll waste some of the time by busting the uh, the camera hard drives. Okay. Well, careful not to shoot this guy in the crossfire. There we go. Righty-o. Um, so let's see. Do, do, do. Grab the wrench for no reason. Um, that's nice to have an extra bonking item, I guess. Right. Disguise ready to go. And that leaves us with the target himself. He's just hanging out over here. Um, so might be able to kill him off with that. Oh, got a free crowbar as well. Why not? Right. There he is. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of him. He seems like he's kind of isolated. Oh, where's he going? Oh no, where's he going? Shit, alright. Damn, he's got his entourage as well. Okay, and then... Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is like that time I made a very, very ill-prepared set of salmon. Oh god, salmon and scallops. Oh god. Oh, I knew I should have should have put them in the refrigerator beforehand. Oh god. And away he goes. All right. Come on, Chef Twattington. Oh, I better get my... Uh, Better get my syringe ready. These guys are really just going to follow him everywhere, aren't they? Huh. Okay. Ah, there's the... Yeah, th those are the bathrooms, so... Huh? As long as I keep bothering these guys... Whoa. Here we go. No, no, no. Oh, God, am I stuck? No, that's all right. We're fine. Okay, now just quickly get here and fuck you. There we go. Bye. Poof. Brat! <laughs> Down he goes. The money has been there we go, that was easy enough. Now we just leave. I can even put my suit back on, which is nice. Alright. Target eliminated. The twat is dead. Alright, definitely cleaning up house here. Hey, for a change, we can uh, we can leave in the via the basement. Might as well. We haven't done that all day, so let's do that. Uh, okay, first things first, get your damn clothes back on. Oh. Oh. Careful. There we go. And... Alright, and I'm off. <laughs> there we go, our exit is just ahead of us, so just don't get caught. Oh, there's a nice autosave. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that one. In case something goes wrong. Uh, wait, you can't take this exit anymore? Oh, yeah, I suppose that would be far too easy, because the chef is here. <laughs> The chef is usually in this locale, so yeah. I didn't know they did that. So they've completely walled off that exit. I guess we'll just have to go out the front door then. Well, I guess I'm alright with that. Sure, why not? What is time? 1.30. Yeah, two and a half hours? Yeah, yeah. We can, we can clean up some stuff. Yeah, we're doing alright. We're doing fine. Weird. It really does feel kind of unusual streaming on a Tuesday. Does seem odd, but that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. All righty. Uh, here we are. Just get out that gate, and we are Gonzo. Hooray! <laughs> we uh, we murdered a celebrity chef, everybody. That's one for the bucket list. He's streaming tomorrow. Uh, no, no, I won't be streaming tomorrow. But um, I'll be streaming next next week. <laughs> In six days' time. There's that. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, uh, yes, there we go. All done. 
Only took four minutes as well. Not bad. Not bad. That's what the briefcase bomb does for you. Saves you a hell of a lot of time. What time EST uh, estimate? Uh, the same time as I usually stream. <laughs> nine to eight. Or no, not eight. Nine to five. Oh, come on, am I talking about? If I stream nine to eight, I would probably die. <laughs> All right, let's see what's next. Uh, let's see. Uh, that was a fast one. Oh my god, it's the Angel of Death, Etta Davis. This is basically, murderous old woman. Uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this one. All right, let's murder the fuck out of murderous old woman. Why not? Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Etta Davis, also known as the Angel of Death. The target is a retired nurse, believed to have killed dozens of patients in retirement homes and hospitals across Great Britain. <laughs> Her preferred technique is poison, though in later years, she's begun to prefer blunt weapons and violent accidents such as falls. Oh. Ongoing intercepts have tracked her to Marrakesh. This matches profile predictions that she's expanding her hunting grounds now that the net is tightening at home. Oh. While the target may look like a harmless old lady, it is certain that she will kill again repeatedly, given the opportunity. Let's the clock with is that, ticking then. <laughs> 47. Good luck. Oh dear, EST, I think it would be 7pm. Oh, for uh, Eastern Standard Time? Oh, yeah. Uh, it should say, I think there's, yeah, Twitch does have a schedule thing. Like, if, if you scroll down the page a bit, it does show you a schedule section, and it shows you based on, uh, on your local time zone, actually. It's very handy, actually. It didn't used to be like that, and then they changed it, so that's, that's great that, you know, different time zones for different people are applicable. Alright, so let's get rid of this crazy old bat. Um, how am I going to do that? Um, uh, climb up the thing, give her a lethal syringe. You know what? I've had an idea. Let's go with a hematic gas grenade again. This is specifically for getting people away from a certain location. Um, hmm... Uh, oh, yeah, no, I, I don't think at the bizarre entrance is a good idea, actually. I might go undercover in the Shisha Cafe because I can actually go into the school's uh, courtyard area, even though it's like a military area right there. I mean, it's like a whole military encampment, but for whatever reason, these guys can wander around in there. So, yeah, I'll try that out and see if it works. All right. Time to destroy Etta Davis, the uh, evil old lady. This shouldn't be too difficult, actually. Um, hmm. Just trying to think my best... Uh, best angle of approach here. Good afternoon, 47. We have been unable to determine the target's specific location. Hmm. She was sighted in the city centre a few hours ago. Whatever yeah. you do, don't accept a cup of tea from her, 47. Oh, don't worry, I won't. Okay, can I go up here at all? I should be able to. What should we do? Here we go. I'm a waiter. Please let me into this military compound, please. How are you today, sir? Oh, I'm doing all right. <laughs> keeps down okay, so uh, let's see. How do we do this without getting caught? What do you do, poor bastard? Hmm. It's gonna be a bit awkward, but I think I can manage this. Okay. Well, it's going to be a bit awkward. The angle is going to be a bit awkward, but let's see. Not smart, but the Oh no! There we go. So we're just getting rid of these guys just to make it easier. Even though it's not illegal to be climbing up here at all, I just figure it's a good idea to get rid of these guys. So they're going to be vomiting off somewhere in the in the corner there, and we're going to make our way to the roof where Etta Davis is. Now we're officially in a hostile area now. Not that it matters at all. While well, they do have poison. Oh no, she's getting away. Oh, never mind. I'll just get this out. Hi, Etta. Bye, Etta. <laughs> Sorry. Get in the bin. <laughs> I shot right through her hat. There we go. Suspicious pool of blood. That's fine. No one will suspect a thing. There we go. Easy enough. <laughs> Alright. There we go. The Angel of Death is now, well dead. <laughs> so I'm gonna get going now. Whee! Okay, uh, best exit would be... Well, ideally if I had the key for that jeep, it would be that one, but, uh, yeah, that's not gonna be an option, so I guess I'll just, uh, head off through the gates then. 
All right. Pretty straightforward. I probably didn't even need to use the emetic grenade on those two guards, but... Oh, well. Never hurts to be safe, I guess. Um, all right. There we go. I mean, it's just a little added layer of security at the end of the day. All right. Done. See you in hell, you old biddy. <laughs> All right, done. I like it when they're over and done with nice and quick. Especially since Marrakesh has one particular elusive target that takes for fucking ever. I'm glad I never have to do the broker again. Ugh, good lord. But having... Now that we now that we know where the, uh, where the... Where the courier is, could you knock that guy out and take the diamonds from him, do you think? You know, I'm curious. I actually want to see if that works. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna give that a shot. Cause because we know we know where the diamonds are. Could I chuck a blue egg and steal the diamonds from him? Possible. I kind of want to give it a shot. Um let's let's try it then. Um Let's see. As much as I would hate to do the broker again, let's do the broker again. Uh start in there. Emetic gas grenade, lethal syringe. Fine. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put uh, the egg here, I guess, because um, I'm running out of room for things. Okay. Uh, poison egg. Yeah, for a new item, this is actually fairly useful. But <laughs> okay. Hmm. I mean, they they literally just came out with the uh, the blue Easter egg. It was an unlock that you could get on the Berlin egg hunt. Even though the Berlin egg hunt has been around for a while now. The situation in Marrakesh is unstable, okay. and we believe a coup Well, let's get our Easter egg. What a place to hide it. <laughs> the our toilet cistern, sure. Okay, uh, oh god. So since our target will take a while to get here, why don't we try chucking an egg and getting the guy's diamonds from him? Uh, assuming I can find him. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard. Uh, just gotta remember where he is. There's the carpet shop, and there's... Hmm. Oh, I've gone and forgotten where he is. Uh, do do do. Where is he? Uh, oh no, I can't find him. <laughs> Wait, hang on, he's down here, right? I guess so. There we go. And then just give that a little chuck over there. There you go, all good. Oh, down he goes. Oh, he's a bit dizzy. Oh, no, are you all right? Silent takedown. No, okay, he doesn't have his diamonds with him. Okay, well, that solves that mystery then. No, you cannot. You cannot knock that guy out and take the diamonds early. So that's great. Although, does that mean... Oh, hang on. There might be there might be another thing we can do. Hang on, there's, there's one other idea that I have. Oh, I'm going to kick myself in the nuts so bloody hard if it turns out that this is how you do it. So, alright, let's get a briefcase out. Um, alright, let's get a briefcase out. Let's do like a touristy shit one. There we go. Um, there we go. Eh. Wait, the fuck? There we go. <laughs> what is going on with these menus? These are the cursed menus, I'm telling you. Olivia Monroe was absolutely right. Here we go. For science, exactly. We're finding out for science purposes. What's this here? Um, Life is strange before the storm. That's the special fiction. It's a fucking imaginary car. Look at me, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, it's there it is. Be okay. It's just a play. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay. I actually... I actually forgot about that. Since I, I, how could I forget that? That is the funniest goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> that needs a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Even the game knew we wouldn't be able to take that seriously. <laughs> Even the developers were like, you know, this is actually pretty funny. Let's just put something at the end, just like, boo, get the fuck off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, that was five years ago. Oh boy, that's gone back a bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, I guess the bizarre entrance is fine. And I do need the briefcase, so yeah, we'll go with that. Oh dear. 
Oh boy, that was a fun time. <laughs> that was before I got the microphone limiter as well, I can tell. Because I was peeking in the mic like crazy there. Oh dear. Alright, well, let's Good just see if this works too. Okay, well, okay, the previous uh, uh, experiment was a complete and utter failure. Our okay. intelligence indicates the target entered the Swedish consulate, but has not been spotted okay. since. And then the courier is already at the cafe in the city center. Cool. Good hunting. So, technically speaking, the courier, I think he gets the diamonds from our target. So if we go to the target first, kill the fuck out of him, we can before he does the handover, we can kill him and get the diamonds, and then it's like great, don't have to fucking waste our time anymore. Theoretically speaking, we're going to find out together if that's even possible. Okay, we're going to find out if this is remotely possible. There we go. <laughs> Cola Squirrel ran him over. It was Cola Squirrel all along, I knew it. Good old Cola Squirrel. Okay, yeah, here he is. I wonder if I'll accidentally poison the crowd as well. There we go. Oh, I was referencing Risu. Oh. Come on. Did you Chi play it or what? Oh. I didn't know. Oh, oh my god. Oh. It doesn't seem to affect the crowd NPCs. That's good. Oh, is he going to go into the consulate building? You better not. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. Please go somewhere good though. Risu's a a assistant idol uh, showdown is hitting the opponent with a truck. I see. Oh, where's he going? Where the fuck is he going? Where's he going? There's not a bathroom here. Is there even a bin here? There we go. What? Oh, there's a bin here, right. Oh, good. They're fucked off. Great. Yeah. Oh, no, that's an instant fail as well. Track the courier to the diamonds. Uh, there is no way to finish this uh, this mission early. You just have to just go through the 15-minute slog of following that fucker. Oh, my God. Well, we did it. I guess I can say that. <laughs> but no, there's no way to, to fast-track that one, and that is the worst mission in the game. All right. Uh, the guru is up next. Um, and oh, there's a bunch more left to go, but uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be all right, I think. I will definitely finish season one stuff, at least. All righty. The guru is up next. Richard J. McGee. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Richard J. McGee, a self-help guru infamous for abandoning his protégés as soon as their money runs out. His current mm. mark is Keith those Keith twats. and the young man's trust fund. His family have turned to the ICA for help in rescuing their son, and their money, from the Guru's clutches. Hmm. The family lawyer, Catherine Feller, has arranged a meeting with the target in Sapienza, Italy, ostensibly to discuss extending his access to the trust fund, and in so doing has provided us with a window to engage. Note that the contract stipulates that neither the son nor the lawyer, Catherine Feller, may be harmed. Hmm. The clock is ticking, 47. C can I sedate them with my pistol, though? Or make them vomit? Can I at least do that? <laughs> Matsuri, Choco, and Pikami played it that I know of. Right, um, I vaguely remember this. Um, the main square is a good place to start. Unless... Can I... Let's see what... No, I'm to cover in the mansion. Probably not a good idea. Um, right. Uh, we're... Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think of what would work. Um, I'm thinking poisoning him, but I'm really not that sure. I guess I could see what happens first, but... Yeah, fuck it. Try and true method of getting, getting your briefcase and a thing. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, I don't need... Yeah, I don't need a lockpick either, so... Let's just get this in here first. Rightio, and then get ourselves a poison syringe as well, just for funsies. There we go. Okay. Yeah, sedate them with a bullet to the head. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. Some AG members did too, but I'm not giving them the time of day. Oh. Uh, oh, no. Okay, right. There we go. That's fine. Okay. Welcome to Sapienza. Thanks. Catherine oh. Feller has informed us that the target has agreed to the meeting 
but has not yet indicated where it will take place. Hmm. You will need to acquire the target on the ground. Be aware that there seems to be an increased security. <laughs> on the ground as opposed to in the air, wall. sure. Good hunting, 47. Oh, uh, we'll be fine, don't you worry. Um, right, so, first things first. Yeah, this, yeah, he's just hanging out at the cafe with this fella. He's trying to embezzle money from him. So, fuck you. Oh, no, I got both of them in one hit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, please go somewhere good. Oh, please go somewhere good. Where are you going? That's stomach flu. That's definitely what it is. Don't worry. I'm going to give him a nice injection of happy juice and he'll be all right. Propane tank, propane tank sedation. Okay. Oh, where are you going? Can you fuck off? There we go. Oh god, he's going to the bathroom too. Alright, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't get to the steps! Oh, he's dead. Yay! Contracts complete. That was easy. The money has been wired to your well, off, off to my Volkswagen I go. <laughs> yeah, relatively okay-ish. I'm fine with that. Oh no, I want to vomit, but there's a dead body here. Oh no, they removed the fucking yeah. See, this is this is when they removed it. So the beetle is no longer the Volkswagen Beetle, no longer an exit. Um, oh god, they don't even let you go out into the through the through the gate down there. Of course, yeah, that's only the nighttime version of this map. So uh, looks like we have to go. Uh, uh, I guess I will have to take the boat. That's irritating. That's fucking irritating. Okay, off to the boat we go then. I guess it's not too far away, but still. Peacock couldn't re-add it. Um, it's kind of hard-coded into the into the world itself. I mean, you, I guess if somebody modded it in, it would be possible. Can't help but think that maybe there was a reason why they removed it. Don't know why. Well, some mods, yeah, they could probably mod it in. I'm not sure though. Oh well. It's just a short stroll to the harbour, that works too. Alright, um... Hmm. Yeah, that was easy enough, I guess. That wasn't too much of a deal. Why not? Alright, there's all that. Still haven't done the, the, the hatchet thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that at some point. Maybe I'll just, uh... Hmm. You know what I could do? I could just find a random contract, because that counts as a target kill, right? Should I do that? Should I just see if I can do that with the contract? Because I think you can do contracts with Peacock. I think you can do that. I think you can do that. Hang on. Game modes. Contracts. Yeah, looks like you can do it. Hang on. Uh, contract search. Uh, oh no. Uh, look up. There we go. Oh no, that's definitely not what I wanted. Uh, let's just go... To, no, not trending. Um, I want to specifically get a Sapienza map. Okay. Uh, yep. Oh my god. Oh, the Deceptors, again. Freeform killing, that's always good. Um, let's see. Contract search, yeah, that should be fine. Homing briefcase. Um, oh, in due time. Um, why does it have to start from... Oh god, it starts from Hitman 3 and then works its way backwards. Alright, uh... Here we go, Sapienza. Um, anything will do. Oh yeah, let's go with... One target. Uh, that's fine. There we go. Go so it's just one target will be fine. <laughs> Trending contract. Kill this bitch. Um, okay, let's pick an easy one, a relatively easy one. Um, so that's the investigator fella. Oh, here we go. Hippie sniping. Um, I'm not going to use a sniper rifle though. Unable to load the requested menu. Oh, okay. Retry. Ugh, no, that seems to be a problem. All right. Right, uh, plan B. Wait, I'm offline? How could I be offline? That's not how Peacock works. Uh, here we go. Hang on, where's the, where's the server thingy? Uh, go online. Okay, let's try going online again. Here we go. Still Peacock, right? It's not the official service? Yeah, we're still Peacock. Um, oopsie daisy. Yeah, that's just a link to the to the page. Don't need that. Right, let's try that again. God, I can't believe I have to do this again. Um happy answer, there we go. Hopefully we can play something. Let's go. Yeah, where the 
fuck is he? There he is. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, contract mode doesn't work for whatever reason. So, um, all right. Guess I'll just have to try. I mean, I, 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 I don't remember ever. I don't think I ever played a contract in this. I, I, I think it would work though. Oh, well, something's going wrong. Anyway, uh, I can just go to Sapienza and just see. Uh, no, I'm not going to do the Enforcer, but... There we go. So what do I do? Challenges. Here we are. Is that... Yeah, that's an uncompleted one. Eliminate a target with a cleaver disguised as a kitchen assistant. Um... Eliminate a target with a cleaver disguised as a kitchen assistant. Okay, uh, and where's the cleaver again? I've forgotten where it is. Uh, I've gone and forgotten where it is now. Where is the cleaver? <laughs> uh, well, I've got hit maps. I, uh, I could just use that. Uh, here it is. Uh, level three. Where is it? Oh, the butcher shop. Jesus Christ! How can I keep forgetting that? It's like my favorite place in the entire game. All right. So, all right. How do I quickly get through this one? Um. Okay, lockpick. Uh, disposable scrambler. Uh, let me think of anything else. Uh, just get the cleaver and get the fuck out of there. Yeah, yeah, that should be easy enough. Uh, do, 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 destroy virus. Oh, you know what? I'm going to smuggle in. Uh, let's see. I'm going to smuggle in a... Um... Where am I going to smuggle up? Smuggle it in. Um, I guess I'll smuggle it in the mansion pantry. Um, I'm going to use a an EMP device. Because this is actually something you can use to destroy the virus as well. Little known fact. That's a good contract name. <laughs> Kill this bitch. So yeah, little known fact. You can destroy the virus very easily using uh, this wonderful tool. And I fully intend to do that, so let's do that, because it'll make everything go so, so much easier. Right, um... Yeah, cleaver. Oh yeah, I gotta get in there first. Lucky I didn't forget that, <laughs> because we could've completely fucked it up. So, uh, I'll kill Silvio Caruso with my cleaver. Oh no! Hey, somebody wanna help us out? Uh, yeah, maybe. Hang on, uh, gotta get the cleaver. Cleaver time! Okay, so there's that. Oh no! Oh yeah, you're definitely in danger, all right. Okay. Oh. Hey you! Did you do this? Did you? No, I didn't do shit. I don't care. Bye. I don't care about Silent Assassin this time around, obviously. Um. Yeah, there we go. Now then. Um. Uh, there's the remote EMP charge there. There we go. Don't really care about this. Smuggle in the fish ship. <laughs> I love that they added the fish as a as a melee weapon in the second game. Good stuff indeed. Oh, here we go. Fuck you. All right. Uh, and uh, no, I'm not real. Go away. Oh my god. Oh no. It. It. But <laughs> hey, why not? <laughs> Oh, curiosity killed the cunt. Get in there. There we go. All right. Uh, so I got to get the tape, don't I, if I want to kill Silvio in the easiest way possible. Oh, my God. That Well, that was close. Just grab this brick here. Just borrow that. Here we go. Oh, no. Found trespassing. I couldn't destroy the camera in time. That's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> You're not allowed to throw bricks at cameras with a fuck. That's definitely an illegal action. Right, so, uh, tape. Tape, 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 tape. Uh, tape is up here. Now, I'm gonna check the conditions just in case I fuck this up again. Uh, but just a light is eliminated target with a cleaver disguised as a kitchen assistant. Sappy answer. Oh! I gotta be the kitchen, uh, kitchen guy. Um, uh, I'll get the tape first and then I can, uh, go back and get the kitchen staff's disguise. I definitely have access to them, so why not? Uh, tape. Where's the tape? Is it upstairs? Yeah, I think it's upstairs. Okay. Oh, get up there. Grab yourself a tape. Okay. A family affair. This is how we get Silvio to 
head over here and then basically tell these guys to fuck off. And from that point, very easy to cleave her in the dick. Um, yeah, I've got to get the kitchen disguised. Well, hang on. Very specifically, what is it called? Uh, kitchen assistant. Okay. Kitchen assistant. Okay. Kitchen assistant. Is it one of these guys? Might be one of these guys. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. Kitchen assistant. Let's see. There he is. Thank God. I don't have to go too far. Employee of the day. <laughs> hey, I've got a new hat. Alright, so let's pop the videotape in and that should be everything we need to get this done. Oh, hello. Mister? Hey! There we go. <laughs> Alright, well, I better hide this body. Oh, shit. He's inside here? Why is he inside here? Okay. Oh my god, why was he in there the whole time? I didn't put the videotape in yet. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, of course I'll need some space to hide in there. Right, we've got a kitchen stuff, this guy's, we've got a cleaver. Alright, let's pop the video in. At least he's close by, so it shouldn't take long for him to get here. There we go. I guess what I could do is, will, will this make the disguise go away? Uh... I don't know. Might have fucked it. <laughs> okay, there we go. I can just hide as a plague doctor. There we go. Damn, that's a rigid fucking coat. It doesn't move at all. Alright, and now we wait. In plain sight. That is Silvio Caruso. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> well, I mean, it was on. You just didn't have the tape in there. I love this song, it's great. Alright, just stay absolutely still. Oh god, hello. Just stay as still as you can. Don't make a scene. There we go. No one will suspect a thing. <laughs> I, have, yeah, we have, <laughs> I have very important family videos to watch here. If I can get back in my kitchen staff disguise. Yep, I can. There we go. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. There we go. Fuck you. Yay. Hone your cleaver skills. There we go, which means we get a hacksaw. <laughs> Free hacksaw for me. And then I just have to complete the level and to unlock the stuff, I guess. I, th I think I, I, yeah, I do think I have to do that, so there we go. Into the bin you go. Do, 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 do. Hi there. Alrighty, let's head upstairs, get ourselves a... Yeah, the best way to deal with, with our second target is just to chuck a virus at her. <laughs> Don't know if everyone knows about this one yet, but hey, you know, you might learn something new today. Where is she? Oh, damn, she's already in there. I could just shoot her now. I could. But, yeah, no, that's alright. Yeah. Okay, might still have time to kill her, maybe. Oh, I hope she doesn't walk off. That'd be shitty timing. So if we go in here in this room, there's a ship here. Shoot it dead. And inside you'll find a virus prototype vial. You can chuck this and it'll kill uh, Francesca DeSantis very, very quickly. Here we go. Please don't leave just yet, Franny. Don't do it just yet. Oh, no, don't go. No, no, that please don't go. Fuck! Francesca DeSantis. Bloody typical. Hang on, why, why didn't I just go... Hey, excuse me, I'm trespassing, I know. Oh my god, uh, follow. Hello? Sorry, off I go. <laughs> now i got to see who's following. Oh my god. Dead Ishimura? Oh my god, I think that's how you pronounce that. Oh, it's Dead Ishimura. Hello. <laughs> You're already here. But thank you very much for the f for the follow. We super appreciate that. Enjoy the Bill Cosby's. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's how you do that. Just chuck an experimental virus at her and she's gone. Might as well stay in my chef's disguise. Why not? 
Cookie is here to fuck your everything up. Okay, uh, do I have things to throw at people? Ah, uh, I certainly do. I got some expired Kansas spaghetti. Somebody touch on my spaghetti. Oh, I didn't Be even sure pick to up the... follow Give Gaming oh, on other social media platforms. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> that plug, though. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, I forgot to pick up the, uh, the, uh, Ether Lab card from, uh, Silvio Caruso's room. Brett. Now, if you if you angle it very, very specifically, it's a bit tricky, but uh, come on, there we go. This <laughs> all the way over there. You can actually throw it pretty far. All right, there's our silent takedown of the day, and because we brought our EMP charge, we don't even need to get a dongle. We can just put this right here, and it's over. There we go. Place that there. Oh no, my Malta Bene. Oh no, there it is. It's right there. <laughs> I want my expired spaghetti sauce back. Alright, there we go. Let's make our way to where we need to go to escape. And... There we go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Done. There, not too difficult. Um, there we go. Employee of the day, a family affair. Memory Lane, Home Near Cleaver Skills, there we go, that's what I wanted. Fantastic. So that's going to give us a hacksaw. Um, don't know if that's it, I don't think that's in the main game. This certainly isn't a challenge in the main game, is it? I don't know. But at any rate, uh, we've got that. Etherfield, uh, there we go, Butcher's Saw. Uh, an old sturdy bone saw. It might look rusty, but it'll cut through bone like butter. Oh, me likey. All right. <laughs> Maybe I'll use it on the next elusive target, although probably not, knowing my luck. I'll have to use other skills. Okay, let's get back to the elusive targets. And whoa, that's not right at all. That's my inventory. Okay, uh, who are next? Um, oh, the food critic. Yeah, this is going to be very easy, actually. I might be able to get away with using the bone saw after all. Which makes sense when you're dealing with the food critic. Um... Alright, so pretty much standard affair, uh, just make this guy feel sick, and then, uh, drown him in Bangkok, so, you know, pretty standard. Good evening, 47. Your target is Wen Tsai, the highly influential Southeast Asian food critic. He is notorious for his sadistic attention to detail and relentless criticism of the smallest errors. This is the, the worst cannoli is the I've ever had. Singaporean chef driven to suicide by the target's cruel response to a bottle of over-chilled ice water. <laughs> over-chilled ice water. We have water. learned that the target will be at the Himapan Hotel in Bangkok, where he plans to review that hotel's award-winning cuisine. Hmm. Complicating matters, the target has recently retained a private security team in response to his increasing notoriety. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. Right, uh, let me think. Do, do, do. Oh, the waiter's disguise should be sufficient, so let's go with our new sexy item. Do I need a lockpick? Uh, I shouldn't? Yeah, okay, but I definitely need a container. Definitely need to gas the fucker. Um, there we go, definitely need to gas the fucker, but I'm just thinking, do I need a lockpick? You know, I probably don't, actually. I don't think I do. So, uh, in that case, uh, let's go with our brand new hacksaw, wherever it is. Um, uh, I have no idea where it is. Where's the hacksaw at? Um, uh, uh, where's my hacksaw? Oh, maybe it's something I have to smuggle in, maybe? Maybe it's big. Maybe the hacksaw is big. <laughs> Hidden stash. Uh, melee. Uh, no? Alright, maybe it has to be in an agency pickup. Um, oh, that's a bit of an... That's a bit of a, a pain in the neck. Um, I'll check my suite then. Uh, melee. Here we go. Uh, ah, there it is. Uh, there's two of them. Butcher saws. All over the place. Um... Well, can I put it in my... Hang on, can I put this in my... Uh, I totally can. I can put this in my briefcase and instead smuggle the... the 
gas device in the bathroom. Uh, sure. Sh sure, yeah, bit weird, but okay, I can make it work. No, I just need to remind myself. Uh, I think the waiter is better than the kitchen staff in this regard, uh, in terms of disguises. I do need a disguise. Hopefully this works. Good evening, 47. Okay. Our on-site intelligence has confirmed that the target has arrived at the restaurant oh. and that his security team has already swept the area. Oh. Good hunting. Which means they probably won't search any more than that, right? Wishful thinking? Probably. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Pick it up. Pick it up. Fuck. There we go. <laughs> that went nuts. Right. There's the hacksaw. Oh, right. Um, uh, this is awkward. Um, all right. Um, oh wait, I can put it on my person? Okay, I can put it on my person. I was worried about that. I was like, can I actually hide it? Oh no. Oh no, I fucked it up. Alright. Uh, yeah, just restart the mission. We'll be alright now that I know I can hide it on my person. If it just went on my back, then I'd be upset. I mean, if you can hide it on yourself, I don't know why you have to actually bring it in a briefcase or in an agency pickup. I don't know why. I'm sure it's big, but I mean, like if it was a katana, it would make sense. It's like, oh, I can only carry it on my back. Therefore, I, I need to carry it in my briefcase or get it at an agency pickup. That would make sense. This does not make sense. <laughs> okay. Better get this guy out of the way for now. It'll make things a bit easier. Oh, don't see me. Don't see me. No, you didn't see nothing. And... Whoopee! Alright, just getting him out of the way. Don't really want his disguise, though. So get in the locker. And this is the one I'm looking for. It's a... There we go. A waiter's disguise. Right, uh, retrieve the bone saw. There we go, bone saw is ready. There we go, grab some stuff, and of course we have to go to the bathroom to get our to get our uh, our gas uh, device, which we'll then place into the briefcase. So this should be all right. Uh, why do you have so much stuff on your Steam wish list? Holy shit! I I don't really use it as a wish list. I just use it to keep track of games. Really, if it's a game I want, it'll be on my wish list to some extent. Um, there we go. That being said, I don't even really give a shit about half of them. Probably about, maybe even more than half. I would say about 60% uh, of games on my wish list, maybe. So maybe 70% I don't, give a, don't really give a shit about. But it's like, okay, I can remember this for later. Oh my god. Oh, there's an enforcer here. Great. Uh, brilliant. Plan B. Um, I'm going to have to get a chef's disguise. Yes. Okay, I'm going to have to get a chef's disguise. Wait a minute. Here. Do I... No, I... Okay, there, no, there is no other way to reach that. I'm sure Jordan crossed oh, that okay. Next best thing is to just... Oh. There we go. All right. Get the cookie disguise. That'll work. I was just looking through the through to get ideas for your next birthday and Christmas. Oh, God, yeah. That's a guessing game if you're using the wish list. All right, buddy, get in there. Uh, might as well just leave the uh, the briefcase out here as well. Oh no, wait. Uh, oh no, I have to come back. So yeah. Oh no. 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 That's a lot of enforcers. Oh my god, that's a lot of enforcers. Just crouch, run your way around. You'll be fine. Okay, there we go. See, now I can actually get in here without any problems. I can't think of any job that takes more finesse than being a chef. Oh no, there are plenty of jobs. Straight up murder. That's that that requires a lot of finesse. The fact that you didn't know that I wasn't actually a chef. Um, all right, he's still up there. That's good. No, oh, bloody hell! I have to wait for this dickhead to go away. Uh, brief. Wait, where did I leave my briefcase? Come on, bugger off! Are you serious? Oh my god! All right, never mind. Plan B. Just run for it. Nope, he didn't see anything. Eh, okay. That's not the food critic. No, he's on my he's on my radar, so no, it can't be him. Right, uh, maybe I should save just in case I screw this up. Uh, there we go. The ex-dictator was the last save I made, so that was a while ago. Alright, don't forget to put the remote 
gas device in there, and then, boom. And then we can start hacksawing people. Good shit. Mind the head chef. He's a bit of a dickhead. He can see through our disguise, even though I'm not a chef. I am a waiter. Ah, having a nice yeah. The juice has no life. How did you remove all the texture from this? What I don't know. How about that? What do you think of that flavor? <laughs> right in your fucking face. There we go. Uh, we just have to get our hacksaw ready, and I'm just going to hack his fucking face off. Or I could just drown him. I, I could save the game and then, uh, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'll save. Don't forget to rinse your mouth. The acid is very bad for your teeth. <laughs> well, that's just some solid life advice there from that waifu. <laughs> yeah, keep it real. Oh dear. Wait, that's an enforcer, isn't it? Ordinarily? Okay. Uh, for some reason, not anymore. Okay. Oh, you're going to follow him all day, are you? All right. Well, uh, we can't have that. <laughs> Okay, we can't have that. I wonder which bathroom he's going to go to as well. Oh. Okay, which one is he going to? Please? Oh my god, I, I just remembered I can't uh, use this outfit to get through here. That causes problems. Um, Hang on, yeah, just let him vomit for a bit. We've got time. And damn the head chef is an asshole. I do remember getting you know, the first Trails game. Oh. Yeah. I vaguely remember that, yeah. Don't know if I ended up... No, I don't think I've, I've played it yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, this sucks. No. No. Oh, God. Just look away. There we go. No. Fuck you. There we go. All right. Oh, good. He doesn't go in the bathroom. Wow. For once, the guard doesn't go in the bathroom. Here we go. You're not looking too good there, buddy. You're not looking too good there. Let's hacksaw him. There we go. Eliminated. <laughs> There we go, so it's just like a, uh, a cleaver then, the okay. But <laughs> he was just gonna walk off. Well, I can't leave the bodies here, so, um, alright. Can't just leave them hanging around. There we go, be a good long haul baby. Uh, I would have to play it first, I think. I uh, don't know. I don't know if I'd do a long haul on a game I've never played before. Bit of a risk. Oh, hang on. Uh, come on. Out the door. <laughs> Get in there. So the hacksaw is basically just like a cleaver. It's just a reskin cleaver. Which is interesting. Cause, yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I don't, there is definitely not a... Uh, a cleaver facsimile that you can just get from your... Um, from... Uh, uh, that you can just put in your inventory at the beginning of a level. So, okay, yeah. I don't mind having a hacksaw. Shame I can only use it in uh, Peacock. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, will I get my suit back? Yeah, I might as well. Might as well. Might as well be thorough. Uh, and then maybe for once, instead of taking the boat exit, I'll take the uh, the basement exit. It's a lot quicker that way. There. God, it's so dark in here. Right. Um... I'm just going to grab this fire extinguisher in case I need a distraction on the way out. Righty, oh, there we go. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. There. Starting outfit is back on, and let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, okay. Didn't need the fire extinguisher after all, I guess. Okay. Bye. Briefcase stashed. Uh, oh, yeah, the one. Yeah, I had to abandon it, I guess. Okay. I, had to, I did have to abandon my briefcase, unfortunately. I had to leave it in front of the food critic so he would, uh, he would get sick. I guess I could have taken it with me, but oh well. There we go. And that's the end of the food critic. That's what you get for leading someone to suicide by saying his, uh, his, his water was overly chilled. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you! Alrighty. Next... Uh, oh, I don't know what's next. I've forgotten. I've forgotten. Caroni knows what's next. She always knows. Where is she? Next! Alright, um... Do, 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 uh, career. There we go. Lose the targets. There's no point in going off lo offline in, uh, in Peacock, so I don't know why that's even an option. Um, alright. Oh, we've got a fair amount left to get through here. Um... Alright, the chameleon is. is. Isn't this the one that has to be killed by an accident? 
A non drown Is it a drowning accident? Oh, it's a non-poison death, I think. All right, Richard M. Foreman. With a non-explosion accident, that's what it was. Uh, in addition to eliminating the target, the client requests that you locate any information detailing the militia operation in which the target will be participating. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Richard M. Foreman, a skilled infiltrator believed to be working with the militia on an unknown operation on US soil. Hmm. The target is a highly skilled actor, and our files link him with a successful impersonation of billionaire Charles Vanderblatt, where he siphoned hundreds of millions out of the Vanderblatt accounts hey, over looks the course just like of three him. weeks. The contract has two objectives. Identifying and eliminating the target in an apparently accidental death, such that as a fall be. or drowning. Oh yeah, that'll Secondly, be easy. Uncover files or data about the operation being planned. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yeah, this won't be a problem. Uh, probably won't even bother with a briefcase. I'll just uh, toss a grenade. All right. Um, let's see. Um, I will start... Well, you can't start as a hacker. Yeah, that'd be way too easy. And there's a reason for that. He's basically hanging out with the hackers in, uh, upstairs. So, let's see. I guess I'll go undercover here, because that's pretty quick. I'll get myself a real gun this time. Um, let's see. What else will I take with me? Um, yeah, drowning him with the... With the emetic gas grenade, I guess, could work. Yeah, that should be fine, I think. That should be fine. There's not really a whole lot we have to do. So, and if and I can get myself a quick exit if I get a the 3D printed face as well and use the uh, the storm morning, shelter. 47. Welcome to Colorado. Oh righty. The target is notorious for changing his appearance and mannerisms. You will need to sweep the compound to locate him. It Remember, may be Colorado, but at least it won't be too painful. In a manner that appears accidental. <laughs> Avoid explosives, as these are too likely to draw close attention. Good hunting. Right. No explosions. So even if it's an accident explosion, uh, don't do it. Um, instead, we'll just have to... Yeah, and it can't be poison either, so... Alright, drowning is what we're going to go with ultimately. Um, well, where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he doesn't actually show up on the, on the radar. General Robert James Cobb. Nail this Air Force base. 72nd Strategic Air Wing. Uh-oh. Mm, this might be more difficult than I thought. Alright, but he's rehearsing for his next role. He's rehearsing for his next role, which uh, is all well and good. Um, here we go. We'll just chuck this in his, in his face. There. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, and it'll also probably get rid of our, oh, our spy, f uh, our hacker friend as well. Oh, God. Oh, where are they going? Oh, no. This could be a problem. Yeah, maybe I should have gotten rid of the other guy. Oh, I feel fine. Going green. Oh, good. Okay, the hacker's fucking off over here. That's great. That actually saves me the trouble. All right. Well, there's our target gone already. Cold steel's on your wish list, but you have a few trials games to get through before you get there. There we go. Fuck you. Target down. Um... Oh, hi. Down. Oh, of course, yeah, I love this, yeah. Alright. I love this glitch. Yeah, he goes to throw up and... Uh, no, alright. Good morning, 47. If Welcome I could just get rid of Colorado. just him. Oh, but it's such a giant plume of gas. Oh, boy, alright. And things were going so well. I guess if I throw it across the room, that might work. Avoid explosives, there we go. As these are too likely to draw close attention. Good hunting. It's funny, when I read Cold Steel, I'm reminded of Balls of Steel, that pinball game. There we go. Even though Cold Steel is definitely not a pinball game. And then, I, and then I'm reminded of Ballothon. Okay, let's get our... Oh, our emetic gas grenade ready to go. There we go. Can I... Can I actually... Retrieve files General nice and quick. Oh yeah, there we go. Files secured. Done. So now what we have to do is... Here we go. Let's hope this works. Okay. Oh. Okay, I think that only affected him. <laughs> he just walks over the table. I love that. Alright. 
Yes, I did it. Well, what did you do, Corpse Finder 1? What did you do? What did you do? Man, I can't believe I got those files right off the bat. Very good. Now what we have to do is just destroy uh, Richard M. Foreman. There we go, dickhead. Off you pop. Okay. And I guess I'll take the storm bunker exit. Sure. Target down. Fantastic. The peacock, I got it to work. Oh yeah, it's very easy to set up. It's good shit. Ooh. Not only can you uh, add mods via uh, plugins uh, by dropping them in the plugin folder, but uh, just by default you can replay all of these uh, elusive targets, which is just fantastic. But <laughs> it is the greatest thing. Alright. Oh no, I stole the phone, but it's okay, I'm allowed to. Okay, now, let's start the 3D printer. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened there? You know, sneaking around like that is just weird. I, I'm not That's sneaking. We You're sneaking. Alright. Just wait for these dickheads to stop moping around. It was nothing. There was nothing. Okay. Okay. Well, if it was nothing, then why don't you dickheads walk away then? Yeah, they did. Alright. Just in case, I'm gonna save. Because there are no auto saves so far on this level. There we go. There's our exit ticket now. So let's go through the storm bunker. Here we go. It's like the Fuhrer bunker, only it's not quite as nifty, actually. It's not like a, a ballroom or anything like that. Okay, here we go. Let's use Sean Rose's fake 3D printed face. And there we go. Alright, so long everybody, I'm going in this way. <laughs> Alright, done. That was pretty good. Only only one real fail there. Yeah, worked out pretty well the second time, actually. Worked out really well, actually. Alright, there we go. Foreman's fucked. There's that. Um, okay, I didn't unlock any challenges there for some reason. It's weird, some of these elusive targets have already been unlocked on the, on the challenges, and some of them haven't been, which is a bit weird. Some of the earlier ones, maybe. All right, what are next? Uh, who needs to be fucking ruined next? Um, it's a lot of people in the world. I, it's, I'm surprised I haven't been caught yet. There have been a lot of people dying with uh, with vomit in on their faces <laughs> and in their hair. A lot of drownings, a lot of accident, accidental drownings, quote unquote. All right, next we have the blackmailer. Oh God. Oh, there's yeah, there's a few left to get through, but that's all right. All right, the blackmail. Looks like this guy is one of the uh, sanguine fashion guys. Okay. Walter Williams. He's also got a... Uh, keeps originals of all his blackmail material with him at all times on a memory stick. The client requests that you retrieve it once you have eliminated the target. Easy enough. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Walter Williams, an up-and-coming fashion model with a history of blackmail. He is currently in Paris, participating in the sanguine fashion show. Hmm. The target is carrying a memory stick, containing information he used to blackmail a former lover. The client asks and that he, he just holds it in his hand. This memory stick. As a model, the target will be on the catwalk, but he will almost certainly also spend some time amongst the event's guests. Hmm. This year's Sanguine collection features heavy facial makeup, so mark your target carefully. Uh, the clock is ticking. I will, but Good then again, I can just use instinct mode. <laughs> That'll work too. Although, the previous target did not work with instinct mode at all, and I'm not sure why. Maybe there was a reason for that. It's like, oh, he's the chameleon, so I couldn't see him. Alright, shall I start as a stylist for once? Um, I'm gonna cover in dressing room stylist, okay. Hmm, okay. This could be tricky, but... I'm gonna try and do it this way. Yep, lethal syringe. This could work, but there's a lot of people in the, uh in the makeup room, so, uh, could be some collateral damage if I'm not careful. Assuming he appears here first, he might not. Alright, let's deal with Walter Williams. Um, alright. Okay, just have to look the part Welcome and pretend to, to be Paris, a sty stylist. Oh. I have confirmed that the target is scheduled for several cycles on the catwalk. There so he is. dressing room is a likely area to acquire him initially. Uh, yep, looks like it. <laughs> Good hunting. Yep, he is just here. Now, let's find an area where we can get- isolate him from the rest of the people. 
and preferably uh, a place where no one will see me throw this at him in the, in the first place. Okay. All right, Mr. Blackmailer, let's see what we got for you. Um, hmm. This might be a bit tricky. If he ever, if he comes through here, then I think we've got it. I was going to get you contraband police, but Steam might stop me due to regional price differences. Oh, Steam with its shenanigans. I hate that. Oh. oh, where's he going? Where are you going? Okay. What is he playing at? He's just hanging out here. Alright, well, I guess I could just chill here for now. Oh, he's, he's on the move. He's on the move. What? Where's he going? Oh, this could be good. That's right, go somewhere where no one will see us. There we go. Okay, can I get away with doing this, do you think? Ma you know what, maybe. No, probably not. Okay, but let's see if I can throw great distance. Oh yeah, this might work. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. Oh dear, I might have been able to do that. No, no one's at all puzzled by the fact that a, a Stylus is carrying a, an iridescent green flask. No, no one seems terribly concerned with that. It's, it's, it's brand new hair product. It's mostly uranium. Oh, here we go. This will work. This will work. Hang on. Just got to... And... Do, 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 right at his feet. I feel like... I feel... Oh, dear. Are you the only one that's sick? Yep, he's the only one that's sick. That's good. Oh, no. Don't worry. I, your faithful so stylist, will help you out. Wait a minute. That's... Oh, that's the wrong guy. Oh, fuck. I must have got my... Damn it. I got the wrong... I got the wrong fucking fashion model. They all look the same. All right. That did not work. How the fuck did that happen? How did I mix up these two? Welcome to Paris, 47. How the I hell did I mix the up these two guys? Okay. Very unexpected. So the How the hell did that even happen? Okay, this is definitely the guy. Good hunting. Sorry, man, but you're just making me feel a little... Well, he's right okay. here. It's definitely him. Couldn't be anyone else. That's definitely him. Yeah, all right. I'm going to have a rash tomorrow. Hey. I'm not the fun sort of Okay. Either. Grumpy McGee is here. Okay. How the hell did I mix him up? How does that work? <laughs> okay. I just, for some reason, threw it at the wrong guy. Just keep walking. Oh. He doesn't know me from Adam. Decision time. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, how the fuck... How the fuck did I... Mess this up. Yeah, I was right here, and then, then he walked off, and then I guess I, I got my eyes on the wrong fellow. Oh Jesus! Oh yeah, hang on. Can I? I might be able to. Oh yeah, this will work. Hang on. Wait until she goes. How the fuck did you see me? If you, you were facing the other direction. Oh God! All right. Now I know what you're thinking. Uh, uh use the suitcase Welcome bomb. Well, you can't do that because I'm standing here as a stylist. So. Confirm that huh. the target is scheduled for several cycles on the catwalk, so the okay. dressing room is a likely area to acquire him. I'm gonna wait for him to come over here again, and hopefully this time the. Uh, hopefully this time the. Uh, the NPC cycles uh, favor me this time around. Just nobody look at me in this direction, please. I suppose I could save. I mean, I could, I could do that more often. Okay. Probably saves me a bit of time if I do that. All right, now, come on. Tick her off the list. Get her the fuck out of here. How many of you people are there? Hmm, I wonder if... No, nope, that doesn't work. God damn it. All right, hmm, must find a better way of doing this. Um, all right, do, 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 do. Oh, shit. No, all right. Thank you for showing me Peacock. It saves a lot of time. It certainly does. Not to mention you can uh, do things with it you simply can't do uh, with the um, w with the uh, vanilla game. It just, it just doesn't work. Oh, you can't replay elusive targets or anything. There we go. Uh, did I get the stylus in the... Oh, I did. That's all right. Hopefully he goes somewhere good. Okay. There we go. At least we got the right guy this time. Oh, dear. No catwalk for you, son. Not if you don't want to cover it full... Cover it in, in vomit. Nope. Not exactly fashion forward, is it? All right. 
Come on there, matey. Come on. Come on. I'll, I'm, I'm your stylist. I'll escort you. Everything's fine. Uh, where's my poison? There it is. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll, I'll look after him. He'll be okay. There we go. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh yeah, the thumb drive. And the memory stick. There we go. Well done, 47. The money has been wired to your account. Fantastic. And now all we have to do is leave. Well, that was relatively easy, I guess. No, it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, and with that, we can just uh, head off. We can just head off. Now, who is after this? I forgot who's next. I think we go back to... Uh, I think we go back to Bangkok after this. Oh, no, that's the one we have to open the safe and get the... Retrieve the documents. And uh, Yeah, that could be a problem. That could be a problem, but... Uh, all right. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hey, I, it might go just fine. Well, that's how you be a stylist properly. There we go. <laughs> right. Um, there we go. Punch him in the aubergine. There we go. So that's you fucked. Um, there we go. Only took two minutes that time. You know, just as long as you chuck the thing uh, with no one looking at you, yeah, you can basically have them go walk off to their own demise within moments. Okay, so that leaves us with a handful left. Not too many more to go. Here we go, elusive targets. Okay, uh, we got a few more left to go. Oh god, the fugitive. That's that's the dullest one of all. Basically, that one just uh, amounts to uh, poison a drink, uh, then uh, reset. Poison a drink, reset. Oh, but this time around, I wonder if they'll let me highlight the actual target. They might not, though. Because there's multiple targets in that one. But we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. Yeah, it's the Warlord next. Good lord. Okay. Good lord indeed. Good Warlord. Uh, yep. More file retrieval. But we also have to kill uh, a D's Oijafor. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is a D's Oijafor. Also known under her war name of Na Obara. She operates groups of militants and bandits across West Africa and controls a sizable chunk of the rare earth trade out of that region. Oh, damn. Now, she has turned her attention to securing her legacy through an alliance with West African strongman Richard Aquensi. Didn't we murder him not she too long ago? She's <laughs> staying at the Himapan Hotel with her son, where she has taken over an entire floor. Hmm. The client requests that you retrieve maps and files detailing the target's network in West Africa. Hmm. You will need to locate these on the ground. The clock is ticking, 47. Another USB drive. Oh, another USB drive. Although, yeah, just <laughs> working alongside the guy who we already murdered before. He and his wife. I don't know. Bit strange. All right, well, let's see how we're going to do this. Uh, we've got various tools at our disposal. We also have to break into a thing. I wonder if... Yeah, I'm going to put in a breach charge just in case... Because you never know. Yeah, we might be able to get away with this. Alright. That being said, maybe I'll need to get a guard's disguise, just in case. It depends It depends where she ends up. Um, shouldn't be too much of a problem. I know Welcome to get the to thumb Bank drive. Um, the target has been in residence at the hotel for almost a month, and security is tight, with several hmm. other high-profile guests also at the hotel. Good hunting. Well, I'll certainly try. Where is she at? Okay, she's in in that suite there. So, um, I think a guard's disguise might be a good idea after all. Uh, yeah, we should probably do that. So, all right, first things first, get our our remote gas device out, and then that's all good. Fuck your cameras. There we go. Oh no, you're here now. All right. Oh, no, she's off. All right, good. Right. Grab this. I will grab this. Not really necessary because I've got a briefcase, but hey, more bonking items are always nice. Here we go. Oh, no. What happened? Uh, a noise. <laughs> right. Yes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here we go. Seriously. This isn't fun. But. Oh, for a minute I thought he was going to turn to the side and see me. Uh, unfortunately, that is possible. Okay, they can just—if they can just barely see you in the in your side vision, then uh, in their side vision, then uh, you're kind of fucked. Right, grab some stuff. There we go. 
And most importantly, of course, grab ourselves an all-access keycard here. So the master keycard will help us get around a bit better, I think. Um, let's see where you are. Okay. Uh, oh, I have to go to the bathroom to get some things as well, don't I? Um, uh, yeah, I think this will be all right. I think this will be all right. You're still upstairs. Okay. Most I've done with game improvements is putting on the Guilty Gear 2 HD patch. What was the last thing I did? Uh, probably, uh... Oh, target lockdown. Why? Why, why is there a target lockdown? Nobody did anything. What's going on? Alright, whatever. Why is the target going to lockdown? I didn't do anything. Weird. Maybe this is a drill? <laughs> is this a drill? Alright, well... You can go to lockdown if you want, as long as you don't leave the hotel. I, I don't give a shit. Um, do they show you where the... No, they don't show you where it is, but I think I remember where the uh, where the thumb drive is. It's in this building over here. And yeah, I think it's in the security room, so... Hmm. Okay, let me think how the best way to approach this is. Uh, don't mind being caught on camera. Uh, I didn't anyway. That's good. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a bit more security here now. Um. Oh, God. Oh, we have more guards here. All right. I guess I'll save. Um. Ugh. Hmm. Maybe I should try to get people over here. Okay. I mean, there's also uh, fire alarms as well. So, maybe... Yeah, don't know how I'm going to do this. Bakuru, yeah. stop. You're making me nervous. I, I don't care. Okay, can I get away with doing this? Okay. Camera's out. Um, not that that really helped me too much, but at least I can get around a bit better. Might get more mileage out of Guilty Gear 2 than the other Guilty Gear games, because it isn't a fighting game. Oh. Yeah. Fuck your mirror. There we go. <laughs> Fuck your mirror. Fuck your mirror. Um, oh, do I still weigh... Hang on, where's... Do they have the scales here? No, no scale. Oh, there it is. Do I still weigh... Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't stand on it. But I can get some lethal poison pills? Okay. Someone left this in here. Why not? Now then. Can I get your attention over here, please? I compare it more to Brutal Legend. Oh. Okay. This might be tricky. There we go. This might be a little bit difficult. Ah, oh, yeah. Not sure how I'm going to do this. Um, I guess I could just start storing them into the, storing them in the in that room. I mean, sure, we can put some bodies here. Uh, yeah, this is going to be rough. There's like two guards here, two guards here, and then a whole bunch of other guys. No, no, get back over here. Ugh. Come on. Oh, thank God. It's the right guy going over here. <laughs> okay. That being said, not sure if this helps me much. Oh, these two are here. That's brilliant. Okay. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Start walking away. There we go. Uh. Anyone there? There we go. If, oh, God. If these guys are going to keep coming out, that's going to be an issue. All right. Okay. Well, that's a start. <laughs> There's one down. Get in there. Oh, geez, this is going to take all day. There's got to be a better way to do this. I wonder if... Uh, There's got to be a better way of doing this. Uh, that might be difficult with the music. Uh, yeah, might be. That's a, that's a concern. Hmm. Yeah, not sure how we're gonna do this. Um. Okay, these these guys have got to fucking go. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I can open up these doors, so that's fine. So if I just go, whoop. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Oh, get over here. Huh? Oh, she saw me do it. So you don't want that. There, fucking get over here. 
Right, this is going to take a bit of a while. Actually, come to think of it, replan mission. Do I need all of the stuff I currently have? Lockpick, probably. Breaching charge, probably. Actually, you know what? I think the, the lockpick kind of negates it in some way. So, okay. I got a plan. Giant gas grenade. So, one for... One for the target. Breaching charge. Okay, we'll try that instead. This one's a bit more complicated. I did save, Welcome so maybe we can always come back. We can always redo what we do here. Months, probably no monster to replace the music because the fans will probably consider it heresy to remove the music. I mean, you can just mute the music, surely. Alright, fuck you. Okay. Oh no, someone's searching for me. I don't know why. Oh, fuck's sake. I hate this. Hang on. There we go. Holster that. Pick that up. Put it back in again. There we go. Right. Uh... Yeah, it's not going to be too much of a problem, I don't think. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh. Yeah, don't throw anything. Why, why not? Pfft. There. There we go. There we go. Yeah, all right, it's clear. I understand. But you don't need a mod to, to get rid of the music, though. That's that's the only I'm real sorry. issue I was concerned about. It's like, you know, uh, there might not be a mod, but um, you don't really need one, so that's all good. Now, get in the locker so I can figure out what I'm doing. I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll just have to decide. Hmm. So, gun. Oh, no, I don't need this. Um. Right. Well, I, I definitely need that key card. Um, but yeah, I don't think I need to use a lockpick if I'm just going to use a breach charge anyway. I guess I could pull the fire alarm. That's the only thing I can really think of that might work, but I do have also the... Uh, the, uh, the, the gas grenade as well, so... Hmm. Let's go to the bathroom first and get that breaching charge, because I know I'm going to forget. And because I don't have a lockpick, I definitely need it to open up the safe. Um, alright. I don't even know if it's even a good idea to bring the breaching charge anyway. Here we go, but I'll grab that. Um, uh, let me think. Okay, well, at least she's not... Freaking out this time. Hmm. Yeah, it used to be with the with this uh, elusive target, you would uh, it would be relatively easy because you'd use the ICA electrocution phone. You would give it to her, and then she would hold on to it, and then you you'd make sure you get the files first, then get out of there, then electrocute the fuck out of her, and then you'd be fine. Um. Yeah, I'll get the files first. I think this shouldn't be too difficult. Rock of Ages in the mine through the fire. The Keep your eyes open around our subject. Painkiller for the final boss. Oh. Okay, let's just avoid the cameras for now. Let's just avoid them. Um. Right. Don't know if we had any auto saves yet. Right. Close that fucking door. And then do 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 do. Oh. There. Cameras out. Now. Um. Yeah, this is going to be a bit weird, but I think I can manage it. There we go. I just need to get the gas grenade over here. Uh, let's just save it just in case. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Let's do. Let's do that. Just in case. Um. Here we go. Uh. Just want to get rid of these two guys. Well. Oh, that didn't work. All right. I saw someone's arm over the top of the fucking desk. Just drop a drop a ducky by her. Uh, that's not sound assassiny enough, unfortunately. I have to pick another option here, and it's uh, I don't have many. Um, okay, I should be able to just hang on. Oh, oh. hey, does that work? Uh. Not sure. Out. I got one of them. Weird. Uh, this is not huh? There we go. Well, I got one of them at least. Should I try the alarm no. trick, do you think? Well, I could pull an alarm here. Probably not a good idea. Is there another alarm around here somewhere? Uh, damn, why are all the fire alarms in the, in the security room? 
I want to pull an alarm now. Uh, uh, where are they? Nope. Nope. Okay. Access to fire axes. Hmm. Oh. oh, there we go. I guess you don't want advice from me then I don't give a fuck about Silent Assassin. Oh dear, you remember when I left Coral, Coral, uh, Colorado? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely not the, the easiest one to get Silent Assassin in. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, this guy's sort of facing away from everything, so I'm just gonna place my breach charge on it and hope for the best. There we go. Place that there, and then boop. Hey. What happened there? What the fuck's going on? Oh, I got the memory stick. Okay, good. It's not illegal to just pick it up. All right. So there's that. That was easy enough. Now to eliminate the target herself. So that's gonna be easy. Bomb the fucker. Oh hi, you were there the whole time, were you? Brilliant. Just fucking brilliant. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Where's the autosave? Uh, it's not too far away, so... Alright, no, that's that's alright. <laughs> Fuck you, Mrs. Mookjai. Fuck you! Alright, uh... You, uh, 40, 44. Okay, um... Yeah, sure. We're doing so well. We're doing so well. Okay, get thumb drive, do things. Okay. Yeah, okay, so this this part is easy enough, as long as one of them goes away. That's exactly what you did, that's exactly it. <laughs> oh, precisely it. Uh, Wee! Uh. There you go, can't you both be sick? Where? Okay. What is that? That's not right. How strange. How strange. Oh, I picked up a baton. <laughs> cool, but I don't really need it. Okay, everything's fine. Uh, where's the... ...breach charge? There it is. I'm gonna need that. As long as it gets rid of that one guy, I mean, I can- I can grab the thumb drive, it works. Nope. 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 Okay. There you go. Come on, fuck off. Appreciate it if you play hide and seek elsewhere. <laughs> play hide and seek elsewhere. All right, I will. Place that. Huh, that's new. What? What? Oh, he's not suspicious of that at all for some reason. Just, there we go. Fucking finally. Okay. Oh, mind that guy, and of course, mind the hotel manager as well. Good God! In fact, I'm going to take the uh, the slightly more irritating. Exit. Yeah, fuck's sake, she's just gonna be here all day now. And that guy's an enforcer. Uh, brilliant. Oh my god. Right. Yeah, I can still destroy cameras even though I took out the, uh, took out the hard drives anyway. Okay, that works. You know, we're doing good. Let's save. Jesus Christ. Well, at least I got the thumb drive. That's a start. And if we were playing, uh, elusive target mode for real, uh, I wouldn't be able to restart anymore, because that's one objective already done. So, um, let's head upstairs and murder the fuck out of someone. Um, did I take my... Yes, I did. Alright. Your medics are ready to go. Just have to head upstairs. I hope this disguise will get me up there. Hope this will work. Oh my god. It's the courier. The diamond courier again. He just shows up everywhere. Okay, one more flight of stairs. Oh, she's in the queen suite. Okay. Can I come in here? Security, huh? Can I come in? If I see anything, rest hey, you can't be here. Look. Well, you didn't seem to have a problem with me approaching you. What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna need a plan B. Oh, hang on. The guy, hopefully he's still vomiting in the toilet, right? He might still be throwing up. Oh, it's been a while, though. It's been a while. Uh, he's probably done, but... Just in case he's not. Uh, oh no, he went to that bathroom. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to be able to get his disguise without his body being spotted. So, okay. Um, plan Z. We're up to Plan Z now. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to think of another way of doing it. Um. Mm. Well, let me think about this. Um, um. I guess I could sneak in through the kitchen. Hopefully, no one's up there. Um. Do you think maybe another disguise is in order? Because if I'm like a hotel staff member, maybe I can do it that way. Hmm. Maybe, yeah, maybe that disguise would be better. Well, we'll see. Uh, let's see where this door uh, leads us. Hello! Uh, uh, there we go. Keycard reader, ahoy! There we go. Oh. Ooh, hostile area. That's what I like to hear. Oh shit, there's people all over the fucking place. Right. Um, do I have anything that I could use here? Um, okay. Can you even hide the bodies here? No, you can't really. Oh, uh, shit. Okay, this is gonna be... Whew, this is gonna be pretty bad. Um... Uh, yeah, no fucking clue what I'm gonna do now. Um, maybe she'll eventually leave this place. Unlikely. Is there another way up here? Like, can I climb, like, an outside window or something through a balcony? Um, well, okay. If chefs are allowed up here... Oh, hello. Where are you going, I wonder? Maybe Hello I can... There. Maybe I can borrow your outfit real quick. There's a couple of you guys here. Where are they going? Okay. Got some camo boys. I wonder if I can borrow their outfits. I Damn. might be able to. Oh, sorry. But... Yeah. Damn. No, this is not looking good at all. Uh, all right. Chef's disguise, probably okay. Off to the kitchen we go. Um, yeah, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure it out, and I, I won't regret this at all. Okay. Um, I'm surprised no one said like, uh, "Why is this guy just carrying a briefcase everywhere he goes?" It's a bit odd. It's a bit strange. Okay, well, let's get a cook's disguise. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Right here. Hmm, this one's getting a bit lengthy. I remember this one being a bit of a pain on the arse, yes. Yeah. Oh. There we go. It's alright, it's a victimless crime. Now get in there. <laughs> get in your locker. There we go. Now I'm a chef who carries a briefcase everywhere. Alright. Where's the head chef guy? He's not even here. Uh. Okay, where does this go, guy go? Oh, nowhere good. Nowhere good. Maybe I should save, just in case. Here we go. We've made some progress, so let's uh, stick with this. Alright, um... In fact, I think I can get to where I need to go. Yeah, from here. That's That should be fine. Right, um... Hmm. Uh, tricky, but not impossible, I think. Difficult, but not impossible. We just have to... Get up there, and hope that this disguise gets us where we need to go. Do you have to frisk Hello, me, man. boys? Yeah, we, we don't want any trouble. Please, sir, just leave. We can be <laughs> civil about this. Uh, no, we can't. Hey, what do you know? This definitely gets me into places. Oh, ooh, uh, maybe not. Ah, oh, but hotel staff can be here? God damn it. Well, isn't that just great? Okay, load. I'll load that one up just to save time. All right. Oh, hotel stuff probably better. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. It's always something. Um, all right, hotel stuff. Where would I find one of those conveniently? Um, oh, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? No, no, no. Are you serious? God damn it. He was just walking right in front of me. <laughs> It's like you want me to eat shit here. Um, alright, uh, where can I find a convenient hotel staff member? Um, I mean, there are a few. There are a few we can take advantage of. There's, oh, Jesus, not you. Uh, God, what the hell am I supposed to do? Hmm, I just gotta think where I can find one. Oh really? my God. Oh my god. I can't believe you're an enforcer to my chef's disguise. 
Now, can I go up another flight of stairs? Uh, yeah, I think I can. Yep, this seems fine. Uh, although there's no staff members up here, so that doesn't help at all. Oh, this is taking longer than I'd like, and I've only got an hour left to stream. Uh, I could go over by now. Who gives a shit? Um, all right. Boop, 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 boop. No one in that room. Uh, this is going to be a bother. All right. Uh, is there someone I can... S okay. Well, if I knock everyone out in here, then uh, we could do something. All right. First things first. Fuck you. Right, and start hiding bodies by the by the bed here. <laughs> there we go, that's how we're going to do things. Hopefully this works. Uh, save. I have to knock out everyone. And maybe there's a better way of getting the outfit, but I, I don't know. Huh. There we go. That's right, go get the suitcase. Uh -huh. did I hear something? You certainly did. In you get. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Ooh, ow, that looked like it really hurt. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We've got a merry little orgy in the making here. Just get in the corner. Good shit. Alright, next we have another one. Oh, God. Hang on. Get over here. Someone get over here. <laughs> chop, chop. Oh, cut. seriously? Oh, God, it's probably because I was in the mirror. Oh, well, good thing I saved, because, uh, dear God, that's a pretty far away autosave. Oh, my God, I'm so glad I saved. Okay, here we go again. Um, and then, whoop. What the? Did she go outside? Oh, my God. Okay, no, 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 no. This is re goddamn ridiculous. Fuck you. And there we go. Finally got the outfit, but uh, that doesn't really help me much. Okay. Oh no, she's an enforcer. Um. Okay. Plan B. Smash her in the face. Smash her in the face. There we go. Right, all we have to do is close all of these doors. No one else will come in. There we go. Thank God for that. Or at least they better bleeding well not. Right, and with that, now we've got relatively good clothing, I think. Oh, God. If I lose my silent assassin rating because someone walks in that fucking door, I swear to God. All right. But we should be in the clear now. Now we can actually go places. Okay. This room service guy should be just enough. Can I go? Don't let me get in your way. You look like a butler. I, you know what? I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I'll go in through the side entry. Thank you. Okay. Can I go in here? Am I allowed in? Yep, I'm allowed in. Right. Don't know about the inner sanctum. Oh, okay. Up here, maybe. Not okay, maybe. Okay. Oh, God. Well, you're an enforcer to my outfit anyway. I don't know why you would be. I'm just staff. You're, 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 a, I don't know, a security guard, soldier, I don't know what the fuck you are. Oh, this is going to be rough. Okay. And you know what, fuck it, let's save. Hopefully they don't find all my bodies. Okay, can I go up here? Am I allowed up here? I am allowed up here. Probably not in here, though. Uh, do you have any robes in extra large? I'm not bragging, but whatever. Uh, no, no extra large. Oh, is this okay? Okay, I am allowed in here. Oh, she is an enforcer for some reason. Fuck you. Now she's not anymore. Oh, <laughs> because she's sick, she's fine. Yeah. Thanks again for the mod. I'm going to bed. Okie doke, corpse finder one. You have a good one there, and you're very welcome. I mean, yeah, you're, you're going to get a lot of mileage out of, uh, out of, uh, out of the mod. It's pretty great. <laughs> It's very great. When they shut down these servers, because eventually they will, uh, Peacock will allow you to continue playing in online mode in perpetuity. What the fuck is going on? What the actual Christ is going on? Uh, oh, I am fed the fuck up with this shit. Do I have any poison or anything to work with? No, I really do not. Um... Okay. Uh, God's sake. There has got to be a better way of doing this. Um, 
I got the flash drive at least. Um, oh god, how am I meant to do this? She's she's going to vomit in here for some unknowable fucking reason. Um, pretty sure I can't drown her in here. Okay, she is for whatever reason an enforcer for my disguise. Alright, looks like we're doing this the long and boring way then, and that involves uh, just dragging people over here. What? There you go, yeah, get the fuck in here. We're just, we're just gonna start piling up bodies in here. It's gonna be tricky, but uh, uh, it's the only it's the only realistic way of doing this. Um, fuck you. There we go. Hopefully no one else comes in here. Because um, there is no way to store bodies in here. Now, if I wear this disguise, I wonder... Uh, Oh no, everyone's a fucking enforcer to me now. This is a much better disguise. Um, there we go. Get this gun out of the way. It can cause more trouble than it's worth. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to keep doing the same thing over and over again. The definition of insanity, but... Okay. If I might actually get results here, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, for Christ's sake, why? Oh, all right, I have to do this all over again. This is dumb. This is so fucking stupid, she doesn't go anywhere. Even poison wouldn't really be all that useful against her because she's followed by everyone. Okay, Jesus Christ, this is, this is going to go on forever. Uh... Okay, here we go. Huh. huh. Okay. One dickhead after another. Yep, go sort it out. Go on. And... Boop! Right. This is very, 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 very bad. Um, if I tuck him away. Propane? Uh, uh, not gonna work. I don't have a breaching charge anymore. I used it to open up the safe. <laughs> there we go. Definitely doable, though. Um, yeah. I mean, there, you can have multiple breach charges, so yeah. I mean, we're kind of committed to this route now, unfortunately. Um, yeah. I mean, there's no point in stopping now. We're pretty close. There we go. Just got to get rid of our entourage. Okay. Close. And... All right, it'll take a little bit of time, but we'll get there. There we go. Just as long as we're relatively tidy with our with our bodies here. There we go. I guess I could start sending them in sort of like this direction instead, so they have no chance of seeing the bodies. Uh, hopefully, that's how that works. Weird. All right, come on, fella. She's still got at least one guard in there as well. Relatively easy to knock him out, I think. Here we go. Oh, he didn't even open I the really door. Ah, no, oh, for fuck! Seriously! I, I didn't save once. Oh, I fucking hate this shit. Who designed this one? Who was the chuckle fuck who designed this one? Bloody hell! The fact that you can finish some of them in like one second, and the rest of the some of the, some of these are just really fucking bad. Didn't even open. He didn't even open the door. Really? Really? Yeah, really. Now get in the fucking room. Here we go. There. At least he opened the door this time. Now, fuck you. Might as well start throwing them because uh, throwing is a bit more effective for the most part. You don't risk the uh, the fucking game glitching out on the. Uh, on the, the whack mechanics there. Christ almighty, just get in the corner. Right, gun. It's on top of my briefcase. All right, cool. Jesus Christ. Well, at least we'll get the uh, Hitman 1 uh, so, um, elusive targets done. At least we'll do that. Now fucking save the game, you idiot. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good God in heaven. All right. And then I have to get rid of another additional two more dickheads. Great. There we go. Doors. Door is now What's closed. What are you 
What the fuck? I was right behind him. What is going on with this fucking wanky ass bullshit here with the AI? I was right behind him. Okay. There is no fucking way that that guy saw me. I'm going to stand in the corner this time. I'm going to be right here. There is no fucking way he's going to see me throw this at his head. There's no way. There we go. Oh. And close door. There. You can't fucking see me now. Right, let's get him in the corner. Again. There we go. Doesn't look particularly comfy over here. There we go. Just make sure they don't see see the bodies and we're good. I guess I could put a gun in the corner which would even further distract them. Maybe. Ugh, that wasn't near enough. Alright, hang on. Uh, come on. Oh, okay. Hang on. Uh, yeah, maybe the gun is a good idea to distract them. There we go. Just pop that in the corner. Oh my god. Alright. Hey, everybody, get in here. There, you fucker. Okay, and now we wait. There we go. Just get over here. See the gun. Please see the gun. Did you see the gun? Huh? Oh, you did. Alright, good. Do, 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 do. Hey, alright. I'm just going to leave the guns there now because they're actually kind of useful. Oh, God. This is the briefcase run. It really is. Fuck. Alright, there we go. You just stay there for now. Briefcase run. Are you, are you fucking serious? After all that. After all fucking that. This is absurd. Why is it? Why is there no replan? Okay, my my new plan is very simple and straightforward. Um, um, I'm gonna try the propane technique. We're gonna do that. Hang on. In order to do that, why is it? Why is there no replan? Unconscious witness. Welcome to Bangkok. For there we go. Fucking hell. All right, replan. Okay. Uh, fuck it. Can I start as... Yeah, let's not start like that. Let's... Yeah, here we go. Start undercover there. It's bullshit. Uh, so, let's see. Explosives. Breaching charge. Another breaching charge. Um, there we go. The other one. Right. Breaching charge. Breaching charge. Oh, and I, I'm going to need to smuggle in something. Um, I'm going to need to smuggle in... Something basement. I'll have to come up anyway. So, here we go. Poisons. It's getting really fucking stupid. Oh, it's in tools. That's right. There we go. So this will get rid of the guy. Breaching charge, breaching charge. And, yeah, alright. This should be alright. There we go. This should be okay. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Right. The target has been in residence at the hotel. Oh, that is a lot of... Uh, security is tight, with several other oh, yeah, that's a lot of... Um, also at the hotel. That's a lot of people noticing right. Senpai here. Right, I will get the key card from another room because this place is kind of full of assholes here. Okay, so reach guy. I'm gonna need to get the propane tank. I'm gonna need to do some other things. Okay, uh, propane tank. I guess I'll grab that, along with the uh, the gas. Uh, who's ready for gas? Here we go. I'm just gonna sort of drop it. It might still be a bit well, too difficult to do that. I still have a- I have a bad idea. I, I have a bad feeling about all of this. I don't think it's gonna work. It, maybe if I get a bunch of guns and then just make them all fuck off that way. If I just load up on a bunch of guns and just start storing them away. Uh, where the fuck is this thing? Oh, this is the worst one. Where, are you fucking serious? Where is it? There we go. Why the fuck is- I don't think I've ever used this- area before. Oh, it's in the bathroom. That's right. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Alright. This is the worst one. This is the worst one. Well, no. Okay, the fixer is still worse than this. I mean, the fact that you have a mandatory 15 minute romp through the bloody the bloody town of Mar through uh, Marrakesh. Through the town area. Not pleasant. 
Okay, I'm going to try blowing her up first, actually. I'm going to see if it's actually possible, because if it's not, then, you know, we won't bother. Okay. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Okay, we'll see if we can get away with this. I don't even know where she is right now. If I can keep her out of that room, that would be great. Because there's a lot of people around. Might kill more than her is the issue. Oh, hey. There she is. She is an enforcer. I can't believe this. Missing key card, of course. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I'm fed up with this. I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, I'm getting fucking sick of this one. Uh... Didn't get the fucking key card, of course. Oh, of course I didn't. Oh, of course I didn't get it. All right. Oh, uh, fuck off. Seriously, not having it today. Uh, all right. The thumb drive is actually significantly easier than the rest of the bullshit. So, right, key card. Key card is yep in the middle of the area here. Getting it's going to be easier said than done, though. Uh, I'll wait for it to head out again. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. This is the worst one. How the fuck are you supposed to do this? See, I mean, without the uh, ICA electrocution phone, you're not having a great time. Will you fucking get out? Oh my god. Oh, wow. Get out of my fucking way. There we go. Key card obtained. Now I have to wait for this bitch to come back in again. Alright, brilliant. Well, I can at least close this. There we go. Stay out of my fucking way. Okay. I swear to God. You don't look like you're from here. <laughs> okay, do, 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 done. All right, cool. Um, all right. I mean, I guess I'm here. I might as well do the thumb drive stuff, right? Okay, well, I'm caught on camera, so. No. No, why did, why is, it? Oh, oh, God, no. All right, we're going back to doing what we were doing before. I'm not doing this. We're not doing this shit. We just have to be really quick and just not get caught in this. It's fucking stupid! This is fucking ridiculous. Here we go. Come on. Get a, get a move on. Oh, look at that. A briefcase. Th that guy is going to come in here eventually, isn't he, though? That's brilliant. There aren't too many guards around, though, are there? Yeah. Unconscious witness. What? This is fucking atrocious. What is this fucking shit? Okay, uh, it's got to be something better than this. Okay, I need one breaching charge. A second one is optional. Gas grenade. This is, this is fucking bad. This one is grim. This one is really fucking grim. Welcome to Bangkok. All right. I need that key card, so, uh, yeah. Can I just, hang on. Oh, there you go. If you're quick enough, you can just grab the one over there. Okay, that works. Okay. If you're quick enough, you can just grab the one on the table at the very beginning anyway. Ah, oh, Christ almighty. I wonder if there's a supercut out there on the internet. The, uh, the, the truck ramming into her dad over and over again, because that'd be very amusing. Okay. Fucking Christ. I don't want to be stuck on this one all goddamn day. This one sucks ass. You know, there's a reason why... The, I, the, the, the ones that are really bad, you don't see them get repeated very often. In, because, you know, they, they like to, you know, you know, relaunch some of these. They like to just reset them every so often. It's like, hey, it's, it's year four. You can do this eluc elusive target again. There are some that just, uh, mysteriously don't come back. <laughs> oh yeah, I need a propane tank. Hang on. Uh, that's alright. It's not very far away. There are some that, uh, mysteriously don't come back. So, game. Right, there we go. There you have your clip. That is true. There are some elusive targets that, uh, simply... Simply don't show up as often as other ones. And with good fucking reason. Because this stuff is cancer. Sure Alright, right, okay, so, uh, this side of the building, good. I will, uh, no, I don't have to destroy, I don't necessarily have to destroy cameras. If I don't get caught, then that's fine. Right, I'm gonna kill the bitch first. 
once she's done. Uh, happy days, I guess. Can I just walk through here? I've got the key card, sure, but I just want to see if I can walk through here. Just love how you yeah, we're good. Thing. Okay, we can just walk through here. Oh, here she is. Okay, what the fuck are we gonna do? Where does she go? Okay, might as well just watch her route a bit. Okay, well, she sits down in a chair. Possible this will work. Let's go. Do 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 do. Breaching charge mark two. What the hell? Uh, target lockdown. Okay, that doesn't work. I fucking hate what they did to explosives in this game. They are they do fucking nothing. They do fucking nothing this time around. But maybe I can Stop still. Maybe I can still do this. Okay. I might be able to still do this if I can just... Okay. Something's off here. No, it's alright. No, it's nothing off here at all. We're all friends here. Yeah. Okay. Place that there. You're seriously getting up after like th fucking three seconds of sitting down. You really gotta do that. Oh, God, I hate you. Alright, good. I think you can have Chloe's dad get thingied every time by getting hit by different trucks in different worlds, I guess. Do you really have to get that close to it? No, you really don't. So you can just stand here. Is this a safe distance? You know what? It probably is. It probably is. Oh, just nudge her and then run away. Okay, you alright? Oh, shit. Um, can you fucking fire it off? What the hell is going on here? Why didn't it drop? Oh, Christ! Okay. We're going into this fucking territory where the game is just not fucking cooperating at this point. I dropped it. I dropped it. I dropped it properly. It didn't do shit. Uh, do you have any robes in extra large? There I'm we go. Fuck it. Here we go. And then just place it here. There we go. There we go. Wait for it to do a thing. And get out a breaching charge. And... No, it's alright. No, we're all friendly here. Fuck you! Wait, why is that... Oh, it knocked him out. But why, though? Why was he even there? I can't believe this shit. Alright, well, at least I know where she goes now, so hang on. Hang on, I know where she goes now. She will head over here. So, let's just place that there. Let's also... Hopefully this works. There we go. Hopefully this works. If I get in the way of her guards and then blow it to Kingdom Come... Okay. This might work. This might work. She sits down for like a second and then buggers off. Where are you going? This is this is insanity. This is absolute fucking insanity. This is this is not normal. None of this is normal. None of this is fucking normal. Hey, hello. How are you doing? I'm just gonna pop this down here. Oh, you're gonna go somewhere else then, are you? Fuck. Okay, maybe she's coming over here now. Maybe. Here we go. Let's pop you there. Pop you there. There we go. Where are you going? No, she's going upstairs. Okay, great. I'm allowed upstairs. No, she's not going upstairs. What the fuck are you doing? Just, no. Just stay fucking put. Just fucking okay. stay here, both of you. Just fucking remain here. Okay. It doesn't matter if I'm suspicious. It doesn't matter. Hey, look at you. You, uh, you know who I am. Here we go. Boop, drop item. Uh, kablammo. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing's working. <sighs> She's just going wherever she wants to go, and I don't know. This is absolutely fucking mental. Don't let me... Just... This is mental. This is absolutely mental. Maybe it's... Maybe I fucked with the AI by doing this. Maybe that was the idea. <laughs> marriage trouble. You gotta talk to her, man. I don't want to talk to anyone anymore. Okay. Get up. Go somewhere. Go here, preferably. I think she's going over here. 
Yep, looks like it. She fucking well better be. No, it's all right. All this is legal. That's right. Go over there. That's a great idea. And boom. Down. Fuck off. <sighs> fucking finally. There's that. Now just retrieve the files. That's the easy part. Fuck that bullshit. <sighs> Righto. Done. All right. Says that. Fucking load of horseshit. Oh, what's going on? Are you fucking kidding me? Piss off and die! Who are you people? There we go. Hooray! <laughs> Cat rave. We did it. All right. I feel no fucking sense of accomplishment. Fuck off. I need fresh fruit now. Uh, what? You're gonna get scurvy or what? Hey, that guy's wearing the same shirt as um, Haverfolk. I hate that guy. The fixer dude. Um. All right. The files. Uh, they don't even show them on the map. That's just. That's just cruel. Ah, get out of the fucking way! Unbelievable. All right. Ah. I'm gonna have to grab a guard's disguise anyway, so let's just go over here. There we go. Well, we have to get a guard's disguise anyway, so. Whoop. Oh, what was that noise? Well, you better find out, don't you? Fucking idiot, do your job. Okay. How about fuck off? There we go. Oh, uh, unconscious witness. Lol. All right, get on the fucking thing. I know there's a contract for hotel manager. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, there certainly would be. Oh, if there's if there's a contract, it exists. <laughs> if, there's a con if, if there's a contract for a person, it exists. Now, I got recorded by camera. That's okay. That's all right. That doesn't matter. The important thing is, we're going in here. There we go. Wait until they pass you by. Might as well. Okay. And can I... Let's find out. Can I just shoot this thing and do that? Okay. And then... Oh. I miss Carrie Busey. <laughs> can I just murder him again all day? Oh, no. What was that? You hear that? Hey, what's up? Did you split the ass of your pants or what? Okay. I know they're searching for me. Whatever shall I do? Um, there's no one in here, so I guess I could just hide out for a bit. Okay, but once that is done, I'll just do what I was doing before and everything will be okay. Alright, just hang out in the bathroom for a while. Any scales here, I wonder? Yeah, some, but if I've learnt anything, you can't actually reach- Oh, there we go, I weigh 47 kilos, which seems incredibly improbable, <laughs> given my height and build. Okay. There we go. Are they calming down a bit now? So I'm start chucking some some fart grenades here. Oh. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Have you heard that Amazon uh, now? Uh, if you if, if Amazon now, if you subscribe to it, uh, it, 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 you still have to watch ads now. That's fucking ridiculous. Like, what was the point? For an additional three dollars, I think it is, you actually remove ads. Oh, fuck off! Unbelievable. Just fucking eat dick already. It definitely isn't 47 pounds. No. No. 47 stone? Um, no, still a bit unlikely. Okay, fuck it. I know I have to... There you go. I still have to get rid of the cameras. Right. Get our second breach charge out. If right. you go up on my floor, I'll have you fired. <laughs> you can't fire me. I'm not in your employ, uh, technically. Okay, come on. Just just go away. Just fuck off. Oh my god. Just go. Today? Are you ever gonna fucking go? He's not going to be vomiting forever. Fucking fine. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe on? this shit. This is ridiculous. Right, but... Oh no, Are what was that? Sorry. Done. All right, get me the fuck out of here. I'm uh, still going to take the uh, the cameras out. Uh, let's do 
I'm going to take the cameras out. Okay. Why can't I aim here? This is ridiculous. Fuck's sake. This is ridiculous. fucking leaveable This is insane. This is absolutely in fucking insane. Which one is it? Which one fucking is it? Huh? What can I fucking do? What am I allowed to fucking do? There. Evidence deleted. Go eat a dick! Oh, I don't know and I don't give a shit. Just go back to your original position so I can fucking finish this fucking thing. <sighs> fucking hate this fucking thing. Yeah, no wonder you don't see this one very often. Who the fuck thought this was a good idea? There we go. Now just get the fuck out of here and eat a dick already. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Oh, hang on. Uh, we took care of the, the footage, so let's save. Eventually. There we go. Fuck's sake. Alright, cool. And... Go. There. There we go. Why not make the enforcer seat? No, because i got to get rid of this guy in the corner to, to uh, get into the safe. There we go. i got nothing else left, and yeah, it's not going to reach that far. Ooh, I finally got rid of both of those guys. Is this truly happening? Okay, for the first time ever, I got rid of both of those guys. Hey, it's usually just one of them. Okay, that works for me. Now, will you turn the fuck around? Or do I have to just chuck a coin or something somewhere? Oh, yeah, 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 you come in as well. The more the merrier. Go eat a dick. <sighs> fuck, I hate this one. This is so bad. You gonna fuck off? Yeah, you gonna fuck off? Good. All right, finally, just fucking put a thing on. Here we go. And kasplat. Thank you. And we're done. I'm not even going to bother getting my suit back. Um, well, it depends where it is. Like, did I... No, I started this level. Oh, yep, there she is. Fuck off. No, 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 no. Fucking typical. Um, right. Do, do, out the door. Round here. Could go underground, but, you know, this works just as well. Right. Fucking finally. That must have taken at least, like, half an hour to get done. There we go. <laughs> oh, well, there's your silent assassin for this mission. Suffice to say, I used the ICA electric phone to get through this last time. Fuck knows how you're supposed to do it without it. Done. Fuck you. Oh. Fuck you! Done. Alright. You want to see you again? Six minutes and 42. Yeah, yeah, sure. Six minutes, 42 seconds. I believe you. Fuck. Alright. We are nearly done with all these, so okay. We'll just keep on going at least for the for the oh for the uh first season's elusive targets. We can get all them done. Uh we still got a fair amount left to go, but that's alright. The surgeons are relatively okay. Relatively okay. So we got Pavel Friedel and Akane Akanakawa. Alright. Good evening, forty seven. Your targets are Dr. Pavel Friedel and Dr. Akane Akanawa, brilliant and unethical transplant surgeons. Ooh. Both were involved in performing an operation on a billionaire's son. However, the organ had been sourced illicitly in Central Africa, and the patient died of hemorrhagic fever shortly after. Oh yeah, that'll do it. We have located the targets at Gamma in Hokkaido, where they are key members of staff, and will enjoy a great deal of freedom of movement and protection within the facility itself. The client offers a substantial bonus if the targets are eliminated in a manner appropriate to the death of their patient. Ah. As you know, the Gamma facility has worked with infectious diseases, so you should be able to find something useful on site. Right and on. I know you appreciate poetic justice. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yeah, this one shouldn't be too bad. This is like the better of the... I think there are only two... Uh, 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 targets, uh, elusive targets in Hokkaido. So, uh, this shouldn't be too bad. Um, let's see, how am I gonna start this? Let's start undercover. Ooh, that's the theater, I guess. Um, uh, if I can access the things, then yeah, sure, then this is a good way to go. And I'll smuggle something in. Um, let's see, it'll have to be an agency pickup. There we go. So, let's get that there in a briefcase. 
So we'll, we'll basically have two poison syringes for free, so that's always good. Um, actually, oh yeah, I've, I'm getting the disposable scrambler anyway, so yeah, this'll be fine. Um, I guess I'll have to bring the lockpick, I don't see any reason why not. Um, yeah, this should be fine, I think. I could have started on the morgue then, really. Because if I'm going to use the... Yeah, uh, uh, I probably should just start on the morgue, but no, it's fine. All right. Afternoon, I have an update for The Gamma okay. facility has continued their research into the variant 2 Banner-Coleman hemorrhagic virus and may have several samples in storage. Oh, good. I've been unable to ascertain the location of the samples, so you will need to locate them yourself well, if I'm you sure wish to honor the special request. Good hunting, 47. So that is optional, but I mean, I'm obviously going to do it because it's going to be very efficient ways. It's going to be an efficient way of getting rid of them. Right, so, first things first. I don't think I have an ac... Uh, do I have... I do have access to this area. Well, that's handy. All right, so where are the viruses kept? Oh, here we go. Pick up the viruses. This yeah. looks promising, 47. All right. Those samples should be exactly what you need. Fantastic. I didn't really need anything anyway, so that's good. So these are our instant kill uh, syringes for both of our targets. Might as well get myself an all-access key card. Oh, holy shit. Thank you. All right, let's get to work. First things first, no camera recordings allowed. There we go. I can pick up a scalpel in this outfit too. I'm allowed to do that. Um, oh, did I... Uh, yes, I did. All right. I've, I've genuinely forgot there. All right. Um, I can't see the targets on my radar. Okay. See, not all of them actually show up. So, okay. Um, but I, I should be able to figure out where everyone is. Um, uh, it's not you. Oh, there's one of my targets. Okay, this works. Oh. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see if we can get rid of evil waifu for now, at least. Mint got more views with a Metal Gear patchy slot machine than the Asian Mario Kart tournament. Um, alright, let's see. Uh, here it is. Hemorrhagic virus syringes. Oh, hi. No, don't mind me. I'm just doing my thing. Oh, no! Oh, it stopped shooting at me. I had a feeling that would happen. Bullshit. I could get her into this room, though, can't I? I could just be like, hey, get in here. Oh, this guy just walks right over here. Why? What was that? Oh, is he just going to stay there all day? Okay. Oh, good. He's walking off. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's walking off. And... Great, yeah. Walk through doors. Oh, for fuck's sake. Everyone just likes to come in here. Okay. Oh, shit. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Fuck you. One down. <laughs> Target eliminated. All right, one down. The other one is actually in the in the restaurant area, so uh, that should be fine. Um, shouldn't even have to take out cameras or anything. So yeah, I might not even have to use this emetic gas, but uh, sure, why not? I might as well. There we go. Might make it a bit easier to get this guy. He is in the restaurant, and he can kind of be a bit of a pain in the ass to get to. So, he's usually around about here somewhere. Uh, could be wrong on that. Uh, oh, there he is. Okay. Hello, friend. There you go. Get off the phone and start vomiting. Maybe cyanide? Maybe the oysters I had earlier. <laughs> Don't worry, fella. Everything will be just fine. Here's the last of the syringes. It's got your name written all over it. Or at least I should have written your name over it in Sharpie. Alright. Dapper enough, fellow, but he's got to go. Really nice. Okay, yeah, he's going to go straight to the bathrooms, which is really handy. That definitely works for me. Hurry! Hurry, don't vomit on the floor, please. There we go. Oh, it's a magic Jap Japan toilet. Fuck you. There we go. Done. God, after the last mission, that one was a fucking miracle right there. Oh, God. After the bullshit we had to deal on the last mission, uh, it's great to finally see another one that ends nice and quick. <laughs> Alright, oh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's just get out of here. 
There we go, we can just take the cable car and get going. Hello. Oh boy. So it's unfortunate, but uh, still no freelancer. And, uh, oh, body found, uh, she dead. Still no freelancer, and hell, we didn't even finish all of the elusive targets. It did take two hours to get the, uh, the, uh, Surrey Over 6 done as well, which is a pity. I was hoping it would take no longer than an hour, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. Especially when the, with the, uh, the mercenary. Oh, the mercenary's the worst one, because of the fucky AI. Whoever thought it'd be a good idea to have AI just sort of spot you from a million miles away and start pursuing you and be an enforcer for every single disguise. Ah, oh, just great ideas. Great ideas. Your idea, men. Very good. All right. Well, that was over and done with. Uh, we still have another uh, elusive target in Japan. That one's significantly worse. Um, um, but it, it's not too bad at the, in the, at the end of the day. Um, do, do, do. it's not too bad. It's just really a crapshoot. You just like poison a drink, and if your target dies, you're done. If not, you restart and do it again. Um, or at least that's what you do when you're playing it legit. But because these are ones we can just restart anyway, maybe, yeah, maybe we can do it a different way. Oh well, back to Colorado again, unfortunately. But for the last time, we had the last elusive target in Colorado, the bookkeeper. All right. This one's got a ledger on him. All right. Good morning, 47. Your target is Perti Janefeld, bookkeeper to the global underworld and considered to be a criminal myth by law enforcement agencies the world over. In truth, the target has led an unassuming yet comfortable life, managing the finances of kleptocracies, terrorists, and tyrants for decades. And the candy. client, Loxley, has assembled information on the target's movements and conclusively linked him to the Shadow Client's operations in Colorado. This makes his elimination a priority. The client has also requested that you retrieve the target's ledger. Note that the target is extremely paranoid and will attempt to flee at the first sign of overt danger. Uh -oh. Plan accordingly. The clock is ticking, 47. Right. Good luck. Get rid of dickhead. Don't startle him too much, and uh, steal the ledger as well. All right, uh, should be fairly okay. Oh, we can actually start undercover as a hacker this time around. That's nice. Uh, chuck a thing. This should be fine. Steal ledger, make him. Yes, yeah. This this should work. This should work well enough. Just uh, don't startle him. All right. I'll start as a hacker because um, I think he's morning, probably going to be close to the house. Welcome to Colorado. Overpass shows that the target has arrived. His visit is intended to be an audit, so he is likely to be mobile. <sighs> it's always a, an audit, is isn't it? Fucking hell. To the river bridge and appears to be prepared for a quick departure. Okay. If the target is alerted to your presence, oh, there he is. He's showing up on my map. Attempt to escape. As always, proceed and engage at your discretion. Okay. Good hunting, 47. Well, he is showing up on my map. Can I go in here? Can I go in the barracks? Good, because I don't want to go anywhere near that fucking camera. Right. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look here. This could be okay. Just got to find a nice little spot to to chuck this at him. Okay, we've got one enforcer over here. I don't know even if it's for him. Uh, oh, my flask ain't glowing no more. Okay. Where's a nice place to throw my flask at this guy? Ooh, I could electrocute him in a puddle if I wanted to. That that might actually be an option. Yeah, you know, we haven't done an electricity kill in a while, have we? That's all right. Hang on. Hey! What was that? Okay. Oh, there we go, that worked. And it didn't affect anyone else, I don't think, so maybe that's good. Maybe bad, not sure. Should have brought some injected poison with me, but alright. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Nerds can't carry guns, that's not allowed. Right, where are you headed then? He's bringing his enforcer with him, that's a problem. Um, I really don't like the sound of that. No, I really don't like the sound of that. Okay. Where's he going? He's got his whole team with him as well. Uh, Alright. This is obviously not going to be as easy as we thought. Um, we're going to have to do another repeat of... Oh, hang on. Oh, he's going very close to the fire. Okay. 
Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Okay, we're gonna have to try something else. Gonna have to try something else. I think electrocution could work. I think it could work. Um, hmm, yeah, let's get a micro taser out. Okay, let's try that. Um, this could be the trick, I'm not sure. Good morning, 47. We'll give it a go. Welcome to Colorado. Overpass shows that the target has arrived. His visit is intended okay. to be in audit, so he is likely Which to be Which guy is going to come over here? His the enforcer? Is located adjacent to the river bridge yeah. and appears to be prepared for a quick departure. On, if the yeah, target fuck is it. Anyway, to your presence, I guess I don't need it. I can just exit through some other means. Always, proceed and engage at your discretion. Right. Good if I find a puddle, this could be good. There was a cut item from the game, actually, that allowed you to make your own puddle of water. I mean, I guess they got rid of that because it'd be OP as fuck, but they actually brought it back again for Freelancer, so you... So we will be seeing it, but it's just a... Just a matter of when, I guess. Alright, and let's try... Electrocuting him in a puddle. We'll try that out. Uh, do you think this one will do? Yeah, we'll just place it here. There we go, so we've got our little micro taser. No one will notice it because it's so small. And once we detonate that thing... Uh, buzz, sizzle, uh, ever, everyone fucking dies. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's going the way we want him to. Uh, oh, this might be a bit worrisome. He's very close, that guy. He's very close. I wonder if I can get away with this. Here we go. Okay, oh, don't kill yourself. <laughs> Nice. Oh, yeah, take the ledger with you. Okay, well, I'll let them deal with the body first. Um, I know how best to waste the time. They've got to they've got to pick up the body and get rid of it first, and then they'll bugger off. I know what to do to waste the time first, though. I'm going to go and grab the quad bike keys. I'm going to do that. There we go. <laughs> have, we, have we had an electric electrocution kill today? I don't think we have. Have we? I don't remember. Oh well, we've had one now, so that's good. I'm just going to get these keys and bugger off. Um, let's see. Dr. Pop, hammer, where are the keys? Uh, quad bike keys. There we go. Alright, once they've done away with the body, thankfully the ledger is not a weapon, so they're not going to take that away. They'll just body bag it up and then bugger off someplace else. So what we have to do is make sure we grab the ledger and I, I think we're allowed to pick it up. Hopefully we are. Where, wait, where is the ledger? Ooh. Oh, maybe he didn't have it on his person. Steal the ledger. Okay, if, if it's anywhere, I'm guessing it's actually going to be in the house. So, yeah, I guess we're going in the house. All right. Um, let me think. Ledger in the house. Oh, yeah, no, I think I know where it might be. It's been a while, but I think I remember where it is. I think it's in that room that we jumped through the window in. <laughs> so, yeah, just going through here. Oh, no, it's on the second floor. That's right. It's on the second floor area, so... Oh, excuse okay. me. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, don't mind me. I'm just uh, stealing shit. Oh, God, hurry up. There we go. <laughs> right. I'm officially trespassing now, but... Not necessarily the end of the world. Our ledger is... Here it is. They put a safe in this room here. There we go. And there's the ledger. Time to get going. Oh, now that wasn't too bad. We've we've dealt with worse. All right, let's take the quad bike this time. Mario Kart style. Oh, nope, not out that way. Nope, don't we get caught on camera. No, no, there we go. Right. Now nah, stop shooting. Oh, I'm one of you. Not really, I lied. All right, let's go exit in a while. Okay. And this is Hitman 1, so running in puddles in this area does nothing. <laughs> it's like the puddles are made of glass. Okay. Although, weirdly enough, water does have movement if, um, if you've uh, created a puddle using, uh, using an overflowed sink. Oh my god, there's one over there. Hang on. There we go, there's a camera. I'm not allowed to use guns because I'm a nerd. So, gotta be very careful. Keep your eye out for any cameras, really. Uh, just wait until they're not suspicious anymore and then I'll be fine, right? Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, we're good. Okay. Hi, gents. Gotta get going. Alright. There we go. There is an Easter egg that uh, turns this quad bike. Oh my god, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we did it. There is an Easter egg that turns that quad bike into a into a, a child's toy. All terrain exit. That's like a rideable dinosaur Easter egg where you just ride a little like uh, child's ride on toy dinosaur thing. It's great. Although I've forgotten how to activate that Easter egg. It's been a long time. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I don't think we're, we're going to have too much trouble with the rest of them from here on out. So, okie dokie. Elusive target time. Where? Who is next? Um, okay, yeah, there's only four more left. I think we can do this in the allotted time. We have the paparazzo, the bad boy, the fugitive, and the entertainer. At least the entertainer will be fine. I know him very well. I know how to deal with him. It'll be fine. Um, Alright, uh, paparazzo. Don't remember that one, but it's in Paris, so it should be easy enough. There we go. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Kieran Hudson, a controversial tabloid journalist. The client is a former victim of the Target smear articles and wants the journalist eliminated in retaliation for a particularly destructive series. Say no rumors. more. Eliminate journalists. The ICA I can has do it. Discover that the Target is in Paris on the trail of fashion designer Sebastian Sato. Hmm. He will most certainly attempt to get close to Sato, either to interview or take photographs of him. With the world's attention on the show and extensive security in place, it will not be easy to locate and eliminate the target. It'll be fine. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. We'll be fine. It's okay. The way they've been uh, doling out some of the missions, though, the, the, some some of the suits were pretty hard to unlock. Like, it would take about a year to unlock uh, one particular suit. I can't remember which one it is because uh, they just wouldn't put out uh, elusive targets, so they wouldn't put them out again for uh, a particular a particular map, which is kind of a problem. Um, because you have to unlock, um, you have to complete a, uh, an elusive target on a specific map to get that map's uh, special outfit. So, uh, ew, yeah, there was, there was a time when that was going to be a, a, a very difficult to do if you, were, if you hadn't already unlocked them in the first game. All right, well... I don't remember this one at all, uh, so let's just go for the standard loadout of lockpick. Yeah, and suitcase with uh, fart bomb in it. That's that's how we do it. There we go, pop you in there, and we are good to go. Right. That'll be fine, I think. Especially since we'll be able to find him with our instinct mode. Thank God for that. Jesus Christ! If I if I was forced to try and remember where they all will they all go? I mean, without that instinct mode, oh God! What am I? So he will most likely be attempting to slip past security in some way. Hmm. If he is located within a sneaky area, bastard, guards will escort him out. Ah, oh. guards will escort him out if he's caught in an area he shouldn't be, huh? Which is not typical for uh, NPCs. If uh, typically, if an NPC goes into an area where they are not allowed to go, uh. Uh, they, no one cares. Welcome, sir. And Enjoy even if, uh, and even if they would normally uh, be, it's basically just blow your cover. Um, it won't, it won't matter because um, if they're in a trespassing area for, if the NPC is in a trespassing area themselves, then they actually, they actually can't report you as trespassing because I guess. I guess the rules dictate that if you're an NPC trespassing in an area, you can't uh, report on Agent 47. You can't snitch on him. Oh, maybe I should have brought some poison with me. Some lethal poison wouldn't have gone amiss. Ah, oh, fuck you. There we go. No more tabloid smear pieces for you, dipshit. Oh no, someone's coming in. Oh no, they're not. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Body found. Too late, I win. Yeah, well that makes a nice change. <laughs> nice and easy. There we go. Paparazzo is dead. Damn you, Paparazzo. Oh dear. Tempted to throw this into the fountain. Uh, why not? <laughs> no, it's my briefcase. I'm going to keep it. Oh. And <laughs> Fucking news story. Alright, there we go. I hate all journalists. Right, so there's that done. Uh, no more Paris uh, elusive targets now, unfortunately. We're done with them. 
There we go, I got that done in under two minutes. <laughs> right, okay, from here on out it's... Eh, it's not gonna be too bad, but it's gonna be... Annoying. Oh yeah, the uh, the bad boy is kind of a pain in the ass. Is he up next? So the bad boy. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be a pain in the ass. This one's boring as fuck because it's just restarting over and over again until it works. And then the entertainer will be fine. So yeah, the bad boy. Oh god. All right, let me think about this. Um. Oh wow, it's like they. Oh, yeah, it's almost like the last time I played this map. I was playing the bad boy. I, I recognize this loadout. <laughs> the, the Seeker, the ICA remote, also wearing Agent 17's signature suit for some reason. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, this is a very, very familiar loadout. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is media personality Bartholomew Argus. The charismatic musician turned film star is at the epicenter of a drugs and weapons investigation in the UK and the subject of an Interpol arrest order. The target oh. has gone underground, leaving his former oh, business partner, an infamous London gangster, Tommy the Hammer Stokes, to take the blame. We have learned that the target is lying low in Sapienza as a guest of Dino Bosco. And this represents an ideal window of opportunity to engage. The right. clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Oh, is he going to bring his dog as, like, reconnaissance or something? Secret the dog! <laughs> um, Secret the dog! I'm pretty happy with this loadout. This is probably okay. Yeah, this looks very familiar. I think this is the loadout I would have used for this anyway. So, alright, let's go. We're going to be using the Seeker to, uh, we're going to be using both shots of the Seeker to make, uh, the target and his friend vomit, um, and then electrocute the fuck out of him. It should be Good easy evening, enough. Intercepts have placed members of the target's entourage and Sapienza. Oh no, my tie is all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine, my orange tie is fucked up. Will, no doubt, provide cover for your infiltration, and, I'm sure, a number of opportunities to engage him. Good hunting, 47. Yep, we'll be okay. So, basically our target... First of all, he's, uh, he's on the film set, so you can't actually play this elusive... T uh, you couldn't play this elusive target unless you had access to the, uh, the bonus missions. Thank God they released it after it was available for everyone, otherwise I would have missed it. Okay, so, first things first. Um, target is in the ice cream shop. So, we're gonna have to do something about that. Um, we've got our Seeker with us. We have to be kind of careful that we don't get caught on security camera here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's our target. Can we... No. This isn't usually the way I go, is it? I probably made a mistake in some place. Um... Ugh. How do I usually come... Oh, here we go. Yeah, I, I went completely the wrong way. We want to go this way. There we go. There we go. All right, now we can save the game. And basically what we want to do now is just very carefully aim our Seeker Vomit Pistol. And... Oh, no you don't. Very, very carefully get the target and his friend. Uh, it's a bit tricky, but we can do it. So first things first. Oh, oh, oh. And then once he's gotten up... Oh, fuck, I was too late. Well, hopefully he'll sit down again soon. So he'll go to a porta potty and the target will hopefully go upstairs. God, no, the fucking cook's in the way. Shit, all right, plan B. Just try and get him from here. All right, fuck you. Yeah, everything about that was wrong. The fucking timing of that was just ruined. Thank you. Okay, we'll try that again. Don't have access to any proper firearms here, so let's be careful. There we go, and... You want to make sure you hit his friend first. And then you want to hit him. Fuck. Alright. Alright. I went, maybe I'll not hide hide against the wall, maybe? Uh, well, it's worth a shot. Literally, it's worth a shot. Let's try this again, so... But... Nope. And then... Did I get him? God fucking damn it, and I hate automatically closing doors. It's the dumbest shit. <sighs> so it's very precise, but if we can get this to work, then it'll work. Oh. Okay. No. Okay. 
Okay, and then, oh, quickly reload. And then... What the fuck? Alright, we're gonna wait until that fucking cook comes back and forth, so that way we, we've got time. Wait for him to sit down, and then shoot him again. Well, maybe we will have enough time if we just do it properly here. Just go, hello. Yeah, there we go. There's one hit. At least my tie's fixed now. Okay, come on. Hurry before the cook comes back. There we go. Just sit down. There we go, finally. Right, now, he is going to go to a different bathroom altogether. Hopefully, going upstairs. So, in order to deal with him now, I'm going to have to climb up. Uh, yep, he's heading upstairs. We don't have all the time in the world, so we better move relatively quickly. So what we want to do is turn the tap. Hopefully no one gets here in time. Okay, yep, he's almost here. We start ourselves a little leak. Place the electrocution down. There we go. The electrocution trap is down. Oh. There we go. Don't worry, that's not my explosion. There we go. And I should be able to just set it off now, actually. Um, and... Boop! Ah, oh, down he goes. <laughs> Alright. And there's that. Not terribly complicated. Works out quite well, actually. Alright, let's go home. <laughs> Agent 17 has done well today. Alright. For once, we're not dealing with Dino Bosco. I mean, if he was an added bonus uh, target, I'd absolutely take him. Oh, shit, that's right. The, I don't have the car keys. That's Dino's car. So it looks like we're taking the other exit. I completely forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, it's the it's the nighttime version of this level that allows you to go out via this exit here, which I kind of like. Shame you can't take this exit in regular Sapien, so that's a shame. That's all right. I do like the nighttime levels quite a bit. There's a mod, actually, that adds the nighttime levels to freelancer mode, which gives you a hell of a lot more variety in terms of, like, the different places that you go to in freelancer. Highly recommended. All right. Great, great. And out we go. There's that. Righty o. Um, what's the time? Three fifty-eight. Well, I'll just finish up all the elusive targets for season one, and then maybe call it an end, maybe. Because we don't want to go too long, I guess. There we go. I mean this. I don't know. I mean, the elusive targets for Season 2 and 3 are definitely a lot better than most of the ones from Season 1. Season 1, that's like, they, they, didn't, they were very experimental, some of them, and not great. But uh, for the most part, 2 and 3 were pretty good. Actually, some really good ones in 2 and 3. All right, let's keep on going. We're nearly done. Uh, oh, it's just The Fugitive next, isn't it? Yeah, and then The Entertainer. All right, The Fugitive. Uh, this one's a pain in the ass. Good morning, 47. Your target has arrived at the Gamma facility in Hokkaido for facial reconstruction surgery. Hmm. This gives us a window to engage, but the very nature of this surgery will make him difficult to identify. Hmm. The clients are cooperating to gather information to identify the target, and I will relay this to you as I receive it. Be ready to improvise, however. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. If you need to abort and reapproach, reconfirm your target before engaging. Or, you know, you can just do what everyone else does and just poison one drink. And if the non-target if uh, the the non-target dies, then you restart. If the target dies, then you're good to go, and everything's great. Take out Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> pretty much what we're doing, actually. Um, I will start undercover as a chef. But, um, how are we going to do this? Uh, actually, no, that that loadout's pretty good. I just need to get a knife, get the fugu fish, poison, and we're good. Yeah, so this isn't going to be too bad. The yeah, the only tough thing here is uh, we will it, it's randomly selected Welcome the uh, the target. So several facial reconstruction patients are on site. Uh. I suggest you locate them and await additional information as I receive it. You may also wish to examine hospital records to discover more. I mean, I guess you could do that. I mean, since we don't have to actually worry about 
like, failing the mission because we can just load and save and all that, which is something you normally can't do with elusive targets, maybe I will do this legit for once. Well, anyway, let's fugu it. There we go. <laughs> Improperly cut fugu fish. Alright, and that gives us some lovely fugu fish poison, which will do a really good job of killing the shit out of somebody. Um, can I go this way? I might be able to. Whoa, Kevin okay, there. Okay, can I? Oh, fuck's sake. Everyone's an enforcer. Okay, I guess we'll just wait for this guy to bugger off then. Get your fugu out. In fact, wouldn't it just be easier to go the other way around? Uh, it might be, but uh, here we go. We'll see if I can do it. Oh yeah, he's buggered off now. Uh, oh dear, which glass is it? Uh, I don't remember which glass it is. Well, that's why we can save. Um, is it this one? Let's try this one. I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, there's no cheating for this one. We can't see who it might be, but that's alright. Can I sit down? Uh, no, I'm not a patient. I can't sit down. I'm not allowed to sit. I am staff. Okay. Let's see. I guess I could look at some of the, the records and see. That being said, if it's not the target that drinks from that that glass, then... Ugh, it's going to be tricky. Hey, bud. It's going to be tricky tracking him down either way. Identify and eliminate Jiju. Okay. Well, there's one of our potential targets. I, I guess I could shoot him and just... Hang on, see. Hang on. No. Yeah, that's our target. <laughs> so we know that. We know that's our target. So maybe not poison that after all? Because now we can do it properly? Of course, once you kill your target in, an, uh, in a legit elusive target, you don't get to restart, so... I guess we're kind of cheating, but, you know, that's fine. Um, so we know it's Guy wearing... I think he was wearing, like, a, an eye covering? I, I can't remember. It's not that fellow, we know that. Um, where's the other guy? Uh, uh, where's the other fella? There's this guy, and then... Oh, here he is. So this is our target. Oh, the game just outright tells you now with that d jingly sound now, which I think they added in Season 2 or 3. So, yeah, uh, that makes finding him a lot easier. <laughs> just no skill required at all now. I do want to look at hospital records anyway, just to see, because I've never done it legit like that. No, no, fuck you. Jesus Christ. Almost spotted me. Right, well, I know where you are now. You're this dickhead over here, but I'll check hospital records anyway. Where did he come from? Where did that guy magically appear from? Wait. Ding ding? Oh. What? What? I mean, I heard the music. Where does he come from? Oh, here he is. Here we go. Oh. Can I get him over here, maybe? Uh, what was that? Hmm. Oh, come on. Get over here. Alright, fine. Oh, no, that's it. Come on. Come on. Alright. Hmm. Well, now I know where he is for real this time. <laughs> Mostly. Just give him a whack. Toss him over the bridge. That works. Oh, not the bridge. Uh, the building. Yeah, same thing. Just uh, just throw him off. That should be fine. That should work out just fine. Okay. That should be A-OK. -okay. I will throw him off the building and everything will be fine. Okay. Yeah, there he is. He's over here. Shit. Yeah. There he is. Hi, friend. Uh, there we go. I'll just covertly throw you off the building. Here we are. Don't mind me. Just doing God's work here. And... Oh. Whee! Target eliminated. <laughs> Target eliminated. Oh, no silent assassin, though. Why not? Why not? Did someone see me? But it was an accident. Uh, oh, because he saw it? But that's an accident. What? I don't know. Oh, I guess it's te technically not an accident. Okay, brilliant. Um, Because uh, I knocked him out first, of course. Um, Alright. Looks like I can... If I can drag his body... 
to the other side. Uh, God, all right. If I drag him off to the other side, I don't necessarily have to kill him. I could just knock him in the face. Okay. I guess choking him out would be would still be the best option, though. There we go. Haro, I am Chef. Angry Chef. Chef, murder you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Here we are. Just drag you over here. Hopefully no one sees you. Okay. And yeah, the important thing is checking this guy here. There we go. Eh. Okay. Yeah, he's going down here. All right. This should work. Whoa. Ah! There we go. Much better. <laughs> Ooh, he f he's fallen a lot. <laughs> it's that last landing. That's that's what did it. Alrighty. I don't know how hospital records are supposed to help you. Oh, God, it's the hospital director. Does he come out here? Oh, dear. I hope not. Hello. For fuck's sake. <laughs> what a dickhead. Alright, I'm going to have to run away pretty fast then, because I put a save right by this door. Not great. Okay. Well... Don't know about hospital records, but I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah. Oh wait, I've got the, the key hacker, don't I? Can I get away with this, do you think? There you go. Wait, there we go. Oh shit, here we go. Yeah, this is good. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Right. Fuck you. Alright, might be able to find out how I was supposed to know that. <laughs> Okay, might as well take his uh, clothes while I'm here, actually. Makes sense. Yeah. Alright. And... Oh, come on, he turned around? What a cunt. Alright, great. That's gonna waste my time, isn't it? Alright. No, fuck you, hospital director. No, you didn't see me. Okay. Get your hammer ready. I'm glad I picked up the hammer. It does make everything a lot easier. Okay. I am not supposed to be here. Hello. The <laughs> suspicious chef man with hammer. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's definitely hammer time today. Get in there. And... Yeah. Yeah, for God's sake, save the game. Oh, God. Just save as often as you possibly can. There we go. Yeah, I said I was going to save, scum. And... Burn. Here we go. At least I can get rid of the cameras as well while I'm here. I wonder how I was supposed to know it was that bandage guy. I usually just poison the drink and just restart every time. And then eventually it'll be the the, the right guy. Alright. Uh, let's take out Mr. Camera-san. There we go. And what's in here? What's in the magic locker here? It's a disposable scramble or why not? What have we got here? Salmon Kai Surgical System Manual. Oh, that's just what's in the game normally, anyway. Hmm. I don't know where you get the research notes from. Uh, hmm. well, this guy's an enforcer. Oh. Uh, okay, I've got, I got it, I got it, we've got this. What the? Oh, oh you're coming in here, are you? Alright, cool. Go! <laughs> um, actually, uh... A better outfit, I think. <laughs> Sorry, Yuki, one of your guards is out. Um, he'll be alright. Uh, can't store him in here, though. Uh, oh, that's the chef's disguise, thank you. <laughs> right, yeah, that's much more effective. Um, right. I think I have access to doctor-patient bullshit. Um... I can come through here. I'm special. Everything quiet on your front? Uh, well, it usually is. <laughs> Let's see. Ten past four. All right. All right here. I'm guessing... Oh, and I could also take the helicopter out as an exit. I haven't done that yet. Right. Uh, let's see. Patient records and things. Where would they be? Um, hmm. Not sure. Oh, well, better save at least. Uh, you'd probably find them uh, in the morgue area, I would say. I'm guessing. 
I'm guessing we'd just find them if we went down here. Okay. Oh wow, these morgue workers are here. Yeah, they know I'm not the real deal. Somehow. Okay, don't know how, but... Okay, see, even this guy doesn't give a shit. And he's wearing the same outfit as me. Right. Yeah. I do miss the English, uh... Uh, surgeon guy, because his, his dialogue's really good if you use the chip. Research assistance notes. Let's see, this will probably be something good. Uh, let's see. We've already eliminated him, so maybe we can't even get new information, even if we wanted to. Oh well. But I guess, yeah, that's one way of doing it. Only possible if you can replay, uh, oh god, if you can load, uh, saves from elusive targets, so it does make everything a bit, uh, Fair bit easier. Now, any enforcers here? No, then I can just take the helicopter and get out. Right o Fantastic. Now then, we have one more elusive target to go. But, uh... I might need to go to the bathroom first. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, straight shot. I got it on this map finally. Alright, great. <laughs> yeah, I should probably go to the bathroom. So, alright, we'll do that. Oh, there's a mastery. Operating theatre's restroom. I'm going to that restroom. <laughs> Typical, that's the unlock I get. That's fantastic. <laughs> that's hilarious. Couldn't have asked for anything better there. So, alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. It allows us to do the, the BRB. So, I'll be back in a tick, and when we come back, I'll do the last of these. So, uh, stick with us, everybody. We'll be back in a tick. How's the fucking weather? I'm gonna have to do that for the uh, for the next uh, Gib FM, which I haven't even begun to script yet. Do you want to see my work on Gib FM, San Andreas? Do you want to see my work on that? I'm gonna give you guys first look at Gib FM, San Andreas. You're gonna get first ever look at my work on it. And uh, stop. <laughs> do do screen capture. So this is this is what I got so far. This this into. Uh, yeah, that's just that area. Okay. There we go. There's Mr. Teleport. Drink that potion and teleport yourself to a brand new world of opportunities. Opportunities for murder, I hope. Okay, what the f- am I on the moon? I am on the moon now. He's, they don't tell you that, but every time he's, ma he's hiding the erection. He really gets into all the chats and everything. I don't know if there's any real trick to this, it's just, just keep breathing into her and I guess the, the higher the gauge is when you breathe into her, the less you have to do it. I guess that's the idea, I've never really looked into it to be honest. Because if you let it go all the way to the top, it just restarts. <laughs> Whew, oh shit, I can't let in any more air man. Oh here we go, ah oh, I've got a Eureka! Hang on, I'll just stick around here and... Yes. I know what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing it. Maybe he got the key. Oh, yep, he does. He's got that key. There we go. And now it begins. Um... Okay. Oh, yes, yes. You need to do things now. Hang on. Powers. Um... What, what is she doing again? Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Uh, powers. Uh, strange vision. Here we go. Oh, what have we got here? Strange vision! The mortals have entered the cellar. Oh, no, yes. Their yet. searching skills are sadly inadequate. Perhaps it would help if the book could be moved. Hmm. Move the book. Well, for the time being, at least. I have you on strange vision mode. And that should be enough to free them, I think. Come on now, we've dealt with most of the monsters. Even if they crimson head, I'm okay with that. Just, but I'd prefer it if you didn't. Prefer it if you didn't crimson head, though. Oh shit! Unexpected. There we go. We blew his head off, which means we can reclaim our dagger if we want. And I better actually do that relatively quickly. There we go. <laughs> shit. All right, I got my dagger back. I'm happy. I'm always happy when I got a free dagger. 
A very handsome voice streamer. Well, prepare to have that head cannon completely destroyed because I'm about to appear in face camo because, hey, guess what? I met my goal of of uh, 10,000 views and uh, 200 followers, I believe it was. Uh, it was absolutely smashed when I played uh, Surgeon Simulator. So here I am, unfortunately, for the light of Barry Gibb. I only he can save me now. So it's time to bring in the game and, by extension, of course, the uh, the face cam. So here we go. Hey, how do I look? Oh god! Ah, yeah, keys everywhere. Oh, I think I think I've just trolled everyone. Aren't I just adorable? Oh my god, I'm back again. Hello. Oh, it's me as a cat. <laughs> We need Olivia. Uh, oh lights on. Alright. Oh, Olivia loves that one. That's nice great. Nice lights. I'm gonna wake up you, Oh, husband. dear. So much Animal Crossing. Holy fuck. Alright, I'm back again. Oh, jeez. It continues. We're nearly done, though, aren't we? Um, alright. We're back, though. Let's go back to the final elusive target for Season 1. Thank God it's almost over. There we go. I'll go over by an hour. I don't give a shit. It's the Entertainer. Okay, the Entertainer's not too bad. Um, as long as I remember which... Which coffee do I have to spike? Do I have to spike a coffee? I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. Retrieve the Soiree Horrible guest list and also deal with the entertainer himself. Good evening, 47. Hello. Your target calls himself Mr. Giggles <laughs> and operates an underground circus called the Soiree Horrible. Attractions include animal fights, deadly blood sports, and other choreographed violence. We are uncertain why he is Violence. in Marrakesh, only that he is somewhere in the city centre. You will need to locate him on the ground and engage at your discretion. Oh. He should be silent. <laughs> the client requires it's extreme a to eliminate the target. Violence. You also acquire his client list. Given the target's personality, he is unlikely to manage such matters himself. Oh. So you will need to discover its location on site. Oh. The clock is ticking, 47. It's fucking tattoos. Those damn garish tattoos. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> there we go. Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, um, so this is gonna be a bit different, actually, how we do this one. Um, yeah, I really gotta think this one through. Um, I, I, I do this one quite a bit. Um, so the, the Soiree Horrib guest list. Oh, it looks like I've already got this set up ready to go as well. So we're not bringing a gun for once. Uh, I know, a bit weird, but we're, we're not bringing a gun. I'm gonna bring a scented poison, I'm gonna gr bring a lethal poison, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, these are the only two things we will need. Uh, the sedative poison is to get the, uh, the guest list, and the lethal poison is, of course, to kill our targets. And, uh, yeah, we're getting rid of the, uh, weapon because, uh, uh we're gonna have to ditch it anyway, because we have to go to a frisking zone, and, uh, we won't be able to use a lockpick either, so, uh, this is all we're going to need. Uh, it'll get us past frisk zones, and, uh, well, you know, lockpicks aren't gonna be of any use to us. Uh, but yeah, pretty standard affair, um, as far as targets go, but, uh, yeah, kind of handled differently than most. Alright, so this will be kind of different for what we usually do. The target arrived several hours ago for a meeting with a local French Marrakeshi businessman. I see. Somewhere in the city center. Hmm. We've been unable to discover the specific location, so I advise you to look for a higher than usual security presence. Okay. Good hunting. I can do that. Alright, so our first business is to get a an invite to the uh, Shisha Cafe. Which is relatively simple. All we have to do is just hop over this wall here. There we go. Grab this invitation, and then just slip out again. <laughs> just that simple. So what we want to do is get inside the Shisha Cafe. That's where one of our targets is. Well, not really a target, but she's got the uh, the Come ledger on. that we need. Let's see it. There we go. Yes, I've got the. Invitation. Come on, man. Yeah, I've got it. There you go. Invitation. <laughs> I'm on the guest list. Okay, go on, then. Fantastic. All right. So what we're going to do first is. Oh, hello. We're going to run in here. We might be a bit behind. There we go. Investigating distraction. Oh. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, no. I'm not suspicious. Just get to that radio. There we go. Just so he goes over there, turns it off. He doesn't have to turn it off. Actually, he can leave it going. No one else will be distracted by it. He is the only one that gives a shit. 
Right, let's go over here, pop his outfit on. Right, so first things first, we got this lady over here that drinks from this wine here, and then she'll bugger off, she'll come back again. We're gonna poison it with the sedative poison vial. There we go, and that way she'll be knocked out the next time she takes a drink, and then uh, we can come back here and grab the, uh, the guest list, so we'll let that happen on its own. Um, but until then... We're going to go after our target now, and that is... Let's see, I only pressed Gib Gum, but got both, lol. <laughs> Two for the price of one. Uh, I always get a little bit lost. Okay, here we go. So we're looking for this building here. And what we want to do is actually get Frisk here. We don't, we don't have anything that's illegal. We want to pass this Frisk. But here's the thing, that door is locked. And we can't, of course... We, we, of course, we can't, we can't lockpick it because everyone's looking at us, right? But there's another way we can get in. If we stand real close to the door, just hang out here, eventually someone will come along, the store owner, and open the door for us. Which is very, very handy. I'm not sure where she is right now. Oh, there she is. So what we have to do is just wait for her to approach the doors, and she'll just open them magically. Just magically open the door. There. <laughs> Oh, well, here she comes. Once she approaches the store, then we can just walk forward, and there you go, we're inside, and we're allowed to be in here as well. Okay, and saving. That's good. Is it an actual save? Let's have a look. If it's an actual save, then I won't bother doing a manual save, because that's this is a good spot. Yeah, this is a good spot for it. Okay, this is a good spot for it. So, uh, I'm just going to... Oh, there he is. There's Mr. Giggles. Oh, no. I'm going to get spotted. I think it's the one on the left. There we go. I'm going to put the lethal poison on the one on the left. And hopefully that's the correct one. And we might as well just chill here and see what trans transpires, because it's rather amusing. We have to wait for this guy's, uh, this guy's friend to show up. Oh, is this it? Here we go. Yeah, he's going to entertain his friend. Uh, yeah, looks like he's going to be drinking from the left one. All right. All right. Let's see what happens. Uh, so, uh, we've managed to track down what you're looking for, but... But there's a problem. There is always a problem, isn't there? You, you must understand, Mr... Mr. Giggles. Does my name amuse you, Mr... A bit. Giggles. A problem. Yes, getting the item you requested is hard. Hmm. Local families are unwilling to part with such things. What kind of item are we talking about here? I am disappointed in you. I have made promises to my guests. They will be most frustrated if they cannot savor the attraction. Oh, I understand. I understand. I, I do not wish to. You do not wish to what? Oh, and down goes wife. <laughs> she's, going, she's been knocked out. It was a sedative poison, though, so it uh, doesn't matter if the body is found. We still get a silent assassin rating on that. But most importantly, she was knocked out and dropped the uh, the guest list. So we can just walk in and just grab it now. She won't pick it back up again. What? What do you mean, Mr... Mr. Giggles? What I mean is that you have failed to acquire the item that my guests wish to see painfully killed. Oh, an animal. So now I must painfully kill you. Uh, I don't understand. I'm afraid I've not been entirely honest with you. I've already acquired the item in question. Mm. I merely wish to hear what you had to say for yourself. Well, he, he's drinking the oh safe one. God. Well, safe-ish. I did poison your coffee. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It is very painful. Hmm. Perhaps you are already feeling the effects? A tightness of the bowels before the violent bleeding begins? Oh, a no. numbness of the extremities? I am not, as they say in the colonies, kidding. You might consider purging yourself in a local toilet. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. <laughs> Let me through. No. Oh, you'll be alright. <laughs> I mean, I didn't kill him, so it doesn't count. It's not going to take away my silent assassin rating. I'm good. Huh? What, what? What's wrong with you? Oh, that's right. Yeah, he watches him run out the building as well. <laughs> He's a dickhead. Oh, dear. Oh, I'd love to push him. I would. 
Oh, what a dickhead. Alright, where's our pal? We have to wait for him to actually leave the building first, unfortunately. Here we go. Once he's made his way out, and thankfully doors don't lock from from the inside, although sometimes they do. We have to use the uh, the, uh, the key card reader for the uh, for the hacker's room. You may yet survive. <laughs> Quickly now, buddy. I don't know where he actually goes. I've never followed him before. There you go, Mr. Giggles. You drink up. Your coffee is fine, isn't it? Completely free of poisons. He's all good. Uh, oh! There are... Target oh! There we go, dickhead. There is a social event taking place in the VIP lounge in the center of the market. So there I is. You investigate. All right, I I shall. I wonder if our friend is throwing up somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I can't see him anywhere. I've lost track of him, unfortunately. Rightio, let's get inside and grab that uh, that list, and uh, then we're good. Quick save, push. <laughs> oh, d yeah, I should have done that. I should have saved and then pushed him off. All right, let's grab the... Oh, here we go. Here's the list. Tablet contains the Soiree Horrible uh, client list. Done. I'm going to get my suit on. The clown has expired and the money has been Exit stage left. The clown has expired. Alrighty, let's leave in style. We could go to the to the uh, the gate here on the on the uh, on the right, but if we go over here behind this 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 worker guy here, he's got a delivery truck key. Hello, Mister Delivery Man. I hate to break it to you, but I'm gonna steal your truck <laughs> because I can. Why not leave in style? I say. Okay. Whoa, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Let's get out of here. Here's Mister Truck. And that's it. That we did a thing. Maybe I'll do some uh, ones from the second season as well. Don't think I'll do all of them, but we'll see. And there's so few of them from the third season. I mean, I don't know. We could get this done pretty quickly. So there we go. Mr. Giggles is dead. <laughs> Mr. Giggles is dead. Only took 8 minutes and 21 seconds. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty easy enough for the most part. Oh, can I level up as well? Why not? Level 160. All right, there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Well, that's season one's elusive targets. And boy, howdy, are there some real fucking terrible ones. Hang on a sec. Where's uh, options? Wait, where is it? No, it's uh, featured. Featured load game. That's, that's the this most unholy menu of all time. Okay. I'll just load this up again. I'll push him off the push him off the building. Why not? All right, Mr. Gigglies, let's go. Um, just go to the edge of the building and I'll fuck you up. Yeah, yeah there we go. Oh, I don't have a gun, but I sh hopefully I'll be able to fight back here. Oh. No. Key up. What? Oh. Oh, hello. I didn't know you were shooting at me, too. Hey. No. Hey. Get. Bah. Bah. All right. That works. I'll just borrow your outfit. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> there we go. Should be able to get around pretty well here. Oh, my God. What happened here? It wasn't me. Some terrible things happened. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's kind of telling that even your alt on Peacock is over level 100. I <laughs> know. Yeah, well, I mean, once, uh, once I found Peacock, I was like, well, of course I'm going to replay all of the elusive targets and do other mod stuff. Why the fuck not? Still, my main account is, like, three games worth, and it's level 1,400 Oh, hi. No, it's all right. You're not a bodyguard, I can tell. You're too clean-shaven. There we go. There we go, have fun finding him. Uh, I'm a different guy. <laughs> Damn, we lost track of the bastard. You there, Mr. Bald Man in a jacket. <laughs> Alrighty, let's just get going. Here we go, but not before maybe shooting some bananas. Do that on the other side, here we go. It's alright. So long, suckers. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just casually stroll out. 
Oh boy. It's not that difficult to get uh, over a level 100, actually. Um, you get a lot of experience points from uh, completing challenges. Most of the challenges I've unlocked are just uh, mostly just playing uh, elusive targets, actually, so. Oh my god, someone could hurt themselves. <laughs> oh yeah, because I pushed them off the building. There we go. Hey, see, look at that. You just get one challenge and it just gives you a bunch of experience. Uh, I need to ask if you're going to get Dragon Dog Dragonstone, which not now, obviously. Uh, no, I'm going to I'm gonna wait for it to go on sale and I can buy all the DLC. <laughs> this special edition with no, uh, no upfront costs for changing your fucking character's appearance. <laughs> And when it's polished, of course, that would be really handy. All right, well, uh, what is time? 4.30, yeah, yeah, half an hour. Let's do some more. Why not? Let's do some more. Um, so, yeah, that's all of the Hitman 1 uh, targets done. All elusive targets dead. That's great. Hitman 2 has significantly less, and Hitman 3 has even less still. So, you know what? We'll see how far we get. Uh, first, we have the Deceivers, which is actually the Congressman and the Guru in one package, which is kind of interesting. Um, I mean, it's really just a combination of the two. It's uh, nothing really to write home about. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of strange that they're alive again and we have to deal with both of them at the same time. What's canonical? Welcome to Sapienza 47. We have two targets for you. Congressman Anthony L. Trout, a veteran of the invasion of Grenada, and Richard J. McGee. Though at first glance these two might not seem connected, they have a long-standing collaboration, manipulating Trout's political opposition. Uh. Trout sends McGee after his weak but potentially dangerous adversaries, and lets McGee manipulate and ultimately break them. Trout and McGee are in Sapienza on an arcane meet-and-greet with European moneymen and power brokers, uh, ahead of a possible presidential bid in 2024. We know that Trout is staying at the Via Caruso in the town square, but McGee's business is much more clandestine, and we don't have a location for where he will be. All we know uh, is that we'll he is to out. meet a Keith Keeble, a rich young man and possibly their next victim. Time to show them the consequences of political manipulation. Good luck, there we go. So it's really just these two smushed together. Um, it's the only one of its kind that didn't really... <laughs> people weren't exactly wowed by it. It's not exactly anything interesting per se, but, um, yeah. Um, alright. How are we going to do this then? Um, I guess... Let's see. How am I going to do this? I will go with a... Well, this time I can't use poison because it'll take up too much space. So instead... How about the aluminum travel? Briefcase from from uh, from season two actually, so it's got the season two stuff. Hang on a sec. Oh, uh, containers. Here we go. Uh, briefcase of a well-traveled professional. Uh, it's got all the places I've been to from season two. Um, all right, and definitely going to put the uh, the gas the emetic gas device in. But let me think. Poison. Hmm. Yeah, cafe basement. I'll put something in the cafe basement. Double Dragon Guide and added the third Lee brother. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I got uh, uh, poisons. Yeah, here we go. The wrong place. There we go. Uh, lethal poison, obviously. Um, yeah, this is going to be slightly different, but uh, okay. There we go. Summer Suave suit for a change. Let's go. Don't know why I said for a change. I use this one often on this map. It actually suits it. Okay. Uh, Richard J. McGee and Anthony L. Trout, and they're the same as they always were for the most part. Only this time we're not going to poison Trout Richard McGee with uh, lethal Trout and poison. McGee have arrived in Sapienza. We know Trout is at the Via Caruso, okay. but you have to find out where McGee will be making contact with Mr. Keeble. Security is unusually yeah. high, especially with Caruso in residence. Hmm. Do be careful. But for the most part, oh wait, hang on, it is slight. No, it is. It is the same. I was going to say, oh, is he somewhere else? He has a higher elevation here. There you go. Fuck you. Oh no, I got both of them again. I kind of just wanted one of them, but that's okay. There we go. Also, steal someone's tip. <laughs> Free money. I didn't have to do anything. In fact, all I did was just set off a fart bomb in this guy's face. Okay, I will have to get my lethal poison on the way out as well, so don't forget that. And yes, there are coins all over the fucking place <laughs> in Sapienza. All over the place. 
Just there we go. Coins, baby. Yeah, could you leave us alone? Yeah, thanks. No. All right. Yeah, I guess I'll just wait for him to make his way down here. So already six coins, and it's just like in this one area here. Very easy to get yourself some coins in Sapienza. Are you going to go in there? Please go in there. Yep, yeah, all right, good. <laughs> do, 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 do. Please don't. Oh, blah, blah. oh, his hat's all wet. Practically an insta drown. It's funny how it takes so long to to drown targets in the toilet, but I mean, if you drag an unconscious body through just a small body of water, uh, they die instantly. <laughs> So, alright, uh, there's one down. Uh, now we just have to do what we did for Trout, and that is, uh, just poison the drink he takes down in the cellar. Um, because we're a little bit late compared to just if we were, uh, taking him on alone. Um, hmm. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Did you, I'm suspicious, am I? Fuck you. <laughs> Please let there be an autosave. Oh, there isn't. Um, alright, never mind. Restart mission, of course. It begins again. Although, like I said, um, season two and three have much more tolerable, uh, much more tolerable elusive targets. Nowhere near as painful as some of the uh, some of the season one stuff. Security is unusually high, especially with Caruso. There we go. Right here. Um, let's set this baby off again. Um, Let's just set one of them this time. Yeah. Just you? Yep, just you. <laughs> wow, you're right there, buddy. No, 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 no. Please, not on my shoes. They're worth more than your salary. All right. Well, he's just going on his own this time. In fact, you know what? If this guy is not here, then I'll go and grab the poison now. Oh, but the ah, the cook's in though. The chef. He's in here. Um. I guess I could just sneak around. He won't see me if I'm skillful enough. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. What? What? Oh, fuck off! Alright. Yep, it's one, It's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> oh, get this fucking shit in gear. Alright. Alright, we can do Good it. Afternoon, 47. I believe. Trout and McGee have arrived in Sapienza. Do, 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 do. It's a shame they didn't uh, have uh, a, another character named after a fish. Because <laughs> then you can team those two up. Oh. There we go. Hooray for fish puns. Oh shit, I have to get this out. Um, okay. Hello there, friend. How are you doing? Where? There we go. Yep, his client's fine again. That's good. I might just knock the fuck out of that chef. I'm just, he's, I'm pissed off. <laughs> he's gotta go. Oh, there he goes. I don't even have to use my lockpick this time. Fuck you. There we go. I'll just pop you over here where you belong. There we go. Alright. And if I... Let's see. Yep. Gotta get the... Poison out of there. There we go. That's good. Now, let's get to... Mr. McGee before he stops vomiting. We can't we can't have him stop. Can't have him stop doing that. Uh here we go. Why do I keep thinking there's there's like a, a security camera here? Maybe it's on another map there's like security cameras there. Yeah, it, it, it might be the, the one where you uh, it might be the nighttime one where you take on Dino Bosco. Ooh. Shut the fuck up. Just die already, I've had enough of you. Yeah, you know, I should just save after I've killed one of them, shouldn't I, really? Okay. Okay. Done. Target down. One more to go. Okay. One more to go. Let's just take some coins for good luck. And, uh, hmm. Alright. How am I gonna do this? I gotta sneak in, I gotta, hmm. I mean, I, I've done this before, of course, but, um... Now it's a little bit different. I don't really have the same tools I had before. Hmm. Okay, well I guess I'm gonna have to go through here. I think this is what I did last time anyway. Alright, let's unlock the door and get our way in there. I don't really need any extra guns though, do I really? Right, uh, 
getting rid of Trout is going to be... Hmm, going to be interesting. I think this is more or less the same thing here. Oh, and we all just drop that there. Right, um, yeah, just got to get into the basement area. I will take a, an outfit if necessary. Probably is, actually. Um, oh, I don't have any bonking things. Can I, can I choke him out here? Can I do that? No, can't choke him out. Okay, is there an outfit here I can borrow? Oh, there's coins. Coins. Spaghetti sauce. Oh, wait. Spaghetti sauce. Uh, bonking. Bonking. Fuck you. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. Okay. Hopefully no one comes in here. Oh, we got ourselves a nice little key card that I'm probably, probably not going to use. But I got an outfit. And I probably should have that. Yeah. Housekeeper, though. Um, uh, it's... Uh, you know what? Actually, not all that useful. Oh, hello. Yep. Yeah. Hello. Hate you. But Rocco's sister is down. There we go. Now we could have our way with her, but you know, time is time is pressing. So let's go. <laughs> there you go. You just sit in the box. We could do terrible things to that poor woman, but you know, we already threw a fucking can in the back of her head. That's that's uh, that's punishment enough, I think. All right, let's grab Chef Marcello's outfit because I think that's going to be the most useful one, and then poison the drink, and then we're good. I remember the way I did uh, did the uh, the congressman during the actual oh body found. Oh, that's okay. It's just his, his life. It's just McGee's lifeless body. There we go. Um, the way I did it back in the, dealt with Trout in uh, season one was I actually placed a uh, proximity mine near him and it, it blew him up and threw him off the side of a cliff oh wait i took him out for a reason you know it threw him off the side of a cliff and um <laughs> threw him off the side of the cliff so no one could find the body so that was uh still a uh, a silent assassin so good shit <laughs> no one ever found the body even though they heard the explosion they're like oh god what was that but then oh no it's too late Wait, there's no enforcers here now? I thought these guys were enforcers to my disguise here. Well, anyway, let's poison this. Ooh, just in the nick of time, he's coming in. He's gonna be dead soon. Alright, that leaves me with only one more thing to do, and that is uh, grab my shit and get going. He can die on his own time, I think. There we go. Pop my, my outfit on. Plus fedora, unfortunately. Did I shoot the camera out? Uh, yes, I did, alright. And, yeah, well, I've got the key card, so there we go. An illegal key card read. Insta-hide body. Oh, that'd be really handy. It's weird how all doors open both ways. It is a bit. Uh-oh. Oh, the Beetle's gone. That's right. The Volkswagen Beetle's gone. Got to go to the boat. Got to go to the boat. Yep, they've, they've uh, still gotten rid of that for this elusive target as well. Bloody hell. What fun. All right. Um... Yeah, alright. No, this is alright. That's fine. Let's just get going. Uh, here we go. Is he is he dead yet? Go on, take a sip. <laughs> He's almost dead, I think. Have a great dip. Uh, huh? Have a great bit. <laughs> just ran right into it. Have a great bit. Alrighty. Wait for Trout to kill himself. Oh, saving. There we go. Still pining over him, really? Hello, Yuri Lowenthal. He's, he's here again. I mean, I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. You're oh. there. He is Push. Not oh, don't worry. I will. Oh, yeah. I got an auto save. Why not? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Noticed crime. Oh eh. No. There you go. You like the fishes so much, you sleep with them. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Having said that, um, he didn't he didn't drink any drink and kill himself yet. What's going on with that? What's going on with that? Into the water he goes. <laughs> All right. Why well, didn't he take a sip yet? Maybe I have to be in the vicinity, for, sort of the vague vicinity, in order for him to do that first. I don't know. It's possible. It's possible. I, I it, it'll be easy enough for me to actually head back. 
I didn't expect the other guy to. <laughs> Nor did I, it just kind of happened. Hello, Mr. Hey, Clown. <laughs> that's my mo oh, it's my money now, dickhead. <laughs> Yay. Stealing clown money. You know what next time don't be a fucking clown, and then I won't steal money from you. It's Hello, just sir. it's really that simple. Okay. This guy's sort of looking in this vague direction, so I don't like how suspicious he is. He's definitely gonna see me, so uh let's just wait until I can open uh, the door in peace. In fact, this guy might see me as well, so let's save again. It's been a bit. There we go. Oh, wait, pause. What is that noise? It's not my computer. Oh, it must be raining outside again. Bloody hell. Okay, door open. Uh, I don't have an... Uh, I am trespassing now. I don't have the right outfit for it, but I shouldn't get noticed anyway. Um, if I just sort of hang out here... I did poison the glass, didn't I? Maybe he's immune. <laughs> because he's back, he's immune to my poisons. Okay. Eh, did you hear that? No? Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. Maybe he'll come over here, and then I can throw something at him. Okay. Oh, uh, what's happening? Why are there two of you here? What's going on? Why are you both here? Weird. Weird. Uh. Say what? Oh, well, you found a coin. Well, somebody pick it up. All right, oh, I've got Malta Benny. Okay, good. Done. Done. Yeah. And fuck you. All right, no vault. Come on, this <laughs> time is a wasting. There we go. I might as well grab this disguise as well, why not? Gives me some extra experience points. There we go, 25 to be ex to be exact. Alright, I even get my coin back. Uh, oh yeah, these are all going to be enforcers, aren't they? Wait a minute, did I not poison that drink? But, no, I totally did. What happened? What? He, he drank it and he didn't die? What's... Oh, what's happening here? He is immune to my poisons. This is a fucking disgrace. Whew. Yeah, that's a worry. He's got a whole entourage of people there. I Oh, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't have, know how this is going to go if he's immune to poison now. Okay. Ooh, free money. All right. Maybe I can deal with him somehow. There we go. Turn around. Wait. <laughs> Damn it, you could vault a bit faster next time. Here we go. Boop, 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 boop. There's a body to hide. Oh, and it's full, and there's one other guy left, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, is there another storage container around? Uh, oh, yeah, there totally is. They're all over the place. There we go. No more of these guys here. Hopefully, this will be fine, and it doesn't break any scripting where he drinks the. The thing, although he seems to have not died from it, so I don't know. It's not like a non-target drank from it. Still got my silent assassin rating, so... Why did he not die, I wonder? Oh, he didn't? No, he didn't drink from it. He didn't drink from it. It's still poisoned. Hmm. How are we going to get him to do that? Okay, he might be coming down again. Ah, uh, alright. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of toilets in this place for seemingly no reason. Okay. Hey, it's Ouija. Hang on, Ouija. There you go. <laughs> Out me, Mario. I got the shop key. Yes, I can be Luigi now. All right. Fantastic. I are green plumber. All right. Not terribly useful for this area, though. Uh, green plumber disguise. Fun, but not great. There's a gardener disguise here too, if you want it, um, which I don't really. Might as well hide the body. Uh-oh. Mr. Trout is coming. I wonder if the gardener disguise is good. I don't know if it is or not. Um, let's find out. I mean, I must be allowed to be down here. Uh, oh, there we go. 
But am I allowed in here? I might not be. Okay. Hello. I am the gardener. Greetings. Greetings. There we go. Am I allowed in here? Yeah, totally. Okay, gardener is best disguised for this area, really. Okay. Oh, where is he going? Take a drink, you fucker. There we go. Take a sip. You can do it. I, it's fine. No one's going to judge you. Okay. Come on, you can do it. I guess I could just knock some people out. Distract them and knock them out. I will save just in case. Because, uh, yeah, we're pretty far back. No auto saves in a good long while. Okay, let's see what he does. Bad, I suppose. The air seems a little cool, though. What's wrong with that? Rosso designed the airflow system himself, Congressman. It is a constant 11 degrees and 75% humidity. Which is good for the booze, you see. <laughs> what are you, that fucking stupid? You would have made a lousy president this year. This guy's running for president of 2024. Like, for real. That's totally what he's doing. Oh, come on. Drink some of this. It's a good year. It, the gardener recommends. Come on, take a sip, you dickhead. There we go. For some reason, now he's going to drink it. Or at least he fucking this well better. This is a particular gem, Congressman. A Carmenere and Cabernet Franc blend. Vigorous oh. and mutable. Quite challenging, I think you will find. There we go. Suck that one down. There we go. There we go, fucking finally. Time to find an exit. Time to find an exit. But not before putting my clothes back on. Right. There's the congressman dead, both targets down. Good shit, let's go. So yeah, basically they just combine both of those targets. I guess because they're on separate sides of the map, they figure, hey, you know, we, we can make this work. Separate sides of the map, yeah, yeah, alright. Put one there. Yeah, one of them can be there, one of them can be there, and good. Alrighty, so there's, there's that. That was a bit of a lengthy one, but at least there's no more uh, twofers anymore, I don't think. Uh, yeah, well, I guess I'll have to remind myself that. I can never figure out which way to go to get to this particular pier here. It's like, wait, do I go near the beach, the left bit there, or no? Okay. Alright, oh. My boat. Yeah, yeah. Alright, finally. Let's see. I have gone over an hour. I said I was going to stop after going over an hour, but, um... Uh, I mean... I mean, technically, that was that was uh, us finishing off Season 1 stuff, really. Because from here on out, it's not recycling anymore, I don't think. Hmm... Okay, yeah, that should be fine, I think. Um, I'll just have a peek and see which ones we have left to do. If I really want to do the next ones, if they're, like, really short, we'll have a look. Uh, Hitman 2 has the Undying. We got Sean Bean. The Revolutionary, the Appraiser. Considering the Undying is the same mission twice, then maybe I'll finish off with the Undying, and then we can do the rest of them at some other point in time. Uh, because, yeah, it's, it's not a whole lot left to do. Some of these are really easy, though. Like, that's easy, that's easy. The drop, I can't remember, because that's one of the newer ones. Uh, that one's relatively easy. This one's simple. This one's relatively simple. That one's relatively simple. That one's relatively simple. This one takes a while, but... Yeah, I can go over by a tiny bit, so that's fine. Uh, the Revolutionary... The Appraiser, the Politician, the Serial Killer, the Snowway. Yeah, Serial Killer's easy, Snowway's not too bad. Politician is kind of a crapshoot, but it's fine. Uh, the Appraiser's easy. The Revolutionary's a fucking pain in the ass. Not, I, I'm not looking forward to starting with that one if I do the Undying, but yeah, I guess I'll do... I'll, we'll get some Sean Bean going, why not? <laughs> Alright, Sean Bean time, a.k.a. Mark Faber. Good morning, 47. Your target is Mark Faber also known as The Undying, hmm. a disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. Hmm. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. Jesus. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center 
to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. I this see. information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Oh. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Mm, Alternatively, hard. smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Mm. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. <laughs> Snipe him. Or Why infiltrate not? through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself. Or I to pen. To your advantage. Leave unseen. Be Quite mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. Uh, I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. <laughs> Please make sure he doesn't come back again. I will, except I won't, because he, he does come back again. One chance. You cannot replay an elusive target. You only get one chance. Well, so much for that. One death. If you die during an elusive target, that's it. Game over. One window. You have a limited window of time in which to destroy the target. All right. Um, oh, blood money suit. Why not? Um, the dolphin fountain. Yeah, that's a good starting spot, I think. Uh, let me think. I'm thinking... Hmm. You know, I'm thinking gas grenade. But what else am I thinking? I'm thinking... Ooh, gas grenade to get rid of people. I definitely want to go for the pen and the eye. Because I think that's actually canonical. Because when, when you take on Mark Faber the second time, he's got an eye patch on. Um, so I'm going for the pen and the eye. Um, get rid of people as quickly as possible. Kronstadt Reception. That's a hidden stash, though. Not very helpful. Um, agency pickup in the parking garage. Uh, doable. Yeah, I think we can make that work. Um, but let's see. What would I want to actually do with it? Um, I could rig it to poison somebody, I guess. Or I could bring something better. Poison's good. Grenades? Poison? Uh, I don't know. Well, if I, if I wanted to use grenades, I'd just bring it in a hidden stash, wouldn't I? So, um... Yeah. Now, yeah, I think I'll just uh, bring another one. <laughs> there we go. That's a lot of emetic poison there. And we'll use the blood money suit. Why not? So, remote emetic gas device, dolphin fountain. Okay. Let's deal with the undying. And we will get up close and personal so we can have a chat with them. Um, our contact will uh, won't wait around forever, though, so we've got to be kind of quick to go over there and see him. Um, eh, he waits long enough, I think, so we should be all right. Okay. Good afternoon, 47. You're... Well, no, fine, all right. <laughs> if you're going to stop talking when I skip the fucking opening, then okay, fine. Oh, dear. And incidentally, uh, Mark Faber is available to play as an elusive target right now. Target is already as in, Miami legitimately. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. Okay. I will. <laughs> Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. Okay. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. All right, here you go. Be mindful, though. You will not wait around for long. All right, that's okay. I'm sure I'll get there in time all the same. So this one involves a little guy just hanging about. You don't have to talk to him. You can just go, go in on your own. But I figured I would do it that way because, hey, we want to get a meeting with him. Of course we do. There we go. So let's get the... There we go. Oop. Might get a manic gas device. There we go. Right, now let's meet up with this fellow. We will need an appropriate disguise, however. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to sneak something in. Um, yep, I think I know of an outfit I should be able to use. Yeah, yeah, I've got something in mind. Hopefully it works. Uh, don't run away. Oh, I'm coming. Don't go anywhere. Hang on a sec. Nearly there. 
Hang on. There it is. Yeah, okay, we made it. We made it. Hi there, buddy. You must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay, so like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. Okay. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. <laughs> okay. uh, but, uh, you can't go in dressed like that. Oh. You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or, or a guard, I guess. I'll work something out. Good. All right. I'll wait for you here. Okay. Don't take too long. Probably You're not for two. Us upstairs in the conference room. Okay. Just thought I'd take care of the camera, though. So if you could turn around, thank you. Oh, oh no, no, hide your gun. There we go. And of course we can save. Thank you, Peacock. Bloody hell. All right, there we go. And let's see. Should be able to quickly get a disguise here if I'm lucky. Oh god, hurry, hurry, hurry. There we go. Nope, I'm not suspicious. There we go. <laughs> oh boy, getting back my blood money suit's so going to be irritating. All right. Hello. Is this sufficient? How's this? Where'd you find that? Da, 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 never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> Let's go. Borrowed it. already expecting us up there. Can't wait to meet him. No. Oh. All right, let's get our emetic gas detonator ready. Although, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to use it on the target himself. Um, I'm usually, I'm probably just going to use it just to clear the the place out a bit. This okay. guy's with me. Hey man, yeah, I love what you do. I, I don't understand so, it, but it's this great. deal is closed when we enter. <laughs> Science. Room, all right, I get you in. That's all. Okay. And then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry, we'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them they're not I don't lying. Know what I was thinking, honestly. Getting involved with people like the Morenos, it, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know, buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid. Hmm. The Moreno cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're well, all Well, you seem there, like a bright so lad. Let's put on our game faces. Okay, game faces. <laughs> Wait, I've got an emoticon called Game Face. Game Face is on, here we that go. That is Mark Faber. Possibly the most like elusive man in the history of the ICA. I'm Mark Faber. <laughs> Mr. Faber! <laughs> I'm a fucking nerd, what I love it. Absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, Special Acquisition Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, <laughs> uh... I, right. I guess I'll sit down then. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've I like stabbing. I've a briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be, uh, <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide hmm. you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, no problem, all right. Mark. Not a problem at all. Right. Unfortunately, right. this takes a bit of a while, this cutscene, but hey, we can save. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out he's <laughs> he has a needle a dick. about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very cool Oh, he's got his laser pointer and everything. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fella, he's enjoying the limelight. Hmm. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. He knows too much, I think. going to be a problem? On the contrary, I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Hmm. Well, then this yeah, I know game. I know the target's in front of me. I know. He's right there. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. Oh no, what you, now? Suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. Mm -hmm. How would you kill me? What's the plan? Let's see. Uh, cup of coffee, a ledge, a kitchen knife. Yeah, poison the coffee. You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. A medic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Yeah. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. <laughs> this is very Gruesome. specific. 
But I survived worse than that. What else? Oh. Uh, what else? Uh, push you off the ledge? Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. Bush. You look strong enough, but there are bushes down there. They break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone. Final bid? All right. Uh, kitchen knife. Knife on the table over there. Stabby. Quick throw. Knife through the head. <laughs> You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> Wouldn't That's even see it like coming. It, but very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. But I would love to see you try that. Hmm. Well, I think I'll just head over to that new fella and have a look at the equipment. I'll come okay. back. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. After that meeting, we will save the game because it takes for fucking ever that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Well, I did say I'd use the knife. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thanks for helping. Oh, no. <laughs> well, well, I made my point. <laughs> All right. Uh, definitely, definitely risky. He was right. Uh, don't try that. All right. I'm going to need a plan B by the look of it. Maybe a scientist uniform can get me somewhere a bit better than this. Now, where would I find one? Uh, i got to remember, that there is one just sort of hanging out here, but I can't remember where it is. Uh, definitely not in the bathroom. What? Um, where is it? Oh, is it here? I think it might be here, actually. Um, no. Oh, hang on. No, it's downstairs, isn't it? Here we go. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Uh, I could have sworn there was a, a scientist disguise here. Uh... I guess I was mistaken. Uh, oh, well, there's some emetic rat poison, I guess. I thought there was a scientist lab coat here. Hmm, alright. I guess they took it away then. That's not helpful. I guess I'll just have to improvise. Um, oh dear. Alright, can I go in here, my lad? Alright, leave. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's this? Key card. Timothy use ID card. All right, fantastic. I'll take that. Am I allowed to? Oh, uh, not really allowed to be here, but uh, fuck it. Oh, no, bad idea. But <laughs> you're not science enough to be in this place. I mean, you're reasonably science, but not quite science enough. If you catch my drift, Excelsior. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll have to find another way in. Or not go in at all. I guess that is an option. What? Uh, all right, let's go down the east wing. Maybe I can find a way. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of rough. Um. Gotta get one of them scientist uniforms. Hmm. Oh, and the race is still ongoing. But <laughs> there we go. I wonder if. Um. Weird. Weird. Oh my god! It's Herschel. Herschel's back in the game. <laughs> Herschel Biggs is here. God, he's in like every game that uh, that's ever been made. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. There we go. Oh no, Mark Faber is coming. What do I do? I'm a new scientist. <laughs> there we go. I'm even more scientist. Hmm. Now he's got a couple of guards, and then we got this guy. Hello. Doctor. Hello. Is there a place to hide a body here? Uh, no, but I can kind of just sort of stuff you in here and I don't think anyone will come in. Oh, hang on, there's a place to store bodies. Alrighty. Alright. You must be Mark Faber. I wish I could say I knew all about you, but Dave's been uncharacteristically secretive. Hmm. You work in weapons development too? I or wonder if I can get everyone outside into this area. It's entirely possible. Huh? Just whether or not it's likely hey, is uh, another thing altogether. Okay, but we'll find out. Hello. One down. I believe I am the only scientist left now. I R scientist. I guess there's the head scientist in the blue coat, but hey. Alright. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, no. Don't you all go away. Damn it. Alright. Hmm, this is going to be difficult. Um... I do still have this. Very interesting, Mr. Faber. Okay, do I have room for one more body? I do. Here we go. Did you hear that? Thanks. 
Please stand back. <laughs> check it out. Just stand back. I got it. Break. Okay. I wonder if that disguise is worth anything. Let's see. Okay. Uh, no, it's good. <laughs> Hello, I lost all my hair, but everything's clear. <laughs> Horrible accident. Let's see if I can get him over here. What the? Go and check. Oh, go and check it out. Oh, it's this guy. All right. Well, still better than nothing. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, someone had a key on them. I don't know what kind of key thing it opens, but there's a key. All right. Let's keep cleaning up house here. There's more dickheads to remove. Here we go. Oh. What the? <laughs> Hang on a sec. Yeah, let's move that over here so we gotta got more to work with her. Uh, is it okay to... Oh, he's gonna tell this guy to pick it up. Okay, that's actually good. So even though the wrong guy came into this room, he's gonna be like, Oh, I found a gun. Uh, you take care of it. Okay. Let me take care of that. Is he, like, right by the pen? He totally is. As long as I start distracting these guys all day, this could work. Okay. As long as I distract everyone. Like, you know, all the, all the AI gets all fucky. There we go. Because it's got to go through its routine, doesn't it? There we go. There we are. Surpassing 33,000 megapascals. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, pick up gun and magic trick. Make guns disappear. <laughs> Righty ho. Oh, hi. <laughs> and now he's gone too. And then do 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 do. Pen time. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Shit, down he goes. Hey, Sean Bean is dead. Again. <laughs> I don't know what number we're on now. Time to find an exit. This will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. Oh, I hope so too. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. Oh, dear. Well, that worked out. <laughs> time to reclaim my suit and get the fuck out of here. Right, I wonder if this place is safe for the most part. Uh, can I wear... Where's the other guy? Where's the scientist man? Oh, there he is. Um, I'm gonna need... Maybe your outfit is good? I'm not sure. There we go. What kind... What is this outfit? This is unique to this, uh... To this, uh, elusive target, I believe. Timothy Yu. Yeah, it's Timothy Yu's outfit. Um, but maybe because it's unique, everyone will be like, Um, you're definitely not Timothy Yu. Uh... What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> you are not him. Um, although, so far, no one seems to give a shit, so that's good. That works for me. Alright. Oh my god, someone will recognize me. Oh, shit. Wait, is that... Oh, that's Robert Knox. Yeah, no wonder. Robert Knox is like, uh, you are not my most prized scientist. <laughs> Sean Bean was the king of Final Fantasy XV uh, Kingslave. I didn't know that. Alright, well, we're, let's uh, try and find the way out without getting spotted. That'd be great. There we go. Everything worked out pretty well in the end, though. Uh, oh, oh, missing keycard. I do have some keycard, but I don't know what the keycard does. I got, uh, I got, uh, use keycard. Obviously, it doesn't open up that door, though. That's strange. Alright, let me just get my regular clothes back on, and then we'll be fine. Um... Go. Did, they go, did, this, did this guy fuck off? No, he's going too soon, though. Hello, I'm Special Scientist. You go away. There we go. Uh, oh, okay, getting out is going to be a bit tricky, but... Uh, there we go. All right, no, we're good. All right, if I had a fish, I'd take the uh, the Miami Dolphin exit, but... Uh, alas, um, I'm just going to take the front gate exit, I think. Maybe the next time I take on Mark Faber, I will... Uh, I will use the fish exit, but uh, until then, because you can just bring a fish with you. Did I did I bring all of the items that I need? Yeah, I brought all of these. Uh, you're right. Shit, I brought all of this shit, and I barely used any of it. I didn't use the emetic gas grenade. I didn't use the remote emetic gas device. I didn't use anything. I guess I'll use it on you. There you go. Just make you sick for no reason. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> Waifu are sick. Taiyaki time. Yeah, that's how, that's what we'll do at some point. 
I'm, I'm doing all right. All right. I think the race is over, or it might not be. I'm not sure. Done. Sean Bean is dead again. <laughs> Hooray! Fantastic. And you can actually play that one right now legit, um, because they, they brought him back for about a month, too. Holy shit. So they brought him back for quite some time. There you go. The Undying is dead for now. He'll come back. <laughs> he always does. All right. Penned him right in the eye. And there you have it. Oh, God. I think I'll leave it there because, um, yeah. Oh, I mean, the revolutionary sucks, but, um, eh, we can do something interesting with it, maybe. I'm not sure. But there you go. That's a thing. I, 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 we should probably call out a stream. Oh, it's the ICA proximity taser. Not terribly useful, I don't think. Well, I guess technically you could just leave it in a puddle and if somebody walks by it, and they're the target, then yeah, that could work. I prefer just uh, sending it off myself, though, honestly, with a remote. An ICA proximity taser, a device that sends an electrical surge upon detonation. This device will detonate if anyone comes uh, inside the proximity of it and is placed in water. Uh, it will also affect anyone uh, trying to pick it up as well. Uh, Okay, don't think that'll be a, uh, a, 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 an accident kill, though. I don't think so. I see a briefcase as well. Can be used to conceal illegal items. Ooh, you can put all your lolly hentai there and no one will be, no one will suspect a thing. All right, well, I guess that's it for the time being. Still no freelancer, but you know what? I'm, I might do a Thursday stream at some point. Probably not this week because we're already behind one day anyway, but, um... Yeah, I I might do a Thursday stream at some point and continue doing this because I would like I don't want to wait a whole other year to potentially only get the rest of the elusive targets on and then another year for freelancer. So no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh but yeah, I'll find some time for it, hopefully. It's Martin Septum in Obl Oblivion as well, that's true. But yeah, I mean we're slowly whittling away all the content in this game. I mean there's just a ton of it. Uh, the only thing remaining is um, just the elusive targets, because we've done, we did the sniper missions, we've done the special assignments, we've done everything in one and uh, season one and two. Um, yeah, you got the side missions, seven deadly sins, never again. Special assignments, patient zero, Sarajevo six, bonus missions. We've done all that. Let me just check bonus missions real quick. Do they add anything new? Holiday hoarders. Kaido Snow Festival, no. <clears throat> hey, where's where's Easter at? Is that in special assignments? A bitter pill, okay. That's the the Atlantid stuff, and then you have these two. Um hang on a sec. Let's go to eh, eh, come on. <laughs> Berlin. Um yeah, there's the Berlin egg hunt. Um so, it is here, it's just, it's never really, yeah, it's not its own, like, special things, I guess, is that. Uh, is there anything else of interest? I mean, Carpathian Mountains, probably not. But maybe they added something else that we haven't done yet? Um, no. I know the Noodle Massacre isn't here, but I think we already did that on stream anyway, actually. I already did the, the Noodle Massacre. That was a mod. Oh yeah, I forgot to do the brothers. Should I just quickly do the brothers? No, I'll just I'll just save it. Although meh, I don't know. Uh, elusive targets. Oh yeah, in order to do the brothers. Okay, it is in season one. So okay, all right. We'll go a little bit over. It's fine. How long have I been streaming? Nine hours, thirty-two minutes. Okay, it should only it shouldn't take more than half an hour. Come on. Um, because I know I'm gonna forget. Um, this one was actually an elusive target that was cut from season one, and um. You know, it's one of those things. Hey, it's Rum. How you doing? <laughs> He's still here. How you doing? What's that emoticon? I can't even really see from here. Where's that one? It's, uh... Hi, Pans. Is that a sea otter? <laughs> yes, sir. I haven't left. Oh, you were here the whole time. Hello. <laughs> oh, boy. I was going to wrap things up, but I just know I'm going to forget the, uh, the cut mission. So, it's been modded in. I might as well do it as the last thing I do today. Uh, that's in Marrakesh, isn't it? Been here while I've been working on my 2D avatar. Oh, okay, you've been working on that. You're, uh, you're, uh, is that the one that's, are you going to switch that out with, from your, your 3D one? Or what are you going to do with the 2D one again? I've forgotten. I forgot what you were going to do. going to be cool when it's done. I, uh, I can bet. <laughs> 
Not many people go from 3D to 2D though, so I'm interested to see where that goes. Still love my 3D one though, don't get me wrong, I just want- I want them all, like Pokemon it. <laughs> oh, are you gonna have like a, a gremlin one and a, uh, a, 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 a doodle one that's on like, uh, like drawn on paper? Or a, a PNG version? I know you got a chibi one already, that's technically that's your PNG one, isn't it? I don't know why there's two brothers assignments. Optional, uncover why the Delgado cartel's in Marrakesh. Maybe it's not optional in this one? Huh, why are there two of them? Oh, maybe one of them is in regular Marrakesh? No, okay. So they cut this one out. Uh, for some reason they didn't want to put uh, another one of these elusive targets in a, in a, in a bonus level for the, you know, the, the, they had the three bonus levels in season one, which was nighttime, nighttime uh, Sapienza, nighttime Marrakesh, and what was the last one? Oh, sort of like a sunset uh, Sapienza, yeah, with the politician. Hmm, all right, well, I guess we can watch this. Uh, now, this was cut all together, so I'm surprised that they were able to, like, s get all this together and mod it in. Good evening, 47. Hello. Your targets are Orlando Caruso and his brother Renzo Caruso. How many Carusos are the elder there? The brothers of Silvio Caruso. They became the overseers for the notorious Delgado cartel following their departure from Italy. Marrakesh is quiet, although there are underlying tensions. Oh, wiping out a whole family here. Security presence at the evening markets. Mm. Specifically, ICA analysts have identified a representative of Crystal Dawn in the city. This is oh, unlikely not those to be again. As that African extremist group is known for financing their operations through oh, the Crystal trade. Dawn of the wankers the from Delgado that uh, sniper mission from Hantu Port. In Western Europe, so in addition to eliminating both targets, as per the contract, take this opportunity to discover the reason for Delgado's interest in Marrakesh. Okay. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. So this is interesting. So they're working for the Delgado cartel and they would show up again in season two. And they also mentioned Crystal Dawn, which is only really all that mentioned in the sniper mission in Hantu Port, and that's also in Season 2, so... Well, I'm surprised they cut this one, because this, this mission actually seems like it's setting up a few things for Season 2. So that's a bit weird. But okay, um... We've got two, two guys to get rid of here, plus some optional things. Um, let's see how I'm gonna go about this. Should I wear a special outfit for the occasion? Uh, let's see. Let's pick... I uh, don't know. There we go. Pick a themed one. <laughs> oh, I can be all neon and shit. Uh, let's see. Corky the Clan. Oh my god, I can be the Jack-O-Lantern. Hmm. Deluxe things. It's been a while since I've used any of the deluxe outfits. Um, let's see. Seven Deadly Sins outfit? Oh, you know how I feel about the Seven Deadly Sins. That's great. Oh, we can wear uh, Mark Favors' uh, ephemeral suit. We stole his outfit. Why the hell not? Um, all right. So, oh God, I vaguely remember this one. It's a bit of a doozy. I think we can manage it, though. I think we can manage it. Let's get some stuff together. Um, uh, we'll get the Ancestral Pistol out. Humph. Um, let's get a lockpick going. Let's get a... Yeah, let's get some of this going, I guess. Um, there we go. Um, got a tool going. Hmm. Not sure how I can get rid of the rest of them, but you know what I'll do? Oh, the rooftops? That's the only agency pickup, the rooftops? Ugh, it's a bit out of the way. Eh, I'll make do. I'll make do with what I got. That's, that's the beauty of this game. Making do with less. <laughs> there are some... Missions where I'm like, okay, I want to go in with nothing, no guns, no lockpicks, nothing, and boy, it can be uh, pretty rough. To Marrakesh, 47. All right. I suggest you shadow the targets to discover any information about why they are here. Right here. Keep you updated. Good hunting, 47. Okay. Oh, they're not showing up on my radar either. Uh oh. Because technically, this is not using the same rule set as. Uh, oh wait, that means I can't save. Oh, I can. Okay, I can save and load, but I just can't see them on the map. So Hello, they, they are not visible. Um, I need to find a place where I can safely put my gas grenade in and out of my, uh, of my, ch of my, uh, case here, so. Alright. So I also have to ascertain why they're here. I wonder if a disguise will help me out there. Oh, did I find one of them already? No. 
Oh, yeah, I totally did. Um, I don't have a, a gas grenade ready to go, though. Hmm, uh, that's a pity. Uh, let me just find a place where I can do that. If I can just... Hmm, yeah, this is gonna be a bit tricky, but I can probably do it. Oh god, there are people all over the place. Ooh, unlocked door. There we go. Hey, this is a nice enough place. Ooh, a handyman disguise and a free screwdriver. Why not? Uh, here we go. Just pop that there. Remote thingy there. Hmm. So how how far are you to completion of your 2D model there? I look forward to seeing it on stream. It ought to be very shiny. Uh, no, I'm good. I don't need no snail meat. Oh god, he's already scampered off. All right. Uh, well, this gives me the opportunity to. Oh. Oh no, you're not allowed to even approach the door. <laughs> all right. Did you auto save? No, you absolutely did not. Um. All right. All right, restart again. That's a bit of a bother. Yeah, I remember this one being annoying and then thinking, oh yeah, that's, that's probably good that this one was cut. Welcome to Marrakesh. Okay, I As better find a place to just uh, unpack to this shit. Um, about why they are here, okay. I will keep you updated. There we good go. Hunting. There, no one seems to care right now. Grab that and let's get to work. Oh god, where's my... There we go. Inventory key. I can't see over my microphone now. It's horrible. Uh, well, the microphone itself, it's great, but uh, it's horrible that I can't see past it. <laughs> oh, dear. I did post that image. Yeah, I did post the image last year of my setup. <laughs> I could even see Schmar's stream in the background of the photo. I didn't even realize. All right. Uh, where is he again? we got two brothers to deal with, and I, unfortunately, we, don't, we won't have the luxury of being able to see where they are with my instinct mode or on the map, so... There he is. Well, there's one of them, at least. There you go. Enjoy! <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Who used a fart bomb on me? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Off he goes. Off he goes. Let's hope he goes to a good place to throw up. And that his guards don't follow him too closely. Oh, they totally will, won't they? He's going to go to the bathroom, isn't he? I don't envy you, man. Alright. Oh, it's a pity you only get one of these gas grenades, but it would be kind of broken if you could have more than one. There we go. I'm surprised I didn't patch all that stuff in after the fact. There we go. And fuck you. One brother down. Oh, someone's coming in. Yeah, someone's coming in. This isn't good. Oh, hurry up and die. Hurry up and die. Thank you. Dead. Mark Faber strikes again. Okay. So, Orlando Caruso's dead. Now we have to kill Renzo. Okay. Also, not sure where to find the uh, special information. And looking up answers for that is going to be pretty rough, considering this is... This was not officially released. This is a mod. So... Oh, they're going to find the body. Oh, uh, uh, maybe not? I don't know. Okay, a disguise is definitely in order. Uh, in fact, can I just... Ah, oh, God. Oh, don't arrest me. I haven't done anything. I just went up to a door. <laughs> at least we can save. Good lord, at least we can save. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, oh, God. Uh, uh, fuck. All right. Uh, you know what? I might as well get myself a Shisha Cafe invite. Wait, did I just find... Oh, I found the other brother. I was just wandering around normally. Um, uh, But I need a Shisha Cafe invite. Don't lose him. Hey, buddy. Hello, I'm just going to nick some, nick some stuff here. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. There we go. Where's he going? Well, I can see his guard, so that's fine. Might as well try tailing him for a while. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, he likes to sample stuff from here. Okay. Well, I know what I'm poisoning, uh, if I can. I'll just have to get some rat poison. So let's see. Free samples of uh, whatever the fuck that stuff is. <laughs> Is that in intestines? I don't know. Alright, so we've got a reasonably good way of dealing with this guy now. I don't know about lethal poison, but at least I should be able to find some rat poison. Hello. Uh, yes, I have an invitation. Let me in. Yes, right then. Off you go. Okay, let's get ourselves a different outfit. Uh, this one will be absolutely perfect, actually, because we'll be able to poison things. 
So, but we just gotta wait for him to come around. Oh, there's Kong, ah, hello. Nice <laughs> He's the usual target of this map, but not today. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go, wrench, rat poison. Okay, good enough. It's not lethal poison, but it will do. Unless, of course, he vomits, you know, if he vomits at a, at a bin or something in front of everyone, then that won't be too good. All right. Oh, here we go. Here's the waiter. I might as well save. There we go. Now that I got... No, that guy just loves his dried intestines. Whatever the fuck that stuff is. There we go. Yeah, you go investigate that. Come on. There's loud music playing. I know you hate that shit. Come on. Uncover why the Delgado cartel is in Marrakesh as well. Burn! Go! Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Because I can. Get in the bin. Alright, um... There we go. So we've got a disguise that will uh, allow us to rat poison that stuff that he likes to eat. Hopefully it doesn't take that long for him to come back and eat some of it again. Just been stood up. In fact, maybe I should save just in case. Just in case, because you never know. Oh, Alright. Sure. Hmm. Uh, if I can find it again. Um, let's see. Ah, here it is. I think this is it. Three samples of bananas. Now with free rat poison. Mmm. <laughs> Gives it extra spice, you see. Alright, now we could just hang about here all day and wait for him to come back. Um, hmm. Oh, there he is. Never mind. <laughs> He's here already. Hey, do you want some bananas? They're looking decidedly more green. <laughs> is that a waste paper basket? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I guess I'll follow this guy for now. Oh god, what am I doing next week? I can't even remember. <laughs> I knew I was going doing this this week, but I've got three more weeks left in this month, and then we're doing a theme month next month, and uh, it's one that we've been waiting for for quite a while. <laughs> it's one that we're, I've been talking about for ages, and it's just uh, not been. It's just we just haven't got around to it. But now finally, it's happening. Hey, the guy's tying his shoe. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh god, a lot of NPC movement here. It's great. We've even got tourists just staring at the ground. No idea what the fuck they're doing with their lives. I mean, I, I get it. I wonder if I can sit down here. Oh, oh, Caruso's key. Yeah, no, I'm not picking that up anytime soon, but I will take a soda can. Free soda. Where is that shit? Huh. Well, screw him. If he wants to stay in this shitty city when we leave, that's up to me. <laughs> Unfortunately, your brother drowned in, in a toilet. <laughs> Not much we can do about that. Oh, where's he going? He's going here. All right. Unfortunately, it's very suspicious for me to pick up that key, so I can't do that. Okay. It's like a take you on the Tate brothers or something. <laughs> it's just kind of strange. Um, all right. What's he up to? Yeah, I could probably find some info on this if I can just get one of these disguises. Hmm. One has to wonder if there was a way I could have maybe chucked an emetic gas grenade at one of them. Maybe maybe could have done a bit better there, but that's alright. Alright. Well, I'm just going to chill out a bit more again. Hopefully he goes back to the, uh, the pig intestines or whatever the fuck they were. The ones that I poisoned. Oh, what is time? I guess it doesn't matter. I've been streaming for nearly 10 hours. Oh, no wonder my brain isn't working properly anymore. Okay. Let's see. I might be able to get rid of him the same way I got rid of his brother. Let's hope this works out. These guys are not suspicious at all that I, like, sat down to read for a fraction of a second. And then I got up <laughs> as soon as they started to leave just to follow them. Yeah, these guys are definitely good at their job. Okay, let's hope that he makes a beeline to those bananas. But the poor brothers, uh, uh, put, put the poor brothers in here. I want to kick their ass. Oh dear. Maybe in the next game. Although they're kind of done with this series, aren't they? For the most part, they're working on 007 now. 007 game is coming out. I don't know how that's going to go. Oh no, he's going this way. Don't go this way. Oh, if I could get one of these guys' disguises, that would be really helpful. They were in the, uh, the, uh, uh, 
the Delgado uh, security guards uh, disguises. I guess that makes sense given the circumstances, right? Alright, oh, where are you going? Hmm, could have electrocuted him if I wanted, but a um, bit risky considering other people walk along here as well. I forget if that one Paul brother fought Mike Tyson yet or not. <laughs> I hope so, because he'd get flattened. Hello, are we allowed here? Hmm. What is going on here? Should I save? Yeah, yeah, might as well save. Why not? Am I allowed here? Yeah, can't let you pass. Sorry, man. All right. Something in that you didn't understand. I, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't know how to get past them, but this is probably where we get the where we will find the information we're looking for as well. Let's see. There's that stuff over right there. Don't really need to poison anything. Who's in there? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay, so ready to eat, you ready to eat some rat poison now? Oh god, I hope this one doesn't take as long as that fucking warlord. And please, God, do not do not ever bring her back in the elusive target rotation, please. Because I'm gonna have to. I, I still play all of them legit as well whenever they pop up, and I'd rather not play any of the really stupid ones ever again. Boy, howdy, there are a lot of them. All right, am I allowed in here? Uh, possibly, yeah. I'm not going to attempt fate. Okay. Hope Mike just lays the fucker out in a single punch. That would be good. He's getting up in years, though. The Warlord isn't that bad. Um, yeah. I don't know. I had a lot of trouble with the Warlord. I, f I figured the only way I managed to deal with the Warlord before was with the, uh, the ICA electrocution phone back in the day. I don't even remember how you're supposed to do it legit. I mean, I guess technically I did it legit, but I used all of the, the Hitman th 2 and 3 tools that, you know, you definitely shouldn't have with you during a Season 1 elusive target. Oh, very irritating, though. Oh, dear. I mean, I'll grant you that I'll grant you that the fixer is significantly worse than any of these elusive targets. Anything we've done today, the fixer is still the worst. That is still a mandatory 15 minutes of walking about. Hmm. Okay. Does he eat from anything else? He ate from bananas, or intestines, or whatever. He's got so many cycles. Maybe I should get a better disguise here. Hmm. Got to figure this out. Also, hello, toxic cheeseburger. Oh, I I I did I did notice you were here earlier. <laughs> Welcome from from uh, from outside Lurk Town. How you doing? <laughs> Ooh, Doctor Pop! I didn't know I picked this up. I got three Doctor Pops. How do I have three Doctor Pops? What does this generator power? There's a hookah here. Oh god, there's all kinds of food around. Oh, and there's Matthew Mandola. I don't, I don't know what he's talking about there, but all right, <laughs> he's the second target that you normally face on this map. All right. I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting. Alright, now we just gotta hope that he eventually eats the stuff we poisoned. I, I don't know if there's any more rat poison we can access. It's the only rat poison I can think of, the one in the bathroom. Okay. Okay, please just go for the banana. What the fuck is that guy doing? <laughs> oh, someone's on drugs! Alright, let's go through here and... At least, at least no one is a, as an enforcer for any of our disguises so far. Ah, I just really want to get one of those disguises, though. I have a feeling that'd be very helpful, unless... Unless our target can easily recognize that we're not one of his guards, which is entirely possible. Oh, where are you going? Please go to the left this time. I poisoned those bananas for nothing. Please go and eat the bananas or whatever they are. Yes, he's going that way. That is a good sign. <laughs> Come on, it says free samples, you can't say no. Free samples, oh there we go, everybody, he's gonna eat something. Fantastic. This is good, now fucking eat it. Here we go. Alright, uh, took a little bit of a while, but he got there in the end. Yeah, get out of my way, I need bathroom, oh fuck. Alright, off he goes. Hopefully these guys don't come into the bathroom with him. That would be shit. 
Okay. Don't worry, buddy. I've been following you all day and I feel like we have a connection, so I can look after you now. But <laughs> I'll take care of you. Don't worry. I got this. I got this. I've been stalking this guy all day. I know his every, his every need. It's all right. I know he's not diabetic at the very least. There we go. And if he is, uh, shit, that would have been just, like, one extra way of dealing with him. What's that? Type 2 diabetes? Oh, great, we'll just give him a load of sugar and I'll fucking kill him off. <laughs> okay, no, don't go into the bathroom. Don't go in here. Oh, he found the body of his brother. Oh, is he gonna vomit or do we interrupt that now? Oh. Uh, what? Oh, I'm suspicious because I accidentally got into the fucking trunk. Alright. Fuck you. Blech. Okay, so, uh, new plan. Uh, get someone to go in there. So he's gonna go and he's gonna eat this and get poisoned first anyway, so... That's a- that's a dead sh that's a dead cert. That's a guarantee. So yeah, yeah, he's, he's gonna eat his bananas. So let's get somebody to actually- nobody found the body, so that's kind of embarrassing. There we go. Uh, it's time for someone to go in here and find the body at long last. Thank you. It, just somebody get in here, please. Help. Okay. See what that was. Go see what that was. Oh, let's blend in as a customer. Oh, but I'm a waiter. I'm not a customer. But I guess I'll sit here. Why not? <laughs> I guess as long as you're not a guard, you can just hang out here by the fountain. There we go. How's our sick boy? Is he... Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, what's wrong? I wonder if he's gonna care. Because everyone found the body. Oh, don't worry, we'll deal with the body. Oh, I don't care that my brother is dead. I don't give a shit. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Alright. There's a lot of people in here. Alright. Wait, why are you suspicious of me? There's other waiters in here. Why are you suspicious of me? Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, what's this save? This save is here. Uh, this will at least give us some t a bit more time for them to remove the body. Something the modder overlooked. Yeah, kind of. Um, alright. Well, we already poisoned the stuff. I don't even know where my target is anymore. Is he already wandering? I guess it doesn't matter where he is. Eventually he will get poisoned. I can just wait by the bananas. Okay. Let's just make sure that somebody gets in here nice and quick. There we go. We just got to get this this body taken out. There we go. Also take up, uh, pick up the, the truck key. Why not? Right. Body found. All good. Uh, where's our target? Is he over here? Don't think so. Oh, uh, yeah, there he is. Okay. So, as long as they take the body out first... And what I could do is... Oh, no, I don't really have a lot enough time for it, do I? I don't have any poison syringes or anything. Uh, uh, okay. I wonder if I can now gain access to that area now that I couldn't before. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Uh, uh. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is going to be kind of tricky. But maybe I can now gain access to this area, maybe. Okay. Uh, am I out here now? Not good enough, man. Not even close. Damn. Not even close. Well, hang on. How about we, uh... How about we get this guy's disguise? It's slightly more effective, don't you think? There we go. Oh. Oh no, what was that? You better go find out. Oh, it's an extra wrench. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want one of those. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It is so wrench time. Okay, can I put you somewhere? Yes, I can. Thank God. All right, get in there. I don't think anyone really comes in here, though. Right, let's see if this outfit is better. Um, it could be. Uh, okay, nothing else to really see here. Oh, it is quite dark here. Okay, can I come in here? Yeah, can let you pass. God damn it. Alright, that's it. it. That's fucking it. Huh? Hmm. Oh. 
Okay. Ah, here we go. Now, if I can just slowly but surely drag this motherfucker over here. There we go. And then... Whoop. Hmm. Come on, buddy. I might even be able to get away with just knocking him out here. Because there's not really a lot of action over here. Okay. I mean, I guess I could always save, but... Okay. Oh, fuck it. Okay, come on. Hurry, before someone comes back. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. That's... That's good. I'll take that. And now we finally got one of these cartel guard disguises. There we go. That'll come in handy. Now I can finally go places. Fuck the gun, but I'll take this. Hello. I'm not suspicious at all. Okay, let's see. Delgado stuff. Let's find out some things. What are you guys up to? Well, we got some free money. There we go. Not sure where our boys are. Ether equipment. Oh, here we go. Check crates. Huh. Ether crates. Those crates are branded Ether. That's intriguing. Huh. Silvio Caruso, the younger brother of your two targets, yeah. is chief researcher Look for the Ether money. Corporation. But our information indicates no links between them. I wonder yeah. how they managed to get this. I don't know. Did our target start spewing yet? Oh, he is. Okay, now uh, we're a bit late. Um, oh dear. Uh, how are we going to do this? Uh, you know what? Maybe key. Maybe when he goes into this room here. Well, you certainly look the part. You certainly look the part. Yeah, you're probably fine. Yeah, you can pick up Caruso's key. Yes. All right. This is going to work. This is going to work. Yay, body bag as well. That's quite the weapons cache. The Delgado cartel is infamous for gun running. I wonder if they are bringing them in. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can't close the door anymore. Well, maybe. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can move the body. Damn it. All right. How am I supposed to get rid of Caruso then? Um, more emetic poison. <laughs> okay, we can go for it again if we want, but uh, it doesn't seem like it's terribly helpful anyway. Hmm. We cannot close this door, though. The door is... door is stuck. Door is stuck. <laughs> okay, um... Non-concealable item... Oh, wait. No concealable item inventory. Oh, place remote explosive. Hmm. Apparently we can do that. Don't know if it'll be an accident kill, though. I wonder if I can get away with... Oh, God. If only I could close that door. Couldn't you drag the body a bit further in? God damn it. Didn't even need the key. <laughs> Alright. Didn't need the key. Um. Okay. Generator... That's got to be useful for something. Did the modder not set up the optional objectives to require the PDA? Uh, evidently not. Just looking at the uh, the ether branding was enough. Hang on. Who the fuck are you people? <laughs> what are you doing just staring at the wall for? Uh, Alright, so that door's fucked. Um, that presents some problems. Oh dear. Alright. I wish someone would finish their job and move the body in all the way. Okay, yeah, he's 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 not throwing up anymore. Hey, auto saving, that's great. Okay, you need to go back to where you came from. Oh, I can't even go in the shisha cafe. All right, uh, but I can blend in as a customer. Uh, tell me how that makes sense. <laughs> I can blend in as a customer. Alright, where are these dickheads? Oh yeah, I just need to look for someone who's an enforcer to me, I guess. Just look for that white dot. Uh, and then... Oh, there he is. Found him. <laughs> that didn't take long. Hmm. Well. Where did I get this disguise again? Oh, it was like down the road, wasn't it? Alright. Uh, all I know is I probably don't need this disguise anymore. But maybe? Hmm, don't know if I could silent assassin this anymore. That's an issue. I don't have any, uh, poison syringes, so... Uh, can you find one on Marrakesh? Don't think so. Don't think you can. Ooh, create oil leak! Uh... I could create an oil leak, but I would be seen very, very quickly. Um, 
Hmm. Oh, I'd like to be able to get away with this. Maybe I can? Nope, there's people everywhere. What the fuck are you looking at? Why are you people here? Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. Alright, well, I'll get in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, uh, there's gotta be something. Can I create a leak by just shooting it? I probably can. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Yeah, oh, let me close the door. Well, maybe I can at least get him in here. I mean, yeah, if he goes in far enough, maybe. Okay. No problem. Just making sure it's all okay. Yeah, everything's fine. Oh, in he goes. Here we go. Can I get away with this? Both targets eliminated, 47. Hmm. Apparently, the yes. Wired to your account. Oh, yes! Yeah, we did it! Well, we got away with it. There we go, I'll take that key. Don't need it, but sure. Done! Okay. Oh no, he's just, he's gone. He's just uh, evaporated. Uh, you know, it happens. <laughs> Hooray! Save game! <laughs> Can't believe that fucking worked with the door wide open. Alright, both brothers terminated. Let's uh, figure out how to get my suit back. Um, where did I get this outfit? Oh yeah, I got it over here. So I just need to get my my cafe servant's disguise back on so I can get my suit back and then get the hell out of here. Here it is. Alright. There we go. Uh, that is wrong. Waiter. There we go. <laughs> okay, time to temporarily wait tables again. Okay. Don't mind the fact that I'm carrying a briefcase. It's uh, it's, it's completely irrelevant to my to my job. Okay. Uh, what is time? I've been streaming for 10 hours. Okay, not bad. Can I come in? Yeah, of course. I work here. I don't need a membership. I work here. Oh, no, I'm good. There you go. And now I'm a regular person. Done. All right. Let's get going. Will I take the truck? I guess I'll take the truck. Why not? <laughs> there. That was easy enough, I guess. I seem to remember that being a hell of a lot more difficult. I'm fucking surprised we managed to get away with shooting him in the back of the head with all those rubbernecking dickheads there on an open door that cannot close because there's the corpse of his brother was in the way in a body back. But uh worked out. Let's get in that truck. There you go. Beep beep, motherfuckers. Hooray! <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, look at all that. We did it. We did a thing. We shot him in the back of the head with the door wide open. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. And it did. <laughs> there we go. The brothers are dead. We even get uh, some some, uh, some challenges for that. Apparently, they, they even unlock the challenges in this mod. But there you go. We did a thing. And yeah, only two hours over. That's not bad. Alrighty. I wonder who we're going to raid today. We gotta raid someone, definitely. But before we do that, of course. Oh, that took 20 minutes. Yeah, that was a bit of a long mission, but hey. We got there in the end, and Silent Assassin. You really can't beat that. Consulate top floor is also unlocked as a starting place, but hey, there you go. Alright, so we didn't get all of the elusive targets done. We also didn't do Freelancer, but that's alright. I will find an opportunity to do that at a later date. But there you go. Oh, isn't Peacock grand? <laughs> so much. Time. It's not the last we're going to see of it either, because i got to do the rest of the elusive targets. And when I do freelance, I want a, uh, a fresh save for it anyway. I don't want to restart my progress on my main save. So uh, playing freelance. And besides, apparently there's some unique features to freelancer in Peacock that I'm not aware of yet. So, uh, yeah, kind of interesting to see what that's all about. Oh, dearie me. All right, I guess I'll close out the game. Why not? There we go. With the door stuck the whole time. What is this? Door is stuck the whole time. You get this. Phantom, exterior like door is stuck. Interior like suicide. It's literally that. I could exercise you. This could be your phys ed. Cheat on your man, homie. Ah, I tried to sneak through the door, man. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit's stuck. Out of my way, son. Door stuck. Door is stuck. Please. <laughs> I beg you. We're dead. Door is You're stuck. Genuine dick sucker. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Counter Strike. <laughs> yeah, I even gave the prank. I love the shitty microphone quality in Counter Strike. <laughs> the good old days. Oh boy. Well, my CPU is going crazy. What's using all of it? I'm not sure. Nothing really. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, let's get some tunes in to close us out. We'll just go with the. With the, what we've been doing the whole time. Not close out the fake server there. Very nice. Very good. So there you have it. Holy shit. We did some things. Now, before we go, who are we going to raid today? And what's our raid message going to be? What's our raid message going to be? Uh, I don't know. Um, what's our raid? Is? Um, how about, um, hmm, no, I don't know. Oh, I know. Um, how about, um, uh, vomit gas incoming. <laughs> okay, how about that? How about that for a raid message? Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see. Uh, where's my raid emoticon? There we go. Hey. There we go. Boom. There's our raid message today. We haven't even got a, someone to raid yet. If you're not a subscriber, I'll, I guess I'll get the, uh, the, oh god, the non-subscriber version of that going as well, just in case while we find someone. I can multitask. Where's the Twitch raid emoticon? Oh my god. I always forget what it is. Uh, there it is. Alright. So, freeloaders, get this one. <laughs> Oh dear, but there you go. Alright, uh, let's see who we're raiding today before we go. Um, if no one is live, then we will just... Uh, Wolf has quite a bit of viewers today. Oh, is he live? We might raid him then. Um, I will have to see if... Is anyone doing this game? Because that would probably be a good idea to raid them. Let's have a look. Um, I don't know. That's a lot of viewers. 24 viewers for Wolf? Okay, that's pretty good. How about anyone that has less? Amy Doll has five? That's... No, that she must have gotten started. She'll have more, don't you worry. But Yeah, I guess we'll just... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just raid Wolf. What's he doing? Freedom Fighters. PlayStation... Oh, he's doing Freedom Fighters! Okay, that is actually fitting, because also made by IO Interactive. So, yes. <laughs> We will raid Wolf today. We will. We absolutely will do that. Oh my goodness. So let's get that ready to go. Here we go. So very fitting. It's the next best, best thing. So let's do that. Alrighty. But there you go. So that was yet another Hitman stream. We've done a lot of them now. But uh, we're slowly closing out the game's content. We're doing pretty bloody well. We've still got just a handful of elusive targets left to do as well as freelancer those are the only things we haven't done yet and we're going to do them i'm not going to wait until next year to do them either we will get them done soonish we'll find a way but hey there you go um stick around and boy we're going to raid someone who's doing another io interactive game it's not hitman but it's it's pretty bloody good i did i did uh, freedom fighters last year it's a bloody good time um and uh yeah um is there anything i need to remember no no, because I don't know what I'm doing next week, but I'll, I'll think of something. I do have my list. So yeah, there you go. Um, that is a stream. So thank you very much for joining me for Hitman World of Assassination uh, with uh, the Sarajevo 6 some, and some elusive targets. I've been me, you've been you. I hope you've enjoyed the man hitting and I'll see you when I next see you. So until then, be sure to keep hitting men and women, I suppose.
Now that's comedy. Jones might be right. If we did manage to remove Tataran, it could.